Look, before we continue on, because uh, he doesn't have have too much time here. What's all right, all right, sorry. Uh, sweetie boy, Jim, what's going on, buddy? Oh, hey, oh, how how are you doing there, Andy? I, I heard you're having a little powwow over here. I didn't have my essays ready. I didn't know yeah. that this was happening. I don't have my essays ready. I feel unprepared. You didn't write your essay. I thought you were writing your essay yesterday, though, in case. Uh, well, you know, 5,000 fucking words, oh, a couple of pages, MLA formatting. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to share feelings <laughs> on the internet. Well, okay, yo, I, I, have you even spoke to Dean yet at all? Right. No, no. I, I I heard Dean do like three streams where he brought me up, wanted to come on the Kumite, and then um, Karen, I guess, girl writes what, uh, freaked the fuck out because she didn't want me and Dean speaking because I guess Dean is going to uh, expose the Badgers and lead to their destruction or some weird shit. Uh, so she she was very uh, against the notion of us talking, uh, oh. even though it was not related to her at all or them at all for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I I, ju I just kind of tuned in. I thought you were doing like a a Dankula show. I didn't know this was a Badger well, show. Well, we spoke about like Dankula for a bit, but then all the Badgers hopped in, so we we're talking about that. And I didn't even know until I and I messaged you yesterday. I DM'd you yesterday because I was watching your video, and I'm like, wait, w why is my I'm apparently involved in the plan? Oh no, you're you're scum. You and JF are scum, by the way. I, I don't know if you knew that or not, but uh, you're partially responsible. <laughs> are you saying for, uh... that Karen Strahan considers me scum? Yeah. Uh, well, you could infer that from her comments. I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I'd recommend okay. going watching uh, V Monroe's stream with her. She had quite a few things because to say I about say you, this. Jeff. Even as I enter this show today, I don't know these guys, uh, but what I know is that I've always I've had super high respect for Karen Strahan. I consider that she's one of the best MRA in the history of human civilization. And oh. uh, I, I'm shocked that you would be telling me that she may suggest that she doesn't like me. Personally, I have the highest respect for this woman. Well, and you apparently, some, you're in for some disappointment, Jeff. Yeah, and apparently, <laughs> we're working behind the scenes to destroy them. So I, I don't know. Let's, no, I want to see what happens. There's context missing here. There's Queen of Bands, okay, who I've assigned to be our organizer here at Warski Live. And she's great, she yeah. does a great job of interacting with people, making investigation, and she makes these shows very cool because she finds the right people to be discussing these issues. I think that a lot of our in investigative work has been misinterpreted as me and Andy wanting to know stuff about the honey badgers. I will say personally, everything I've heard and the blogs I've read against the honey badger, I am convinced that there is no case that the honey badgers are um, committing any acts that is unethical. They are being criticized by a part of the community. I hear Dean's argument. I don't see anything unethical in what the honey badgers did. And personally, even if Queen of Bands has taken the initiative of making her research on this, Personally, what I concluded when I reviewed the entire set of data is that there is no evidence of unethical behavior in the honey badgers, and I keep my respects for my respect for Karen despite everything I've read. Um, I <laughs> can't believe you. With you. I don't hey, know. Let's this. Get, hey, I that was some come. good ass kissing, man. Jeff, that Jeff. was really good ass kissing. I. I'm very curious from the stuff that I saw on I mean, Medica. You're doing like what, a three or four part series or something on this shit. Uh, you must know more. Like, why did you just laugh there after you heard, heard JF say his his point there? Oh, no, no. It's just funny listening to people uh, come to the defense of somebody that shit talks them. So I think it's oh. amusing because I'm sure, like, in a day or two, when he finally listens to that V stream and reads some of those tweets about how you two uh, aren't going to be untouchable in a day or two. Uh, or how I should do a video on JF because uh, if I'm offended by people molesting children, I should want to do one on him. Uh, oh, I, I think it'll I be don't know that. Well, I, fuck I think it'll her. be, be entertaining. Yeah. No, no, seriously, because this is serious. If she insinuates that the false allegations she, against that's me, that's what I'm court, saying, JF. She, you were just, you were bashing as a joke, Count Dankula, for making fun of you. She is going through the fucking things of saying, like, like the. The, the actions of saying that you are a child molester. Let me explain to you something, Karen. Everything you fought for in your life is exactly the shit I'm stuck in with these court events. So if you stand with my abusers who have lied against me for years in court and who are now using this false information to smear me in the media, you are not even an MRA. 
It's not that you're not a good MRI. You don't understand men's right if you believe X's on their statements. And I deny everything that I've just said. Uh, let, let me let me let me quote to you. Uh, Fuck you, Karen. Let, let me quote you verbatim here. You can go listen to the stream because that was more interesting than the the tweets. But uh, what Jim isn't JF's boss. He thinks abuse of mentally incompetent people is okay, but only when JF does it. This and is she's everything she's that Karen retweeting. has been fighting yeah. against for more than five years. This is all the reasons that people like this girl, is that she was standing against the abuse of men in court. And now she believes the abusers of men in court. This she is ridiculous. Her. Was she drunk? Is she confused? I don't know, but fuck her. She is getting a, okay, the honey badgers themselves. I've been getting a lot of heat lately, right? They've been getting bashed. And like a lot of people out there who have been getting shit on, who are the easiest people to go after right now? Internet blood sports people. Oh, wait, wait, Andy. Let's get the anger a little ramped up. Uh, here's another one, JF, just, just for you. Uh, sorry, what? Are you saying that autistic people who are mentally incompetent should be allowed to be exploited by assholes who want a baby and a biddle wife so he can give his green card? And where's Jim here? The guy who makes videos about abusive pediatric dentists. Karen, you are a fraud. You've stood for five years making revenue out of convincing men that you would be defending them. And now the first time you have an opportunity to actually do it, you turn 180. Fuck you, Karen. Hey, Jean-Francois, well, just, this... just, I want to shout this. I want to shout this. I know of, I, and I don't run any of them, but I can just, I can refer you to multiple online groups cool. to help you find either emotional support for that or possibly some legal strategy advice, just let me know after the show. I actually do this shit. Okay, there you go. Well, I want to say... Um, <laughs> Jim, man, that is, are rough. What's that? Is, Those are rough, man. I, I didn't know she said that. that that's the that's kind shit. Go listen to the V Monroe stream. That's the kind shit. That you're so out of the loop on what these people talk about what when you're not saying? around. Oh, well, I would like to say something real quick. Um, one thing, one of my biggest complaints about the honey badgers is that they're not taking this opportunity. Yeah. A lot of people are saying bad things about them, but you know, they, there are two ways to respond to this. Either go on the attack to try to defend yourself or take a step back and say, Hey, maybe these people have something legitimate to say. Mm -hmm. Or and unfortunately other, doing the or... latter, uh, former saying, Oh, well, we're just going to attack everyone. All they're going to do is destroy everything that they've worked up for to this point, and oh, they're going wow. to destroy themselves in the process. And they won't address their little critics. They only want to go after people they perceive as possibly being able to bring them more clickbait. They otherwise are above any of their other critics. So do you That's think that, that they're saying this, uh, this shit about JF right now? Because right now, Internet Blood Sports is doing very well. Therefore, yeah. any controversy surrounding us is probably the thing you should be talking about to get more clicks. What the I don't think I mean, in fact, that whole thing on autism, give me a break. I mean, really. I mean, I may think somebody like some people uh, may overuse the autistic thing because I got autistic fan people in my family. But what I tell my kid and what I tell, like, I got a, a volunteer on my team, Buckley, who's autistic. I say, if they tease you for being autistic, give them shine back because you could do that. I even give them tips on how to do it because you got to get over it, right? Just like calling somebody a retard. Well, I do have retarded friends. Um, I don't call them that, not to their face because I'm not an asshole. But I understand people use the word retard colloquially. I, it, it was it was it was a, a flagrant attempt to start a fight over a, over a, there's there's 50 more important issues than somebody like Medicare is saying autistic too often and too carelessly. What the? F bleh, I'm gonna mute out because all these bitches make me sick. Well, I'm going to disagree with Dean on this. I don't think that they're specifically trying to get clickbait. I'm sure they don't mind when they get the attention. But I think that they actually feel insulted and they're misunderstanding many different things at once and are just going with it. They're reacting emotionally. They're just reacting to whatever comes their way. And that this is just what we're seeing and that they're not purposely trying to get the most views or get the most um, donations in this instance the of point? anyone criticizing them. 
Isn't the point of being an MRA is that when someone is falsely accused in court, you read the court documents, which we have live, I think probably like fucking five times. I'm sure JF is fucking sick of us reading court documents that aren't interesting and they keep using the fucking lawyers fucking attack on JF as the doctor's shit. And then when you read the doctor's shit, it's completely it's It's like saying that high functioning, finished school, drove cross country. All, all she had was social. We've read it over and over. Isn't the point of being an MRA is defending this, men in court for yes. shit. Yes. 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 Exactly. And I'll tell you, man, what the fuck is she doing? are experts at false allegations. I did a lot of work on false allegations, including helping get out dads and guys who were in jail on false allegations. I literally did that shit as an MRA. And, 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 and Karen is well enough versed in how to use family courts this way. We've, talk, we've, we, we, we've talked about it so often about how especially women, but I mean, guys can do it too, but especially women these days can get away with accusing you of anything and, and there'll be a threat narrative against you and now you're a bad guy. And, 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 and an MRA is spreading that on you? Without even a conviction. Let me respond to that real quick. You know, real fast, real fast. I want to know because, Jim, you and Dean had mm -hmm. problems for like, what, like a month. So, like, I, I, I think we've, we we should talk each other uh, off and on for like two years. It's a guy thing. Uh, all right. What guys years. do. So, yeah. now that this is like you, you guys are in the same room, is there anything you want to say? Oh no, really. I just I just came on to watch the honey badger shit show. I mean I had a few minutes oh, like okay. I was in the middle of stuff, but um look, let me look, just I will let me, say, uh, I will let say me, Jim what let, I let me time. just uh let me just throw this out because I, I gotta jump. Right, um, go watch the V Monroe stream with Karen. She has quite a few things to say about you and JF. Uh oh, you're a money whore, Andy. What have you done for men's rights? And JF is pathetic for fucking retards. I'm not a men's rights activist. Yeah. So so let me just throw that Molotov and take my leave. Have a good day, Josh. What? <laughs> what? Okay. What? Wait. Hang on. I have a joke for Billy here. Hang on. You want to hear this, Billy? It's fucking... Wait, wait. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> failure. <laughs> Intel? Why don't you tell him outside? Fuck yeah. Oh, there you oh, go. See, that, that's uh, the money. Outtel. Uh, I get it. How are you uh, not talking about the Intel thing? This is fucking huge. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. I'm is actually it? just not here. <laughs> about every, it. every single CPU Intel has made for the last decade is affected. You're going to have upwards of a 30% performance drop across the board. What? Whoa. When what did mean? this happen? Like, like while so this we were is happening bad jokes? right now. The Intel CEO sold off the majority of his stock and kept the bare minimum to stay as CEO. Intel is fucked. Oh, that's what crazy. Is it, is it related to Minix, the Minix thing? Uh, I, I'm just, I, I have no clue. I'm just, I'm just reading this shit as it gets put up, but apparently it's some kind of, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't, I'm not a tech guy. All I know is it's, it sounds so bad. Oh, yo, People what? are posting uh, benchmarks and shit, and it's fucking catastrophic. It sounds Wait, like so some kind of spyware, or like how they slow down iPhones or something. Wait, like so that. you're just, saying just... that Intel's okay, getting okay. like an update or something that makes them? I, I I don't think I fully grasp what's going on. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. Okay, Best case let me, scenario. Let, let, let me let me let me pull it up, and I'll, I'll, I'll read it, and maybe some tech geek can explain it. Uh, because it just went up on register and a bunch of other ones. Uh, let me see here. Looks like I'm getting that Ryzen chip. Oh, yeah. A fundamental design flaw in Intel's processor chips has forced a significant redesign of What's the that? Linux and Windows kernels to defang the chip level security bug. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Wait, so someone, it was on purpose by Intel, basically? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Impact. It is understood the bug is present in modern Intel processors produced in the past decade. It Ooh. allows normal user programs from database applications to JavaScript and web browsers to discern, to some extent, the layout or contents of protected kernel memory or memory areas. The fix is to separate the kernel's memory completely from user processes using what's called a kernel page table isolation. So it... it you're basically what's going to happen is Windows is going to roll up if you use Windows it's going to roll up a fucking update probably this month mm. and after that update uh you're you're <laughs> like I don't know 30% hit 
Yeah, Ooh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. I don't even have Intel and the last Windows update fucked my my PC. Just look at your chat. Maybe somebody in your chat can explain to you how fucked this is because we are all fucked. We are all <laughs> fucked. We are all fucked. Well, well, uh, well, oh, well, oh, part of the on, computer was it? You know, people are blaming the Jews here as well. So you might have, <laughs> you know, uh, Andy wants to start beef with another company. Uh, that's really big. Not a bug. Uh, can you post the article in the chat, Jim? Uh, yes, I. Well, yeah. If you want to look up the article that I, I was reading earlier, it's from the registry or register. Uh, Intel CPU design flaw. If you put it in the private chat here, because I think it blocks uh, uh, links and shit, and then I I could post it. Does it does it block links and shit? Yeah. Here, you you yeah. You want to pull it up? Let me. I'll throw it in here. Yep. This one company is saying the very best case scenario is going to be seventeen percent slowdown. Yeah. That's the best, best case. Yeah. Best case scenario. Holy fuck. Well, good thing here? I can. Good thing my Ryzen was defective, and I can get a new one for free. Holy shit. Right. Oh, That's AMD sorry. released a statement basically saying, "Don't worry, guys, we're not affected." <laughs> fuck it. Oh up. man. What? Oof. God damn. I gotta read more into this. Yeah, yeah, from what I understand, this isn't like it's. It has to be patched to fix a security risk. But there's, there's, I don't think there's a way they can fix the performance hit from the security fix. Jesus, man. If anyone wants to find out if they have an Intel in their computer and you have Windows, just type in the words. I'll type it in chat. DX, Diag, into your, um, into your run or your search thing, and a little thing will come up. Click on it, and you'll be able to see what you have in there. What? Some people might have AMD. And those people are going to be very happy. Yeah. Wait, when did this happen? Like today? this is literally happening right now. So wait, so how do I check if I have if I have that? Do you, you have an, like, in, do you have an Intel CPU? I'm, yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. I'm fucking retarded. All right. Hey, wait, wait, Jim. I have an update for you, by the way. Oh boy. It's a poor video ready for by it? Liz. Do I'm not watching for No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's text. Read, read this text. Sadly, today, Suds, the injured morning dove, passed away. She was a good bird and delicious. That's the best meal I've ever had. <laughs> is this... What? Is this oh, real? is that that dumb fucking bird that she fucking you know, it's hit the by go the car? Bird. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, Liz. Wait, this is not a meme? No, she no. did a GoFundMe for a bird. Once yeah, upon she, a time. she hit her, her head on a moving car. It makes it sound like the 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 bird's fault. I hit it because I needed a friend. The bird hit its head on a moving car. Well, why did it do that? How did it survive? Like, what the fuck what kind of bird? No, is this? Rip, Rip, rest in peace. It's dead. The boy no, is no, dead. It, no, no, oh, it yeah, was yeah. alive for a while. It was alive. It was, she and they raised the money on GoFundMe for the bird. For the, yeah, oh, no, they did. did. Oh, we cared for her for many months after she hit her head on a moving car. They need to have little autism helmets for birds. Man, I have to tell you guys, I'm really upset with this Intel thing. You know? But the bird uh, is dead. Maybe you, you should. Do you think? Maybe, I, I, I maybe, maybe, hey, most Billy, people are going to be upset. No, 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 Billy. Come on, read between the lines. I'm really oh. upset with Intel right now. I don't know. I might. What, what, what I'm not a, understanding I'm about is, to right. buy a quick plane ticket or something. I don't know. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Careful, they're hunting people. Didn't the quartering just get take down, uh, taken down because he's yeah. fucking with the big uh, bad Hasbro? Wait, no, he posted fucking, what, 25, 30 videos on it, and he was about to interview a, formal, a former uh, employee. I guess maybe that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I hope he's Damn. good. I hope he's good. Hey, you guys understand that the um the fix that they're trying to use is called the forcefully unmap complete kernel with interrupt trampolines. <laughs> yeah. Fuck with, yeah. Fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Well, this is fucked. Well, obviously, on the next uh, show, I mean, not the Richard Spencer one. Are you excited for that one, Billy? Oh, I am excited for that one. Have you decided who his uh, debate opponent is going to be? We got uh, Sticks. What do you think? Sticks works. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be Dick Coughlin. You know him, right? No idea who that is. Oh, my. Oh, you want to make a good fucking internet insanity video? Failure. Stop that shit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, you annoying piece of shit. Uh, no, no, oh, dude, Dick 
Hoffman is is <laughs> apparently insane. Uh, so it was supposed to be him, and then everyone's just like, Ugh, I don't know, man. So we're getting sticks on instead, and he's pumped. So yeah. Yeah, I saw people floating different names out there, like Razor Fist or even H Bomber guy. I wasn't sure who you're gonna go with. Uh, I I just picked sticks because you know people were all DMing me to pick him. Uh, better. So, but For did you see while. all that shit happening on fucking Twitter today, where Vadim Newquest was trying to fucking convince people that I may agree with fucking. Uh, oh yeah, you of course you did. You fucking sent him well, a I mean, message. All, all, all I know is what you told me in like DMs and stuff when you told me you believe in a white ethno state. <laughs> <laughs> For a while there, we were kind of debating. Uh, it was like, uh, what, what do we have? We had uh, a Vadim to go against Richard Spencer or a Stretch Armstrong. So <laughs> Stretch nothing. Armstrong. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, that was yeah. I was laughing at the awkwardness. That was fucking weird. Uh, geez, anyway. <laughs> Uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks, Billy, for swinging on by and telling us about the Intel thing. We'll talk about that as news develops. Yeah, no, seriously, I, I'd read up on it. I, I, again, I'm not a tech guy, but it looks like it's fucking disastrous, so you might want to look into it if you got Intel. May I ask you, by the way, are you, are you editing your video like at five-minute stretches at a time and then taking like half three-hour breaks? No, I've got my video open right now. Oh, you're Just editing edit. while you're on this. Okay, cool. Uh, while I shit post and do other stuff, yeah. Ah, beautiful. All right. It's called multitasking. It's, it's a small <laughs> little concept. It might be harder after this uh, OS update. Yeah, it's going to be 30% slower. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and, and what about the bird, Billy? Are, are you going to mourn? 30% slower. That'll go great with all the autism that's in here anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Well, that's good stuff. Yeah, I think uh, Billy's pretty sad about the bird, right? Yeah. It's, I'm devastated. That poor, that poor bird with its glued wings. <laughs> fucking meth head hit with a hammer, poor thing. <laughs> I hate it when I hit my head on a moving car. That stinks. I I shouldn't have. It probably got secondhand crack smoke, and then it was fucking just high as fucking drumming. No, okay, fuck me. All right, we should oh. just wrap this up, man. This is yeah, not... yeah, no, yeah. We gotta wrap this up, guys. No, don't don't wrap it up. Keep talking about meth heads beating birds with hammers, because I think that is the fucking <laughs> thing the wait, audience wants to understand. Hang on, that's where the skeptic community's going. <laughs> Wait, I have a fucking funny one. You ready for this? Hang on. Oh boy. Uh, fuck. Grayson. I'll, I'll I'll think of it for the next show. Don't worry about it. I got great joke. <laughs> stuff. That was great. And on a high note. Good job. <laughs> the anti joke. Everyone as uncomfortable as possible. Well, guys, thank you very much uh, for watching, and we'll see you all on on the Richard Spencer episode. That should be fun. Right, guys, peace. So th there you are, V. I know you're watching 100%. So, are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> there he is. What's how, going how on? Are you, how are you all doing? Hey, uh, hey so how was Layman? Or you like that? Or was good I, I missed it. I saw a little invite. What did I miss? Oh, oh, oh! We we're talking about how you, how you and him are having sex, and we they went into detail and stuff. All so the Layman, time. All the time. Yeah. yeah How do you yeah. think I won the uh, fourth debate with him? <laughs> that is actually true. Like, here's the I, thing. I topped, I topped the shit out of that, and I made him submit. We basically kind of play this weird, you know, Tundra thingy, where it's like, oh, no, Jim, I'm going to beat you. But, you know, it, beforehand, we already, like, you know, we got all the arguments set up so he can really, like, dominate me on stream, you know. Yeah, I just gotta warn you, if, if V does come in, he might ask you to delete the stream, like, uh, last time he talked to me on a stream. Well, but besides, besides last night, you know, he might blab too much and just ask you to please delete it. Did you see that uh, Tonka's stream went down? Yeah, uh, yeah, he had a lightning strike. Lightning see, I don't storm. believe that because the moment, the moment V, uh, right before that happened, I think a hit was called on him by the soy father. Because <laughs> the, <laughs> the moment that he said Sargon is like a, a university professor. Instantly, the stream goes down. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait. You think that he was scared of Sargon? No, I think I think Sargon saw V mention his name and ordered his hitman <laughs> to take that <laughs> stream down. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, because that was that was funny. How V said someone recommended I didn't do the debate with Harmful, and then I was like, was this guy? supposed to be scheduled to be at a ball pit in Kilroy and then quartering said maybe
Like, Apparently, they had a full group therapy session for V. Uh, I, 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 well, yeah, I, I put a video uh, response up to him last night because he, he made a video. My whole point with that was like, oh, okay, if, if your position is Harville is just fucking with you and he's just having a laugh, then treat it like that. Don't don't get so you know super serious and emotional. Just I I literally banter. told him that. I said like two three days ago. I told him. Look, I don't respect you. I'm just gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna treat you as a subhuman if you want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, just fuck off. And he decided to talk to me. So hey, I went ahead. I figured he was into it or something. I thought the back and forth was funny. I, I wanted to see like you know an hour an hour. Here we go. Good V. Yeah, you can I, I, I treat actually it like it's a, treat it like yeah, it's a game, man. Have some fun with it. Yeah, I, I don't know how you wanted that video to come off, but I did take v. That the advice. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I was embarrassed. Yeah, yeah V, just like I was saying, if you can't tell if you're, somebody's trolling with you, just then don't take it seriously and just fuck around. You were making hey, bug guys. eating jokes and shit. Go for it. That's funny yeah, stuff. You were doing fine. Uh, like, Give me a like, second. I, I gotta grab you. my lube. Give me a second. Gotta grab the lube. <laughs> I told you the other day that I'm just going to fuck with you. Right? Do you remember? Right. But it, it doesn't matter. I already stated what I had. Um, I actually thought you are legitimately concerned about Skype cabals and about the issues you're raising. Not and I thought that like you're coming gave, in good faith. I gave a fuck when that reflected on me when I was involved in the YouTube shit and people assumed I was involved with it. And and you know about how I felt about people saying, oh, there's the apocalypse, so I need more. I was like, nah, give me money, please, but not if you feel sorry for me. Okay. Uh, but now that doesn't matter. I yeah, that's I fine. Give a fuck but but you understand there were people who didn't believe me when I said that's the case, and I wanted to have you on record saying that this is not the case. I so mean, if I, I can understand other people being concerned. For for me personally, I mean, it's something that I'm not I'm not a fan of people being too close within uh, any any field involving media. But the YouTube shit that doesn't matter. I'm on Twitch now. Okay, that's fair enough. But if you want to fucking fight with me, hell yeah. Wait, so yeah, here, we go. Here, here we go. Hey, uh, before you came in, V, uh, Harmful said he'd smack you around like a bitch if he met you in real life. Any yeah, response? Uh, <laughs> that's how he started out out the stream, actually. I'm not going to do another video where I say you do <laughs> He flexed from the camera and said, these guns kill Romanians. Any response? <laughs> hey, V, do you have any siblings? No, I'm a lonely child. Oh, well. <laughs> I Yo. do have multiple personalities, though. Sometimes when I get drunk, I uh, become completely different. I go yeah. on streams and I start yelling at people. Yeah, well, that's why well, I like having fun v on. stuff. There yeah, that's why I like having V on. Everyone's like, "Stop putting V on!" I'm like, because he's like, he's always angry at people. I'm like, that's why I put him on because it's fucking hilarious. Now, Trump, v, before... Trump isn't into that shit either. <laughs> Trump just like takes it real serious but i thought i thought you were on board with it and i thought scrump was hopping in with you and this was some like fucking wrestlemania tag team shit turns out no no well, it's, it's, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, v, yeah. v before you go any further because i saw what happened in the last stream there's a certain name don't bring it up i don't want this stream mysteriously going down <laughs> uh the owner of the stream had a lightning strike a tree next to his house and that's what uh, yeah, that's what the police. Oh, so be. that's what we call it nowadays, <laughs> a lightning strike. Okay. <laughs> the lightning of magically appeared. <laughs> no, and then next to Tonka's charred body are just a couple balls from a ball pit. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> you don't fuck with the family. <laughs> no, but the the thing with Saga, like a professor, is like my studies, my books, my reading, reading, and it's like I don't care about the drama. Like if you if you bring him something that's like drama wise, like I don't care, you know, like. Philosophy books, reading that—that's that's his shtick, basically. Like, I, people don't know him. I may ask you, V. Then why why was he calling the whole uh, Kilroy thing drama when it ended up being a fucking scam? Well, I mean, and he'd I recommended, think, yeah, he'd I, recommended I actually to people know that. that they put money in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he got is in fact he probably made the most money uh, donated from Kilroy. And I'm still heading to Arizona to hang out with sticks and a bunch of people to bar hop with some viewers and hang out at restaurants and stuff with people. But Sargon got probably, you know, when he posted his video, got about $20,000 worth from his, his viewers. And then he accused, well, he accuses a lot of us of starting drama when we got people to actually refund it. You'll have to bring that up with him, mate. He he's going to have to yeah, defend he, himself. Yeah, he got fucked that. out of. In all fairness, he got fucked out of two fifty two. I mean, if you look at his Facebook yeah. thing, he says that uh, he threw two fifty and he doesn't expect to get it back. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is you were bringing up Sister Danger earlier. Mm. Um, I I went on. Uh, is it Sinestra or Sinatra? Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, Sinatra says. 
what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so oh, says, yeah, yeah. He had Sister Danger on there, and I went in as Billy the Anti Bully. I don't think she knew who I was. Oh, no way. <laughs> so I talked to her for like 30 minutes, um, and she was dumb enough to admit that, you know how Base Mama said we needed to have a contract before we got money or it's illegal? Yeah. I got her to admit that yes, they raised at least forty to fifty thousand dollars before any contracts of any sort were discussed. Oh. Did so, they knew it's illegal though, or were they just stupid? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, but think about it. You're standing in front of the judge. Your Honor, I didn't realize stealing from this <laughs> store was illegal. If I had known, I never would have taken all the products yeah. here. Even if it wasn't illegal, it should just be so blatantly scummy. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obvious if you can't guarantee that people are going to show up. You, and I'm then you more interested them to sign in the um, in the civil litigation, not even the criminal stuff, not even from Arizona. I'm talking yeah. about the people whose yeah. images were used to promote a product uh, that fast, weren't signed fast, for. Dude. Sorry, yeah. someone in the chat. I, I did not say that Sargon hashtag Sargon didn't know it was a scam. What I'm saying with Andy, are you saying Sargon? No, I didn't say. That. Andy I, I, is saying that Sargon. No, I didn't. Say that. Andy, Andy, news. Jesus Christ, Andy, put, put down the gun. Put down the gun, Andy. You know, okay. All right, Hasbro thinks I'm on the way to murder them, okay? I don't need any more of this shit. Sargon was calling, like, st saying stop talking about drama. What I'm saying is he shouldn't have said that when it was, like, obviously a scam at the end, at least. That's all I... Sargon didn't know. Stop it, people. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> right. Andy, your issue is the dismissal of it once it came That's out. That's it. That's it. Yes. That's it. Dismissal of it. That's it. You're not blaming him Wasn't for the uh, scam. Just like, why do you, why is he dismissing it? He, he what, should have been as upset. He should have been as upset as everyone. It's my opinion. What wasn't this during the time he was in London organizing his event? I mean, no, maybe he was on my uh, stream. He was on my stream. And I, I will was... actually. I will actually. Let me. Let me see if I can hit him up. Maybe he can come here and defend himself. That that sure. actually is. That that's funny that's though that idea. you say that. Um, because he yeah, Sargon organizes his own events. He didn't need forty thousand dollars for fucking security to do it. No, right? but like he's... he threw it together, got it together, got the venue, got people to show up. Everything's running smooth. Hey, honest, honest question now. Okay, honest question to everyone in the stream. Do you think this was just stupidity? Or do you think this was like honest to God malicious intent? I think why it was honest to God malicious intent by why base mama. Why, why not both? It starts as a stupidity and then she gets greedy and turns into malicious intent. No, I, I believe straight up from the beginning. She saw a couple of she, this is exactly what I think happened. She wanted to start a business, she wanted to do an event. She finally networks and meets YouTubers she thinks are gullible idiots. She gets them to promote the event with no contract signed, nothing for appearance fee, nothing for promotional tweets. Raises mm -hmm. a shit ton of money without any fucking contracts negotiated. Makes public statements that she took out a $30,000 business loan when she has $375,000 in personal debt. Fuck that. No. She well, cannot well, take out a $30,000 loan when you have that much debt to credit ratio. I'm not retarded enough to believe that she pulled that. Somebody else put down the deposit on that hotel. Now, I could say who it is, but I'm going to leave their name out. Yeah, of it. yeah. yeah um, right. But that it was an $8,000 deposit. And then somebody calls the hotel and they tell them, no, it was actually $5,000. So even if she thing, did though, take out, what's but that? I think though, okay, I agree with what you're saying. However, when we made up that idea at that restaurant, I'm pretty sure in that moment, she had good intentions of all of us being able to speak. And then when she realized she had all of us on board, at least to like, maybe like talk there and promote, that's when her malicious intent started. Uh, Andy, Andy, that. why why are you turning around and kissing the rapist that fucked your ass? I'm not. I'm not. No. <laughs> no, no what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Dave, Dave himself, who was starting this idea, his his in, initial perspective of everything was a good intent. Based Mama is the one who saw this opportunity as a oh fuck. So yeah, like I think the. Um, initial idea was born out of like, oh, this is cool. We're going to all talk there. And I'm not saying it was based mama who thought that. Dave for sure was the one who was excited about this. I'm, I'm not even bringing him up into this. I'm saying base mama built you idiots. She saw a bunch of gullible fucks that had hundreds of thousands of people that follow them. Look at how easy that money was. Three weeks. It took her three weeks to get 85,000 fucking dollars. And she's on record saying, I can't promote the leftist academics that I want to show up there. We can't put their name up on the page. Hey, you're right. So, you're right, you're right. You know what? It, she wanted to fund a different <clears throat> event, and she saw you guys as a proxy for a fundraiser. 
I mean, she she fucked over everyone, and I mean everyone. Anybody's name that was on that page, she used you to raise money for what she wanted to do. Any profession, and I, Sister Danger goes on this thing, and she says, "I'm a professional. I've done conventions before." Blah 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 blah. Well, if you were sitting with her at that fucking meeting, and then you and her are working out how to run this, and then you say you came back a few months later in October. Well, then you surely were around when they were making their money and raising funds from November. You're 100 percent right. All right, you know what? Hey, hey, look, I was. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. She is. I'm listen, not giving anybody she, the benefit of the doubt. Stop walking it back, Andy. You got. She is no, no, no. She is. She's a horrible human being. Uh, but like. Dave was the one who was talking to me a, a lot about this idea. So my in, his intention was definitely a good intention. So yeah, you're right. Based Mama in particular, who ended up taking over the event and Dave dropping out. Yeah, okay. She obviously had nefarious plans because that one video, I didn't even watch that, uh, the one that, that you had in your video where she's like, you're all just fucking YouTubers. That means nothing. She was, yeah, wow. definitely. Yeah, she was after us all raising fucking money. It was fucking disgusting. You, you think she wanted corporate sponsorship, which is why she didn't want the alt-right. <laughs> controversial in it. Oh, that's, that makes so much sense. Maybe Maybe right. Yeah, that's a good believe idea. that could happen? No, oh. no, there's no, 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 but maybe she believed that could happen. She wanted a business model she could franchise out. They talked about bra uh, branding right, and trademarking right. and copywriting. Yeah, but but Jim, I watched your video and you do say that a corporate person hates the most when they scroll down and they see nigger in the comment section. So maybe this is why she wanted to purify her event so that oh, maybe well, later let's, down let's, the let's line. Let's be fair here. When I say corporate person, I'm talking like a company that's not you know run by some chick from Arizona, uh, you know, in her free time after bilking YouTubers. I'm talking like corporate America, like you know, fucking. Big co companies like a uh, Google or something isn't going to want to have uh, you know people scroll down and say nigger underneath their car ad. So Based you're saying with her high IQ, with her high IQ, she can't attract Google. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, she needs at least 198, not 178. Maybe a few more Rick and Morty episodes, and she'll be up there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, she is an intellectual anomaly. I want to buy. I, I want to make a shirt that says that. Like that's that's the best fucking quote. I mean, ever. she's not wrong about being an intellectual anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> That was a fucking racist. It's a fucking dummy. Now, Mr. Mitaker, this is all good talk. I appreciate. But there was a fact presented in the Tales of Trout number three. And someone is sending me emails claiming that you misrepresented her tweet. It's the ex-Muslim who tweeted something like, Ha, oh, I just flagged the video without knowing what it is. I hope it was juicy. Ha 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 ha. She claims that it was a sarcastic tweet, not one admitting false flagging a video. Do you think she might be right? Uh, well, here's what I'll say. I have the full tweet archived. Habib, who was the admin on Crouch server, had said, I flagged it. I did it. Her response to that was, I flagged it too. We are all Habibs. He made a joke about it and she said, yeah, I flagged it. Uh, I hope it was juicy. Ha ha ha. As in, I didn't know what I flagged, but I saw you doing it, so I joined in. Yeah, now, you could interpret yeah. it in multiple ways. That's fine. But I would say this. She deleted her Twitter. All the shit. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, before I did this video, I said, I want to make sure I have everything archived because these people are going to run. And what happens when the fucking video comes up? She it runs. runs. Well, yeah, and also, why would she be mocking Habib? Why would she think he didn't know? Well, can you also ask her why she made a video saying, you know, like, like almost like in a threatening manner? And calling herself, look, I'm an ex-terrorist. Just so you know, I'm an ex-terrorist. No, I mean, it was clear from my email exchange with this lady that she, she, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do a barbecue with this lady. It's like, she seems pretty <laughs> awkward. Uh, but no, that's a fair question. Uh, I, I had to, you know, I had to cut shit down for time. I mean, the, there is the full tweet out there. I can pull up the archive. People can take a look and, and make their decision if they want to make their decision, if they think it's different than what it is. But... She went oh, after Tim Pool and said that he was a bad ally. She used a lot of SJW-ish language <laughs> uh, when he was talking about a simple contract, which is just stupid. Um, when I interacted with her, she said, don't fuck with ex-Muslims. When other people interacted with her, she said, do you want to play a threat game? We can play a threat game. What she'll do is she'll talk a bunch of shit and say really outlandish stuff and then immediately remove it an hour or two hours later to make it look like she never said it. So, like, if you want to say it's a joke, keep it up. If it's a joke, right, why would you delete it? Why did you delete it? This was before her account deletion, by the way. 
Yeah. She pulled those tweets down. At least throw an LOL after you, you know, threaten people. Well, no, no, I'm saying even, even if it's the best sarcastic joke in the world, why would you delete it yeah. after saying yeah. it? I actually have someone DMing me at the moment. He says, hey, dude, there's actually a lot more than that. I have more info on it being malicious. <clears throat> so Dave didn't want contracts at all. Zero. He flipped out when they were made. That's part of the reason he left. Based has closed her Twitter, and Dave was the one who got the loan. Uh, dude, 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 shh. You, 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 I'm just gonna say this now. You're, you're, you're making Dave Cullen's life really bad if you keep going forward talking about what you're talking about. Did you know they didn't actually drop the contracts? They, they, they said on their Facebook that they're just preparing certain slots where you won't need the contracts and that they'll be on a first come first serve basis. Yeah, because Andy, you just it, like the, the allegation. I want, I want you to understand what's going to happen. Somebody's going to sue. The state's going to get involved. And if the information comes out that it's Dave Cullen that didn't want contracts, then Dave Cullen's on the, the line. But well, here's the thing. But here's the thing is um, if. If someone sues, and this person is messaging me right now saying, if if someone sues, that information is out there. There's a ton of information about the loans, screenshots. There's obviously the actual loan itself about Kilroy that shows who, who took out the loan. Uh, so it's all already out there. So whoever, look, I love Dave, and I this stinks that he's part of the situation. And... I hope everyone got their refund, by the way. We posted, yeah, so so Based Mama is actually on the Kilroy name legally, right? Uh, I looked at the uh, the uh, LLC, the incorporation of it. I don't know whose name that is, but it's it's not Dave's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So what the question is now is the, the bullshit that happened with false promotion, is this based on the person who is on the LLC or is it the person who took out the loan or is it whoever's whoever's oh. name is in like if this is a corporation if it's an LLC if they incorporate it or whatever whoever's name is on that is the one that's going to get fucked so whoever so was getting paid means, whoever was well, getting paid money is the one that's fucked so then that the means Dave, is he's going to get served yeah i think i think Dave then just taking out the loan and giving it to based mama to pay her name is on the LLC, so she's getting fucked in the ass. Dave just took out the money. She was the one who ran the false promotion and the contracts, as we know right now, based on the evidence. So yeah, Dave, my, my, my concern yeah. is that she's going to try to throw this off onto him. Yeah, but there's evidence of her her saying all this shit, and she's on, on the contract on the LLC. She could try as much as she wants, but all the evidence points at based mama is the one who ran all this stuff also andy did you see the stuff was uh you know because jf brought this up about sister danger uh somebody when i was just at the tail end of the third video um had said she had been involved in a gofundme scam uh what? of raising money to get somebody out of egypt that uh that didn't happen and people refused refunds for that really it was something like joe the pharaoh right yeah yeah and there they had a lot of evidence they did a two or three hour stream on it a bunch of screen caps of people saying where's my money this didn't happen this was all bullshit oh. and i know her and based mom are friends and she's suddenly ducking and covering so you know so, that that's another interesting angle to look at i didn't have enough know time that to she is who it. she says she is i don't know well, i I, I, have, I, know. I have a name but i don't know if i can attach that name to who she is so i just didn't add it well well, basically, I think what happened here was based took fucking Dave for a ride. Uh, he probably had better credit than she has. <laughs> More ways than one, if you want to go on rumor. <laughs> well, I hope at the very least he got that out of it. Yeah. Yeah, at least the fucking BJ, right? A quick BJ. But I think what happened was she wanted to run this corporation. You have video evidence of based and Sister Danger talking about turning this into a a fucking, what do you call it, a um, a franchise, like it's fucking McDonald's or some shit. Dave took the money out, but Based Mama's entire name is littered all over this shit. He pulled out, and she's the LLC owner. She admitted on video, I am Kilroy, and then she also has herself admitting that 
she promoted people without fucking um, having them on contract, which is illegal. Base Mama is fucked. She wants to talk t- tonight. And basically all I'm going to say is, and besides all this, by the way, this whole thing of, of her being fucked in the ass right now, she has pretty much tarnished all of our names, if we ever try and run any Kickstarter for anything like this ever again, no one will donate, and I do not blame them. So, I don't blame them either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't donate for any fucking event you knuckleheads come up with. Fucking shit. Oh, come on, Medicare. Why not? I'm being dead serious <laughs> with you. Are you kidding? I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking gullible. Uh, you could tell me that Tiny Tim's going to die of cancer tomorrow unless I give you a million dollars. I'm not giving you a fucking penny. <laughs> I think I think the way you can get something like this started because I it wasn't it like an alternative to VidCon or something you know like let's have yeah. our version right if you want to get something like this started um, you would have to have some YouTuber do it by himself without getting any money from crowdfunding but making a loan from the bank show that it can function and then start growing it by involving other YouTubers over the years I I don't think you can crowdfund it at least not in the near future. The people but, running it have to take the risk. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It should be on them. 100%. Well, an $85,000. When I heard that, I, I thought we were going to have like, you know, a little haul, you know, just talk a little bit, meet some viewers. That was it. And then I just see $85,000. And then it's like, hey, hey, you know how we offered you a panel? Well, here's a list of panels you could choose from. What the fuck is this shit? Ugh. Uh, again, I go back to what, uh, and people in the chat are saying the same thing, as funny as it sounds. Sargon's doing, uh, right, V, he's doing like This Week in Stupid Live for audiences, isn't he? Yeah, he did it in London. Um, yeah, from what yeah, I spoke I mean, with him, it was a really uh, good event. Like, he sold all the tickets in the first week. So he was able to do this himself. I mean, maybe he had a person helping him, but he actually got the event. He got the venue, yeah. sold the tickets, got it set up. There weren't any issues. He had the puppet guy there. Um, I think he really <laughs> went to go. I, I think was little wanted to go. I'm, I'm not sure if he went, um, but yeah, it was himself basically and two other guys. That was his entire staff. And from what he said, the entire event uh, was quite pleasant and everything went well. So there you go. So it's doable. It's doable he, just to set it up. He wants to do it again, and he wants to involve more people the second time around. The way someone's going to fuck with an event like that is going to be like swatting anyway. And what can you do about that? Well, if it's in Britain, there is no SWAT. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm thinking of Kilroy. <laughs> What yeah, are you yeah. going to do, American police in Eastern Europe? <laughs> Yo, honestly, I, I had, like, even aside from all the sketchy stuff, I had a bad vibe with what might have happened there, just security wise. Like, I don't know. I just had a really, like, all these ex Muslims and, like, all these fucking. <laughs> Andy, chill with the 1488. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Andy, 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 okay. Britain doesn't have SWAT and America doesn't have. The, the terrorist from Germany. So it, it's still fine. Uh, I don't, I'm just a America paranoid motherfucker. Acid attacks. There are, but not like Germany. I don't think so. I was looking like during the last Ramadan in Europe and it was like one a day or something like that. And I was like, oh. it stopped being. Wait, did even... you just say one a day acid attacks? Where? <laughs> during Ramadan. It, it, like there weren't major or anything like that. But if you were. No, I'd say, I wouldn't classify it. <laughs> Fucking ass in your face is a minor thing. What are you talking about? Well, Man, don't it, judge. It depends, hold on, hold on. They keep the thoughts away. Depends what you're comparing with, right? If you're comparing with the rock concert where how, they... about, how about getting water thrown in your face? How does that compare to getting some water thrown in your face or some milk? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. It's it's not like uh, when they went into a rock concert and castrated a guy, forced him to eat his testicles and that kind of thing. You know, I mean, there, there's different levels, yeah. right? There's there's different uh, levels you can escalate this. Well, yeah, but you can't. You can't compare getting. You could be like, well, you know, shit. Getting acid thrown in your face is bad, but at least I didn't get gang raped by Bengal tigers. Like, let's keep it within the realm of shit happening on the street, V. <laughs> no, but as I was saying, like during Ramadan, if you looked at the news throughout the European Union, there was like at least one minor event happening per day, right? Not nothing that would make the front page news, but it was still like a by the way. And I was like, okay, this doesn't happen in the United States, does it? Like you, you don't have this type of uh, terrorist activity going on. That's because we're building a wall, buddy. <laughs> oh, this fucking chat does not. St- oh my god, this fucking Jim, you you open a can of worms, man. It's just fucking Andy a twenty-two for every Jew Warski. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you ruined me, dude. <laughs> Bravey Rune just donated. Adam, if you touch the kid, I'll murder a yid. Worski. Yeah, that one was said before. <laughs> I would fucking love it, G. Earlier, I, I saw someone on the chat say, Adam, fuck the evidence, but not the kid, Worski. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the legendary? Okay, Sergeant Buck Five Bucks. Is this really the legendary Adam Adolf? Touch a child whore, she'll get my M4 Worski. <laughs> well, okay. My and dad called me. Kind of Kirk, my dad too, called right? me after that stream at three thirty in the morning. He's like, "I woke up for a midnight snack. Why is everyone saying you're fucking planning on murdering people at Hasbro?" <laughs> My dad, Jesus Christ. He's I just laughing. like that every time that you go through describing these events, you keep making statements like murdering people at Hasbro. So when I clip this together as a death threat and send it to them, they're going to take it super serious. Why would you do Medi that? Medicare. <laughs> because it's funny. That's why. Medicare, look. There's lulls. I get it. My name, get my it. name is Andy Worski, and I'm coming for you. <laughs> no. Let me put it this way. If, if Worski lands in jail and with his avatar, they don't even need to make a mugshot. <laughs> if, if that happens where are you going to get your info from because this stream is going to go down as well Medicare. where are you going to get the material your, your face on that stream by the way was fucking priceless it, it alternated between yeah. laughing and am I going to go to prison which was <laughs> just a great great spectrum yeah, if anyone wants to watch it on the related videos you'll see I, I made like a, 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 a clipped out version of the whole thing Mr. Medicare turns Andy into a living meme. Uh, that was all the gut busting laugh ones that were were done that night. That was fuck. It was funny uh, as fuck. I, I don't know who this fucking Medicare you keep talking about. I'm Billy the Ant. Sorry, sorry, Billy. Sorry, sorry. Thank sorry, you, sorry, Billy. Jeez, I always forget. My bad. Yeah, bullying is wrong. Read the T-shirt. <laughs> be, be a friend. Don't be a bully. Um, yeah, but if you if you are you going to stream that conversation with uh, Base Mama tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna be the base mama. I think you owe everyone a fucking apology. I'll play good cop um, for a while, but she has to. She has to fess up, you know. Honestly, it ha it has to be live. Honestly, if if she does it in private, it's gonna be sketchy anyway. For her. I mean, no one likes her right now anyway. I'm I mean beyond fucking doesn't like her. She scammed us. Well, yeah, I, I'm actually curious because, like, I, I covered this, but you were part of it. But, like, Layman, Harmful, you know, V, JF, like, what do you guys think watching this all transpire? Like, what were your thoughts on it with the Kilroy event as, just as a whole? I am pissing my pants in laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, here's the thing. I, you know, I, I wish those guys all the best. You know, if you want to have your nice little echo chamber conference, you know, go, go the fuck ahead, you know. Have your ball pits, you know, jerk each other off and in, in backstage. I, I don't care. But <laughs> at least, at least don't scam out ADK. <laughs> For me, the fun started as soon as they reacted to Tim Paul saying something about the contracts. As soon as that happened, I knew it was going to be magical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she admitted yeah, to me, it's done, by the way. It moved from a very philosophical point, which was, well, it seems that you guys are banning the people on the right, so you're not really an event about free speech. You're not uh, holistic enough. Down to right now, where my, my essentially my position, my question is, did Base Mama uh, suck uh, Dave Cullen's dick? I hope. <laughs> I, I, fucking, I, I, I disavow. I, right there, I disavow. I was excited about it in the beginning because it was like an alternative to VidCon. And I thought that if it's done properly, it would have blown up. And I think it would have blown up if it was done uh, with good intentions. Mm -hmm. um, but when I saw what's happening, I was like, oh, this, this is definitely going to fall. And I, I still wonder if it's going to get canceled. Imagine getting a blowjob so good that you're OK with a scam going on. <laughs> No, because th there are many scams in the in the world, which is essentially that. It starts with a blowjob, and then it's like the female wants to do something. The male is like, okay, well, she just sucked my dick. Maybe we should do it. I mean, a lot of the great political moments of history are start with a blowjob. 
this is my version of the story, though. Maybe she actually just wanted to to have it legit, and then she realized that she's getting so much money and so many people that she said, "Okay, maybe I can get some corporate sponsorship. Let's just push away the uh, unmentionables and make sure we get everyone to sign an NDA uh, so they don't talk about anything wrong that we're doing." Um, and when she saw that people started backing up, she went into full damage control mode. You know, you, you bring up a good point about the, uh, this is why I don't know necessarily about the corporate sponsorship thing. Uh, because she got rid of the right wingers, right? Like, you know, okay, we can't have a baked Alaska there, or we can't like have a James Elsop there or something because we don't, or, you know, uh, a Faith Goldie, you know, disavow, disavow, disavow kind of thing. But she does say that she was going to have a lot of really, I mean, she said herself, like, left leaning activists that, like they couldn't even list because they're considered uh, risky or dangerous. So even if you got rid of the right wingers, uh, you'd still be left with maybe some pretty extremist people on the left. So wouldn't that fuck the corporate sponsorship angle? You, you think Toyota doesn't sponsor Young Turks when talking about uh, uh, police violence and uh, how fuck white people narrative goes? I mean, from my experience, uh, the corporate the corporations don't have anything against uh, far leftists. Unless you're like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I read that article that Zink put up about uh, about bitches and hoes. So maybe he's not as leftist as we all are led to believe. Yeah, did you just call him Zank? Zank, Gank, Crank. Zank. I don't fucking know. Listen, no. I don't repeat the names of people. Mr. I don't, Mythical, I don't, you I don't pronounce them properly. In the the hey, 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 hey. I don't pronounce <laughs> their names properly if they will not acknowledge the Armenian genocide. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I actually yeah. called out Sargon on that. Like he's like, oh no, we have to help Cheng. Cheng did nothing wrong. No, Cheng made his bed. He needs to get fucked in it. He trained those people that are now going after him. He built a culture where a simple accusation means that uh, it's okay to just destroy that person's livelihood. I, I, you know, I'm not going to uh, help those people burn him down, but I don't have to save him either. Hey, I'd like to jump in here and remind people. Do you remember when? Um, it, I think Sargon did this too, but it was more important that it was Milo that did it. You remember the um, the girl over in the UK who said all the extremist shit, and they wanted to get rid of her as like a vice president, or like the student council or some shit. And they were all defending her, saying, "Oh, it's free speech. We need to defend her." Did she ever speak up when Milo was getting persecuted, or when Sargon got you know when people were going after that? Like, what's this motivation to go out and help these people that yeah? Make their he's own gullible. And refuse to he, he's really gullible. He thinks that Chenk is going to realize, okay, look, these people are bad, and I got helped by these good people. Maybe I should reevaluate my life views. That I don't think that's going to happen. They never fucking learn, these guys. They don't. They that like they, 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 you get to read. You get to read everywhere. You, you get to read articles in the news with uh, no border activists who have like a purple dick in their in their ass and they're still going like, oh, uh, Muslims are good. Uh, there's nothing to see here. Uh, hashtag no border activism. Like they never learn, no matter what happens. And and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. This, this whole, whole situation. There was this, this Swedish politician, right? He got raped by some Muslims. And uh, then he actually says that he feels sorry that the Muslims he, uh, that raped him is now being deported. And he actually had like this article going oh, around. Oh, the sex God. was that good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just a great you know, cocky. <laughs> it was just Jim, great. Jim, rape can be pleasant. It really depends on which side of the Muslim cock you're situated at. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. that's fucking hilarious. Oh I mean, God. I guess you're, if they want to be really serious about their claims for no borders, how do you deal with your asshole? Mm, yeah, that's true. Fucking. There was another case, I think it's still in Sweden, where one no border activist got raped. She started talking against it and her allies wouldn't let her speak because it's like you're ruining the cause or some shit. I mean, I, this was like two years ago when I was reading it on my channel. I, I couldn't believe what I'm reading. Like, how indoctrinated are these people? And and if yeah. you're going to think that these people are going to go like, yeah, you know what? These are good, decent humans that saved me when I was in the bath, so I'm not going to change my life views. I, I honestly don't think that's going to be the case. Yeah, V, I'd agree. It's really fucked up when you're part of a group and then you speak out against something they do and then they all come after you. That's that's pretty terrible, isn't it? Hey, speaking of that, uh, Harmful, what happened with that candid thing? I thought you were going to talk about that a little bit. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I did earlier. You want me to uh, bring that up again? How? Um, Let's get some fires started, boys. Let's get this going. I mean, give me a few minutes, guys. I'll I'll be back. Andy's running to clean his history. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> please, please, please do not uh, tweet any any corporations that I'm on the way to murder them. Right, Medicare? Thanks. Or Billy? Sorry, my bad. All right, let's play some gay porn. He's gone. Oh, yeah. It's free. Anybody got screen share up? Want to put on some hardcore gay porn? Get him. Get, get the uh, fuck out of here! No, no. How get about out some? Of uh, how about um, some straight porn? You know, something with traps. <laughs> oh, you're jumping into this debate. Right? I'm, starting, I'm, I'm starting to be able to dox you, Jim. I think you worked for CNN when they uh, posted that uh, porn all night long. There you go. You got me. I was also <laughs> on. Um, Oh, uh, there! My joke just went right down the toilet because I forgot. It's Ted Cruz. Uh, yeah, Ted Cruz. Shit. When his intern posted the pornography on his Twitter account, but that's dead. <laughs> that's dead in the gutter. God damn it. Uh, I wonder, like, what the conversation next morning when someone walked into the CNN office and saw it. I, I don't. I, I don't know. But, you know. The only reason I brought the Canada thing up, though, and, and this is kind of interesting to me, is I've, I've seen with the race realism debate going back and forth, and how Kraut and them had their their side they wanted to take on it and go after it. I saw T.J. Kirk threw his hat in the ring. Wants to get got, wants to get involved in that, and I seem to remember him being involved in Candid. So that's just I wanted to bring up some old time mm. memories. Do about we have it. any news from uh, T.J. Kirk? Because he said he was about to to release something about race realism, but he totally uh, didn't do it. Right? I, I think he's dealing with. Um, he just uh, dropped a drunken peasants. Like he's he's oh, done yeah. with it. So I'm sure he's just dealing with some of that fallout right now. So I, I got a question. Okay, and this is for you, Jim. Do you agree yeah. that if a YouTuber who has like racist views has a Coca-Cola ad on his channel. Is Coca-Cola endorsing that YouTuber? I put up a video eight months ago, nine months ago. Most people didn't watch it. It was just kind of in a one-off called A Bigot's Dollar, uh, talking about the concept of, does it matter? Like, you're saying that, okay, you have a platform and you're advertising on that platform, and maybe the YouTuber has some kind of extremist view one way or the other, but you're still getting eyes on the product. So, you know, is a bigot's dollar worth less than a non-bigot's dollar as far as advertising reach goes? Uh, and a couple of people talked about it because I thought it was interesting. This is, I think, right as the apocalypse or whatever the fuck it was was starting. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, corporations, I don't think really care. I, I have a feeling that a lot of the adpocalypse start, uh, shit in the beginning had more to do with them wanting a better bargaining position. But I think the stuff that recently happened with all the pedophile shit that's going on on YouTube, it, that has <laughs> yeah, legitimately hurt them. As di this is this is different than the ad apocalypse. Now people are like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to put ads up on a platform that's got fucking six year old girls naked in a bathtub and shit. Like, what the fuck is Especially going on? Especially when if you look into uh, magazines for advertisers, sometimes they run little polls, and people, the the majority, by, like like if I remember correctly, fuck, it was like sixty percent. If you poll people and say. Do you associate a product with what it appears on? The majority do say yes. Granted, like the, the examples I saw were tiny sample sizes, which probably wouldn't count in serious academia or whatever. I but can actually I, elaborate I, on it. Well, <laughs> let's uh, let, let, let's you, reverse the question. Have now. you seen serious stuff on that? This yeah, is where I, I wanted to go. Would you uh, associate a YouTuber promoting a product like that website you talked about in the beginning? Which website? Would you, uh, the one that was trying to get you to write scholarship something something. Uh, oh, the uh, the Edison one. Right, right, right. So my question is, if you see like Monday no, math, for talked instance, about this. I talked about this on Layman Stream. I I think Edison is a shitty service, but I don't. I if because uh, we brought up this. Remember this Layman? We specifically brought up Bering. Um, and I said, yeah. I yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you know. If he's putting it in his description and he's saying what it is and he's being open about it, it, it means little to me. Just like it would mean little to me if Coca-Cola put up on an ad on the fucking Daily Stormer. Yeah, that, I, I agree with that. Gonna, they're right, not going to so, do so, it. So, so, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, there is a uh, short-term association between brand and the person or rather the company or the platform that is advertising it. But both in mid and long term, the association seems to diminish to a very noteworthy degree. So basically, you're left with. Um, there are a few really interesting ads that that were highly controversial in Europe, uh, because they ran on certain platforms. But nowadays, everyone just remembers the ad and the product. But the controversy is just kind of gone. So yeah, short term is a problem. Mid and long term, just completely irrelevant. 
do you I mean, think that well, that first bit is what scares people away? Oh, do, yeah, you think, do you think the advertisers being aware of that scares them away? If I were to watch Jim's channel and I see like five seconds him advertising widgets or whatever, right? I would assume that he's you getting don't. money from yeah, he, he's you're getting money from the company. And I will also assume the worst. Like you're not allowed to say anything negative about those widgets. You're not allowed to talk if you notice something shady going on with the widgets. Um, and I would assume it's a commercial that you're using in order to gain financial gain. Well, here, here's two things that I, that I would raise in response to this. And I think this cuts to the heart of the advertising shit, whether you're doing paid promotions or whether ads are appearing on your videos. Um, my personal stance is I don't do those. I've gotten offers. I had one offer for like five grand to promote a streaming service. I had another offer for a couple hundred bucks to promote apps and shit like that. And it got to the point where they wouldn't stop sending this shit to me. So I said, if you continue to send this to me, I'm going to advertise your product for free and I'm going to do it in a clan hood <laughs> and I'm going to do it talking about white nationalism. So that, that put an end to that. Um, I, I, like I said, if you want to be upfront and chill for something, fine. You're being upfront and chilling for it. My problem is when you enter into a contractual uh, relationship with a company and then that company is paying you to do shady shit that's outside of that simple business transaction. And that's what, like them, that's what caught my attention with Candid, where it felt it like- weird shit, because it, it yeah. could have been just my first video. My first video was like, like, hey, look, these guys are promoting this. You really need to know about this bit. But then it's the shit that came after that that meant I had to keep carrying on. I mean, Shu said she didn't have a thing in her contract stopping her from uh, criticizing it. That turned out to just be a lie. She deleted the tweet, but I have yeah. it archived, naturally. Um, we had Baron come to me and tell me, hey, the, the guy who hooked me up originally came to me and he, he shared the message with me and he said, oh, we've got some people doing counterfeit to this guy who's criticizing us. Do you want to do one too? We'll pay you. And, and um, all that sort of shit. Uh, can you be surprised that I was annoyed at them? Isn't every company doing this? I mean, wasn't uh, what was his name? Andrew no. Joe caught I'm with. Not sure it's I, even will, legal. I, will, I will guarantee you that there is no Coca Cola and Pepsi and all these other companies will push through with their own branding and marketing and their own messaging, but they are not going to pay you to go make a fucking mercenary video to take down some dude that says well, you're yeah, a No, no, no. Based on the suggestion that that was happening. Right, I, no, I have a bit of background knowledge about Pepsi <sighs> and Coke. <laughs> Let's hear, it. Let's, let's hear it, my dude. You're fucking nuts. Like, <laughs> did you when, know when that Pepsi went to uh, had the military? Is this the one? Worldwide hotels are marketed and marked as either Pepsi or Coke hotels, right? And if you, as a member of the upper branch of management, for example, of Coca-Cola, visit a Pepsi hotel, that is a reason to fucking fire you. <laughs> uh, may I just say one thing? <clears throat> If the skeptics hated me before, they'll probably hate me a little bit more now. What with my face being on um, the if you scroll down a little bit on the Daily Stormer. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Embrace the 1488 and no, isn't that the publication it, Jim right. is working at? Because he got like two videos on the Daily Stormer. Yeah, do you know that uh, Anglin put up my flat Earth video on there, and he got so many people telling him that it was uh, the flat Earth uh, or the globe was a Jewish conspiracy. He had to put up an article calling them retards. Oh. Do, do you know you even have like a far leftist university professor that put, puts your videos up on her Twitter? Yeah, you, as well? you, you'd mention that, but I thought it was funnier that I had people at the Democratic National uh, like Strategy Commission following me, and I can't shake them. I don't know why they follow me. I'll put out statements like, "I believe the DNC is responsible for Seth Rich's murder," and this person must agree because they follow me, and he still follows me. How many people does he follow? Does he have a follow bot? Uh, no, no, he's he's follows a lot of people, but I, I think if you tweet out the organization you're working for killed a man, he probably is going to see that. <laughs> you know what I think? It, it's that you actually make really good political videos. I mean, you called out the European Union before anyone else did. I saw your video where you compared the European Union to some yeah, American I've Union. I've been making videos for the last year about people putting bicycle pumps up their ass. I don't yeah, understand. That's <laughs> <what they're doing. laughs> yeah, actually, just so everyone knows, the... Uh, the Stormer thing, it's on the right, and the guy, I guess, who runs the social media retweeted Medicare, uh, the tweet that says, his smile and optimism gone, and it's just a picture of me. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, out of context, I'm up there on Daily Stormer. It's pretty fucking funny, but Jesus Christ. Now, all these these Nazi memes aren't aren't really 
as funny as before. <laughs> you just, just Andy, just roll with it. I, I've done videos I am, on I am rolling with it. Believe yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, but what, what I'm saying is I, I've done videos on furries. I have furries that watch my videos. I've done fucking videos on, uh, like, all the Deviants videos. Like, half the fucking fan art I've ever got were from people in those communities laughing about how fucking retarded this shit was. Just yeah. gonna, you're going to have an a audience made up of everybody. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, what yeah. if, Jim, what if tomorrow you release another political video? I'm really not that into politics. The most I talked about it was with the fucking, uh, uh, what was his name? James Damore or whatever it was with the Google shit. And that was for, you know, I went on a tangent for like a month and then I went back to talking about people shitting themselves. Yeah, you don't really do politic videos that, at that, all. That's what someone that would try to get a politic video past the DNC would say, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, but I, I, there's just, it doesn't enter. Like, I'm sorry, man, but I've reached the point where I'm so tired of halls of debate shit. I'm so tired of politics, and I'm so fucking tired of watching video number 852 on some dumb, fat, blue-haired feminist said this. Like, I would rather eat a fucking bullet than just do it anymore. I just can't fucking do that anymore. Yeah. I want to go back to a time on the internet where people just made fun of each other, and you laughed at stupid fucking shit because it was funny. Yeah. And that's that was my main attraction to crowd thing. I know a lot of people are taking like a moral, you know, like a high moral ground shit. Um, it's cringy as shit running a 24 hour obsession in a Discord server and calling it like Operation Red Mackerel and shit. That is so cringy. So that's what attracted me to it. Uh, the only thing that legitimately pissed me off was the New York Times thing. Like, you can't run a boycott on these people and then suck PewDiePie's dick and then turn around and invite them into your Discord to do the same shit to somebody else. Yeah, uh, uh, where do you think, like, all this has led to, a.k.a., you know, Tonka's channel blowing up where it's just internet blood sports, you know, this channel having, like, a lot of people just on, like, not, I, I won't even like, use the word debating. Is this where you think it's going to go, where it's just a bunch of people just finally meet up and just have internet blood sports? Wasn't this uh, the King of Pole thing during Gamergate? Yeah, but King, King of Pole can't, King of Pole can't keep it together enough to do internet blood sports. <laughs> Jesus, you know, I, you know, like, his spaghetti explodes from his pockets daily, and I've told him before to cool it down, and he never listens. You need somebody like I like fucking uh, the morning kumite shit with Tonka. Yeah. Like that, that's some funny stuff, man. You get a couple yeah. people in there, you just let them go at each other. That's entertaining. I, you can't. I don't think. Really, ask your chat this, uh, chat. Be honest with me here. Are you not sick to death of all the fucking fart huffing, I'm so intellectual, let's talk about the same shit in a monotone voice for eight hours shit? Like, is that not played itself out by this point? Are we not ready to cycle on to something new on YouTube? What are you point? talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am talking about the fucking... Uh, okay, let me give you an example. Uh, dumb fucking blue-haired feminist does a video. So let's have a fucking eight hour live stream talking about the dumb haired feminists doing videos. And then it's just, it's a very specific section, but it's a section that's become so overplayed. It's a really hard anti SJW foothold you're, you're, and it's just become monotonous at this point. You're taking it out of the biblical context, Jim. Um, because back then, if you did that, there were channels that got shut down for doing it, like Monday Math, for instance. He got community strikes. Um, there were like what wasn't it Milo who got like a syringe in the uh, in the post? Someone got a dead badger as well, if I remember correctly. Like yeah, but like, V yeah V Gamergate's over. That was three and yeah, a half years. I, I agree, right? But but this is what I'm saying because back then you would not see a guy having the balls to challenge a feminist in a forum, and now that I'm looking at uh, different forums like websites or you know video gaming websites or Magic the Gathering or stuff like that, you do see people coming up and actually debating these feminists and pushing back, um, not institutionally, but at least on the internet culture, feminists are treated as a joke. And I do think that what you're saying is true. It, it was successful to go after them. Yeah. And maybe now people... Like, and I'm not, I'm not saying they're not dumb and it's not funny watching videos about mm -hmm. it, but like, I just, I'm sick to death of it. I can't do it anymore. Well, yeah, I just it's, can't like do off it anymore. The, it's like jerking off to the same porn every single day for like a year and a half. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, I need something new. You know, I felt like this while I was posting videos for like the past few months. I said this before, but I would just go, oh, so what's, you know, what's everyone, like, what's the headline we're talking about today? And then you sort the of have The most direct compilation, part yeah. 27 of 38. 
Yeah. And again, like if something important comes out where it actually affects something and people want to make videos, that's fine and stuff. But like, yeah, I, I, I agree with Jim where, or Billy rather, sorry, uh, where it's just this mundane, constantly the same thing. And people are, and everyone's been talking about, you know, being bored with this, but people still do it because they're scared to step out of that bubble or that box where, you know, they're scared the audience will leave them and go, this is not what I subscribed for. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but if, uh, like in any business, if you're chasing your audience, you've already lost. I'm just going to yeah. be honest. Like you either lead the way or you're going to fall and stumble. That's just uh -huh. the brutal reality of it. Yeah, you got to nut the fuck up and, you know, blaze a new path. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. And, and that's why, like I spoke to Bunty. I'm going to talk to him later on, on his show. Cause I talked to him for three and a half hours and finally convinced him that everything that, that we were saying about all this and, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the hierarchy of the skeptics and all this bullshit and Kilroy, I convinced him to finally see the fucking light. But like I said, I'm like, do any of these people fucking DM you? Hey, what's up? How you doing? No, no one cares. It's just, Oh, I don't want to piss off person you know, who has X amount of subscribers because they could possibly, you know, promote me someday. No, I think you know? it's also like you invest your reputation by banking on something and then you find out it's a scam. And now you have to, you know, you're probably praying until the last moment. It's like, please don't let it be a scam. Please don't let it be a scam. And then it finally comes up and it's like, oh shit, now I have to tell my audience. This is why I don't promote anything on my channel. Um, and I also get, you know, like, I don't get like you, Jim, five thousand uh, dollars. I do get that like, was a ridiculous uh, fucking amount. And, and <laughs> yeah. I, half, the time I think, half the time I think that shit's a trap, so I don't respond. But I was like, you're, why am I going to do that? I'm not going to fucking promote whatever the fuck this service is not happening. Yeah, I do get things for a hundred bucks though. Um, and it's like, no, I, I just don't want to get into it because the drama surrounding it is really great. If uh, especially if it turns out to be a fake. Hey, Jim, what's your favorite? Uh... A battle so far that you've seen over the past few weeks, like what's one that you're like, oh, that was fucking good. Ah, uh, there's so much to, to go through, but uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, I liked uh, I liked Johnny Fox and Monday and Matt because Monday oh. got a little bit heated during that one. <laughs> he he got he got a little bit heated on that, and there were a couple questions where he uh, he backpedaled, like uh, the questions from the audience. You know, what do you think of Sargon? And he kind of stumbled on that one. The funnier one though, and the one I wish people would press him a little more on is in some of that leaked crowd audio. Crowd said. Uh, mundane Matt has a uh, admin that runs his Discord that's a pedophile, and Matt did not seem to want to talk about that. Wait, what? what? Oh, yeah, the, oh yeah, oh yeah. Crowd audio, yeah. You, you know the when Tonka, people were talking uh, stream, right in the Tonka stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's and like, he's oh, that was that was mo that was months ago and whatever. I, he said I talked to the guy, so it's not a big deal. I don't know. Kraut seemed pretty fucking convinced there was some. This guy was a, a pretty bad guy to the point of where he wanted to find the girl's parents and try to warn them. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, oh, so they didn't just find out he likes kids. kids. They found out he's, he's got like a target. Yeah, Kraut said that this guy was specifically targeting some chick. Uh, and Kraut wanted to find out who she was so he could call her parents essentially and say there's a pedo after you. And it turned out this guy was running a bunch of people's Discord servers and one of them happened to be Mundane Matt's. Ooh. You know, when I signed up for this entire fucking YouTube thingy, all I wanted to do was, was to talk about bullshit, you know, have some fun, and not do all this autistic community shit. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, if, if, what if is you wanna, happening? If you want to tone it down to 11, tone it up to 11, uh, Andy, you said you'll give me 100 bucks if I'm here. I will give you 200 bucks if you manage to get Jim and Darkseid Phil in the same stream to have all a go right. at each other. You're gonna know, you know. First off, you're gonna need five hundred because the last I heard, Phil charges five hundred dollars for an interview. Really? Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay, let's get base mama to run a go GoFundMe, <laughs> <laughs> and we could set that up. Hey, have you guys been keeping up with that, by the way? Like that's a, a, with the dark side, Phil, the craziest story I've ever heard. <laughs> have you heard the new the new theory going around? No, no. no. the hooker. Uh, the new theory going around is the reason he's so desperate for money isn't a tax bill. But a woman has come forward saying she's a high-end escort from Europe, and she has dates and information, <laughs> and she says she has a contract, an NDA with Phil, and that it, you know, there were upfront payment and then a later payment, and that if he doesn't pay the later <laughs> payment by a certain date, she doesn't have to agree to the NDA, and she can release all information about their sex, about his physical appearance, <laughs> about their meetup dates, 
And it, and it gets weirder still because apparently he has this new girlfriend he'll only show pictures from the back of. And people are convinced <laughs> because one of his mods was talking to him and um, he's never talked about making brownies before, but this this escort had said they made brownies together. So the mod said, have you ever made brownies with this girl? And he's like, yes. And so now they're convinced that Phil is hiring European hookers and trying to raise money, <laughs> trying to raise money to avoid what? being blackmailed at January 12th. You, you think this is uh, what got the divorce? I don't or, fucking or the break know what up is going on. The breakup of the... Uh, yeah. I don't know what is going on, but why would you Why would you contract a hooker from outside the country? Like, that is so bizarre to me. <laughs> By the way, for, for the people in the chat... Half the, now, half later. That's what I found suspicious. I, I have my... I, I, I'm not buying into this, but it's a fucking spectacle to watch. For the people in the chat, this is a guy who was streaming nonstop, and at one point his girlfriend was sick <laughs> and in the bed, and he's like, he was calling her to, to go down from the bed while sick in the kitchen to make him a sandwich. Yeah, well, there's more than that. He got mad at her for having to be rushed to the hospital for a panic attack. <laughs> like, he made a vlog about it, bitching about uh, having to go to the hospital because his girlfriend freaked out and needed an ambulance. Wait, and then wait, two days later, she broke up with him. <laughs> Is, is that the dude? Is that the fucking dude that in the fucking Deus Ex level was too retarded to crouch jump? Yes. 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 That yep. I'm not surprised. I the am same, the same guy that got caught masturbating on stream on Twitch. I am not surprised, dude. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know, but that's been going. I have a lot of people messaging me about that. I, that's all I know on it, but it's a spectacle to watch. So I can't confirm or deny one way or the other, but... That I, I don't know. Is that a thing? Would you would you hire a hooker from another country and then sign an NDA with her? That sounds so fucking. Well, convoluted. maybe maybe he is into some kinky shit that only that particular hooker would provide. Ah, I, God. Well, we'll find <laughs> out on the twelfth, I guess. On the twelfth, then we learned that blowjobs and NDAs are behind every important event in history. <laughs> Apparently. Yo, um, hey, yo, I'll be back in two seconds. Start, guys. Okay, let's get that gay porn rolling. All right, let's do this. Andy's gone. <laughs> no, just show some DSP um... cooking because that's a health hazard and it will shut the stream down. <laughs> so, what is part four coming out, Mr. Mitterker? I, I, that's the last one. I was going to do two parts and put them together into one. It'll be like 45 minutes, uh, probably tomorrow or the day after, and then it's done. And I'm oh. going back to. Back to my normal shit. I'm burnt out on this stuff. This fucking oh, yeah? group and this community, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I've had my fill. I'm going back to laughing at uh, laughing at deviant art and crazy people on the internet. That's uh, that's my yeah. that's my thing. So how much would you pay me so I don't even drop even more information on Kraut so that you have to make like part eight, part nine? Uh, listen, I mean, there's a lot of information about Kraut. Like those forum posts are pretty damning. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and there's just you know, the last part's going to cover all the big shit, you know, the uh, Coach Red Pill, the the doxing stuff, uh, forum posts, just all the shit uh, that didn't. I, I wanted to try to create like a little timeline, like you know, here's kind of what sparked it off, and then here was the initial battle plannings, and then here's the Kilroy stuff because that kind of played into it, and it was interesting, and then just end with the bang, talking about all the big shit and establishing timelines and uh, talking about all of that. Uh, all of that fun shit and then finishing it out and going back to my normal portion of the internet and letting you fucking guys deal with this crap. You, you, this is all you, you guys, you fucking have fun with it. Uh, I'm going back to the more sane part where people shove bike pumps up their ass. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Okay. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to shove bike pumps up. Your ass. You do. You need, I mean, it requires uh, quite a bit of dexterity and coordination. You've got, you've got to be very, you've got to be very, uh, very uh, intelligent to be able to handle that. Let's go a little bit behind the scenes. How did you find that uh, CIA nigger guy? Terry Davis? Yeah. Uh, He's fucking common knowledge, my dude. No, he had a think... small channel, didn't he? It's like. Well, here's the thing about Terry Davis. Like, I left some stuff out about that. Um, G had been trolling Terry Davis for about eight months by pretending to be a girl that he was in love with and messaging him. <laughs> Um, and making him go crazy with that. So I, I didn't want to focus on that because, you know, that was G's thing. Um, I think I came across him. It might have been on Cow or Kiwi. I, I don't know. But uh, there was like a post and I thought it was interesting. So I looked into him and then I like read all this crazy history on him and shit. 
But like his tweets about like CIA niggers that glow in the dark and just all this other amazing stuff was <laughs> just just fucking spectacular. Well, it is making fun of a actual mentally uh, handicapped person, isn't it? With Terry Davis, yeah, I, he was kind of like the first internet insanity. I did one on a dude that was uh, that was a tragic one. A really smart guy went to uh, wanted to be a pilot, you know, do all this stuff, and uh, got sucked in by all these fucking uh, gang stalking people on YouTube, and his life just went into a tailspin. Like it, it starts off if you look at his first video, he's clean shaven, well dressed, smart, articulate, and the last video he's like disheveled, his beard's all fucked up, his hair's messed up, talking about. Um, what it's like to be stuck in a mental institution. And like you can see the progression in real time from this guy being like, you know, well adjusted to just going off the deep end because people were telling him that every red car he saw was involved in a plot to kill him. <laughs> like legit though. I mean like he hook line and sinker fell into it. Like you can go look at um <laughs> you want to see I'll, I'll show you how crazy this is. If you give me one second, I will pull up a video that I think probably <laughs> explains this better than I ever could, because it's related to the Internet Insanity gang stalking video I did. Uh, so now, while you pull up this video, mm -hmm. I will read a quote of the chat, an allegation about V. It's a quote that Sargon would have said to V the following, I'll make you famous if you shill for my gay ass or shoot theory trademark. <laughs> v, did Sargon say that to you? Well, I'm, I'm waiting for the fame then, because he didn't deliver <laughs> <laughs> okay, this video is still up. All right, so people in the chat, if you want to see how fucking crazy gang stalking can get, you're going to love this. The name of the video is, uh, this is the whole thing. Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking. It's on Want to Be Free's YouTube channel. And what happened is this lady made all these gang stalking videos, and this dude who apparently figured out who she was went to go talk to her. And it's just the weirdest fucking thing. Because now it's like by him visiting her after seeing her crazy YouTube videos, she is now 100% convinced that there is a fucking legitimate conspiracy out to destroy her. It's just bizarre. Well, it, it's not as bizarre. Like if you work at the psychiatric hospital, um, when I was at med school, I had to go there for three months. You do see like uh, enough cases for you to fill up your YouTube with videos for at least two years. Oh, oh, people in chat are saying they didn't hear it. It's called Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking. And the channel's name is Want to Be Free. So there you go. But yeah, interesting, interesting uh, little world there. Uh, to answer JF's question, um, I think the people who made me famous, um, when I was a small YouTuber, there was uh, Total Biscuit and uh, Angry Joe who dropped their spaghetti on my channel. And that caused like a huge influx of people. And then uh, what really caught me to uh, explode was when Karen Strawn came online um, and she did a stream with me. And that brought a lot of people. And then I went to Sargon's stream that also brought a couple. Um, and after that, it was just steady growth. I didn't have more explosions. Good. Do you... Hi, Andy. Yeah. I have to go. So, love to everyone. Love to people yeah. of the chat. I'm going to go eat with my family. Peace out. Yeah. Um, I bye bye. I was say, we should probably uh, start I'll wrapping up. And then I'll, I'll stick around and chill and, and read super chats. You going to pound those super chats? Yeah, pound some of them super chats. Uh, yeah, but it was a fucking great show. I, I had a blast. Uh, I mean, minus me appearing on the Daily Stormer because of Medicare and being seen as a murderer and a white supremacist by medical well listen you know as the new leader of the white nationalist uh yeah. division of the alt-right you know do you have any message for your followers on the daily stormer now andy uh uh you know i, I might not want to say anything because i know you're going to clip it in a certain way and then post it on twitter because your tweet right now of me uh fucking promoting that site has a shit ton of retweets right now, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably just go no comment right now. You know, no comment, no comment to your 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 uh, new new um, fan base. Uh, hey guys, uh, hope you enjoy the streams. <laughs> you know, Andy, if you reconcile with Base Mama, maybe you could have the Daily Stormer advertise for you and make it a white nationalist convention. Oh, we could do that. 
You want to do that? You want, you want to set that up or like will you help? Uh, help oh, I'm, sorry, I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm, I'm not a part of your hardcore crew. You and Ben Garrison scare me, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You know, you got people like fucking Sam Hyde. You know, and then and then on a whole different level, there's like Andy Worski and Ben Garrison. It's like, you know, th th there was a point where this stopped being fun, and you you guys just took it to a new level. <laughs> Speaking on Andy on the Daily Stormer, what do you guys think of Tara McCarthy on the Young Turks? No. Yes. Wait, what? I don't, I, I don't know who that is. Who's Tara McCarthy? She was um, the girl who was on the uh, show the other day. She's like, uh, you know, really, really far white, wanted the immigrants, uh, you know, all, all sent away. Even if you were born here and you're not white, a financial incentive for them to leave. Tara McCarthy, that girl? Yeah, resting bitch face Anna Kasparian made uh, an entire uh, segment on her. No way. Yes. I, Anna Kasparian, you're such a fucking twat. Jesus Lord. How, how, how are they still in business? They had like, I saw their live stream the other day, I had like 180 people watching live. Do you know what's interesting about it? I'm going to make a video. They're, they do have like an affiliate channel. I forgot his name. I'm going to have to check, but it has like certain million subscribers. And when they release a video, they only have like 4,000, 6,000 views. And like, what the fuck? Something doesn't add up here. Oh, I, I think they just made all their subscribers over the years <clears throat> posting 40 videos a day. I don't think. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those subs are legitimately bots. Like they're just there to give the numbers. You know what? Your chat's right. I'm sorry. Uh, t they said uh, Harmful looks bored. You know, we were going to talk. I, I asked him about that candid thing. Do you want to, you want to, you got some time for that? Or, or no, Harmful? Yeah, I've got, a little, I've got a little bit more time. I've got a little bit more sorry, time. Sorry, because you kind of, everybody kind of, we jumped uh, train here on that. Because uh, I was just curious about the TJ thing, because I know he's getting in the race reels and shit now after Kraut, and he was kind of oh, in the candid thing. Do you think he realizes what he's jumping into with that? No, not at all. Like, so. to, just, to just put that there on a poll of four choices, you know, I could pick anyone. It's like, man. Yeah, what? Oh, really TJ funny. and Kraut? What happened th th there? No, no, I said that uh, TJ's been making uh, statements on Twitter that he's going to jump into the discussion now, uh, you know, kind of now that it's kind of blown up. But oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, right, I remember, right. and this is what I wanted to talk to Harmful about. Did he make a video coming after you about the fucking yeah, candidate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it was real long. Uh, unfortunately, my my response isn't there anymore. But uh, what did he he call you? Harmful something? He, no, he this nickname. Harmless he, exaggerations. Yes. The, ooh, 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 ooh. Fucking home run. That's funny. No, 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 no dude. Fucking the best one was. Uh, he was talking about how he, uh, how I run a cult and I have people literally believing I'm God. And well, you know what? I don't believe in God. <laughs> He did it like a Batman thing. No, <laughs> dude, I, have I, you seen his latest setup? Like, 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 what his videos look like at the moment? Oh, it's it's triggered, in, you mean? In, a, in, a, in a top hat with a fucking pipe, a skull, a Bible with a hole in it, a, a fucking retro phone. Shut up! You're making this up. No, 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 Billy, Billy, Billy Bob, Jimbo, look you're him fucking up. lying. There's no, no way he's that dumb. No, no. 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 It on YouTube right now. Open it on screen share. I would I'll, never I'll lie to you, baby boy. I would never lie to you. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Yo, okay, I'm Jimbo. opening it right now. Yo, yeah. Jimbo. Was did he build a DeLorean and travel back to the days of Live Journal? Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. Hang on, not <laughs> this video, but oh, dude, this is good. This is really <laughs> funny, actually. <laughs> What, why is he doing it though? Because he doesn't need it. That's <laughs> all right. Are right, you ready for this, dude? I, I'm in. dying to fucking see this. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put this here so I don't screen share the link. All right. Here we go. You ready for this shit? I'm not. I'm literally not. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's worse than when I saw it. Sh show I the one where shit. he paints his face. Sh show the one where he paints his face. Oh. Uh, is that the newer one? I don't know. Go, go through all, the whole list. Yeah, God, he's got a big hole through the Bible. It's like a cannonball got shot through it. What the fuck is that? But you don't like it? You don't like it, Medica? Well, uh, really? Billy, can't, can't you handle some peak YouTube intellectualism? Oh, hmm? he, uh, holy shit. Do you know what this reminds me of? I know. this. He's stealing this shtick. I know what this is. What is it? He's, trying to be the, he's trying to be the Jim Sterling of fucking atheism. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. He stole this from Jim Sterling. Oh. 
where he'd stand in front of his podium dressed up like he does. That's what this is. This is the Jim Sterling fucking atheism. It, it, initially, yeah, I thought the, his, it, initially, I thought video. his. Initially, I thought his. Initially, I thought this like Davis Orini with more keyboard shortcuts. But now you that you said it, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, no, everyone, shut up. Speaking of Davis Orini, I have the best meme ever. You are fucking unprepared for this. Oh no! <laughs> wait. No, you are no, no, Jimbo. You will. Okay. It's okay, good. Not, it's a good. Dude, dude. It, it. Okay. Here's, here's, here's the link. Here's the link. Davis Orini made a sword review in a trench coat with sunglasses. <laughs> Wait, you like this? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> he made an actual fucking sword review. <laughs> You know, you know what's interesting? Can you imagine him just going shopping and purchasing? It's like, hmm, I could use this skull. I could use this an <laughs> axe. Oh, TJ. Something weird about TJ I that I think a lot of people, uh, yeah. a lot of people missed, even though I was talking about Candid stuff, is that he's worked with the company behind Candid since 2012. Wow. Really? Yeah, because my likes was behind Candid. They were an AI sort of marketing platform. And uh, he was he was doing vids for them, like um, make money with your videos, put these links in the description sort of thing. And he mentioned that he personally knew the people involved with it. What the fuck? Is that why he was like like defending them? Like that, that might have been why he got so, so That's freaked out about it. Because if I you remember. go on his channel and search my likes, he's been he's been doing like sponsored content for them since 2012. What? I remember. I remember he attacked you viciously over the candid thing. He he probably flipped out. I don't know. If, I don't know if he thought it would bother me or something. But he was giving him money on Patreon and stopped and made a video about it or no, something. No, no, like that? that didn't. That that's not what happened. He. I think at, at that point I didn't even have a Patreon. Uh, what happened was I appeared on Teal Deer and then he then he was in a live stream and he said, "Yeah, I stopped giving money to Teal Deer because he had harmful opinions on it and I hate that guy." Yeah, and he made a video about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was wait, wait fun. so. Because I've I've talked to him. Um, I mean, me and him had beef for a little bit, but we're okay. But do you think you just being here in general, he's gonna be mad at me now for having you for having you on? I, don't know. Oh, I think the last okay. few minutes are gonna make him mad. I think the last few minutes <laughs> might make him a little upset. Sorry, TJ. I mean, when he said when he said I know the I know the people behind it personally or whatever, he might have been fucking lying because it was in one of his ads because he was trying to get people to trust the product. Um, so he might have lied, because, I mean, I assume. You know, I keep hearing Teal Deer's name come up. Andy, you should have him on sometime, because he seems to have made and talked about this shit for years ahead of time of everybody yeah. else. You know what? Like, I was just saying, I don't know if you missed the part, but he he predicted everything that would happen up to this point right now. Like, he he was right about everything. Teal De hashtag Teal Deer was right. Everyone in the chat, you want to do that? Didn't uh, you learn your lesson last night? You really want them to start tweeting things again? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say 100 percent this happened, but like maybe. So, because I don't want to. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Maybe Teal Deer was offered a candid sponsorship and recorded like a two-hour phone call with the CEO, and maybe he gave that to me, and maybe she talked about how scared she was of me. No. Oh, see, I'm liking that. See, we're now we're getting some juicy maybe, shit going. Maybe. There. I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe possibly, that happened. Potentially. Maybe. You gotta have Teal Deer on. This sounds like a beautiful yeah, conversation. Yeah, I'm, I want to fucking. Uh, I know someone in particular who who can contact him because uh, I did, you know, fucking pull some shit for one day where I kind of strawmanned him. You heard this, right? Yeah, I strawmanned him. I apologized the next day, and then Jeff Holiday went on stream with me, and then he's just like, "No, no, fuck him. I'm not sorry. I'm not fucking sorry." Uh, I have so, yeah. uh, Teal Deer on Skype in a cabal. Do you want me to ask him if? Uh... Hey, if he wants to fucking jump in, why not? I don't know if he's online though. He seems offline, but could be just. Uh... Well, we'll message him for the future. I, 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 we could set some up uh, something up with him for sure, because he's been calling this shit for for years. Uh, him thinking ape, you harmful. Uh, Lehman, yeah, he's... you talked about it too. He's got really I good. I don't know what you I... talked about. I am squiggly clean. Please sponsor <laughs> me. Please give me money on Patreon. <laughs> I, it's weird. Now that I switched to Twitch, I get emails like every few days of just not people being like, I want to give you money or, or whatever, just them being like, here's a free copy of my game. Just just all the time. And it's like, I don't want to play it now. 
<laughs> Thank so, you for the gift, but now I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like I, I feel sort of obliged to shit on it. So I'm, I'm thinking of maybe just like gathering, because I think I'll only ever get to do this once. Just gathering, just wait till I've got enough to fill up four hours and just do like a little taste a few minutes of each one and say why it's shit and you should never buy it. Of what exactly, sorry? Hours. Just of a bunch of games. I get sent games all the time now. Oh, nice, nice. They want me to play their game, and it's just like, oh, they're oh, they're homemade, they're homebrew games. Yeah, like like um, I, like <laughs> you know, um, publishers and PR companies connected to game devs. No, nothing huge. Not like fucking EA sending me their game. Yeah. But like little indie indie outfits are like, here's the game. Please play it and talk about it. That's yeah, nice. But... You you can help the little guy. I mean. If it's a legitimately good game, you know, why not go for it? I'd I'd rather they just they just say, hey, we've got a game, consider looking at it, because then I might go buy it. Like I'm I'm happy for for like for example, I do buy indie games and play them and like say, oh, this this one's cool. I recommend this one or whatever. Mm. But when someone sends me that shit, it's like I don't. No, it's get, just the way. I don't it's want just to the get way people... any sort of favors. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but it's just the way people do business. And if you want it, you can say, "Look, I I will play it." But if it's bad, I will say it's bad. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. It, this, this is one of the things where it's not like it's not like it's morally wrong to take it or something. It's just like I'd rather not. I'd rather totally be separate. Maybe I'll just give the codes away someday or something. An yeah. indie free for all. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Well, oh my god, yeah, we'll set you know, set up that teal deer thing soon because i'm sure like he ripped into me bad man oh that was brutal like i uh, i did my what apology i did my apology video but then he released his video like directly after and it was like a 45 minute video <laughs> you know i i can imagine him working hard on that video and then it's like uh, i'm the apologize do i release the video or do i keep it and then the last 45 minutes he goes like the last like 30 seconds of the 45 minute video goes by the way andy apologized at the <laughs> end of 40 minutes. i'm like oh damage is done it took uh it took a while to, to fall back from that one and then well, that's, some, that's some early pre pre warski stream blood sports <laughs> yeah, a little little preview of what's coming this has pre been uh, uh fun and everything but I, i've got to go finish that video and i kind of want to watch oh when is it out uh, dude Everyone is it, it, like sticking our hands, and we're just it, waiting for it. in like a day or two. You know, the second, third, something like that. But I want to go watch Jim Sterling, the atheist, a little bit, and just take in those videos because that is that is amazing. I I thought you guys were fucking with me. I really did not think that was real. Did you watch the Davis Orini sold review? But I'm going to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if he oh, is he reviewing a katana. No, he's reviewing a, a fucking long sword, and it's like, oh, is it bigger it, than him? Because like, he's not like the tallest dude. I, I, wait, let me let me let me check. Actually, let me let me let me check. Well, hey, Billy, how happy are you that all all the all these streams are exposing so much shit that you that you could talk about slash make videos on? Oh no! After the crowd thing, I'm I'm going back to my normal stuff. No, no, <laughs> you guys no, can I'm, dance I'm, in the I'm flames. Just, I'm going back no, to uh, <laughs> DeviantArt and crazy people. No, I just mean just the the observing. I, I don't mean making videos on. I just mean like just like witnessing the fucking blood sports and the fire. So you you came in here basically, you started a fire, and then you're like, all right, now that it's burning, cool. I'm gonna fucking peace out now. You did this, Jim. It's <laughs> just one big, you know. Praise be to Haberman, the Lord of the twenty four hour ops. There you go. Beautiful. Well, thanks. All right, for take us. it easy. Uh, peace out, bud. Medicare, we need your help. Hello, Mr. Medicare. Medicare. I, I, well, I heard you guys were doing a 56% stream, so I decided to pop on in. How's, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, uh, hey Jim, Jim, I got to ask you a question. Oh. Did, you, did you finally finish my laundry? Andy, I know that you're a kind oh, Canadian. What, what have I walked into? What, what Medicare, I Andy, 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 Medicare. I know that you're a kind Canadian. I'm going to make the call. I'm sorry, Jeremy, you seem like a very kind guy, but I suggest that we kick you. Why? Because you don't, you don't have the it. rhythm. We're trying to make a dance with words here, and you're breaking the rhythm. You're shitting oh. all over the show. Okay, you know what? I'll calm down. How was that? No, no, no. You... you know what I want, Jeremy? I want you back on the show. But I, okay. but I want you kicked tonight. I'm sorry. Can... Let me know when you need me again. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, talk to you again in the future. I mean, we're and trying. if I may go, before we go, before we go, if I may ask one question, is it because I tend to interrupt a bit? 
is yeah kind of, you've interrupted like, in between you every line autism, dude and I then need to get fixed first and we want to talk about me owning the liberalist movement which is what everyone is talking about online and you're like let's move on let's move on i get it it's a joke you're ruining it you're shitting on my flow jeremy you know what i actually i was under the impression you know we you and me and jf uh sorry you jf and i talked about having a debate but i didn't know that so it kind of flipped at the last minute i wasn't very prepared for that i know and it's fine and you're leaving uh with a certain honor because you were not prepared i was telling you that we would find an opponent for you we didn't but we wanted to talk about something else tonight and i'm sorry you are off the rhythm and who would you want to debate i actually wanted to um there was three people um but any one of these three people were kind of optional uh Rush v because i thought he was doing a terrible job on the last debate cool. when uh, when Southern and uh, and uh, Venti was on, I thought it was pretty ridiculous that his way of debating was just saying, I don't want to talk to you. I thought that was pretty stupid. Um, okay. Um, James also, because I think he's a smart guy, but I think we kind of disagree about trade and whatnot. And uh, then, um, who was the last? Um, Richard Vegan Gaines. I wanted to talk to him about Yeah, um, We tried getting these guys. We're going to try in the future. Unfortunately, we had a late cancellation from one of these guys. We were really uh, wanting you against them, but uh, it didn't work. Yeah, and you know what? I do apologize. It was my fault. I guess I was just uh, I was overly excited, and I kind of next time. Next time, okay. Here, I'm gonna give people some advice. Next time you're in here and we're talking about something, don't like oh. I don't go on someone else's show and go no no no. Let's move on from this. Right. We don't Always move on from the main subject of the day. <laughs> We're professional comedians. Look, you we get like paid nice for this guy. shit. You, you like see nice this guy. apple? I own this <laughs> apple. I spent... Uh, what, was, what was that last part? What, what the hell was that with the apple? What, what? I own this apple, Jeremy. I own the entire internet. You know why I can afford to eat this apple? It's because I'm wealthy. I okay? spent $1,300 to make Sargon upset today. <laughs> Well, you know what? I got to give you props on that. That's pretty damn awesome. <laughs> I spent $1,300 to go, because this would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> and now people are trying to sue me. All right, you're Jeremy, we're going to get you on. We're taking a week break. We'll get you back to debate. Hopefully, Rush V with that's what I think would be the most entertaining debate. Let's get yeah. And and then we can actually, then obviously, we could have a subject to be on. Hey, Medicare, I actually like you a lot for what you do, but I figured, you know, you're a bit of a troll. I mean, that's kind of your shtick, so I figured I'd play along. No offense. No, you don't. You don't say I'm going to play along and troll back and then say, I'm just, I'm just goofing. No offense. You got to stick to your guns, champ. Yeah. If you, no, if you start trolling, you need to die as a troll. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, one question. Where did you get the whole um, positive, uh, like the whole gay positive um, article that you <laughs> had online? Oh, that was from a, a multitude of sites. Something Awful has a front page article from back in like 2008 that goes over it. Uh, there are about 13 different websites that focus on that community. And there are live hashtags right now. I'm like, guessing. Uh, pa, uh, like hashtag, like uh, pause pig and shit like that, where they're talking <laughs> about shoving toothbrushes up their ass to get infected with HIV. So it, it's all over the place. It's current. It's it's happening. They want to get the super flu, the super fuck flu, and infect <laughs> the population. Sounds delicious. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'll invite all of you guys to come with me to Elon, and, and Elon Musk and just go to Mars if you like. <laughs> I, I think we've officially uh, we're done with this planet. All right. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, but for right. now, we need to continue our discussion. So, right, Jeremy, guys. thanks bye, for bye. coming. And I'm sorry it turned out this way. We changed no subject, and that's just how it goes. A lot right. of my fault. So, have a good day, you guys. Thank you for at least trying. Thank you. And thanks. I'm sorry for my part. All right. Less coke last uh, for next Wait, time. Okay. Close out of here. How do I close? I don't see my. Yeah, and next time just take oh, one less line. Okay, just one line of cocaine before the show, not <laughs> three or four, whatever you're fucking doing. All right. You mean just don't dive my head down like in Scarface yeah, and just. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just, just a joke. Okay? Okay. I won't do what Jennifer. I won't do what Jennifer Lawrence does to stay skinny. I'll see you guys uh, later. All right, peace. Oh.
What the fuck? Like what the fuck did what? you guys bring me into? I'm what the hell is this? <laughs> Jesus I Christ. can't believe I spent my apple on this guy. JF, what the fuck was that? Nice show, guys. That was... Uh, like, I was like, I'm trying to tell the story of what happened today, Medicare, right? Mm -hmm. And every sentence... He just interrupts me and asks me a question that, and I'm literally in like live going, Oh, fuck <laughs> me with him like there. And he's not, and people in the chat are like, what is going on? We, we have fucking JF going, are you fucking kidding me out loud? And he's just, well, I, I think you've done a YouTube first. That must've been the longest goodbye I've ever heard. That was like five, <laughs> that was like five minutes long of, goodbye like and you know just pull the kind. power plug out yeah just just turn the fucking computer off it's I, done i was enjoying him having him he started sweating at the end you see i feel bad but even before the show started i, I i'm not even joking was fucking weird in the pre-hangout yeah i dm'd i dm'd uh hang on i <laughs> this is what i dm'd fucking jf i wrote yo <laughs> yo uh uh, wait, where is this? Oh, dude, this guy might ruin my flow. Like, this is like <laughs> instantly the first thing. Like, yo, Jay, this guy. And then he just wrote, uh, just kick him if he keeps behaving like this. Uh, kick him for 30 seconds so people see his behavior. <laughs> I told, <laughs> let's at least get this guy on the record. Let's have an archive of what this guy is. <laughs> I want the future anthropologists who look back at humanity to know there were guys like this. <laughs> you, you you to train him like a dog, kick him for 30 seconds to teach him a lesson, like swatting his ass when he pisses on the carpet. It's a bad guest, El Goblino. <laughs> Maybe the going. guy was super like that in the praying out and suddenly we would have gone live and he would be like, hello, my name is Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, so he, wa he wanted to see if maybe, but but you even said on the pre hangout you were getting really frustrated and angry, and you legit went, dude, are you on drugs like for real? Like he was like, because like you you have to, and then he went on this like thing about how he has like like all his past and stuff, and I'm like, and then I wrote while we were like I'm trying to tell the story of what happened about how I own liberalists now. I just wrote, oh my God, OMG to fucking him. And then JF wrote, what the fuck? Go back to college. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote, what do you think? So then, your, your first guest ruined your flow. So why don't you just start from the top? Pretend that everybody <laughs> just walked in. Okay. Just take it from the top and go over your story, Andy. It's a happy occasion. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's supposed to be a fantastic occasion. And, and, and by the way, I will be reading almost all super chats today but real fast real big super chat 50 bucks thank you uh from pencil face saying buying the copyrights to liberal um it's a little sorry uh liberalist ism it's just liberalist is hilarious take my money you madman thank you halsey what up halsey uh he sent 20 bucks do you think if medicare gave ryan dawson some of his anti psycho meds that it would make dawson Less of a fruitcake already starting uh, to. <laughs> don't don't try to pull me into your fight, Halsey. You can go fight yeah. Dawson on your own. He's gonna curb <laughs> Alzin your ass. Is so into it when he's ahead for a debate. He only thinks about this. This yeah. is the Intercontinental Championship, not tag team, buddy. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so and lash land ten bucks. Bring on millennial uh, uh, Matt, and I will read more super chats in a bit. Thank you everyone for supporting. I'm gonna need it after spending. Uh, 1300, 1300 bucks just to upset Sargon of Picard. So here it is. 3,000 people watching. Let's start right here. Yesterday, we had some people on Kumite who were from different liberalist movements, Australia and UK, and they have different principles. So I was like, you can change the principles? He goes, yeah, if you make a branch of liberalist, you can make whatever principles you want but you're just on the base of the liberalist. So while they were talking, I quickly went on Discord and, and made Liberalist Canada. I'll put the link over here. And the entire Liberalist Canada, within two hours, right, Medicare, two hours, I'd say? It was less time than that. I mean, they, they had said that they had 350 people in membership on their Liberalist Discord, which they said was the biggest one there was. And within an hour, you were up into 400, 
I, I mean, you 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 shot past that so quickly because people found it funny and they wanted to trade trap porn as is a liberalist principle. Um, yeah, you you blew right by. And those two guys were uh, two liberalists, one from Australia and I think the other from America, talking that, okay. about how they did their own offshoot groups, right? And they could do their own principles if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, wow, this is amazing. So you're saying that I can, by the way, if you're enjoying this, hit like. A lot of people upset with me today. Uh, as you can see, the dislikes, <laughs> Sargonites aren't very pleased. But yeah, the offshoot, my idea was, how could we make it embarrassing to be a liberalist? So I was like, the tagline is white pride worldwide. And it's about trap porn. So chicks with dicks and hentai, so cartoon porn, and futa, which is cartoon porn with chicks with dicks, and just everything. So the entire, I, I put the link there for, for all of you. The liberalist discord is just pretty much organized porn, as well as the principles of why- I, I love that the, the, the most, if I could just interject. I, I love the fact that you've got like 48 different rooms dedicated to every fucked up kind of porn there is. And <laughs> at the very bottom, there's one room that says, principles <laughs> like, like one guy in there stick a look in at furry cock or something and food of porn is hanging out there to like desensitize himself yes hentai memes a regular porn and we're going to be adding more and the the uh, server if you head on it on general it's just literally non-stop post after post after post just fucking non-stop um, and we're up to, I think, wow, probably somewhere along the lines of 800, 900 members, even bigger than the original liberalists. So today we were just a yapping and who, who brought it? was you, Medicare, right? You're the one who always fucking stirs I, the I'm pot. I'm a good boy. You're acting like I'm the devil whispering on your shoulder. No, I am. I'm a gentleman. I didn't do nothing. Oh, oh okay. Well, I, didn't, I didn't do nothing. Well, someone wink wink intent said does sargon own, own the trademark and i went oh i'm gonna buy the trademark <laughs> and everyone's like you're no way you're gonna do it i literally went live on kumite uh i went on speakerphone and i called chris and went do it and now i have the email we are now in the running for owning the word liberalist and then the threat I, I i smashed my foot up took some pills passed out woke up <laughs> to a bunch of people w wanting to sue me on reddit now i don't know too much about this medicare you were on oh, reddit I, you were I, I about this? if you All want right. me to go over this i mean Please. you're you're leaving a little bit out you're leaving a little bit out just to give a little bit of backstory because the moment the fucking moment that you said i'm gonna go internationally <laughs> trademark the liberalist. I'm on the phone with my Asian, as you put it. Sargon ended his stream, and I can only imagine mentally him huffing and puffing as he runs down the street to a lawyer to say, don't let this fucking Canadian steal this from me. And so it's like there's a race going on between Canada and the UK for the dumbest title on earth to get the ownership of this stupid thing. But yeah, so you, you trade, you're, you're in the process of trademarking it, right? Yeah, and yeah. Sargon and the liberalist, uh, their their subreddits, and I've even seen comments from the Discord and I think the Facebook, are all saying the same thing: We're going to sue Andy Worski. We're going to sue him for trademarking the term liberalist. We're going to take him to court and teach him. This is their wording: We're going to teach him a lesson and bleed him dry, <laughs> and fight for the the honor of the term liberalist. And they're they're all gung ho about this shit. Like they they really want to do it. One guy was like, "I'm a lawyer, and I'll I'll do this for you. I'll file a, fr a frivolous lawsuit uh, to bleed Andy dry, which is real smart, you know, posting that you're a lawyer who's going to file a malicious lawsuit. Really good idea. I'm sure that's not going to backfire anytime soon. But they want they want to take you to court. They want to teach you a lesson for uh, disrespecting the stepfather mm -hmm. and trying to assume the role of the godfather. I I am the godfather now. First of all. I own Sargon, so I, I want him to bend the knee. That was one of the things I want. I want him to bend the knee. I want him to kiss the top of my hand. Just kiss, yeah, you know, I'm going to have a ring here. And he's going to go. And, okay, so he, here's the thing is they want to sue me, right? And their grounds of suing me is that I am uh, committing fraud. 
So essentially what I'm doing is I am trademarking this without owning anything that has the word liberalist in it. Fail. I have the biggest and most active Discord servers with the word liberalist in it. And B, they're going on the grounds that Sargon has been using the word liberalist for a few months now when the word liberalist, as you brought up, Medicare, has been was invented in the 1800s, meaning that no one could use it, only the first person who trademarks it as a corporation, as, as, as a business entity. And we have t-shirts and mugs already on the fucking burner to, to fucking sell because I have to make some money back after being burned a little bit. Well, did but, you see some of the uh, the previous entries under Liberalist when you, when you search it up? Have you seen what pops up as results from like the 1920s and the 1800s? <laughs> no, I didn't. It, it's it's nothing but people shit talking liberalists as being pussies, and the other one is liberalists in the Jewish question. So <laughs> like, <laughs> could you? It's the funniest shit. It's like some weird Bernstein universe shit where they're talking about the JQ on the liberalist platform. It's That's amazing. hilarious. And then we fucking just we just fucking st stole it, Gra not steal it, own it legally first. That's the the real words. He he did, and people are like, and then V. Okay, by the way, two quick, the second fifty bucks. He says my donation for Liberalist Canada. Thank you all for your donations. And fourteen eighty eight from Garm eighty nine fourteen eighty eight. Hail Andy, true leader of the Liberalists. That's what I also said. Uh, me <laughs> as as the leader, I want hell, Andy. All right. Uh, that's that's the way I want to be fucking uh, uh, uh viewed as. And I want to say, V, he was mad at me. I went on his show, right? And he's like, oh, I'm not mad about him. You know, he's just going to make up a new name. He's like, but really, Andy, $1,300 for a troll? When? Then someone else brought this up. Sargon spent $4,000 for a fucking bar night to be like, we are liberalists. Woo! And my liberalists fucking meetups, which I'm planning are going to have strippers, cocaine, and hentai being projected on the walls. Best liberalist meetup it, of all it's time. It's even better than that. Did you see, because you jokingly said, I'm going to invite speakers. I'm going to have uh, Millennial Woes, Mike Enoch, and Richard Spencer. Somebody <laughs> asked Richard Spencer, and he said he would show up and do a speech. <laughs> He's like, Andy's a liberalist now? Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll come and give a speech. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> You've set up the white ethno state under the liberalist name, Andy. Uh, this makes uh, me think about Luke Ford's intro. Uh, there was uh, Frame Games Radio has done a post uh, debate show, and he made an intro where he quotes Luke Ford, who says, and he puts echo in his voice, and there's music, and he says, you know, it takes someone like, someone like Andy Warsky. Hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You know, this frat boy may very well change the course of Western civilization. <laughs> Andy <laughs> saving the West. Correct. I did see that. It, you get everyone saying, "I'm Saint Sebastian. I'm the reincarnation of Saint Sebastian, saving the West and the white." Like, like I, I don't. I, I I honestly and pe people I'm I'm not even joking. All right, here's here's an email. I'm gonna read you all all an email of someone who may not uh, be very happy. Oh look at this! Would you like assistance with your liberalist application? No, thank you. We got Chris on it. He's already fucking. He's smashing it out. Um, the trademark registration for liberalist. Mm, yes. Uh, okay. Here here's one email from a guy who doesn't seem very happy oh shit, where is, 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 is his username quarter pounder is that is, the, is that, <laughs> this is somebody we know i think this guy is hang on was it i oh, hear it is is a uh, holiday hexenhammer holiday hexenhammer okay uh, uh no one can no one can do shit without you having to tear at it because you know warpath warski everything i mean it's been uh kilroy kraut jeff holiday 
Hasbro and now liberalists. I, I, hey, look, when you cross me, the Godfather, this is what happens. So to tear at it, why? Because it's funny. Well, if it's funny to fuck with people in real life, like you're doing, prepare yourself. You could prepare be prepare yourself. Ooh. Prepare yourself. Scary. Ooh. That's scary. JF, are you hiding under your desk yet? It sounds like some serious shit's going down. I'm not. I've personally reviewed this whole case today, and I feel that uh, Andy has a great legal ground to stand on here. Uh, I, I would like to note for the record and for the archives of history that uh, me and Andy had talked about three years ago, I believe. There was a feminist with us. I don't know if it was Lacey, or, but, but we had talked about making a group, and we had studied the possibility of making the group liberalist. Uh, to defend the ideas that today Andy is pushing. So I think that historically you are even more grounded than, than Sargon. Legally, you are now more, more grounded than Sargon. And the people who say they want to sue you, you cannot sue someone for trying to trademark something. Yeah, that makes uh, no can, sense. You can just try to trademark your stuff, but then you will encounter the fact that Andy's request is already on the desk of the offices involved and so well well here here i'll i'll put an offer out for anyone who has 1300 dollars. what you could do is you could challenge me you can go right now to the trademark office trademark try and trademark liberalist and then challenge me but what they're gonna do is they're gonna take both of these things and go okay who has the 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 word liberalist and who has the most pull in the word liberalist? And they're going to see that I have the number one server of all the liberalists and go, well, we're going to grant it to Andy. There is no way you could sue me for trying to trademark something, you fucking retarded retards. You dumbasses. I, I like how, yeah, in the span of an hour, you got more people to join your liberalist server than they've pulled together in a fucking month. Yeah, <laughs> just With, it kind of surprises me to be honest. Yeah, James Damore, fifty bucks. Here's fifty bucks for Andy to adopt Sargon's wife's son. Oh Jesus Lord! Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but uh, I will put that towards the liberalist owning the liberalist. Ben Clark, fourteen eighty eight pounds. Andy, say the fourteen words. Uh, we must secure the existence for liberalists everywhere. Am I right, JF? <laughs> AJ, hey, if you want to help write some principles too, man, you're down. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna make mug. I'm kind of annoyed it. by your regular porn section on your Discord. Mm. Uh, that's not what I would call regular porn. Personally. Oh wait, are they fucking around? Are they putting? Um... <laughs> oh, yo! By the way, okay, if you put any gore shit, you're being blocked. You're being banned, motherfucker. Oh, is that the line? <laughs> yeah, I that's can only the line. go up to dick chicks, but no further. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We want dick chicks. That could work. We could say regular porn is regular. Mm. That would be a principle on our principle page. Yeah, yeah. No, like, like, right. Let's not get uh, too carried away. If we see, okay, and there's someone to put what seems to be some sort of jihad type text here. Don't like. Come on, guys. We're having a we're having some fun with this server. There's some like awesome porn here, and then there's some porn that makes you go, "What the fuck?" And this is why I want the liberalists to be remembered. Like, well, Andy, did you explain to people where all the porn originated from? I mean, you kind of left that detail out of your story about oh, uh, where you forgot. got the nickname Trandy Worski. Oh, tr Day. yeah, yeah, Trandy Worski. Well, what, what was my? Oh, can I just also thank the person? who took my face and put it through one of those turning your face into a female uh you know fucking apps and then putting me on the toronto back pages as a escort server <laughs> that is amazing and then using my real email and promoting the worsky <laughs> live show as a sex <laughs> cam show where him and his gay french co-host blow each other <laughs> that is fucking amazing did somebody really do that someone did that let me look for the email holy and, shit a plus to whoever did that my god that is amazing on toronto back pages hang on let me go. 
Let me find this fucking. Oh my god! Here, uh, here it is. This is an actual newspaper. No, yeah, we have uh, these like it's those websites where you'd find like fucking you know what do you call it? Uh, you know, whore, like whores, basically escorts and whatever. So let me open up this. Let me make sure we don't have anything illegal here. No, we don't have anything illegal to show. Cool, perfect. Uh, let me show you. Uh, my official hang on let me shrink this your official back, back page is my, my it's official... amazing the amount of window that andy has to close when he shows the screen <laughs> <laughs> oh dude there we go transy you'll shoot your loads while i shoot pedos warski 30 my actual age i'm a load of fun with corporate executives just ask around at hasbro <laughs> and he put the little wink with like the three like the i'm very specific about preferences if you aren't white then the exits to the right i am not paused and my irish pimp sinead will not take shit from anyone <laughs> i've got a cam show called warski live where i play around with my girls jenny francisca Jeremy Fuck and this guy and Christina, Asian lady boy Worski, come and play. My prices are very flexible. Lowest rates are one hundred and forty eight dollars and eighty cents. And don't try to hustle me. Hasbro learned the hard way. Why you don't fuck with me? <laughs> that is fantastic, man. That's that they put some work into that. There was actual people put the memes out of this. Or I, I swear to God, I have Chris already working on shirts of all the memes. And I'm like, Chris, there's like, here's more memes. He's like, oh my, I, I'm thinking of putting like, like there's too much happening here. And I thought, JF, you were upset at first because your tone of your tweet, you're like, Andy, are you involved in this? <laughs> like, I, I, was, I was trying to backpedal a bit. I'm like, well, it's just, I'm trying to have some fun. And he goes, no, I love it. We should do more. <laughs> We should do more. We should troll corporations and more things. I'm like, I'm down. I went, I'm like all in. I put all my chips on the table. So JF's all in. So oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's really entertaining. And you know, the funny thing that it really reminds me of is I, I'm sure the audience and you guys are probably familiar with Dick Masterson and the Maddox lawsuit. Yes. And one of the one of the you know grievances listed in there, <laughs> you know, that brought about the lawsuit. Well, there were two things really that kind of parallel what's going on right now. Um, one was that they impersonated Maddox uh, by playing somebody with Down syndrome and using a similar name and then acting like a retard. And then the other was they they paid money to get billboards near where he lived that basically said shit like Maddox is a giant faggot. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, Maddox ends up suing and it, it's just really weird. Like you're poking fun at this, you know, I, I'm going to swing in there and take the liberalist name and then do goofy shit with it for laughs. And there are people that are so ass blasted about that. They want to fucking sue you now. Yeah. Well, Garm even, 93. Then, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say our, our old, our old buddy, a quartering. Uh, and I was like, he, like, he's taking massive shots on Twitter. I brought this up. I'm like, oh, oh quartering. Like, well, and then, uh, you said Medicare, you're just like, dude, this guy's been shitting on you for weeks. Who gives a fuck what he thinks? And I'm like, fair enough. Well, and yeah, he has been. You, you have a real. You, you. I think you take it too much, or you're in that mindset too much. Maybe JF will snap you out of it. But yeah, he's been taking shots at you for like a month, man. Constantly, mm -hmm. consistently. Anytime you make fun of liberalist or you make a Sargon joke, he's instantly on your ass about it. Mm -hmm. Blood sports stuff. He's have, instantly uh, on your ass. We have further confirmation of Andy's leadership in the uh, liberalist movement. Garm93 sends us 50 euros. He says, Michael is greater than Vito, and Andy is greater than Sargon. Kiss the ring of the new godfather. And Gabriel Lopez, 50 bucks. Trendy, made liberalists great again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's the thing is too and Akolos, 20 bucks andy i have no words you are hilarious thanks so much for being such a fun normie like here's the thing is liberalists were being made fun of for for how for what like as long as as it exists uh, i've existed and this is the first time i've been hearing positive things people wanting to join the movement thanks to one person 
Um, well, yeah, Andy, look what you accomplished. In the span of a few hours, you got Richard Spencer to headline a liberalist event. I mean, that is fucking <laughs> remarkable. This is huge. That's huge. Yeah. What if, you've really lined up some people, man. And 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 that's what we were talking about, me and JF. JF and I, we like we have some really big plans for the future, and we're gonna have some fun with this. You know what I mean? I like I I want to make this show like super fucking fun, and I'm sick of you know like for a while you're like you don't want to piss people off. Fine, well, okay, maybe we'll. Now it's like suck it. I fucking took this and made it funny. We all did in the on the Kumite this morning. We were all. I've never laughed. I was crying this morning. I was literally at my at my feet up here, like this, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just crying in tears, as people are literally in the chat saying, "We're going to sue you." Yeah, they were they were angry pretty quickly, uh, and then uh, as the afternoon went on, they started posting around on the different social media platforms about teaching you a lesson uh, lawsuits, which, again, is just dumb uh because they they got upset i i don't know what legal ground a redditor is going to sue you for when they're not even involved directly with it like uh, it's going to be like a, what an amicus brief on sargon's behalf on something he doesn't even have trademarked he didn't come up with and existed <laughs> before he used it yeah that that's that's i don't i don't like they're, they're trying to scare me like i even texted chris i'm like hey do you like like how do you feel he goes fuck he goes fuck them he, he, like his text back was fuck them we own it now like that was Chris's response to me of apprehension. Hey, Chris, do you think that way? Fuck them. We own it now. All right. I went back to sleep. I literally went back to sleep. I'm like, I can't be up right now. Um, and uh, tactical boomer, uh, boomer sim. This has made people happy, by the way. The internet. There, dude, there are people DMing me. Well, I'm not going to say who because we have a big team now. We have Aiden Paladin is our uh, social scientist. Sinatra says is our uh a minister of of, of deportation ghastly <laughs> and ap are our i forgot what they were failure uh, dea drug yeah. enhancement agency yeah drug enhancement they're the one who finds the drugs failure is the is the is the uh, uh administrator of cakes and then tonka is the something about making it a cult or a religion and you're oh yeah the, com you're, the commander of the right-wing death squad andy that's what the, you need to have exactly involved right. in the liberalist movement is a right-wing death squad yeah and we wanted to ask you jf what did you want to be part of the liberalist what did you andy, want i'm so excited could i be minister of propaganda <laughs> <laughs> yo you're on and then oh I'm on, yeah and I'm, I'm with v and i'm telling him V, you 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 could be. Don't be mad at me. You could be my right hand man. I'll put you on the website. It will say it will be, be your picture right there, and it will say liberalists, uh, white pride worldwide. And he was begging me, please don't put me on the banner. And I'm like, this is a fucking an honor for you. He goes, please don't put me beside the words white pride worldwide. That will really upset me, Andy. And I'm like, fine. And then he quit. Because I told him, look, you can't talk to your boss like that. You're my employee. <laughs> yeah, you made it clear that you were in charge now. <laughs> I went on to his show and went, hey, employee, how, how are you? And he was not uh, happy about this. Uh, a real fast, tactical boomerism, 1488. Uh, I don't know what to be more amazed at, the autism of their tongues or the virtuosity of their individualism. Gradually, I became a liberalist. Uh, the uh, uh, Berg, the Berg, the Burgundian, ten dollars. Hey, Andy, if you want another guest, to talk about autism. I work with students at the high school. Love your show. Keep up the laughs. Uh, Omethius, ten bucks. Long live Andy. Uh, Andy's liberalist regime. Vinny S, twenty bucks. We must secure the existence of liberalists uh, and a future for uh, for white traps. That's another platform we're gonna work on. Is the trap no state? Where the seventy five percent traps. And everyone else, so you could drive by, knock on a door. You know, you have yourself chicks with dicks. This is a platform for liberalists that we're going to make. <laughs> it's a good bullet point. Everybody can a, agree on that. Yeah, everyone was like, yeah. Like, there wasn't one person who's like, I don't. I mean, there are a couple people, but they were. They're what JF calls liberalist light. These are yeah. the Sargon. The Sargon, the Sargonites are the liberalist light. 
We, um, uh, Andy, as a new Minister of Propaganda, I would like to make my fir first official action in duty. Okay. I would like to throw an invitation for harmony and agreement between our movement and the liberalist light. There is place for you within our greater movement, V. Sargon. Please join the forces. Let's not split the liberalist. We can work together. You can adhere to our principles, and we agree with your principles. There's no reason why we would split the liberalist movement. Yeah. Join our command. Follow our orders. Submit yourself <laughs> to the new liberalist order. Yeah. And then when we have, oh, this is perfect. By the way, if you're enjoying the stream, remember to hit like, help support. A lot of people angry saying, hashtag salty Andy. I am salty that not everyone is joining the liberalist movement in the way it's supposed to be. We can have the liberalist light, right? We have these big parties, right? It's just strippers and fucking everyone's partying. It's a good time. We have Richard Spencer speaking. It's really crazy. And the liberalist light people are in suits walking around with you know the cocktails and the hors d'oeuvres you know go thanks sargon appreciate that <laughs> they could be the waiters <laughs> yeah they're, 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 gonna be, they're gonna be the waiters and then we can work in harmony you know and then when i go they come and they bring me things or we're, we're, we're in the room we're having a meeting i'll just be like well, your your sales pitch to V was pretty pretty inspiring you said uh i i'm paraphrasing here but you basically told him uh, Sargon, Sargon treats you like a slave. I can see the whip lashings on your back. I'll treat you like a person. <laughs> I don't know how he took it, but uh, he seemed a little confused. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did say that. I did. Uh, I did. I may have. No, I was gonna say I, I crossed the line, but I think I've made my points very clear with where the liberalist movement is now going. Uh, did you find any problem with my pitch to the ex-liberalists? Are you asking me or JF? Uh, you, you watched the me talking to V. Right? Oh, listen, listen, I love a good internet shit show and I love uh, humorous stuff. And if you've reached the point where something you've done on the internet within the span of hours has gotten people to threaten lawsuits, you're fucking doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> really, whatever it is, whatever you've done to make them threaten to sue you in court, you've done a fucking fantastic job. So... That's entertaining to me. Um, yeah, it, it, it's funny. Really, you, you know, it what thirteen hundred bucks, but people are already saying we want to buy merchandise. We're going to help kick in. <laughs> it's, it's a dumb fucking internet joke doing something stupid and funny, and the goof is working because people are really upset about something <laughs> over the dumbest name on the internet. That's the most amazing thing about it. They want to fight for it. You're going to make them fight for it in court. <laughs> What did I? Oh, you know what? And maybe what we could do today as well is we obviously have new liberalists who have joined us today. Maybe we take some calls, see oh, where the yeah. principles should come. Yeah, we should see where these principles should go. You know, we want to make this look. This is number six trending worldwide right now, which just puts more on the case. This is called We Has Liberalists, right? It just puts more on the case. That we are the this is the biggest liberalist stream that's ever happened on the internet right now. Congratulations! <laughs> Somebody you. mark it on the calendar. Andy's yeah. broken another milestone. March thirteenth is now is a, yeah, and we're gonna have like Loki shirts. You ever read Loki? Like this is the the potential for this is 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 fantastic. Uh, while you grab a call here, let me just pound through a few super chats. A smaller so one. for those I'll who want up. to join the show, for the liberalists at home who want to contribute to the movement, join discord.jfg.world. I am in the JFG lounge, but you join the waiting room and I will switch you when I'm ready. Yeah, and we're going to talk specifically about the liberals movement. Um, Aiden, two bucks, 56%. Thank you. William Amiot, two bucks, two bookmarks for you. Make sure you read your Loki. Uh, Queen of Bands, what's going on, Queen? Two bucks. Why did V surpass me, boss? Not fair. Tod McKinley, two bucks, two bucks to help save the West. We liberalists now. Thank you, Tod McKinley. The bastard, two bucks. Talk about South South Africa, also, le, 56%. Finney as five bucks. Canadian white trap ethno state will take the world. Can Harold, five pounds. Hey, Andy, I own the liberalist.co.uk page. You up for buying it to expand your monopoly? I don't buy. You give. 
That's how we roll here. Total sp <laughs> That's the kind of boss I am. Total spills two bucks. Aussie liberalists, please know. Hi, guys. Been a bit GL. No, I, 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 the reason I don't want to buy it is I already spent 1300 bucks to make someone frown for a bit. And goddamn, best 13. Like, V was trying to explain, oh, you could have, you could have saved a, a, a Romanian village. I'm like, a Romanian village, right? Let's put some scales out. A Romanian village or making people go. Andy, Andy, you need to give money to the gypsies. Come on. Yeah. They need that money more. They need money more than your jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting hero, five bucks, traps, a futinari, ethnostate principles. Look at us, Sargon. We are the liberalists now. This is revenge for Kekistan. You ruin Kek, we'll ruin this. Thank you. Someone take that scene from that Tom Hanks movie where the 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 the, the Sri Lankans take over the ship. I am the captain now. That's what I need that meme. And last one for now, wake up. Yo, Marons, five bucks. Hail victory. Hail Warski. All right, guys. Let's see what else. Oh, we have another a big donation here. Yes, Michael McConley, 50 bucks. I'd like to officially purchase my cabinet position as secretary of your interior. Michael, you are now secretary of my interior. Welcome. We now own <laughs> liberal. I I'm excited. I Isn't this the most enthusiasm you've ever heard from a leader? When we heard Sargon go, oh, oh, fine, I'll be the liberalist. I just want to play video games. I don't want to really be the leader, but I will. I want to be the leader. I am the leader. Hail me. I will, dis I will own. I will make everyone proud to be a liberalist. I am going to change the, the entire world. I remember how he had a 20-year plan, two decades? My plan, six months, everything's fixed. Go ahead. Call. That's call what I call it. And the joining leader. us is Bradster Vlad, who adheres to the liberalist values since many years. He's been uh, favoring uh, the Trapno state for at least five years. He's been an oh. activist in the community. And he's been posting his own trap porn on the Discord server oh, regularly. Hi, Bradster. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bradster, Hello, thank guys. you for the trap porn. And thank uh, you. For sorry, yeah. sorry. I mean, uh, Thank you for having me on, uh, God Emperor uh, and the Trap Worski. Uh, all hail. Worski. Yeah, hail Worski. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Remember, everyone who, start, who phones in, start with hail Worski, and then you can say what you're going to say. Thank you. I don't mean to be rude, but go ahead. So what do you think? I hope that... I'm, I'm not upset, very don't scary. worry. I'm not yeah. upset. So, okay, thank you. So part of the principles, do you think I'm doing a good job as the leader? Or I mean, I know, I know I've owned it for only about six hours now seven hours but what do you think how do you think my uh my leadership has changed the world I, i've been loyal for many years now uh, i i would not be otherwise if you haven't been doing a spectacular work uh, i've been buying all of your books all of your merchandise all of your i've been doing all of your readings so i, I, I should actually your, your leadership is absolute i'm gonna write a book I'm going to write a fucking piece of shit garbage book called We Are the Liberalists. It's just, it's just you know, I, I, I've actually written a few like, like, you know, books, like just for fun, short, little, whatever. I will write an actual book on what it means to be a liberalist. Oh, Andy, could it be a picture book with nothing but trap porn in it? <laughs> <laughs> 40 pages of trap porn, We Are the Liberalists, that's all it is. <laughs> Would people buy that? I think people would actually buy that just for the I think people would actually buy the book even if there's no content. <laughs> just blank. No, you need to do like a like a different version of uh, Hitler's book, Mein Kampf or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> just change just change the just change the premise to be like the it's liberalists, called, the Sargonites. It's called Mein Kampf, but it's M I N E. <laughs> yeah, th there's no copyright Mike. on mankind. It's uh, it's uh, old enough, so you can actually right. rewrite the whole thing just by changing oh, a Andy, few words. Oh, Andy, your chat's saying you should call it Mind Trap. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I swear to God, I I needed a big project to work on. I'm fucking down. Oh boy, Mind Trap. Oh my God, <laughs> you sell it for twenty bucks. Oh my God, oh that's good. And I'll I'll sell it okay. on the Internet Blood Sports website, uh, internetbloodsports.net. 
home of the liberalists. Thank nice. you for that. I, I appreciate your your um, your following me and my footsteps. I promise you, I will not let you down. I mean, you could take it even a step further and do it, do something like mind Trump, and then you can include Donald Trump in that somehow. Nah, I think it would. I think it would be. What's the liberalist position on Trump, uh, Andy? Uh, we're so focused on the trap no state that we have no time to even talk about Trump because that's all people are talking about it. And while the liberals and conservatives are yapping and battling over here, we're here making an actual change. So we want them to be busy talking about how Trump is. In fact, Trump winning was my first part of my plan. Because with Trump winning, it made conservatives go rah, rah, and it made liberals go, oh, my God. And they're all fighting over here. Step one, they're fucking now all occupied and worried and talking about while we're here and no one's looking over here. And now look, number one Discord, number six trending worldwide. I'm writing a book. People are donating. People are helping out. Sargon, I did more in six hours than you did in three months. <laughs> this is what you, this is what you get for embarrassing me on the baked Alaska stream. I'm, co I'm I, coming for you. I'm I, coming I'm for you. Jeff. Embarrass you. Well, he was like, "Oh, Andy, you're being fucking. I'll do the thing when I want to do it. Well, I'll steal your. I'll I'll purchase your <laughs> trademark before you even trademark it. Before you even think about it." Oh, I don't know if I want to be the leader. I know I want to be the leader. Hey, Chris, fucking get that done. <laughs> I like the fact that you're the type of dude that somebody cracks a joke about, and like seven months later, you're standing in their backyard tapping on their window with a pipe in your hand. Like, you remember that joke you made, motherfucker? It's payback time. <laughs> Liberalism is here, bitch. Open the door. Did you not, did anyone not see this coming? Oh, can show hit number one, right? Trending. New co-host. Oh, oh, it's trending number five. New fucking background with light up sign. New camera. Leader of the free world. I like the uh, color choice you have in the background, too. It really fits the motif of what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really... Yes. You got the aesthetics. Oh, I need a flag. Someone... Oh, actually, someone emailed me. I have the flag for, for, for your thing. People are the art. All the art is welcome. We have a lot of uh, of art already. Let's check out this flag. I'm right flag. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. New liberalist flag idea. Oh, I don't know if I could even legally show this. Are there a lot of dicks involved? There's one dick, but oh. <laughs> imagine oh. imagine the Japanese flag but inverted, so the red's on the outside and the white is in the middle. And it's a silhouette of a trap. Oh, I know the picture you're talking about. I, yeah, I've and, actually seen this. Yeah, yeah. She's doing the, the, the Hail Hitler sign, and there's just a giant silhouette of a cock. Trap no state. Thank you Ooh. for that. We, we, but we need a flag that's more PG-friendly. We are working a lot <laughs> YouTube guidelines. Everyone, thank you for this. Thank you for the donations. All right. Do we take another call? But like, what do we do here, people? Well, wait. Like, uh, before you take another call, can I ask you a question about your principles? There's one important one I think you really need to nail down because people have brought it up. Medicare, you're the fucking, you're my right wing uh, death squad guy. So yeah, I'll ask you. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, Prince of Moose uh, let the cat out of the bag, or Prince of Queens let the cat out of the bag by telling oh. everybody about the Coach Coin currency. So, is Coach Coin going to be the legally recognized currency of the Liberalist International Party? <laughs> yes, it will. I'm going to write that down <laughs> so I remember. <laughs> Coach Coin. So Coach Coin, if people don't know, you see how we're getting a lot of donations right now. Now, people think, oh, my God, there's just random people donating to this fucking liberalist and Andy and Tonk and all these live streamers. No, the fucking Coach Red Pill has thousands and thousands of dollars and actually makes it his own coin. He mines his own coin and gets bots to actually donate to us. So everyone that you see donating isn't even a real person. That's all coach. They that's all coach red pill donating all, coach coins. That's all coach red pill donating the, oh my, I can't believe this is how, I, I'm proud. I'm just excited. I'm just proud. 
I'm sorry if I'm just a little bit more energetic than usual. I'm just happy that I can make you all happy, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> See, Coach paid Boober Lee. Like, she's being paid just you, trap coin. We'll work on trap coin. Uh, look, I'm Coach <laughs> Red Pill. I'm Coach Red Pill. The chat knows. It's just all Coach Red Pill. 4,800 4, 4, people watching from Coach Red Pill's account. Thank you, everyone, very much. Uh, someone says, this is so cringe. What is being leader of the free world fucking cringe? Anyway, how, how could you say saving the West is cringy? Come on, he's activizing. That this is the most active. Okay, we were asking, hey, uh, Sargon, when are you gonna, you know, show some activism? He heads to a bar. Oh, hey guys, me, I got already a cabinet, a fucking right wing death squad. A minister of, of deportation, the DEA, the drug enhancement. Oper we have fucking, we have JF over you again. Oh, yeah, the minister of propaganda. We have a cabinet. Does he have a cabinet? No, he has V, right hand man, who I invited to be part of this movement. And now it's happening. Yeah, the trappening. That's a good one, too. My Ferrer, I have a question concerning the policy for propaganda. Oh, Are we okay with a Minecraft server directed at children <laughs> to get them used to the idea of uh, the trap no state? No, we might have to. You know what? I, I still want to keep. I still want to keep. You know, the children innocent, right? But the moment that you're 18, you open up your fucking you. Your 18th birthday present. Full the machine. I'm sorry. Full propaganda machine starting at 18. You, you, yeah, you get the mind trap book with some coach coin to donate to us at age 18, and boom, first dick in the face. Just All nothing right. but tranny cocks, huh? I don't want one male cock there. Just tranny cocks. Uh, it's beautiful, everyone. This is this is. Oh boy. Uh do we have any other uh Ometheus 10 bucks long live uh anti liberal regime or oh, that one already um American okay let's read any new one. Oh it's Joaquim Hawk who I met before ten dollars Hale Worski sex change we can believe in can I be the minister of Jewish affairs? Done. You are now the minister. See that that's how easy I let people just join. It's a this is an inclusive uh, except for certain kinds of people, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Uh, X is zero, $10. <laughs> what, 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 what did I say? Andy, are you saying there's a no dinosaur policy? With, uh, uh, no, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say that. What, my, hang, hang on, my headphones aren't working. One sec. Oh, technical know. difficulties. Nice <laughs> save. Nice <laughs> save, buddy. No, no. <laughs> X is zero, $10. Andy, I fucked with you about the King Carl, but this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. It's not. I'm not. Do, I'm. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. Is there another caller? Yes, and the joining us is Mr. Maga. He's a local activist for a local community liberalist group. He's been working on our cause for five years now. I remember <laughs> that our liberalist movement is very different from liberalist light, and that people like him, who are local activists, cannot redo the principles. They just follow our orders, unlike the liberalist light movement, which lets anyone start a discord and take over their movement. Hello, Mr. Maga. Hi there. Uh, hello, Andy. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for remembering. And by the <laughs> yeah, way, it's we, true. We, I think we have an actual liberalist who wants to hop on for a minute. Maybe we'll invite him in. Uh, and by actual, I mean ex-liberalist. Go ahead. Liberalist light. Liberalist light. Garbage. <laughs> Yeah, liberalist light, which is, like, but every time you say liberalist light, it has to be like this. <laughs> liberalist <laughs> light. Oh. That's how you have to say it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it's true. I have been an activist for many, many years. Here, I have a a tattoo of Andy on my dick, and I am growing out my boobs. It's okay. been uh, it's been a hard transition, and you'd really take a pounding. But we really uh, we really appreciate you doing everything you can for the Trapno State. See, this is I like this enthusiasm, and and I know you said five years you've been doing this. And a lot of people have been saying five years. It's because and people people are like, but I thought you just trademarked it today. I've been working on this since fucking eight years ago, secretly, secretly, and I've just released it like today. That's why people have been part of the cause. I've been keeping it under wraps, and today is the day. 
Uh, I just have to fucking trademark it. I needed some super chat money to, to fucking trademark it. People go, you could spend that 1300 on way better things. What's better than saving the fucking world? Try me, you fucks. <laughs> Try me. That's not true. I'm going to invite this uh, these ex, this liberalist white in here. He's saying my push will fail. It's the director. You remember the fucking director? Oh, oh yeah, this the guy? director. Yeah. Oh, this guy, yeah, he's not happy. He's not Let's happy. Let's hear some people pull against the official liberalist movement, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, we have down forward punch. 20 bucks says, can the liberalist flag have stars and bars? Also, can I be the minister of Islamophobia? Welcome to the club. Total spills, five bucks. Just saying the Nazi flag has many L's smashed together and the red is black. It's just inverted. Liberalists of peace, GG. Uh, Anemic Crusader, five bucks. Good evening, Godfather Andy. Thank you for the respect there. Uh, make me Pope, my good Godfather. Do it for the meme. Meme. I don't know what you're talking about, meme. <laughs> I will stay, uh, uh, slay all the religious minorities. Okay. I'm not going to say that. But anyway, uh, okay, here's a, a question for Medicur. Uh, Bramble Star, 90, 10, 10 pounds. Question for Medicur and Andy. What are the re requirements? Uh, to become a member of the sweetheart squ squads as i want to join these right-wing death squads we're calling our right-wing death squads sweetie sweetheart squads so it's not well, as you, you can think of it as the ss yes and to get into the ss or the right-wing death squad just generally you're going to need to write a tender-hearted essay uh, outlining your political positions because i've been told that essays on the internet are now the important thing to write rather than mm -hmm. having actual physical conversations yes so exactly. i need a i need at least a five-page essay on mm -hmm. why you want to be a part of the ss there you mm -hmm. go and who taught you about the essays it was the guy about you debating with dr Ryan well, it was Tenet. it was a, yeah the the person that taught me about the essays was a man that plays with puppets so clearly he is the authority on how to do things on the internet yes exactly um Maggie Battles, 50 bucks. Hail Victory, Hail Worski. That's what I want to hear today. Thank you all for the support. Adam Blith, $5. Dear Sagan, I wrote to you, but you still ain't calling. <laughs> I left my cell on my page. I'm at home. All right. Uh, do we have director in here? Worski, uh, I just want to ask you, do you think you're going to get away with this? Do you really think you're going to get away with this use? What do you mean, get away with it? Wait, are you a. Do you think this is the end? Do you think? Do you think you managed to pull on. on over on 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 the liberalist movement, man? I'm not a war. I am the leader of the liberalist movement. I will make it the great. Put on the headphones, director. You yeah, don't dude. even know how to pronounce the word "putch," man. The putch. beer hall putch, and okay. you don't know even how to pronounce the word. Put, and you're gonna you're gonna leave a coup here. And you the can't leader, even pronounce it. Hal Warski, put on headphones. If you want to speak to the, you, you are in the fucking meeting room with the greatest mind. And do you think this is the end? I just want to know. Do you think the God, uh, the, the, uh, pardon me, does the soy father is going to take this standing down, sitting down? <laughs> yeah, he, he sits down when he pees. James, uh, a, a day more, 50 bucks. Andy, I don't want to be in charge of anything, but I can, can I run the ovens and get... And get bleh, gas chambers. I'm too excited here, director. You've thrown me off here. You dis disrespect. Say hail Warski right now. I've muted him because of his echo and feedback. Yeah, that's how it works in the trap no state. You see, he came here and he claims that you don't know how to pronounce it. Push. Anyway, it doesn't matter because there's no push. Andy has not been pushing anyone. Andy has started a movement and there are some copycats out there and uh, we got to get rid of them. Yes, I am sick and tired of people starting these activist groups for three months and doing nothing. When imagine, imagine the president of the United States, right? Sat down, right? He went like this. And then the first thing he says is, you know, I kind of wanted to play video games. I don't even want to do this. What would you all, would you all want that person running America? Or do you I want don't know if I could vote for somebody that wants to, you know, raise somebody else's dinosaurs. Uh, you got me on that one. Thank you. I've had enough of this inactivity and I will stand up for what is right. Okay. Where is your beer, beer hall? I mean, where is, do you even have a beer hall booked? That's what I want to know. Beer. 
we beer hall. In- yeah, Sargon had a beer hall. Do you? This have guy a is beer? obsessed yes. with. This guy is obsessed with pre World War II Germany. What the fuck? Yes, he, we- he wants us to meet in a beer hall in a physical place. We are doing a fucking mass casino in in August in Vegas for the first liberalist meetup. It just somehow managed to work. And this is my first thing. It's not going to be a beer hall. We're going to have strippers. We're going to have traps. We're going to have projectors showing hand tie on the walls. Cocaine. It's going to be snowing there. It's going to look like it's fucking Canada in December. What was that? What did you ask for? Will there be blackjack? It is, is all I is all I want to know. No, it's white Jack. Welcome to the liberalist <laughs> movement. <laughs> <laughs> His ethno state is so pure. There's no blackjack. There's just white jack. <laughs> Breeze Hall and fifteen bucks. I'm here to purchase my position, Secretary of Sobriety, Lucid Minds for Life. Right, JF? You will be banned, Reese. Don't fuck with the liberalist movement. Vlad Roman, like ten bucks. Hell Warski, will you grab me position of Minister of Slav Relations? I will get the best deals for the highest quality track suits that's what i want to hear i want this to look like a fucking grand theft auto 4 fucking uh cut scene up in here secret genius 10 bucks is there a department of video games now there is welcome to the greatest movement ever the liberalist movement where there's the department of video games and someone to develop them bitch Liberalists are going to have video games. We're going to have, it's going to be everything. Look at these people. Orchard, 20 bucks. Tired of shit posting on the internet. Join a self alliance Discord. Are you promoting your Discord on the liberal? You threw 20 bucks. Fine. Share and improve your skills from communities. It's up there. You can click it. It's one of the orange ones from Orchard. Appreciate that. I am mad right now. Director, do you think that we're going to have resistance? Resistance? I thought you were the resistance, man. Do, do you think no, the soy father? I, is gonna I think this? you are the resistance. Do you, do you think the director? soy father is going to take this sitting down? Do, do you think he's just going to let you take over his movement? What is I he going to do? I know you. I, I don't know what you think. Man, take but... over. I own the movement now legally. He doesn't, so he's taking over my movement. Do you think he cares about the law? Have you seen what this man can do? Do you, you think he cares do. about what you own, what you don't own? Who are you what can about? Sargon do? He plays video games all day while we make the future. <laughs> he, he's coming for you. He's coming for you, Andy. You, you, you don't even he's believe coming. your stuff, right? I'm, I'm you don't believe what you're saying. On. He's got his backpack on. He's oh. got his... Uh... <laughs> I can't wait. Come he's get coming. me. He's coming. I hope he's all looped up and ready. <laughs> I hope he's looped up and ready. Because the fucking this... Uh, look, I've never seen more enthusiasm for a political party in my life. Um, Hey, low IQ Andy. Ah, uh, who started a political party? Did you? Sarkhan tried. Didn't even copyright, trademark his fucking thing. I hear him. Oh, I'm gonna just. I don't want to be the leader. Good. Thank you for not trademarking it. I got it. Fuck you. People will remember that moment where Sargon and V was were on my stream, and V launched like laughingly saying, "Maybe I could be the director of the Liberalist." And Sargon just gave up his trademark. He said, "Oh yeah, I wouldn't care if it was you, V. You go for it." So when you demonstrate in public like this, a low attachment to your own trademark, you lose it. There are previous legal cases where companies have not been defending aggressively enough their trademark, and it's given to the other who's who's defending it more aggressively. And there's V too. Yeah. No, I want... You're forgetting about V, for fuck's sake. V's, I mean, V doesn't have a Discord of liberalists. V doesn't own a liberalist website. We do. He's the king of the liberalists. He already abdicated. He quit. He he recognized Andy's authority earlier today and said he's he's done. He bows down. No, no, no. Come on, that's a ruse. V's too smart for that kind of shit. Jeff Holiday, Crow, (laughs) Kilroy, liberalists. I own this. All you motherfuckers constantly own. Oh, the fucking internet blood sports is the worst thing ever that happened on the internet. Oh, now we own you. Come get me next. Who is next? Oh, 5,000 people watching. 
there's going to be fucking hundreds of thousands of people marching with me at, at the same pace. <laughs> We're going to the fucking party. <laughs> You're going to have Hell March oh. playing in the background as you march through the streets? Oh, dude. Give me trumpets and shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Will there be a uniform? Is there a uniform? Oh, my God. They're dark grayish black. There's a little bit of red is on them. Is it going to be Hugo Boss, Andy? Of course, Hugo Boss is going to yeah. come up in the outfits. Yeah. Yes. And then we have That's Volkswagens driving on the side. I'm warming up to your idea here. They, Hugo I, Boss. I huh? We have Panzers. They're going to be there, too. You know, pants, P- the Panzers, the Panzers. Yeah, and we're gonna have <laughs> Volkswagen driving alongside with flags and shit. It's gonna be fucking so epic. You're gonna be, oh my god. And the boots? Will we have the boots? Oh the yeah, movie? Dockers all day, all night. Oh, this is I looking very. Really fun. stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, we have Rob Plexes, fifty bucks. Can I have Commander of? Global Homo Zionist. I didn't even think of that. That's a fucking great spot. Global, yeah, you 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 own it. Global Homo Zionist. My girlfriend's probably like, "What the fuck's happening in that room right now?" Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that's what we're gonna. Yeah, do. not not that I think about it. I mean, V hasn't had a haircut in like what six years or something. He wears the same shirt, and you guys are going to have these uniforms with the boots and the pants. Well, pants Director, are... you, you missed it. I mean, V didn't even go to Sargon's event, but V said he wanted to fly out to Las Vegas to attend Andy's. But don't you know that's his how charis- I mean, That's I how mean... charismatic he is. He's going to show up in Vegas to come to the Richard Spencer speech hosted by the liberalists at the with Cocaine Mike Palace. <laughs> yeah, Cocaine Palace. Look, may I, I'm going to give you all just w- like one thing to think about. All right. We have people making fun of liberalists when Sargon was trying to start it. I don't want to be a little but maybe I'll, everyone's making fun of it, right? Low amount of people watching on live shows, low amount of people talking on their di- fucking discords. We hold our first liberalist meeting here on Warski Live. 5,000 watching, six trending, first person to jump on and defend Sargon within 10 minutes is now a fucking liberalist Welcome, director. What do you say? Well, I I uh, I, I realized that uh, Sargon is not really the, the future of the white race, mm-hmm. and that the only way we could uh, we could see our uh, save the West, save the West really is to follow your twenty year plan. I mean, what is your twenty year plan, Andy? If you could elaborate right now, I'm sure uh, there is. <laughs> I'm sure I don't have a twenty year plan, bitch. It's six months. I'm Six gonna be. I, I'm. I'm flying to LA tomorrow. We're gonna go to, uh, down the streets of Compton with Asian Andy while people donate and send money with things going off in the background. Right? Pretty dangerous, but this is part of my my thing. Yeah, like on the, the Joker pl- in the Batman movie. Yeah, yeah. E- exactly. So I'm gonna be on the plane on the way there. On the way back, I'll be in the hotel. I'm gonna be partying a little bit. I'm gonna have a lot of time, and I'm gonna be writing. Mind Trap, which is the book and also the principles. We're going to have it crazy. We have the website, internetbloodsports.net, home of the liberalist, white pride worldwide. This is, I'm probably not going to be allowed in the UK after this stream. Fair enough. You're going to be uh, blocked at the border of France. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to even even try here. Have can, to I say, be, uh, can I be chief of the Space Force? Done! There we go. Oh, yeah. See? Look, We've got about forty people fucking running this thing. This is this is a group effort, but, but minus with me being the fucking leader. Uh, let's look real fast. Exile postman, twenty five bucks. And he already made his thirteen hundred back. And he say, "Fuck yeah, Garm ninety three fifty euro." I call dibs on shekel minister. That's a great one, Garm. You are the shekel minister. Uh, we got Clayton Bigsby, ten dollars. Buy my position on land acquisition. I love all these parts. Keep the momentum going. I will be rewatching the stream and writing these all down. Be part of mine trap. We're gonna do this. Pie mo twenty euro of uh, uh, pounds. The trap no state needs a secret police force. The Goya, the, the, sorry, the Goy Stoppo. And I volunteer myself for position as director. Hell Worski, Stan Jarvis, twenty bucks. I like to head up the eugenics program. 
we'll discuss that in the future. Uh, I don't know if that's good for day one discussion. Gabriel, oh my God, the money does not stop coming in. Gabriel Barker, 10 bucks. Thank you uh, for a pure gold day. Pure gold, this is the future. Don't make it like a meme. This is not a joke. Uh, Ocom's router, 20 bucks. Hail Andy, by your grace, sir, may I please be granted the position Secretary of Female Interiors. Thank you for the consideration. Boom, bitch, you are part of the female interiors and then joshua schmidt 50 bucks securing my rank as the uber group in fear of texas and the south welcome welcome aboard vlad no, no. how the fuck did you do that how did you pronounce oh, i can't even say it open group in fear you said that perfectly and then you stuttered on <laughs> <laughs> what did you fucking pull that out here? i i don't know I'm 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 receiving energy. Uh, yes, Baron S. Thompson for the five bucks. You can join the Sweetie squ Squad. I posted my heartfelt essay about my individualism on the Discord, but probably buried up all the trap porn. We'll try and make some separate things so you could write your essays to be part of mine. Trump, Vlad Romanek, ten bucks, and the I nominate the last of the Rhodesians uh, to be Minister of Race Mixing. He's the most deserving and will bring the cream of the crop from Wakanda and Nipton to serve your trap. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, guys, I am excited. What do you think? I think this is fantastic, and I'm I'm loving every second of it. And yeah. I, I like the energy. I like the fucking energy, Andy. You got that energy that somebody wants to get shit done. Did you? Did you guys? Born leader. Born leader. Bo born. born fucking leader. Nigga, I am the leader. Okay, everyone. Did you all? If you will. If you will. Did, did anyone? Even if you're a Sargonite fan and a an liberal light, or, or I'm sorry, liberalist light, if you're a liberalist light, did you see any energy, whether you like this or not, come from anyone else, from any political party, from even the conservatives, the fucking anyone from the but original there liberals? There weren't even any hookers at that beer hall. Bitch, I, mean, I was like, where are the lines? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> When I think about it now, it's, it's like it's like Las Vegas compared to like, like this little beer hall in Berlin. In, in where was it? <laughs> London. Look, BJ, think fucking tingle through fifty bucks. Can I be attorney general? Welcome to the trap no state. I get fucked by knee chance and aqua <laughs> sands through the dicks every night until my asshole bleeds. Ten bucks. I will offer to be the liberalist warden of convict land australia welcome bran Harmon, 20 bucks can i be commander of the workers camp hell Warsky, a little bit controversial but welcome to the <laughs> club everyone this is what we are creating we are creating a future for the trap no state a future for liberalists everywhere and i have not seen this much support from anyone ever in the entire world. Oh, Andy, this meme is going a little bit too far. Fuck your memes. I am going. There's going to be books. There's going to be meetings. There is. We are already bigger than the original liberalists. And I have a way smaller subscri subscriber count than Sargon. Took you. Took you six hours. Six, maybe seven now. But you know what? I'll give him that. Seven hours. Fine. Took me seven. Whole hours took you what three months and you didn't even own you didn't even own it. Gingy Burke this 1488. I volunteer for Mormon relations. Uh, we are experts in combat, hell traps. Ray Edwards, 10 bucks. Hail Andy. May I be a director of science and trap and trapnology? Fuck yeah. Um I I I I think the, the amount of donations are coming in. You want to why? Because people are excited for the trap no states. Okay, we have a book. We need a fucking documentary. I have to hire Gasly and fucking AP. I'm gonna hire them to be the fucking people who make the documentary of the liberalist movement. <laughs> They're great at doing that shit. We're gonna have documentary. We're gonna have a book. What else do we have? We need posters, Andy, mugs. Uh I will take my second action as Minister of Propaganda. I have ordered a flute-only hymn to be composed for the Trapno State. Okay. By an expert flautist. Let's hear it. <laughs> no, no, he cannot join us today, but he will be working on it, and we will have our flute hymn. However, joining us on the call, V. Oh, oh uh, hell, Andy. 
<laughs> That's right. That's right. I, uh, of course, I want to start by uh, bending the knee and kissing the ring because I know that you are the true leader of the liberalists, Andy. Thank you and very much. If, if you don't, uh, v, v, v. If you don't agree with you. Hey, uh, what changed your mind? Though? What okay. changed your mind from this morning? Uh, I just realized the momentum that you have, and I don't want to be backing a loser anymore. I want to be uh, behind the real man, you know? And uh, you are clearly that. You sound a little Italian there, V. <laughs> hell, hell, well, no, I, I'm hell truly victory. sorry. I'm, I've been drinking a little, but uh, <laughs> when, why, the reason I came here is I want to formally and humbly ask for uh, the, uh, the director of fetishes. I think I can do a great job in the art of fetish. V, welcome aboard. What do you say, director of propaganda and director of the sweetie boy uh, fucking... Sweetie <laughs> boy, boy, the assassin. You can yes. say the assassin. Yes, I think it is fine as long as any publication that includes fetishes must be approved by me first. Oh, yes. absolutely. And the thing is, I, I want to put all my cards on the table here. Uh, I, of course, I personally want to start a war initiative and maybe a furry initiative. I don't know. But I understand my loyalty to the party and I will be uh, heading uh, all the feminine penis inspections uh, from here on <laughs> out. I will make sure that they are the highest of femininity mm -hmm. in the penis. We need big, I propose that big... uh, we here uh, first get haircut and new shirt before he allowed in the new. And look brand. at look at your leadership. I mean, V has gone from Romanian to fucking Italian. <laughs> He's turned into Giuseppe to fit in better with. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to see. This is what my leadership. People were doubting. He's me. already more to the west than he was. I mean, yeah. he's moving quickly. Dude, dude, people were doubting me from day fucking one, and you know what? I had to step up. I can't just sit here. Thank you very much, V. Or should I say, you're welcome for you <laughs> now opening your eyes to the Trap No State Hellwarski Mind Trap. We, I, I, I really appreciate it. And you can be uh, the Minister of Fetishes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, dear leader. I love you. I I'll love live you. forever, please. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Access zero, 20 bucks. I'd like to be the storm Fuhrer of bleached assholes and circumcised penises. Any objections, brothers? No objections there. Breaker, 20 bucks. I want to be the minister of memeology. Hail Andy, hail liberalism. It, I appreciate that, guys. This is the future. You are sitting in the future. I really hope that there's someone who has no idea what's happening right now who just like clicks onto the stream. They stumble <laughs> on it and think it's gone full, full 1488. They're like, holy shit. <laughs> First Hasbro and now a fucking ethno state initiative. <laughs> Poor Andy went down the wrong road. He's hanging out with a bad crowd. And you're being manipulated by Billy, I think. This, this is all Billy's idea, isn't it? It's, it's part of my 24 hour office to turn him into the next Adolf Hitler. And it's off. working like a charm. No, yeah. 20 year off. A, a caco ao 10 bucks registering for overlord of hentai department hell welcome we need more people on the hentai department and he who flings pud 10 bucks i am military any field marshal positions open in the trap no states trap no fear hail andy yes they are welcome to the trap no state no look you just threw a little suggestion out there you were like hey hey andy you know sargon hasn't took the liberalist trademark and i was thinking i've been upset that there's been no progression no moves no no leadership and i have my own my own viewpoints on how this world should be run and welcome to true leadership that's it's right about, it's about fucking time I, what? Name me one other person in the past few years that you've seen with this type of enthusiasm. Ding, 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 nothing. I know exactly. I, I hope your minister of propaganda is writing this down so he can he can put it into a, a you know a text form for people to read these speeches to be handed <laughs> out at events. I'm gonna be putting it in the book. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Dyslexia. I have ten bucks. I'll develop Libcoin for liberalist cryptocurrency. No, it's Coachcoin. Uh, that will be the official currency of the trap. No state. Eric Carter, ten bucks. Lord Worski. Lord Jerpy. Can I be director of the Nanity Distribution? You are. Um, now let's let's all throw in some you know fucking uh, theories now. 
how do you think Sargon, the ex-leader of the liberalists, will react to my speech today? I think Personally, he's just going to play. Think... Oh, I'm sorry. I think he's just oh. going to play a lot of Ark. That's what I think he's going to do. He's going to go play a couple hundred hours of Ark. Okay. Okay. I think his reaction will be the same as the one he did with V, which is say, "Oh, well, someone else wants to be the leader. Ah, oh, go ahead." <laughs> With all due respect, I think you're underestimating the uh, the soy father. Uh, he will be going on with full with, with, with guns blazing. I mean, uh -oh. he, he may even make a video about this. Uh oh. He, he will make a video about this, and he uh -oh. will uh, he will make fun of you, Andy. I think he'll make fun of you. Are you prepared? No to one makes fun of the fucking leader. Look, okay, SS lead. Hey, fucking leader of the SS. You there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Andy, you might want to drop the right hand there. Okay, I'll do <laughs> no, that. I think it's good. I'll do just to keep, just do to keep it in, in, in compatibility with Canadian law. Okay, we, look, we need we need a fucking war plan. This is a dry erase marker. Okay, let me make sure. Can we? Can we? We? I'm sorry, I'm wearing pajamas right now, but we need. Uh, well, here, here, Andy, I'll give you the war plan. Are you ready? No, no, here. What? Okay, month one, day one, make fun of retards and steal their stupid word. Is that it? <laughs> He's writing it? No, 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 no. Now go to month six, day one, and just write win. <laughs> That's your fucking battle plan, buddy. Uh, I'm already make, tired make of winning. Put a retard, steal their dumb word, and then win. When history looks back at this, we will know that the plan was laid out on this whiteboard. Yeah, the whiteboard. In, in Get it? <laughs> Andy joining us. Uh, I don't know what's the state of the meat industry in the Trapno state, but we have Saint of Bacon. Hello, Saint of Bacon. We have, we have a lot of discussions uh, about this, about how this fucking Trapno state's going to work. Go ahead, Saint of Bacon. Bacon. First of all, first and foremost, hail to you, sir, Andy. Thank, Thank you, you for the great and, uh, honorable service you're doing for the liberalist movement. Uh, first time caller, long time trap fan. Uh, this is actually a question for both you and uh, Jim. Uh, it's uh, as a representative of the Germanic tribe of the JFG Discord channel. We really have a question for the Sweetie Squad, uh, and it stands on uh, pillage, plunder, and rape uh, in the name of the trap race. Oh, ah. mm. tough question. Mm. Cuts to the quick. Because this is like a, a deal or no deal for for us in the Germanic uh, in the oh, Germanic boy. tribe. Okay, the Nordic delegation is uh, means business. May you re ask you that question? A bit? Are yeah, you it's... asking whether the, a rape should be justified for advancing the trap race? Um, maybe not rape to an entirety. There are some of my colleagues that were wondering about it. I had to ask for them. Oh, oh, well, Andy laid out his battle plan. If you'd like me to answer that question for you, yeah, uh, yeah, if you could be so kind, uh, oh, well, well yeah, a actually, Andy believes in the be, uh, who would be the leader of a uh, well, yeah, Andy believes in the doctrine of total warfare. So feel free to do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. He's he's behind no, it 100%. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, second, uh, and this is just before I leave here, uh, I was wondering if uh, in this this new state, if I may govern over all pork products. Pork products. And oh, yeah. do we have someone on this? No, we don't. Uh, now, now we do. Okay, now cool. We that's do. that's, that's all I want. Thank you. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Thank you. Bye bye. Look, look, look at this. In one day, almost every position and positions I've never heard of are almost <laughs> filled out. Um we as pork industry, we as propaganda, we have a book on the way. We have a plan. This leadership, look, I don't want to be cocky at all, but I am probably one of the best people on YouTube today. That started... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I am uh, the humblest person you will ever fucking meet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, not I'm not trying to sound cocky, but you're welcome, everyone, for me ex existing right now. Where else are you going to get this? Leader... Funny, you know. All right, Amu, ten bucks worth air. Don Tolton, Craig. 
uh step in throat 20 bucks i would love to be head janitor boom head janitor i didn't even think of that we're gonna have fucking come all over the floors from the trap no state a lot of the cockies happening not a great position <laughs> but someone has to do it that is a great position everyone will be treated equally not in in payment obviously we're not communists here in the trap no state you will be respected though uh the the one and only brought 10 bucks andy could i be the first living saint and paragon to liberal uh, liberal tis liberal t liberalistism it's liberalist just liberalist i am the first saint i am saint sebastian's reincarnation saint warski hail warski you can be the second though that's totally fine um i don't know uh meggy battles uh 20 bucks i volunteer for minister of memic mysticism don ben cooper 10 bucks when are you going to trademark kekistan kekistan is dead do i kekistan has been militarily invaded by the trap no state it fell it's ours and it has a new name do i fucking trademark my Andy, shit? I, I mean god you you could you could trademark kekistan and then give it a summary execution by lighting a frog on fire or something <laughs> Take a Kermit the Frog puppet and just fucking launch him into space. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 boy. Uh, I would be glad to facilitate that as director of uh, weapons research and development. It'll be my pleasure to facilitate the launching of the, of the frog, of the ceremonial frog launch. You know which what? Which will uh, signal the <laughs> finalization of the putsch. Hey, director, I like how you turned really quick on this one. Um, hang on. We got... Uh, uh samuel five two seven five dollars andy and everyone help me my friend carlos won't stop sending me scat porn he won't stop and it makes me uncomfortable the trap no state will help you that's what we're here for and look i want to say one thing um we are the future thank you oh here we go we have a minister of philosophy uh smug dio jeans ten dollars hail andy may i be minister of Diazine. philosophy God damn it. hey uh, uh, go, did you yeah, just... go read some Loki, director. <laughs> Don't interrupt you, the leader. Yeah, did you just insult me? <laughs> I, uh, no, no, god damn it. Uh, the, did you insult the fucking leader? Uh, it, 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 it was my, my, my grandma. She, uh, she was sick and, and she, she was on the I will and, you. If you and I had to I... try one more time to fucking correct <laughs> my speech. Literally Satan, ten dollars, dear God, Emperor Andy, the Trap King Warsi. Can I be head of the Ministry of Trap Conversion? And all those who don't comply will, will be sent to the right wing death squad, aka Mr. Medicare, for their punishment. Sweetie boy salutes, SS. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sweetie boy salutes. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Trent, <laughs> Trent and Keith, ten dollars. Ask Jim if he understands what it costs to run a live event yet. For an intellectual, he is quite stupid. Trent. Oh. That's, 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 her that's a serious challenge. That's that's a serious accusation. Maybe not hold a live event at an upscale fucking bar that costs four thousand dollars. Maybe go to a, a park, spend a hundred dollars, and get some fucking hot dogs. I don't know. That's a thought. That's a fucking thought. <laughs> Oof. Bring a frisbee. Doesn't cost any money. Yeah, we got uh, T Cat ten dollars. Glad to see the four white nigger horsemen of the liberalist apocalypse are bringing out the new age of YouTube tube science. That's what we do here. We are going to be inclusive to everyone. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm sure you could all, is there not another caller? This is fucking beautiful. Sargon, yes, take so notes, you. take notes for your next thing. By the way, Joining I'm, us is autistic phenotype. Hello, autistic phenotype. Yes. Hi, it is me crowd. And I just wanted to say, Andy, no crowd. the light in your trap no state. I I'm would sorry? like to be a member of it. It's crowd. Crowd wants to be a member of the. Fuck you, crowd. Yes, and I was what wondering. What do you want to do? I I need I need your. First of all, you didn't even start out with Hale Warski. That is the first fucking thing you do. You disrespectful cunt. Go say it. My apologies, Worski. Hail the legendary Worski. Fucking. I shall no longer be a slave to Anglican Merkel's strap on. Hail Worski. I, I feel better now. Go ahead. What, right, what did you ask? Oh, uh, what department would be suitable for a cuck like me, Worski? You could be. <laughs> <laughs> you could head be. Head of split uh, cock research. Head of split cock research. <laughs> Yes, yes. Your Will first... you be able to clamp my nipples together oh. in the trapless state? 
the trap no state there is there is fucking fucking neon lights there's strobe lights there's there's it's snowing just coke there's alcohol there's bitches there's traps and now for you there are nipple clamps even my arch nemesis of january the first war path that i went on is welcome to the liberalists that's how fucking nice i am hail warski everyone hail warski in the chat hail warski and you have me sold i want fucking... to be a member of the liberalist movement yeah oh also everyone go to walmart and buy those non-slip shoes you know the ones you'd buy if you're gonna work out fucking mcdonald's or something because there's gonna be a lot of cum everywhere isn't that right jf uh come i was not i was not informed of the state of cum in the trapped no state so you're just like in the club in in the meetings you know i mean you know yeah only there not in right i will make sure that our propaganda material reflects this reality (laughs) <laughs> yes so non slip i'm gonna write this down for the book i i'm gonna I, i'm going i know you're all like oh and he's fucking whatever i'm gonna write an actual book non slip after all tj kirk had a book i think so you should have one. <laughs> oh, by the way tj <laughs> motherfucking kirk disrespected the trap no state the other day go ahead jay really? tell him well are we talking about the video where he uh he imitated blood sports mm-hmm. little and- did he know that the leader of the future would be part of that yeah i think he was not informed at that time maybe today he would bow down he did he he did write a formal apology to me really on, on my dms yes he did Nice. I'm not I, know, I, I, I heard he had to go to, to the chiropractor for some back injury. Would you know anything about that, Andy? I mean, uh, no, he, I oh. don't know anything about that. Uh, I've been busy. I get you. <laughs> Accidents happen. I've been working on stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hey, you slip, you hurt your back. Whoopsie fucking daisy. Don't fuck with Warski. Angry 200 sec. Hail Andy. I used to believe in liberalism, but uh, was weak and low energy before Andy came into power. I want to hand you my formal application for the position of Ministry of Segregation out of trust for this new leadership. Welcome. Do you see? I just heard jokes. I heard people shitting on liberalists. I had people, and now we have fucking people in line knocking. Can I be part? No, unless you say hail victory, hail Warski. Thank you, everyone, for joining the liberalist movement. I'm I'm excited. Do we have any other callers? Any other voice? And look, I know your voices are shaky. You're 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 scared to talk to me. I'm a nice guy sometimes. If you're nice to me, or I will buy your corporation, or Hasbro it. Either or. There's no in the middle. There's no in between. There's no maybe I'll no. It's I I own you or I destroy you. Go ahead next. I think all the callers have bowed out uh, uh, due, to, due, to your, due to your uh, uh, presence. They can't handle it. It's too much for them. Oh, we've got a mind Trump. Mind all Trump. Right, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you go on to that. We have a mind Trump cover. All right, this is just prototype, okay? Mind Trump. All right, let me put the here. Okay, it's only only the <laughs> the temporary. All right, there we go. <laughs> that's 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 pretty <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> is that by is that by Trandy Worski? <laughs> 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 you, you can make a million dollar with this cover. Yo, I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, this book is gonna be you can amazing. a millionaire. You just put any words in this book, people will just buy it. Yeah, yo, I'm. I mean, it's gonna be uh, f- uh, filled with with the plan, the the memes, traps, bro. This is gonna be number one New York best time seller, and they're gonna be like, "What the fuck? What is this?" Every other book, they're gonna go. Don't need it. You're, All right, you're joining us. Oh, fuck. 
I need a book. I'm going to spit on a book, a random book that I find. Go ahead. Joining us right now, we have Raz. Hello, Raz. What's up, guys? Ahem. I just want to Ahem. ask for a position Ahem. in this finite world. Ahem. Hey, Warski. Hey, Warski. Go ahead Warsky. next. The glorious leader of the liberalists. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I just want a position in the spy network of the liberalists because since my my great leader was he's Portuguese, I feel like he would want a Brazilian running the spy networks. That's what we I'm fucking sure. need. I didn't even think of that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are, are, are you white? Are you white enough? I'm the only white here. In this whole mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Welcome. You are, you're okay, the hacker. okay. So to prove my efficiency to the great, great leader, I'm going to mm -hmm. bring you my first report and say that currently Sargon is playing his dinosaur games. Is he as we Ark. speak. He's playing Ark. It. Wait, he's playing Ark right now yeah. while someone is imagine. Imagine, okay, everyone put on your imagination caps right now. Imagine you got North Korea going doo, 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 tiptoeing into America, and Trump is like this. I'm gonna raise this. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna feed this dinosaur macro berries <laughs> so it could fall asleep. I got half an hour until it's mine, and then I can build a new shop. You'd be like, uh, Trump. Hold on, Andy. Mother... Uh, this is all mind games, man. Oh, man. This is all mind games. He's he already set his me. plan in motion. He already set his plan in motion. And now he's just relaxing. He's trying to catch you off guard, man. With, 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 with his me. arc shit. I mean, who plays arc? Think about it for a second. I did this until is, I is, had to fucking is... run a fucking leadership. You know how stressful this is right now? <laughs> I'm stressed. Say. Yeah, it is stressful. You all think, oh, this is fucking, oh, but it... no, it's it's a lot of work, okay? But I have to fly out to America tomorrow. You want to know why? Because our you in future America? doesn't sleep, That's Sargon, right. or play Ark. I just spit, oh, I just spit on the computer, shit. <laughs> He's so excited, he's taking out the hardware. It's like when Michael Corleone was having his uh, his, his nephew baptized or something while, while everybody else was getting killed. Remember that scene? This is it. This is how I see it. I, I mean, you guys you guys are all underestimate the soy father. I, I, I'm not one of those guys. I, I, I like to be on the safe side when it comes to this. Well, you live What's in fear, that, but the, uh, our dear leader here doesn't. He's ready to take on all comers, even the ARC Holy players. Crap. Holy crap. I... This is why you are the leader, Andy. You know what? I succumb to fear. I succumb I, to trepidation. It's it, it's it's been it's been a difficult road, but I think, I mean, JF, how, how are you feeling right now? I think we've we've done a lot of good plans. Uh, it's ten forty. How how do you feel? Everything's worked out so far. I think it may be one of the quickest establishments of a state in the history of human civilization. Mm -hmm. And we will remind this in all of our pamphlets to the people. Uh, the Trapno state has seen the day faster than any other state. It was more efficient. We dealt with the needed actions, the, the various types of genocide that were required very quickly. <laughs> And joining us today is Blade Gwyn. Hello, Blade. Hey, good to see you all. Uh, pleasure to be on. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have a question for you all. Uh, that is, oh, wait, it's... wait. You forgot something. Heil Reiswoski. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely lovely. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to bring the tone down a, a slight tick down. What I would like to know is, uh, on the round table, what would you all say if you could give advice to younger men? Uh, given your positions, obviously, you've, you've done quite well for yourselves. And then I also do have a question for Jim, if he is willing. Uh, sure, after the round table answers. But Andy, me, uh, no wrong Minister of Propaganda, do you want to take this first? How are we going to help the uh, the young people of the Trapno State? What do we tell to the young men? We tell 
uh, you can serve the trap no state if you bow down to the orders that we provide. This is the best <laughs> way for you to live. Look, we know. You bend so we're the knee. letting you know. You bend the knee, right, JF? You bend the exactly. knee. You kiss the ring. You 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 know who is the actual leaders of the free world doing something unlike the people who sit there playing ARC while our fucking people are dying out there. Everything is burning. I'm sitting here writing plans on the whiteboard. We have the SS Sweetie Boy fucking Serenity sitting there plotting his attack. Six months, we will win. Director, who wasn't even part of this, switches his mind in 10 fucking minutes. We have an established cabinet. We have a book uh, that, on the way. That, I mean, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. This man is a born leader, people. This born, man is a born leader. Look at him. Born leader? I was a leader when I Before was you just were born. a glint of the... In they the got eye. their thumbs on jewel shocks. You, you are going to America tomorrow to promote liberalistism. Canada. That's my point. I'm not going to some bar down the street. I'm taking it to the streets of Compton. Isn't that right, Medicare? That's right. My boy's going to Compton with uh, a couple other people. <laughs> and uh, they've got a system rigged up where any super chat donation you give gets played over a loudspeaker. And depending on the amount, it ups the volume. So you can imagine <laughs> anything you want to say in the middle of downtown fucking Compton. <laughs> Uh, it's going to get shout out at uh, pretty loud levels. So have On fun with Thursday. that as he walks by synagogues and parks and police stations. And this is to promote liberalistism. JF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We um, we have something here. And, you know, I'm, I, I'm embarrassed. You know what? I think on the next Warski Live, we're taking a few days off, by the way. I'll, I will return Monday, so Tuesday, hopefully, a show. I'm going to have to start wearing suits. You know, I have to upgrade. I was first just a boy, but I am a man now. Suits are for cucks, well, man. Just, go, leave, just man. go the Kim Jong-un thing. Up. Come on. Go, go straight for the Kim Jong-un suit. You know, the, 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 the little, like, collared thing. Just <laughs> skip, the, skip the suit level. I mean, look at Kim Jong-un. He used to be a big deal when he was wearing those... Uh, those uh, Mao suits. No, no, no. He's got a he's got an ordinary tie, and so we just skip that phase and move immediately to the uniform. Yeah. That's what I say. Also, uh, the the, the oh. caller, whoever you are, I mean, uh, you just insulted this entire assembly mm -hmm. by uh, alluding to some kind of round table. Do you mm -hmm. have any oh, idea? Boy. Do you have any idea what that means? Th th that know. implies it's we're all insulting to all the images, everyone. Oh my God, guys, guys. So I have an artist who's helping me out, right? And he's he's very good, and he's working on our shirts and stuff, and we're paying him to help us out. I'm not gonna say who it is because he'd rather stay anonymous, right? But like this is, I think the cover once it's colored. I mean, I know where we prefer the white stuff, but like you know what I mean by that fucking reference there. <laughs> but but let's look at, but let's look at the concept art. Of Andy Worski, Trap mm. Fuhrer of the <laughs> action. That's some, uh, detail put in there on that skirt, especially. That's that's not that's not a bad. <laughs> I just noticed that. Not a bad. This is the cover of the. Do you see? Within an two-hour stream, we've got book covers. We have the plan set out. We have a cabinet. Everyone, thank you so much. Jeff, do you want to start wrapping this up now and we'll go into the That's like the show of portrait. Everyone, an, a round of applause to everyone. Let's all, there we go. Everyone. Absolutely. That yeah. Was beautiful. Uh, Thank could you. I, could I ask my, uh, my question to Jim? Yeah, Blade, la ask your last question to Jim and then we're going to wrap Absolutely. So, uh, Jim, uh, uh, just to drop the presents, um, you're honestly my favorite content creator personally. Uh, I really enjoy the content that you've created uh, for many years. But what I have wanted to ask you personally is, uh, uh, I guess it's a, a question about your own socialization. How did you get so good, and everyone I, I think will validate this, at shit talking? Just two people in general. You know, like you're, you're incredibly witty. Um, was there any kind of personal experiences you've had 
that shapes you into being able to do that very well. Are you like a god or or, or an ordinary well, being? I'll tell you my secret. I'll let you in on the, the secret. It involves purchasing a $10 personality test from a gentleman by the name of Jordan Peterson. And yeah. you know, spending the big bucks, the $2,000 <laughs> for a signed rug, really helps to get the banter up. But no... Um, Oh yeah, well Kermit the Frog's got to tell you that, right? Yeah, Kermit's got to tell you that. I'm not, I'm not that great at it. it, it it's basic fucking banter from the internet. I, it's just pre-social media, I guess. People became mm -hmm. much more self-censoring when they got onto platforms like Twitter and Facebook and started putting up their, their, you know, their, their images and their full name and their address and tying their identity to every fucking thing they said. Part of the nice, you know, appeal to anonymous banter is it's fucking anonymous there's nothing holding you back that's part of the joy of it mm -hmm. so would you would you say that you wouldn't be as good if you weren't anonymous at uh, uh shit talking is a bad way but you you know i i feel like everybody knows that you do have a way of speaking to people that uh it's incredibly quick with it and uh it's admirable um uh, are there tips you could give to people uh or is it just literally the anon the anon Anonymity. Oh, no. if, if just you go out and yell at retards, and eventually okay. <laughs> that's that's really the okay. magic to it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Go find a okay. group of people well, that are that are spurging out, and uh, go talk shit to them, and banter back and forth. That's all there is to it. I think uh, <laughs> I could count. Uh, Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah, when you think about it, it was Jin made Gamergate, made Sargon, made V. No, made you fucked up your timetable. Time. No, no, no. Monday Matt <laughs> made Gamergate. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, he's been yeah. the he's been the one to be very vocal about starting that entire thing. So I think we need uh, to give okay, credit so to Matt. So Monday Matt made you, and you made Gamergate. Is that how it went? Monday Matt made me, and then sent me out as his foot soldier. It's like uh, it's like in the Bible. Uh, Matt begat <laughs> Jim begat. <laughs> That's right. Matt is the origin. He is the, he is the fucking alpha and the omega. <laughs> Uh, all things on the internet. <laughs> um, Count Dankula seems a little bit upset now on Twitter. Count Dankula. Why, why are you? Nobody brought him you? up. I, no, no, he, he's upset. He just wrote, I love Count Dankula. This is what he writes now. <clears throat> when you spend months circle jerking over how gay a name is and then buy it. That's. Isn't he a comedian? Yeah, that's why it's fucking funny. Like w him quartering. Why is everyone? This. What happened to co what happened to being? What like, happened to comedy? It's dead, Andy. Welcome to the new. Internet. Okay, well, you know what? Now I really need to to set this up. You're Andy. acting like an SJW, Andy, with, with with this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, have you heard of the horseshoe, Andy? Let me tell you, you're a right wing SJW, buddy. Oh shit! I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. 360 degrees. You're, you're getting full circle, man. <laughs> Thank you, uh, it's fucking... Oh, someone made the meme of me on, on you know, the, the Tom Hanks. Oh, it... <laughs> he took my literally my face and put it on the Sri Lankan dude. And it's, I am the captain now. Like, he literally... <laughs> 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 oh my god i'm Mark? gonna retweet it everyone retweet this go to my twitter andy worski and retweet that look at me i am the captain now it's fucking brilliant uh well any uh last words uh, uh yeah let me, let me throw out my last words here because i know you guys are wrapping up and I'll, I'll let you get to your super chats and your closing statements uh it has been an honor to watch the energy that you put into this movement and that you've accomplished in seven hours more than the people that initially founded it have done in three fucking months. I look forward to you winning those court battles, and I look forward to a <laughs> cocaine-fueled Las Vegas ethno state. <laughs> and I will definitely buy a copy of uh, uh, Mind God. Trap. Mind, Mind Trap, because who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want that sitting on the bookshelf for the relatives to skim through while you're making coffee <laughs> for everybody? I think I think that's good. Thank you for having me on, uh, Mind Fuhrer, uh, Minister of Propaganda, uh, Director. Uh, chat, enjoy your evening, and yeah. uh, I, I will take my leave. I'm gonna pop out. I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go play some Ark and gather some intel. You know <laughs> I mean. Wink, wink. Thanks, Billy. We love All right, you. take it easy. Peace. Watching it once in a while is not a bad thing.
Okay, this is basically what I'm saying. So eating cupcakes once in a while isn't a bad thing, right? Like, it's a bad thing, though. It's, like, just not, like, this terrible thing, but it's not a horrible thing. That's, so that's what I'm comparing it to. I'm saying fine, you shouldn't be enough. eating cupcakes. Fair enough. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is... There we go. See, that's how you're losing. It's always fair enough, but... but yeah, yeah, yeah. What but. I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you eat the cupcake, does that make you a bad person? But eating a cupcake isn't equivalent to having... It's like a different morality thing there. Like being fat versus being a horn dog. Here, I think... Look, I think... Like, Brittany, you're, get, you're getting me like mixed up here. I'm not saying you pro porn up, every single day. Watch it 500 times a day. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if a man happens to go on to porn once in a while, it's fine. However, yes, I do agree with you. If there's an overconsumption of it and they're not going out and doing stuff, it becomes an addiction and therefore it becomes a negative thing. I well, don't think Andy, that something has to be an addiction to be bad for you. Andy, you, you've spent an hour now talking about masturbating. If you masturbate as much as you talk about masturbating, your fucking floors are going to be like uh, <laughs> I a don't. roach motel. I am satisfied in my relationship. I don't jerk off like that. Your you girlfriend in the comment right? was calling you out, man. She yeah, said you're yeah, full yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, she Andy said you're full of shit. I admit it. I jerk up three times a fucking week. You count. So what? If, you know, see, this is a guy thing. It's it's like if you ask a guy the size of his dick, he lies about the number. So if you ask a guy how many times he's jacking off and he's just throwing a number three I, times a week, it means that it's probably about 80 fucking times not, that amount. Not even. I, I wish I could do that. I, I don't have time to masturbate like that. Oh, it's you're too busy in between your streams once a day. I, look, look, and here's the thing is, I used to love porn when I was younger. Now I don't give a fuck about porn. Because it doesn't do what it used to do when I was young. Because when I was younger, it was like, oh. But now I'm in a relationship and I get sex. So therefore, porn is sort of like meh. It's not because it's not the real thing. But I'm arguing that if a guy does watch porn, it's not going to ruin his life. <laughs> is no that one fair said enough? eating a cupcake would ruin your life. But it'd be better for you if you didn't eat the cupcake. Sure. Yes. If look. If you do no fap, which I've done, I've gone through no fap plenty of times just to Was that the yeah. toughest day of your life? No, no, no. I did it for actually <laughs> forty days my was one oh, I yeah, did. Forty days. Okay. Was it forty ahead. days. And yeah, you get energy, you do other things. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like not eating a cupcake. You shouldn't eat cupcakes. But if a cupcake is there and you're like, yo, I'll take a fucking bite, whatever. Nah, stop masturbating. Get a girlfriend. That's yeah. my final opinion on it. Fine. My final opinion on that too. Medicare, what's your opinion? I just I turn on the Kumite because I'm like, I wonder if they're going to be talking about funny stuff today, and it's nothing but Andy talking about how much he loves jacking off. I didn't <laughs> say that. She said that if you're in a relationship and you watch porn, that's emotional cheating. Do you think that's true? And sexual cheating, technically, but and sexual. What? Go ahead, Medicare. Your well, hey, here's my opinion, Andy. I don't go on to streams talking about my sex life, so it gets clipped out and put up on Kronos. You, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, Andy Wakeski, not... is going to have some great clips today. I don't care because masturbating is not a crime. Just if you neither is eating a cupcake. But if you eat the cupcake, sh okay. The every almost every guy I know watches porn. <laughs> Every guy, I, I, I know several that. guys that every don't guy sorry. watches porn. Not every guy. Most do, but not Your every boyfriend's guy. boyfriend's probably, I swear to God, he probably has the alt tab ready when you like, hey, babe, do you want it? He's just fucking. I, no, I, we've, I, I we've been over you. like what our boundaries are. We've been over this. this and what you he, do. he knows to like literally, like he will walk in here. If he's horny, he will pick me up and bring me into the room. That's it. There's no need for porn. Why would why would he <laughs> offer if you have if you have the option for a fair full enough. cake, why would you take a crumb? Like crumb is the porn, cake is the sex. <laughs> it makes no sense. Sure, okay, okay. But but what if your girlfriend's at work all the time 
or on bi a, a business trip is right. Andy. Andy, Brittany has this planned out. She's got Net Nanny installed on all the laptops and the PCs. So if he tries to look up porn, it sends him to an educational site. Oh. He learns how to do like roofing or some pavement work or something, some shit around the house. No, I have a, I have a better system. Um, add a penis uh, filter so it filters every sexual image and it adds a penis to it, so it makes it less sexual. So it just mind fucks him into not looking at anything. <laughs> yeah. It's the latest Snapchat filter. I'll fine. I'll I'll go on a uh, porn hunger strike until Dank is free. Sure. I, I, I you know I liked your bullshit earlier too. Like oh, I can't masturbate. Uh, my my keyboard's too nice. I don't want to ruin my nice keyboard by masturbating. Hanamanaganda. Let's go back a million years to the very first Indian prince. He kissed a maid and start to blush, and we've all been blushing. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> can, can I just ruin? No, I, I, I just Somebody that, kill I, the director. I, I swear. Look, look I'm. I, I agree with Brittany. I'm in a relationship. I'm satisfied. So going on porn ain't like I don't give a fuck. In fact, like watching. Oh, so you admit gets, you lost. This is why I said you're terrible at this. You just no, said but, I agree no, with my, Brittany. No, my right? my argument isn't that I like porn and you should be jerking off all the time. My argument is if you watch porn, it is not. A bad thing, dude. I hate cookies. And I fucking hate them. They're so disgusting. If there's know? a guy who's like, I'm gonna watch porn. Should we go? Oh, let's stop him. No. But do I watch porn all the time? No, because I have a good girlfriend and I'm satisfied. Do I watch it sometimes? Sure. I'm give a fuck. Do you think I can weigh in as a? As a Shut member? up! Sure. <laughs> Everyone hates you. Nobody wants to hear it. Unless you want to tell us you have secret evidence of Andy uh, masturbating all day long. Medica, well, you probably jerk off all day. I think day. everybody has that by now. Medica, I, like, I, like, I like how you try to slingshit because you put yourself in the crosshair. I'm not the one that I had the hour-long masturbation I discussion give a shit, on a though. Tuesday morning or whatever you fucking think I'm like, is. oh, no, I've masturbated to porn. Oh, boy. No cares, man. Anyway, Look at the brilliant. smile on his face. Who cares, man? And then he gets this grin on his face and he looks off the camera like, oh, I wonder if they bought it. Oh, wait, my ridiculous, camera's off. Because this is ridiculous. Someone said lower the cam. I'm not jerking off right now. <laughs> so, director, go ahead. Weigh in. Well, there's absolutely no bad sides to jerking off. In fact, humans have been jerking off since, well, since they were monkeys. And monkeys jerk off all the time. So, there's... There's no debate there. Whatever JF says is an idiot. So do you have a girlfriend? Oh, he left before he can answer. Question of the ages. We'll never know now. Uh, uh, that didn't really help me out that much. Thanks, director, for, for fucking booting oh, it after uh, people can You know, respond. Andy, I did, I did want to ask you a follow-up, though, to yesterday. Mm -hmm. What was your thoughts of JF's, uh, like, minute and 30-second turnaround uh, after that clip got played, after those quotes got read? Yeah, when you sent me that clip... Uh, no, no, even before that, when he was like, Karen is the greatest woman ever. I think she is like our Joan of Arc. And then after reading a tweet, fuck that whore and fuck everything she stands for. <laughs> <laughs> no, you came in. I, You came in with a gr grenade. You're like, and you're just like, all right, guys, peace out. Uh, that was the quickest turnaround I've ever seen. And then when you sent me that clip later and we played the audio of it, he got so mad. Oh, yeah, he was he was platinum mad. You could see it on him. Post show, like po I mean, even like not after super chats, even like when me and him were talking after the show, he was livid. He was having none of it. Andy, he, you have to you have to play the whole thing because it's funny because Ralph Retort was on that stream and he mm -hmm. was arguing um, from the MRA perspective. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. How could you how could you just take all that at face value? Aren't you guys supposed to be against that? And she kept going on. She's like, yeah, but think of how pathetic he is. Like, I left out a lot of good bits that probably would have made him even more angry. Yeah, did you, uh, you obviously saw the, the comment. Oh, uh, is that the one talking about you? Uh, yeah. there, there was one Queen of Bands had. Hang on, hang on. Let me, uh, let me find where this is. Uh, I, I just had it. Oh, shit. Hang on. Sorry. I'm just getting all these fucking retweets here. Who was the guy who sent it to me? Fuck. Can you keep, just give me a sec? Oh, I know where it is. Queen of Bants. That's yeah, Queen of, Queen of Bants. Uh, she shot that over to me uh, too. Are, are you talking about the one? It, it, let me, oh, let me, a cokehead and a pre. 
yeah, let me let, let me read it uh, for the people that uh, that filtered in late. I'm sure you already covered it, but it's still funny. So, uh, why don't you watch a video where JF talks about this in great detail? You absolute moron. To which uh, she, I'm guessing she responds. Why don't you suffer through 15 hours of retard Worski's trademark fetal alcohol syndrome rhetoric and coke addict voice so you can stumble across a few minutes of JF talking about uh, whether he really tries to use mental incompetent Spurgs as his baby's mama? Fix that for you. What a fucking twat! Like, I didn't even I didn't even know I knew some uh, uh, like some things about her. Some of her, her, her videos I liked. And then I'm, I'm like sitting in my hotel on the last day in LA and I'm just like, the fuck? And I just see your video and I'm like, oh, hey, like, I, I think me and you talked for a second. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch your video about this. And then I just see apparently I'm in cahoots with someone behind the scenes and I have sensitive information that will destroy them. I'm like, I kind of like the honey badgers. I'm like, well, I don't do know you, why. Uh, I mean, did you see the shit? Did you see the shit people were sending me uh, when the video came out? Because apparently uh, JF, like in his Discord, has a pretty uh, substantial MRA fan base there. Yeah. Um, and they they were all <laughs> you know, that bad boy in silent failures. Yes. Failure, stop it! Failure. Oh, there we go. Okay, failure. You're here. I, I see you. I, I see you, failure. Is this how the alarm sound the yeah, first time? Yeah, I think so. It did he did so that hard. for three fucking hours while Sargon's on there trying to talk and he's asleep. It was the greatest and worst thing ever. I want to hear what Medicare had to say. Wake oh, up, failure! Okay, fine. I muted him. Go ahead. Okay, no. Oh. No. oh, fuck! There you go. Kick him. Hey, don't impress <laughs> What has this show become? Okay. Good going, Andy. Okay. Good going. Look what you did. <laughs> oh, no, no. All I was going to say is, yeah, he has a lot of MRAs in his Discord. and They're all like, oh, my God. Medicare's such a dick. How could he say that about Karen? And I just, I would love to hear what they have to say. They're like, oh, he took her out of context. Took her out of context. He's being unfair to her. I'd love to hear what they have to say now after hearing some context about JF. <laughs> really, dude? This yeah, has gone, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This has gone fucking insane. Like I don't get, I I don't get um, what this war is with the honey badgers. I I have no context, no idea. Well, of course you don't get it, Andy. You don't spend any money on men's rights activists. Where does your money go, huh? What campaigns are you doing, Andy? The fucking... have, you heard that? have you heard that clip yet? No. I oh, never no. claimed I was giving any money to MRAs. You haven't heard so the clip the yet? Why the fuck did I say I was giving my money? I Yeah, oh, I fucking make money on YouTube because it's my job. And I pay Chris and I pay fucking JF. And if it's a huge show, I might toss some shekels to a fucking guest. That's it. Did I ever go, I'm doing this for men's rights activism? No. You know who, who, what men I'm helping out? Me, JF, and Chris. Th that's the activism I'm doing, so I have a fucking job. When the fuck? <laughs> oh, and a bad MRA. When the fuck did I say I was an MRA? Do I believe in men's rights? Of course. Am I a men's rights activist? No, I'm not. Oh, God, it's like the feminism thing all over again. If you think women and men should be equal, you are by default a feminist. Now take this fucking tag with all the slime that comes with it. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's kind of how it's coming off. But, uh, yeah, there's a clip uh, where they, they – I think Ralph was bringing up the fundraisers. And then she goes into a tirade about you and the money you make and how you don't donate to activism. And, like, where's your money going, Andy? What are you doing? What Who have you helped, Andy? Have any, like, have any of these people who keep bitching about this? Have any of them not brought up money within the quickness? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a, it's an all around shit show. It's that's fun it, to watch. That seems to be stop one on pretty much everyone who bitches about it. It's like, well, it's bringing in money without having to beg. Like with them, of course, they're gonna jump the money really quick. They have like you know GoFundmes for TVs. All these about money, uh, what's my severance package looking like? Your severance package is looking tiny. Yeah, you got a zero for that alarm shit. 
That's you getting docked pay for that. Docked. You ruined Wait, when the did we agree he was rehired? Yeah, he. Listen, no, he said listen, no, Twi- he YouTubers have been taking the jobs on Twitch. They're going on Twitch. They're saturating the market. They're taking our jobs. I need this job. He can't come back. He can't come back and take his job like that. I'm already hired. You already hired. Yeah. What am I supposed gonna, to do? He's gonna hire another person of color. A well, streamer. What am I color. supposed to do? What am if I supposed to back. do though? What am I supposed to do? Repsion has the ASMR fucking game locked on the fucking men's side. I can't do that. She's about to lock it down over here. All right, Jim, can you go away so I could I could do your videos for you? Just no, a, no, I, I think I think Sinatra needs a co-host as he's hopping between channel and channel. What is with that, by the way? Why does he constantly keep getting fucking flagged down? He keeps bullying the high school kids that that guy he, shot down. Well, I could. There is there is a little bit of an evidence trail that has led to a post on you know who's Reddit, where they're like, okay, just flag him down, and. uh... Yeah, but why? Why him though? He it, like that's the thing I don't get. Like out of everybody, why particularly Sinatra is the one that has to have his shit flagged every day? It's because it's Sinatra. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it worked when they went after him the first time. So now they just, we'll focus on the one it works well, on. Uh, did do you think it's because when they went after you, he he ended up with his Twitter taken down? So you know he decided maybe maybe not so much of the. Engine, maybe I'll go after the dead singer. I I, I don't know. You know, I, I'm kind of curious, uh, Brittany. How bad is it over at Twitch now that they have the new rules in place? Is everybody yeah, like ducking the first and covering? Talk to you since then. Well, they they're like no one's gotten banned from what I've seen. Maybe I haven't been paying paying attention close enough. But people are taking extra precaution. Like I have a friend that streams in. Like she used to use the word retard all the time, and it's like you're kind of allowed to say retard but like you know they have favoritism they can decide whether they feel it's okay or not for you to do certain things and ban you in particular but like instead of saying retard now uh she'll she'll just like be like sorry for using that word like after she says it or she'll try to not say it and stuff like that so people are just extra careful about stuff like that that's fucking rough i know a lot of people are freaking out i know harmful deleted a lot of his shit i think destiny locked down a lot of his shit i'm, I'm sure pretty much you know i don't know a lot of streamers oh I'm yeah sure his stuff already would get him banned so quick because that's a specific rule they added in probably just for him like you can't have your communities witch hunting people it's counts as harassment and that's what his subreddit was dedicated to my say one thing habib you know at focus break jf made a joke yesterday about we were talking about Count Dankula, and JF made a joke saying that uh, like one of Count Dankula's fans bashed him. So JF made a joke and said um, that he is for the imprisonment of maximum sentence of Count Dankula as a joke because a hater said something to JF. <clears throat> he was playing around. Habib just posted this 56 minutes ago. And I'm pretty sure he's serious, the clip of him saying this. We're all laughing because it's obviously a fucking joke. And he goes, fuck JF and anyone who supports him. And then someone's just like, uh, I'll be waiting here to see if people who really care about freedom of speech will call JF out for this or just focus on the so-called left. And then Liz, Reptile, just wrote, maybe Andy yeah. will finally see how much of a jackass this man is. He, he literally said before the sh- a show started, he's like, oh, I'm going to joke because one of his fans bashed me. I'm going to say I'm for the imprisonment of him uh, for him for like maximum sentence. It was a joke. And there's a, so, and someone saying like, are they not for free speech? Andy, you, you say this stuff like it surprises you. You understand the, like the whole crowd thing. After the whole crowd thing, like that's not over, right? You get that this is like the this is like a continuation of that. Habib was the fucking uh, Habib was the uh, Discord runner for Crow. How's that? How's that surprising to you? Yeah. Was Habib the Discord it runner? It was him? a fucking obvious joke. Andy, <laughs> Andy, you're in the middle of an internet war and you're unaware of it, which is adorable. What? It's adorable, but it's going on. Every fucking day, it's something fucking else. It's he said he stands for the imprisonment of Count Dankula for like at one point he said for a life sentence. It's a it's a 
Yeah, what's the what's Holy the thing shit. with that? People are fucking so dumb. And they're going, Andy, that's your co-host. You know, he, he, I thought you were for free speech. I am. He was joking. I'm for the free speech of making a fucking joke. Do you think JF wants Count Dankula to be in jail for life for making a joke because one of Count Dankula's fans threw a jab at him? Holy shit, you guys are insane. Fucking care. It's everyone. Holy fuck! Brit Brittany is an outsider from Twitch. What's your What's your hot take on the uh, internet war Andy finds himself embroiled in as of late for the last like month? Holy! Oh, uh, I thought you guys were talking about the guy with the pug, and now you guys are talking about some other drama. Are you talking about the no, that's, that's the true. drama he's been in since he started Internet Blood Sports? Or did he? Oh, I, I'll give you a quick rundown. So there was this little German guy. Austrian guy, uh, Kraut. Well, yeah, I watched all the videos on that. I looked through oh, okay. all that stuff. I know about yeah, that. Okay, so after that, um, a lot of people took the the ball that Destiny had left kind of when he left Twitch. Remember how he was going after JF a lot? So they took a lot yeah. of the tactics that Destiny was using because he was trying to get under JF's skin, and they ran with it like crazy. So a lot of these people are related to Kraut. Like, you got Jeff Holiday, You've got uh, Habib. You've got people that are friends with theirs, like the quartering and all that shit. And they're just continuing it on, right? It's like this little 24-hour op has been extended to a 48-hour op. And I think it's starting to drive Andy a little bit crazy. I can't handle it every fucking day. Oh, like like, like literally JF, before he started, he goes, Oh, I'm going to say that I'm, I'm for the the uh, the arrest of Count Dankula because one of his fans made fun of me. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. It's going to be a funny joke. I We're all laughing. We're obviously all not for it. And now it's being used like I, I don't support free speech. I'm li okay, I, I'm quote tweeting now. I'm writing. He was joking for fuck's sakes. It is literally a joke. I don't know what else to write. When you exercise free speech, but then get ridiculed for not being for free speech. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. You know, the Andy. thing. Oh, hey, here's your chance. You can ask him now. He's back. Uh, hmm. Fancy. Oh, yeah. Do you, so you were talking about being on. I guess Andy's side came in, gave him some defense. I was gonna ask, do you have a girlfriend after you said that you know you're very well, pro porn? Of course. Why not? <laughs> of course. Laughs nervously. Hmm. All right. I always laugh nervously. It's how I uh are you I sure you have a girlfriend then with always laughing nervously? I don't think oh, girls I'm, like incompetent I'm gonna, guys. I'm gonna have to think about that for a while. But, you know, it's it's complicated, I think is is the problem. Hmm. Having girlfriend complicated. I'm kidding. I have a, I have a, several girlfriends at the moment. Several. So, several. Ah, that so that's why. Hard. So that's why it, it, it's, it's a little. It's a little hard to. It's a little hard to figure it out. You know, it's complicated. Basically, juggling them all at the same time. You know, your balls don't count as girlfriends, right? Oh. No, of course not. I mean, I. Uh, I, 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 never, I never would have thought that, but. Well, you said juggling all of them, so. <laughs> balls. All right, I I get it. But uh, do you have any arguments to set against me, or is this just gonna be an insult fest? I mean, no, uh, I'm just asking because oh, you're welcome to the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, just well, real I mean, fast. Uh, just real I mean, fast. I, 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 I'm online. an academic. Hey, on real fast. Sorry, just talk go, over to my, you know, go to my Twitter my and wife, everyone, I please retweet my tweet there, so I could so it could just because these people are fucking so. Dumb. Retweet me. He's so dumb. Well, you, you know what? Actually, Andy's got a good point. Hey, Chad. Um, I think you should shut up. The shut up. Shut up. That shut Andy up, agrees shut up, with shut up, JF that Dankula should go to prison for life. Just retweet <laughs> that. Andy says Dankula should go to prison for life. Fuck you. I love my co-host. Uh, ride or die, bitches. Fuck the commie. That's ride or die. Yeah. Look at. Do you, oh, I, do you I, see I the Andy face? I have a Look problem at the with Andy Dankula's face. Joke. Needs them tweets. He needs some tweets, Chad. <laughs> Andy, uh, be sure to tell him too. Andy said he's going to Britain to fight Sargon. That's why he's flying out there. Mm -hmm. He's muted. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's fucking walked off. Well, he's gone. Okay. Uh, it, all right. Uh, well, I get all so, right. 
before before we jump into anything else, I guess uh, may as well tackle. The, I'm I'm getting bombarded with a specific tweet the director mm-hmm. may have made in the recent. Uh, director, you are not a fan of Jim, and you think he. Uh... That is not true. Well, I am uh, one of his most ardent fans. Oh. Well, it says that yeah. you you hate his internet insanity videos. What, what no, was the I don't reason? hate him. I am indifferent towards him. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember the director as the guy that came onto a stream and said, you can make fun of anybody, but just don't pick on the skeptics. That's not what I said. That's I exactly said. what you said. That is, you said, you you said your time should... could be better spent going after the SJWs. The, the, w- salt, the salt left is what I said. I said you guys should be together because, as you can see, Dankula is, is facing the same problems as the alt-right is. And I'm, uh, and I'm for the alt-right, you know, but... You're basically in the same pod, so you should probably all not fight because Sargon has a huge ego. That was my only point. Uh, with, with regard to your uh, internet, internet insanity videos, I'm, I'm just, you know, I just posted a few complaints here and there. because I don't, I don't find them that funny because, you know, the, the people are fucking insane. What are they going to do? They're doing the same shit. Yeah, that's fine. They, I mean, they're fucking internet videos. Not everybody's going to lie. You know, some are going to hit, some are going to miss. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The rest Baby, of your can stuff, you pick them already? Stuff is the best stuff in, on, 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 the, on the fucking YouTubes, man. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's my opinion. So I want to be clear on that, Tonka. And, and again, you have attempted to besmirch my name. <clears throat> v- Venti, oh, just think... kick him already. Oh, hurtful. I think Andy's back. Andy? Have you recovered? Are you okay? Are you you okay? See, he's reading the tweets. Oh. Look at him. I can see this computer oh. screen. Is, is, that, is that the Andy reading his tweet space? <laughs> hey, hey, Jim. Is that enough? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, who who's Vincent Frank? He, he says he wants to face you. I I've never heard of Vincent Frank before. Uh-huh. He's a singer. Uh, he has he has uh, twenty seven thousand followers. I have no idea who he is, but he he sent me a tweet saying he wanted to debate you on your inability to show your face while mocking people. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. I, well, it's not my show, Taka. That's, that's up to you. I I'm getting really tired of people using it as an argument, like. The whole point of the internet is anonymity, so you can exercise your freedom of speech without having consequences, so that it's freedom of speech. If you're going to go and put your face, people already, there's this huge issue that's been going on where people get stuck these labels that they don't necessarily deserve and it ruins their fucking life. Why would you want to show your face on the internet? It's tactical to not show your face on the internet. I there's know, nothing wrong All the it. people who were against it a few years ago, they're all for it now because it's already happened to them. But, uh, oh my yeah, god! You don't talk, you're, oh talk my god. a failure if you want to do it. That's up to you. That's fine. Um, I got twenty. I got twenty minutes. I can do, and then I got some stuff to do today. But I, I'm up for it if you guys want uh, it. He's got twenty minutes. Oh, I, got, I, I got. I got no way to contact the guy. I told him in the tweet that he has to DM me to, you know, get all the. You want to try to set it up for a different day since Jim's got some shit to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Up, if you I, want to do that, or if chat wants, what, what's his uh, what's his uh, Twitter handle? I, I just DM'd it to you. It's uh, Frank Music. I, like well, I don't know. He, uh, okay, he's, Frank. He's, he's a fucking. He's a musician. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck he's uh, doing, trying to lay down some challenges. Right, but... All right, well, uh, if, if you're listening, uh, Mister Music, uh, get a hold of Failure, and he'll bring you on. Jim, just give up all your privacy, lol. Gonna need that social security. Well, no, I, 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 love, world. I, I love hearing this argument right now, specifically about Hey Jim, uh, don't be anonymous. Hey, how'd that work mm-hmm. out for Dankula? Is, is he enjoying the uh, the lack of anonymity? Has that worked out well for him? You know what? Fuck, fuck Dankula. He didn't go far enough. Why Why just stop at the Jews? Kill everybody. Kill everybody on the planet. That's what I say. It, it's like a, it's a Pokemon. modern mindset. It's really weird. I, I don't know. It, it's social media and everybody plastering their details everywhere. You see kids now that they have like a fucking Facebook where... They've got videos and pictures of themselves, their fucking names up there, their addresses up there, their phone number, the school they go to. It's just insane. Like, nobody nobody knows basic uh, internet security or common sense anymore. It's really kind of fucking mind-blowing. But, Jim, how are they going to attack you personally if they don't know who you are? <clears throat> well, I they mean, can you make up banter all you want. Shit. I mean, you you can nail me for a thousand crazy. things. That's not going to work unless they, and they know where you live and uh, what your uh, ancestry.com results are. Not Help that. us attack you, bro. Well, I'm 84, life, I, I'm 84% uh, Askenashi uh, Jew. Did I say that right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to saying that. I'm not used to saying that in English. Uh, you know, I usually speak Hebrew. 
So I'm not that's sure crazy. if we said that right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Shit, that's the best kind of Jew, man. Uh, Andy, <laughs> how, how are things going over there? You getting the tweets you wanted? Yeah, no, 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 I'm, no I'm good. P people are, are more starting with me. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Aw. Fuck yourself, Jim. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that it's not even... The thing that ruins the joke, the concept of comedy, the thing that actually ruins it is when you have to explain the joke because then it ruins the joke and then yeah. there is no joke. That's what ruins it. That's actually what's ruining comedy. Well, that's what they're I've about. Is they're about ruining the jokes because the jokes make them look like jackasses. There's no greater fucking weapon than some great comedy. Yeah, until it gets censored, of course. Oh, hey, since we've got a, a slow minute here, would you like, uh, could I, could I? Uh, read you some of the reactions I've gotten from the MRAs. I, I had one last night, and I think it's pretty great. Yes, it would uh, be it would be yeah. a fun fucking time if you would if you would. Uh, great. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll throw one out. Okay, I'll throw one out from our friend Alpha Omega Kill, which is just it's just the edgiest name. It's kind of I'm reminded of like the Sonic fandom, but it's Alpha Omega <laughs> Kill responding to somebody talking Thank about you. me. Um, and everything is explained in the comment. That guy will be found, and we will beat his ass up. He will be filmed, and the whole internet will see how people who talk shit on the internet are actual pussies in real life. I don't live by some bitch nerd internet rules that some troll made up. I live by the rules of the street, by the rules of life. If you talk shit, but at the same time you are skinny or fat, then get ready to get your ass kicked. And don't dare try to twist this into, you want to beat him up because you don't like what he had to say. No. He will get beaten up because the way he talks. He would get beaten up in every bar, nightclub, and every street corner. But personally, I want to beat him up because he is a lying Jew rat. I don't <laughs> like liars and weak people, but I really don't like slimy, demagogic Jew rats. So, from Alpha Omega Kill. What the wow. Fuck? I'm disappointed. I Are thought that poem was going to rhyme. Oh, I'm terrified. You know, this reminds scared? me of when that furry during the uh, uh, the fucking um, Deviant series was like, it's this big fucking gay furry bear, right? And he's like, I'm going to shoot Jim. I got a shotgun. I'm going to find Jim and shoot him in the head. I remember that. It's, it's, about, it's about that caliber of threat. It's, uh, these are always fucking... Caliber? See, like, you see what I did there? I tied yeah, it back in. It's a nice little... Yeah. Thing. I brought right it right back, back in there. Yeah. Okay, so I, I saw that one earlier. You, you read the comment off. And put a nice, uh, I believe it was. I put West it to Side West Side Story, story yeah. because when you see rules of the street, you yeah. are the whitest suburbanite that's ever fucking lived. A little, a little. Uh, how, 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 how bad have some of the other comments been? I, I glanced over a couple. Oh, and... holy shit! There's a big. I, I was unaware of this, but there's like a really big furry MRA crossover. Oh god! Uh, and furries aren't known for their tact. Um, they tend to get emotional about shit, regardless of the community they're in. So it's been really fucking entertaining. I should hashtag that and say not not all furries, because I'm pretty sure you've got a. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Um, what is it? Your movie sucks. Watches Akumite and watches Worski. I think mm. he's a furry. So not not all furries, but uh, a well, good uh, handful of them get very uh, fucking emotional. Adam's I think cool. one one out of a hundred furries will leave diapers, uh, soiled diapers on the hood of on the hood of your car. So no, the leaf uh, in your bed is like a warning. When you wake up in the morning, there's shit everywhere, and there's a giant soiled diaper. It's like a warning yeah, yeah, from, yeah. The, uh, from the it's mafioso. Like yeah. It's like a horse head, but with but a furry wear. Yeah, I, I get it. Smell Fish in there. I have so a, is, oh, I'm sorry. I have Go a question ahead. for you. Um, so I want to ask you, you know how we parents, like, they'll be like, oh, my kid likes this little Japanese thing. Let me get them a fan. They'll like that, that little... Chinese Japanese thing. Do people do that with you with crazy people? They're like, eh, I think Jim would like this crazy person. Here you go, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, no, I have a lot of I have a lot of people sending me shit. Yeah. Yeah. I I've I've stumbled on some really fucking crazy crap. because uh, people have sent it and they're like, You you have to check out uh this person's account, especially a lot of gang stalking shit, surprisingly. Oh yeah, that's uh, good. Yeah. That, people that's, talking that, about microchips in their teeth and shit. That's one of the mill. That's I mean, paranoid schizos are 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 dime a dozen, Jim. That's why I'm not so I'm I'm not all that excited when you release. Well, it. yeah, but it sounds like you have a familiarity with it. Like most people don't. So when you're presenting it to somebody and they're not yeah. used to encountering that, they're like, "Wow, this is fucking nutty shit." That was I my guess, thing yeah. with your videos. Is I don't do internet, so I was watching your videos, not really knowing much about the fucking internet. It it, it was wild. Yeah, there's some there's some fun shit still out there. 
uh, until everything gets sanitized. But for right now, there's some interesting shit. With the way things are going right now, what kind of clock do you put on that sanitization? I, I, I'm going to say within five years. And I, if, if that, if that, that's like the long, long term. I mean, look what's look. You can't stream on Twitch anymore, making jokes, right? I mean, uh, Venti and the others may not have been fucking hammered completely with it yet, but it's a step along the route to making it so it's a sanitized, cookie cutter bullshit uh, form of entertainment where nobody can make an off-color joke, nobody can do a bit that's funny. Everybody has to know somebody to get far. YouTube already has a police force of ten thousand people. Zuckerberg is working with the EU and Merkela to get rid of anything deemed hate speech. Jack and his blue hairs at Twitter will fucking put you on timeout if you tell an off-color joke. So what does that leave you? You've got a few sites you can go to, like a Gab or something like that, but every time they set it up, Google and the others, you know, domain registers and all that shit, will find some way to fuck with them. So, I, I mean, I think that's pretty obvious where everything is headed. I, I don't think anybody's really unaware of it at this point, right? Uh, like, nobody's got blinders on, yeah. do they? Uh, no, I, I, I want to talk real quick. I, I uh, saw last night Ricky Gervais's uh, stand-up thing that's on Netflix, and he mm -hmm. spent, like, a good 15 minutes talking about his interactions with people on Twitter and how they get fucking triggered at his things just over just fucking anything. And uh, he recently tweeted out that Count Dankula thing. So it's just uh, interesting to hear his stand-up from fucking months ago talking about fucking... Just people getting triggered. I'm I think sure. Gab and all these and all these uh, alternative quote unquote sites are just trying to get big enough to get bought out. That's it. Kick him, kick him, Venti, kick him. Um, I, I don't know. Do I don't know job. how to do that. I don't know how it to do my job. It only took him twenty minutes to get. To, quota. Only took him twenty minutes to get to fucking talking about bitch shooting shit. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, jumping you know, off. Uh, jumping off on the hand. If I had a if I had a shot for every time I've had to stop on my stream and say, "Oh wait, sorry guys, can't tell that joke or I'll get banned." Got to keep it TOS friendly. I'd be drunk every stream. That's how it is. Yeah, it sucks. Like I remember the old streams, uh, even from like four or five years ago, or even back like Justin TV and shit. You know, like you could do whatever you wanted basically and be left the fuck alone. You had to do something really insane, like really, really fucking insane to get a lot of people watching for somebody to finally intervene. But now, like, one person watches, gets upset, hits a button, and you're fucked. I don't know why stuff that isn't family-friendly isn't um, desirable for advertisers. Like, I'm not saying, oh, advertisers should go advertise on uh, child porn. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, mm -hmm. stuff that's even, like, like this show, for example. Why is that not advertiser-friendly? Plenty of people watch it. Plenty of people would see your advertisement. It, it's not It's not even about advertisers. What pisses me off the other day on my 24-hour stream, it got hit by one of those uh, age-restricted things. So uh, it cut off the Super Chats. So people weren't allowed to to give Super Chats because it was now age-restricted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Your chat's right. I didn't even think about that. But Twitch support's fucked, isn't it? You can't do that kind of trolling anymore. You'll get kicked right off the fucking site now, won't you? Yeah. Oh, for what? Oh, oh have you never seen... on Twitch. Yeah, much. have you never seen Twitch support, Andy? Wait, but... Wait, if you... If you troll Twitch support... No, no, no. no. Twitch... If, you, if, if you pretend to be Twitch support oh, and get some oh, okay, milk okay. in his computer, you're pretty much fucked. They won't let you do that anymore. Everything on Twitch. Like, like, like I want to do some speedruns on Twitch. I'm just scared to go back. The most know. pathetic thing I notice about Twitch is the fact that Brittany has to throw up her 23andMe and Ancestry.com on the screen so she can on to make key cookies. <laughs> on a keybind. Like, literally the other day, I was telling them, I don't know if you heard when I said this, but there was a staff member that was in my stream hours before the new TOS was going to get implemented, and I was streaming, like, late night. And I, and I saw them go in there, and they came in right when I was talking about, like, uh, we should have... Uh, channels online things saying that they're online segregated one for black people and one like one for colored people one for white people so we can appreciate black people more and they came in right when i said that so then i had my ancestry and 23 me on a keybind and i just clicked it and i'm like listen if you want to ban me just do it tomorrow and it, sh it shows that i'm like part black and then they left but went the uh, now they have this new category called visible minorities and if you don't if you're not a visible minority then uh I don't think you can really qualify for all the benefits and everything. Have you seen my nose? <laughs> Have you seen my hair when I don't blow dry it? It's, it's visible. Well, you you blow dry it, so I don't know. I, I, I don't like know. how you completely got shut down on that. Which he's like, "Have you seen my nose?" And he's like, 
<laughs> I guess that's I guess that's the end of that conversation. Uh, th what's the funny thing is that my nose isn't even like from my mom, which is the one that's part black, like half black or more, according to the ancestry results. Um, it's actually from my Slav side slash German side. Mm. So it's not even a black feature. It's just Slavic nose, and everyone's like Slav power. Oh, well, black feature. Oh well, this is uh, this has been fun. I guess Mr. Music couldn't come on. Uh, yeah, Tonka, Taylor, whatever. If you want to set Maybe. that up, um, whenever you want to, that's fine. But I, I got to jump here. So, are right, any new hey, videos Andy. coming down the pipe? Oh fuck! I, I yeah, I, I I I'm focusing on the uh, MRA thing and then the uh, school shooter that got defeated by furniture. Oh, so that shit. should be good. All right. All right. Uh, Andy, good luck with the tweets. Hopefully, everybody's tweeted that out. Your statements are very, they're very hard. <laughs> but uh, it's brave of you to take that fucking stance on what you believe about Dankula needing to go to prison. I'm just, I'm shocked by it, really, to be honest with you. I, I think I need to leave. That's yeah. very ballsy, hey, Jim. Andy. Oh, God damn him. <laughs> he just fucking dipped out to the alt right. Uh, evening, evening, <laughs> hey. uh, evening, gentlemen. How's hey, it going? going? Is my, uh, mic is my mic coming in okay, or do I have an echo like yeah, I'm gone? very no, good. No, no, it's not like that. Yeah, last night on Big Stream, the echo, I was like, in the chat, like, could you fucking turn off that echo? <laughs> I, I would have been here sooner, Andy, but I had to swing by uh, Fuentes' place so he oh. could borrow me some of his uh, thought repellent so I'd be safe coming onto the street. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're well, safe. Yo, let's get your yo, Medicare. So you were there last night. You, I've mm -hmm. never seen you that angry before. You were you. I, I, I don't like. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a personal gripe, I guess. I don't like people that build up an audience by uh, presenting themselves as one thing and then doing an about face and being like, I'm better than you now. I don't need you now. You can go away. Uh, you're toxic. You're problematic. All that Tumblr speak bullshit. Uh, it really rings hollow. It's false. And it, it's, it's fucking annoying. It, it's really, really annoying. Uh, you know, we don't want you here. I mean, you can't, you can't say nigger in the chat, but if it's a super chat, then you <laughs> Then you have to say song, exactly. Well, even she's turning on him. <laughs> I, 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 well, if I can ask you and uh, Jay have to take off your fucking fedoras for a minute and stop white knighting for a second. I'm not white knighting for shit. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, two, Jim, you, Jim, two, Jim. you two are white. We're gentlemen. Oh my God, Aaron, you're so, you're so nice, Aaron. I want to get that phone number so I can We're fuck gentlemen. That shit. We're gentlemen. Jim. That's what we do here. Where, where did you see that I white knighted? I always give my objective opinion. My well, you, objective you opinion warned, is that there's a future. For for uh, what? Tor tor torn her apart for what? Oh, okay, baked Alaska is imploding right now, and this chick is loving every second of the spotlight. It's it, beautiful, it, it's, Mr. Mitaker. Uh, you know what's happening right now, Mr. Mitaker? What's happening? You cannot what's happening? take it that there's a girl who trolls better than you. Oh, no. I I don't know if I'd call it being a troll or being a whore. I mean, there's a kind of a difference between the two, isn't there, JF? Oh, Mr. Mitaker comes here to do the moralization. That is the most hey, beautiful Medicare. thing. Hey, Mitaker, do you think that it may have been a little bit too far when she was chatting with us and she's bent over on the bed a little bit? Uh, I, I don't know, Andy. I mean, you've got, uh, you've got her showing up on a stream with a good amount of viewers and suddenly the tits come out and suddenly she's saying stuff like, well, Jim was right. Uh, you know, ba uh, Bake turned on his audience for pussy. I, I just wonder what Bake's opinion on this is. He'll be in a like, second. How, how he's... Good. I want to know how he's viewing those LA friends right about okay. now. Wait, please let me clear. I fully understand where you're coming from. Trust me. I'm not here to, you know, moralize or say anything that's in defense of this whole thing. But I am not here to tear Bake down or insult Bake. I respect Bake's whatever he wants to do. I fully hate Los Angeles. I hate the idea of being a leech who fame whores you really i mean the one thing i may be you can say i'm a whore i use you know my flirtatious nature to like create spectacles and get viewers and whatever fine just totally fair but me wanting to hurt somebody and do that is that's the one thing i'm not trying to do bullying uh, me yeah, I, I, I don't know i mean he's burning down and you're dancing in the ashes you see i'm not you seem it's pretty really, pleased to be on Worski now with 4,000 people watching. It's not. Almost from, five. Again, I get why you would think that. It makes logical sense if I was a typical, dumb, vicious, soulless girl. But the truth of this situation is I actually 
was the most excited to talk to you yesterday. I was intrigued by your personality. I watched a video where you tore, I, again, because I don't want to say something rude, but I watched you say things that I found hilarious and spot on. And I was like, damn, this guy is really aware of reality and perceptive. And I was kind of intimidated yet intrigued. So I was excited Ooh, when you boy. were on. Sweetie boy. And I, 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 don't, I don't know if you should be telling the guy that came in here and said you're, uh, you know, a backstabbing whore that he's very perceptive of engaging reality. <laughs> That's the deal. It's funny that you say that because I actually was asking myself, why did he get me so wrong? But people do that all the time with me. I get why they do, but it's it's interesting to analyze it, I guess, but I didn't want to annoy Bake's audience. I would rather have him be shamelessly baked. I want everybody to be themselves, and it doesn't matter to me if he says the N-word or just anything that's insane. And I would never want him to change for my own views, but it's not even about me. I sincerely mean that. I just want people to have a voice and to stand up for what they believe in. That's and then, Aaron, all I Aaron, last night when Medicare was talking to Baked, because you said they didn't let you hop yeah. in, but did you think that Medicare was was spot on with what he was saying? Uh, to Baked? Yes, I did. I thought Medicare had, again, he was watching a conversation that was fake. Chad was blah, 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 blahing. And I was like, oh my God, this is the most disingenuous thing ever. It sounded like a PR machine creating bullshit. And I literally cringe at that because I know Baked in his heart is a man that wants to be heard and express himself freely. I know that. I don't think my instincts are wrong with that. It's just in this city, in this world, in this endless stream of blood sports, attacking, la la la, it can be easy to get caught up in wanting to save something and do damage control. I get it, but it was sad to watch because I know that deep down in his heart, he just wants to be his full self. But again, it's easy to feel like you well, can't- Well, if, if you know how sensitive Baked is and you know that he has feelings for you because he keeps talking about how complicated it is, that he, you know, he's he doesn't know if he's dating Aaron or not, but he definitely seems to like to uh, try to try to guard against other guys showing an interest. Then why are you leading him around by his dick? Why are you sitting on his lap? Why are you uh, acting flirtatious with him? It just seems like you're you're throwing pussy in his face that he's never going to tap. Okay, well, I honestly sat on his lap yesterday to piss the girl off. That was the only reason because she was she was attacking and shaming me and. In my mind, I was like, fine, I'm the dumb thought object. I'll play that role. And, I'll and he do was what hard, right? You were saying he was hard when you, like, like when you sat on his lap? No, I don't oh, think so. Oh, sorry. I thought you said it that. Sorry. He was like, get off. No, like, I, <laughs> I it's bad. It's get, it He's got, getting hard. That's why he pushed you off him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it just because I was a little impish child and I was pissed that she was being mean to me. And I was like, fine you know, call me a slut, all act insane. And again, I shouldn't have done that. It was not right. I, I know, but I did it. So has your boyfriend righteously beaten you yet for the shit that's been on the last 20 years? I deserve years? being punched to the face, to be a honest. A big fucking deck right in the face. A He's nice what? fucking fist right in your teeth. Yeah, that's, yeah. that happened. Is that going to happen soon? Yeah, it has not happened yet, but it absolutely should. But does your boyfriend have a functioning penis? Why is he allowing you to run around and act like this? He, again, he's not happy with me, and I... I'm mad at myself and I feel very ashamed of it. I should not have behaved that way. And I have no answer. It's wrong. And I should not have done it, but I did it. And I'm owning that. Now, uh, if I can verge off of this for a second, uh, cause I don't know if JF got the whole story. Cause there, there I is don't, a piece. I don't know much. Oh no, no. I'm there, discovering there is... stuff as you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there is a piece, uh, JF, uh, this is a side note to the, to the baked and thought thing. Hmm. Uh, there was a guy last night named Chad. And Chad made some statements about pedophilia live on the live stream. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact quote, so I'm not going to even try to put it out there. But it sounded kind of like advocacy. And he was saying it a couple of times, you know, reiterating it over what? and over again. Yeah. yeah. So so people um, people ended up saying, we're going to tell, you, tell your boss, because apparently his boss is like some kind of conservative figure. And so they, they got a hold of the boss. And so Chad starts freaking out. He's flipping the fuck out, right? And he's saying... Uh, my life is over. My life is ruined. Everything's going to burn to the ground. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Bake, turn off the stream. This isn't a fucking joke. My life is going down the toilet. 
Now, so I want you to juxtapose. This was one of the guys who was live with them, or it was someone on the internet? Yeah. No, no, this was, was live. This was somebody, yeah, right this was the guy in the apartment yeah. with them. Oh, God. Yeah, but it gets better, though. And I want you to, you know, uh, juxtapose that. I want you to juxtapose that with this. Uh, when Tonka and everybody came on at the very end of the evening, remember? And they're making jokes about Baked. Do you remember how Baked react? He asked Tonka, are you my friend? He got upset. He said, are you my friend? Why would you treat me like this? Why would you say these things? Now, here he's getting upset at Tonka for making jokes about him for the shit show that went on for six hours on the internet. And yet, a person who I guess is his friend, who's in his fucking apartment physically, whose life is in tatters, his shit is imploding, is begging him to turn off the stream, and he doesn't do it. So, uh, how would you what? judge that? that happened? Yeah. Holy what? shit! Yeah. What would you say about the character? Uh, th see, this is what I want to talk to Baked about now. Now that we've... He's had a little time to cool down. I've had a little time to cool down. I want to know how you can go off on Tonka for making a joke on the internet and yet have a guy in your apartment who is apparently your friend whose life is over and begging you to turn the stream off and you're not going to do it because you want to get those super chats. Oh, so Beck is now hanging out in LA with Pido Apologist oh, no. and making a show out of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it gets... <laughs> Jeff, would you like to know more? Yeah, Jeff, there's actually more to the background no. of this guy. And I... I I want to I want to try to tell it without um, giving away his identity, uh, even though it's already been put out there, and I'm sure Ralph will probably write an article on it. It's too juicy not to. Uh, guy was arrested for meth possession, uh, apparently, from what I understand. Yeah, I uh, the, uh, uh, yeah Ralph had this going on mm -hmm. earlier. Um, uh, from what I understand, he ended up getting caught because uh, when the cops were searching his vehicle for drugs and stuff, or they, they pulled him over or something like that, the guy said, "Hey, can you hand me this?" They're like, do you want any objects from your car or whatever? And he's like, yeah, I need this. And the cop, the cop goes to hand him it, and it's a bag of meth. What? <laughs> so, fucking ret what? Oh, I know. It's funny, Andy, that you say he's a retard because his father wrote a best-selling book about autism, specifically about his son. <laughs> is this? Is this so, all? So, is this all yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, I just want you to. I, yeah, I just want you to get get this in your mind, right? There's baked. He's building up an organic audience, right? He's got people interested in the shit he's doing. And then all of a sudden, all these fucking L.A. people start showing up. You got a chick that isn't going to fuck him but sits on his lap. You got an autistic meth addict, uh, pedo apologist, hanging out in his fucking apartment. You've got these kind of people just hanging around him right at the same time that he's starting to say, I don't want you to say toxic shit in my chat. Jeff, uh, my go ahead. Jeff, go ahead. About the... Uh, about the autistic aspect, I've seen that this guy speaks publicly about autism. He doesn't sound autistic to me. He sounds more gay, but not autistic. Do uh, you yeah, have he... any background info on that? Um, well, he, he, yeah, I should say, okay, because they, they took, if, if I remember from the new diagnostic manual, they took Asperger's off, right? They just put it on a spectrum along with autism. is not a separate diagnosis. But he claims uh, that he's uh, trying to behave, what is it, neurotypical, and that he's got Asperger's. And that's the, the story the father wrote was about, oh, God, a deal. He's like, when my son was two years old, I realized there was a problem. Um, and so that I understand, you know, there was speculation that he made it up just so he could go to autism conventions to try to get easy women. Like, oh. you know, like Cartman in that South Park episode about the Special Olympics, like where he's faking it to try but to... Unfortunately, I didn't have time to research, but the thing that shocks me with this guy is, is if he actually got that diagnosis, uh, I think there's a big chance it could be a, a, a awareness diagnosis. This guy doesn't look like an Asperger to me. All right. Yeah, there, there's, some, there, there's, some, there's some weird shit going on here, but the, the LA mindset, I, I, again, I'm assuming that's where uh, Baked is, but it, it's these fame-hungry fucking people Mm -hmm. that will claw into you to try to use you to get and propel themselves forward, right? They follow, like uh, Ice Poseidon is some guy that Baked has hung out with a few times, but they, they fucking stalk him. Like, they follow him around because he's got subs and they want to, you know, like, they've all got selfie sticks and shit. And it's like he's devolved into this fucking group of people and it just tanked his fucking stuff. And what pisses me off and the thing that got to me last night is you had groups of people that paid you money, that subbed to you, that came at three in the morning to watch you speak. And you're going to turn around and act like you're better than them. You don't need them anymore. Mm. And that is just the shittiest fucking thing you can do on the internet. Method. I like people that are consistent and honest. I don't care if you're left or right, but be fucking consistent about it. I'm sorry, I'm going to step in for one second. Uh, 
So so Bake just Skyped me. I said I said sent him the link. He should be here in a second. Hopefully. He just wrote not cool Andy. And I'm like, do come in and explain yourself. I'm like, you fucked up. It's time for you to explain yourself. That's how this works. You're the one live. You did this stuff to yourself. I'm giving you the chance to answer questions in an environment where there's not like 18 people around you and there's a fucking robotic woman be like, that's fucking base based. Oh, K K K K K K K J just fucking madness. J I mean sorry, uh fucking Bait Alaska come in here and then he just wrote Mr. Medicare is calling me a pedo apologist. No, he wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about Bait. What the fuck is he talking about? He's not talking about you. We were not talking about you at all in that situation. We're talking about the person that was at your at your place. He might have jumped in after his shower and then heard you talking oh. about. Well, Andy, buddy. did you not see the the stream last night? I mean, I'm, I'm, the thought was there. You remember this, right? What he said and the fucking super chats that continually went through. There were like twenty of them saying this guy's a pedo apologist and we're calling his boss. Of course yeah. I do. Yeah, so it was. Uh, Bobby, just real fast, hollow words through fifty pounds. Thank you so much, Jim. You also have your above it all streak. Your constant aloof, I don't care attitude you probably got from pre twenty a uh, 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 two thousand eight uh, beat shifts on all opinions. Baked might have betrayed his viewers, but you don't engage with them to begin with. Sure, I do. I go on streams all the time with people that have no fucking sub counts. So you can find shit where I've been on channels that had fucking two subscribers, and I sat there and talked for three hours. People message me through multiple social media things. Just because you're not seeing it doesn't mean I, I don't engage and I don't put out private fucking conversations to be like, see what a good person I am, see how many people I talk to. Um, it's not that I'm aloof or above it all. It's just I don't like people that try to tap into a market, I guess, as the influencers would say, which Baked apparently what well, considers himself among now, uh, and try to use them like a rung on a ladder and then discard them like they're fucking dirty when it's inconvenient. Mm -hmm. Like that's just that's a shitty thing to me to do. I mean, you know, the, the stuff he was saying was, yeah, you're, you're toxic, but he followed that up with us influencers. Our group of influencers don't want toxicity anymore. And you mm -hmm. can't, you know, don't don't say 97 IQ. If you think it's low IQ, get the fuck out. I'll say this. Like, what ha <sighs> what happened to the banter? Yeah, sorry, Andy. No, no, I was just going to say I'm out of here because remember okay, you were yelling at him and then finally he apologized. And he said, I'm sorry to the audience if I, if I fucking, you know, went too far. So I was watching both streams last night, like... Two open tabs. Actually, I had my phone open with one stream and a computer and I had one headphone on one side and one on the other and I was changing volume levels so I could hear what's happening on both sides. And then when you had left and went back to Ralph Retort, uh, uh, he later went on like a 20 minute fucking um, monologue and I was yelling in the chat, please bake, just chill out, man, just stop. And he kept just doing this thing. We're trying to change the world and, and then he reverted back to saying we don't want your toxicity here and i don't care if you call me this or that and well it's like it's like he tried to divert it that was the thing that i i didn't get he was like oh you just don't like it because i'm doing like uh i'm going out and doing activism <laughs> i didn't i i didn't say anything about about him going to protest syria i never tweeted about it because it was a non-issue i mean it wasn't brought up until he said something hey jim hey jim check out the chat so that's the view that we had on the chat <laughs> and then when she showed us the tattoo under her uh, oh. on her ribs to see if there was yeah someone tweeted that Aaron <laughs> not me don't worry oh, here God. he is the Hello. man, the man Hello. of the go. fucking Can hour a you... lot of controversy and drama surrounding you today baked I was watching you last night it felt Can you hear me yeah do you hear us yep yeah, what's up, dudes? Yo, what up, man? So yeah, a lot of controversy surrounding you last night. Uh, I was. I know, I know. You, you, you guys are quite the dick riders. I mean, I've never seen a group of grown oh, men. Like be you, hey, I'm big. Shut up. Oh, who, big, who, big, shut who up, shut up, big. On big lap. Big. Who was, what big. was base wearing? You guys are so like interested you, in everything like you doing. You don't call people out for doing. You were having a fucking meltdown last night, dude. I was in the chat telling you to stop and turn off I'm, the fucking stream. I'm having. I had a great time last night. I had. I had fun. Okay, you. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay, and, and I. I well, well, we can start at the beginning, but first, I want to address and and nice to see you guys here. Stop. One JF. I am not a leftist. Fuck you. Um, I was attacked by Antifa yesterday, and they chase me anytime they see me. I they, they don't know who the be, fuck 
they don't know who the fuck you are, JF. So shut the fuck up. I'm not a leftist. Be very everybody, honest with you, ben. everybody knows that. Okay. I don't care who attacks you. All right. You live like a leftist. That's all I meant. Oh, I think people. Okay. Like, wow. So you you, you, you support anti communist attacks. Your stream your stream has turned you into a communist Antifa? country. Oh, my stream is a communist country. Yep. Yeah, you, yeah, you're bringing, you're orbiting around the girl that you said was ruining my stream. You brought yeah. her in here, you white knight and orbit her like a little bitch. And you know how I thought wow. you are? Like yeah. a Chad libertarian, not like a French fucking frog. communist. A little French frog, dude. Go back in your corner. Anyway, second, I want to say to Jim, I did not turn on my fans. You are making a false narrative with Ralph Retort and these other faggots. I did never I, turned on I my the fans. Clips out of let my me, ass? Let they're, me they're, fucking uh, finish. I'll, I'll let you finish when you stop spouting bullshit. You no, anybody can go to Chronos channel and watch the videos. It's Baked Alaska versus his chat. No, There's 40 listen. minutes of it. Okay, so I will be clear of what I said to my chat. I banned, yes, I banned about eight to 10 people. I ban. I don't want people saying things like "kill niggers, kill Jews." I'm so sorry that I don't want that. Unless it's a trolling, super chat, right? No. If someone does that, no. I don't want inciting violence. No. I've always been against inciting violence. I've been very clear on that, and I've been very consistent about that. You can ask Andy. We talked about this. I've always been against we inciting baked, violence. Baked, baked. We were in an in and out burger, and you were laughing, and I got uncomfortable when the Kramer clip went, Naggers! Nagger! And I... That, that, and you that, were that laughing say, that, that. Yes, that's a comedy clip. That There's a difference between that and saying, kill niggers. But there's people trolling. You were also upset. People are calling you low IQ and going, get, get the fuck out of here. The entire... My chat hates me and calls me low IQ pieces of human yeah. trash all the time. You were just yeah yeah it. yeah okay you're just taking it too i, I know no i know and, and okay. i agree i agree with you andy and i agreed with jim i was taking things too sensitive and it did get to my head i was streaming every day that's what i had this but, but, new manager but, but, telling but, me to but, do but, but, so but, i agree but but, but 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 okay i see what you're saying because i told jim this already when you finished talking with jim right yeah. you were like okay i'm sorry to the audience if you took it the wrong way i might have been a bit emotional blah 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 but then about 20 minutes later you said uh you said that um oh yeah okay uh, you were on this big speech and went okay i i don't want your toxicity here you repeated it 20 yes minutes after i don't left. Yes, because I'm sick. Because I'm sick of it, and you don't have the balls to call them out, Andy. Yeah, like, I do, like I no do one... all the time. What are you talking about, you okay. fuck? Okay, well then, then we're on the same page. So what's but, the problem? But, but I didn't say it the way toxicity. Get out of here. Just... What I say is, what I say is, if you super chat, kill all blank. I'm not going to read your super chat. We just scroll through it. And we don't. Re... But I don't right. go on this all high and mighty. We don't want. I'm your not. I don't jokes. think. I know. I love it, dude. I love offensive jokes. I've said way more offensive jokes than you have. I've been Fuck banned from here. more things than you have. I yes, I have. Joke a day. Oh yeah, do you? Yeah, I do. Fuck it. You, you, in you the say shower, a nigger joke every day. That when you're in the shower, great. Okay. No, I say it live. I say. Are you are you the new Kramer, Andy? Are you the new fucking Kramer? Yes, just gonna I am. Go on your white nigger rants all the time. White nigger? No, I talk about the black ones. I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> I say horrible shit all the time. Have you seen cl fucking chrono clips or T clips of me? I say shit that when I'm listening to later, I'm like, why did I say that shit? Dude, I am totally down for offensive jokes, okay? I'm totally down. I got worried. I'm getting, th you know, things said by my manager saying you could get banned. I've, dude, my main, my main channel was banned, 90 Day Strike. You, you know, I know you and you know that kills your livelihood. You fucking were like kind of depressed when your shit got striked, you can understand how I'm kind of on edge about like getting banned, okay? Big, so big, can I ask you a question? You have sure. you know, on your main channel, 36,000 subs on the secondary right. one you started it up after the Anglin thing, 13,000. Yeah. Why right. the fuck do you have a manager? Uh, why does Andy, why does Andy have a he manager? He has 280,000 subs, so he has a better excuse at the very least to have a fucking manager. Well, I've done more things than I'm pretty new to the YouTube space. I've done way more things than YouTube. I've done things in real life. I've written a book. I've been all around the country touring. I used to manage Milo Yiannopoulos. That's how many people know. So me. if you managed other people and did all these things yourself, why are you taking the advice of people managing you on a smaller why? YouTube channel? I, I can do what I can. If I want to have a manager or an agent or whatever, well, you, I can yeah, do oh, that. You, okay? you, can, you can, but look how well it's worked out for you. You've lost 700 uh, uh, fucking subs. You've got I'm, a girl here basically calling you a cuck. 
You've got another guy that got now, a, a, a pedo apologist in his and life. You're cooking boring. live. We ask you why you do this creative decision, and you say, My manager told me. What the fuck does he know? No, I'm not cucking live. I'm staying firm on my stance that I said, if people are inciting violence, I'm not down for that. If it's offensive jokes, of course, I'm fine with racial jokes or so, any offensive jokes. Babe, I don't how, fucking how care. I, yeah, how am I wrong, though, when I said that you're selling out if you're telling me, well, I'm doing this because my manager told me because it's good for my brand? How is that? No, not no, out? not because it's good for my brand. So I don't get banned because you either like to quote Andy Worski, you either get baked alaska or you get a watered down you know 10 percent censored version of him in your chat you get but, but dude your there's a difference between me saying kill all x and my audience saying kill all x you like just okay in the well chat right I, now if okay. you're in the chat right now well, well then i was told thing. bad fucking advice okay and, and and i shouldn't have listened to that well, and you, you bring up, like, toxicity in your chat. Uh, I want to bring up toxicity of hosts. Teft brought up an interesting point. You were asking people for clips so you could play it on your show because you want content when you're running late in the morning, whatever. I mean, it's like a four-hour stream you need shit to talk about or watch. Right. Uh, he put up a clip for you, spammed it ten times in the chat. You looked at it and said, great, uh, put that through Streamlabs. So you ask a guy to go do something for you, and he does it for you, but you're oh, not going to accept it. Teft, you're not going to accept your mod, a mod on your fucking stream. So you're not you're not gonna take the fucking link. From I, I don't until, remember the I don't it, remember it, that. Yeah, okay, but there's, there's a lot of pattern. right, right. But no, I like that. There's, really there's a lot of things going. There's a lot of things big, going big, on in the chat. And him, a lot big, of let him finish. Big, let him finish. Let him finish. You told him to put it. You saw it, and then said, "Great, put it into Streamlabs." So you want him to, to pay you money to do the thing you asked him to do? How is that not taking advantage of your fucking audience? Dude, I I don't know what you're talking about. What he's saying is. You asked Teft to find something. I, I, and dude, I you did said, not ask you said specifically for... anything. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't, sometimes I'll ask someone to do something. So many things will be going on. All the chat's going crazy. I've given wrenches to like a hundred people. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't keep track of everything. Okay. Okay. Well, let me put this to Andy or Jay. Well, and you know what, uh, and, and well, by the way, Jim, your, your yeah. whole, your whole criticism of my, of my new content, um, you know, I, I can make whatever content I want. I didn't turn on my audience. I love my audience. They love me. And, um, you know, I, you, your whole criticism of my new content was that I have this crack whore Aaron on, yeah. yet everyone's been bringing her on and orbiting her all day and talking about me and talking about everything that I'm doing. So, well, Bates, so, people like watching a train wreck. Welcome to your life. They do. They do. They like watching a nice dumpster fire. All yeah, right? that's, that's right. That's what you've created. That's a legacy you're implementing exactly. right now in real time on the internet. In real time. I love well, it. I, I wanted to ask uh, JF or Andy. I know. I'm the most interesting thing online right now. I know. Well, Thank you'll you. be you'll be a punchline to a joke for a week. Yeah. <laughs> JF yes. and Andy, if you were to ask somebody in your chat to give you something, specifically ask them, would you do this for me? Would you do me this favor? Would you then turn around I and say... I did not specifically ask Would you Teft. then... Uh, oh, no, okay. I'm not, I never specifically oh, asked Oh, okay. Him. Okay, so Teft is a liar now. Now your mod is a liar. Okay. Dude, but Teft so is a buddy of mine, too. Is, I know him. No, this is, this is such a non-issue. This is like... No, it's yes, an issue. It's, 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 it's not, not a issue. Pulling shit out of his ass. I mean, like... How many, like, Holy fuck, I, I, I think... How it, far gone I, are you, dude? I did 10 How hours of streaming. You? I did 10 hours of streaming yesterday, bro. Like, so what? You, it's not I, a I fucking accomplishment. I, Everybody does shit like I that. Relative remember, eight hours. I can't, I don't care. I can't remember every single interaction, dude. Like, this is, this is a non-issue that you keep going on about that doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, well, let me go on with my non-issue then. Why, why, why are you trying to ruin people's lives, Jim? Why are you... You literally just dox. Why, why are you? You, you dox Chad's dad literally on this stream earlier. Talk did, about did I dox him after yeah, Ruffin yeah. put the information out and the, the fucking book was linked to me live by other oh. people? I'm the one who doxed him, right? Yeah. Okay, so, that's good. So you're causing damage to him. Okay. Yeah, you try to spin that. Hey, by the way, asshole, uh, did your manager ever elaborate on me uh, he didn't having dox his people dad call here. him? No, no, Andy, let me finish this yes, up. You did. Did. There's an accusation that you doxed MetaCur, and I find this important. Did you dox? Did I dock somebody? Yeah. No, I took yes, information. Yes, you fucking already did, Jim. You just said Chad, who is in jeopardy of losing his job, said his dad wrote books about autism, and you've been posting the links. You fucking piece of shit. He didn't post okay. like a book. A book oh. about autism is public. All yeah. you do, Jim, is try to ruin people's lives and hide oh, oh, behind your is little holy avatar. Okay. Is that why? You, is that why you kept having me on your stream, you little fucking fame-hungry bitch? 
because I yeah. ruined life. So it, was, it was good for you then when it was convenient, wasn't it? Oh, I you shuck grabbing I, fuck. I think you're funny. Oh, no, yeah, you think point, it's you're funny not, when you're making you're money off the Deutsche you're Bank. You think it's real funny when you get the cash from it. Anymore. You're not you really providing any content anymore. I'm you're providing it right now. Big, I, oh, big. my God. Such a fucking hang sellout. On, hang, hang on, Bates. Bates. Oh, it's such a sellout. Bates, Bates, you listen are. to me. Fucking let me talk for one second. Bates. How many rallies say, have you shown up to, to Jim? What have you done in real life? Oh, oh, yeah. It's such a brave Antifa fighter, Bates. We're really impressed by you getting made. It's really brave. Tell me one thing you've done in real life. Why would I? I'm not a fame hungry whore that has to put my image oh, out. Oh, you're like not a fame hungry whore. You're just on all the shows well, all the time. Guy, the the guy guy you were fine with him. Internet. You were fine with him shitting on other people. Now, yeah, he, he was when it made him money. Yeah, he loved it then. But now that it's on him, now it's suddenly a problem. Now it's problematic. This is Talks criticism that people oh, have, right. and now you're being okay. really defensive about it, baked. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Have some self awareness for like a fucking second. Yeah, yeah, Jim, okay. you're, you're you're so terrible. Says the guy who has a fucking show named the Baked Alaska. I, I, I okay. As the fucking icon. Yo, I believe the issue here that you had with my show is Aaron. Okay. Aaron. Aaron. Right. Are no, that issue's passed. That that issue's passed, man. I think the issue now is pretty much apparent. Oh, the issue's passed. It. So so you you're a big fan of Aaron now. No, I know. I've told it. Fuck, you can go back and listen to my interaction. JF, Andy, did it sound like I'm a big fan of Aaron when I came in here? No, but JF Aaron, is. Yeah, and I your am praise. Too. Isn't that right, JF? I'm a big fan of Aaron. Same Aaron. Aaron. You're <laughs> always welcome, but, here, Aaron. But <laughs> Metaker has always been clear about what he has a problem with, which you beg uh, for the last few days. It's that you seem to be betraying things that you do, things that you seem to imply as promises to the audience. You seem to be riding waves in a non-constant and, 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 and way that will lead you to your own destruction. Okay. Well, thank you for that, JF. Um, I do not believe I've betrayed my fans. Um, I simply, like I said, peop there's people in the chat that have been saying things about killing people okay i don't really get offended i don't get offended by anything i don't I, I see this shit all day but at a certain point you know if i'm trying to bring more people in my community if i'm trying to grow people or grow my community and people are holding me back then i need to make strategic moves to try to make my content better and to make it a better experience for everyone else who's watching so that's what i've been trying to do do I fail every single day? Yes. I make so many fucking mistakes. I fail so much and it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's funny sometimes, hang on, babe, but babe, babe, the thing, hang on, babe, babe, hang on. Been, hang on. with you saying that, with you yeah. saying that though, that you fail every yeah. single day, you're showing some self-awareness, but then when yes. someone comes to you with criticism, you start, <laughs> you're now saying, I didn't do that. When you apologized last night, twice, you are self-aware, but then have an excuse later that's what people have the problem yeah. with it's just you know, yeah. I, I fucked up yeah i may have betrayed the audience there maybe i should stop being a little bit too sensitive about that fair enough yeah. and then move on from there you went on like this i was yelling in the chat for you to stop <laughs> i couldn't go walk because it's like five in the morning but i was like yeah you were you were trying to and then you're like antifa attacked me today and i'm like what does that have to do with anything that people criticize you on no one cares like no one was criticizing that at all people said well as, well as far as saying i'm a leftist then yes that is the counterpoint i would say i don't um, think but, you're but, a leftist but thank, jf thank can you. think well, that you're a leftist, I, I, but I don't. antifa yeah. will assault all sorts of people including left no, and yeah. richard 10 10 year old says baked this is the biggest alt-right channel in the world don't come here to cuck man and <laughs> run the vengeance ten dollar us baked you are delusional you drop the audience at convenience you pull the bait and switch john sends us ten dollar us thank you for the donation oh, also, and john oh. j ten dollar us yes, i never thought bait was funny never thought he was interesting never trusted him never liked him R.I.P. Baked Alaska. You know, just one, one criticism of you, Jim. Uh, Baroness Thompson, five bucks. Jim, stop ruining Baked's life. Stop being the puppet master of the internet. You won't get away with it. One day you'll be bully hunted. Watch out, yeah, Jim. Yeah, Watch uh, out, Jim. Roosh, yeah. Yeah, Roosh was on uh, Twitter saying that uh, I was the meanest bully on the internet. No. So, you know, maybe maybe I need to be dealt with, I, I guess. Uh, about, but I you think that they're yeah. not as a bully, but as a kind of paladin. He, he brings a sort of goodness to the internet. He has a sort of rule of conduct 
that is admirable. Personally, that's what I think of MetaCurve. Yeah, well, I, I want to answer Andy here. So, Andy, mm -hmm. that is good feedback. Mm -hmm. I, I'm i lowering my walls. I appreciate that. Cool. Um, I will admit, I am a very sensitive person, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I don't know why. I don't know. I wish I wasn't. I wish I could just, like, not be so sensitive all the time. But I am a lot. And so in when sometimes when criticism comes to me, because I get a lot of criticism and you guys know I, I everywhere all the time, especially being here in LA in real life, there's, you know, people stopping me on the street saying, fuck you all the time. You know, so I end up getting a little defensive sometimes and, and taking it out on maybe my chat or my fans. And that is wrong. And so you're right. I shouldn't be going back and forth, and I do. It's the a defensiveness it. that you keep bringing up that makes yeah. people go, "Dude, we're just giving you." If someone went, yeah. said that to me and went, "Andy, you're being a little bitch for X, Y, and Z," and then I apologize, and then ten minutes later, I'll be like, "But this is why I'm doing it." It's sort of like <laughs> you're reverting back, and I'm, I'm yeah. legitimately. This is an inter fuck invention. This is what this is, big. <laughs> I told you, and I'm gonna say right now. I'll say it live. I don't give a shit, dude. You need. A better manager. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say okay. it live well, right well, here well, because, my, my, my... because I I I gave, I gave you probably what I thought was amazing advice, saying if you want to do your IRL daily stuff, do it on a separate channel. So your main channel is for main events and split it mm -hmm. up. Your manager made you do a stream every single day, which diluted your content that when you had a big show, it only had about 900 viewers to a thousand. I, yeah. I, I was trying to give you the best advice <clears throat> and the only stuff your manager has done has brought, has bought you a little monitor and told you to stream every day. I could have told you that shit for free. He took he took the broken iPad back actually. He uh He took it back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um and, and and I'm not working with him anymore. Good good. I told yeah. you oh. day one when I was in LA, I'm like fire I, I, ha the fan I have okay. I didn't say that like, Break, didn't say breaking that. news. I have fired my manager and I'm working with someone new. Okay. Progress. Progress. Thank you. Now, wait, 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 Andy, Andy, don't jump for joy yet. Was it the old manager that told you all this shit, or is it the new one that's been telling you this stuff? What stuff? Uh, that you need to, you know, take a look at your audience and do what's good for no, you. No, 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 no. That, that was the old. That was the old manager. So the that new manager Scott. is new yeah. from today. The new, the new manager is from basically la kind of like started last night. We haven't had much time to work on stuff, but yeah. Beauty. So we're. So what you have to do now, now, now here's my question to you. Well, I actually have two questions. First of all, did you try to tone it down last night because Aaron was there? Now that Aaron's here, because that, that was the accusation that you were sort of. Uh, no. No. No, not at all. No. All right, cool. I'll just ask. The new manager, a woman. Uh, yes. Oh, get up. Fire her. I don't, even, I don't even have to know her personality. Fire her. You need Wait, you can, you can debate man. her. She He's here right now. If you want, if you want to debate her, she's here. Yeah, it's he's a here. Get it's a her yeah. On. yeah. My okay, best well, friend. Okay. Who? Who? That's your manager. Another, Wait. Yeah. Only day. I only debate another woman, dude. And, and, and Fine, Aaron called her. Aaron. Aaron, Aaron called her a cunt, so she wants to be smart again. Put, put on the headphones. Oh my god! What is All right. That? This oh, is happening. God. This is right 2018. Right. Bringing the blood sports black back, no. black. I, <laughs> This is the death of blood sports. I only one thing. I like how she was like, "I'll only debate a woman." Is it because you yeah. think every man, every man is gonna freaking man will destroy you? Is that what you think? Anyway, I Aaron, I'm rooting for you here. I'm on your corner. I'm a horrible debater, FYI. No one cares. So everyone, meet my new manager. She's a sweetheart. She's. I've known her for a long time. She. She's. She's going to help me make better content and be good to my audience and, and not do shitty dumb things and have thoughts over. So oh, without further ado, like me, here right? is Samaria. Hey guys. No. Okay. Um, just, just me. Okay. Um, <laughs> Fucking JS. Okay. Like this is the death of blood. Hey Samaria. Okay. Hey, do you believe hey, in, guys. in Sharia law or is that a meme? No, yeah. I think that the white shut up thought. I think that the white Sharia meme has like a lot of valid oh, points. It's a meme. Okay, it's a meme. Okay, yeah, it's it's a great meme. All right. So yeah. All right. So you no, told I don't Aaron to shut in, up. 
immediately. Yeah, because she's because she's a thought, dude. So thought shouldn't have a platform. So original. Okay, so I mean, at least I have thoughts, and I don't have to sit there with my fake ass blonde hair and my unwashed hair. I can tell that you haven't gone home. So yeah. Should we tell that I haven't gone home? You said. Yeah, dude, your hair looks dirty. What is that like? Cheap five dollar shampoo from Rite Aid? <laughs> Actually, I spend way too much money on shampoo, but I don't really know. What Literally I'm not enough. Dude. But I don't wash my hair every day because I'm a dirty girl. You're right. It damages it. You are, dude. I, you need I, to be I, saved. You need to go to I thought know. rehab. I think oh. Nick Fuentes needs to shut up. Thought I'm talking. Nick Fuentes needs to open up a thought rehab. Exactly. I. You, you need Jesus in your life. Oh yes, I need Jesus. How? I mean, thank you for enlightening me. You're welcome, dude. I see, like, you look a little bit less like a thought today, so clearly I did something for you. Wait, this is fascinating to me because you have a hatred in your heart and you believe that attacking random people is going to make you feel better and in control of your life. It's literally psychosis to me. No, I'm not I'm attacking not random people. I'm a t I'm removing a fucking a tyrant. tyrant. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh, what's your name, Samaria? You, sh you Samaria, asked her let her to talk. Let her talk. Shut up because she talks. Yeah, you asked her a question. You have to let her respond. What a concept! I know we're in white Sharia law, but it's fine. Um, it's a meme, you stupid thought. No, actually, it's not. You oh, a conveniently deleted stream, of course, so I can't go find it, or I guess it's private. But I will never forget you saying what you believe. I actually sat there and I said to myself. I am so glad that nobody in my life will ever think that I am in line with someone who believes this. Ironically, I respect Bait completely. I have nothing to say that's bad about Bait. Nothing. You, on the other hand, holy shit. I am in shock and I don't know what to say to you. It's like, because you, you don't know how to like communicate yeah, properly. I don't know how to think. You're right. I don't. I'm not a good debater. I don't have all the facts in front of me. And that's a stupid choice on my behalf because to fight. Because you're like, stupid. What? Sorry. Because you're stupid. That's why you don't have yes, that. I'm totally stupid. La la la. I mean, you, you can... a question. May I ask a question for more clarification for the audience. Uh, Samara, why do you hate Aaron so much? Like, what was the. I don't hate Aaron. Like, she's not special. Like, I hate people like Aaron. I hate. Thoughts who just get on no, but, but, the street. Hang on, what was right, the reason? What started the fire like yesterday? Like, like what was? Because you hate someone like Aaron. That makes no sense. Like, what made you particularly be like, shut up, thought you fucking hoe, you cut because, bag, whatever you're saying. Like, and and the guys that remember Gamergate, you know, people who remember facts and history. I don't think yeah, Aaron. Yeah, ask one thing about that. that yeah, I'm, I'm, I hated that because I think people like you guys, you know, people like my friends, like Jamal, is also and others put on a lot of work, you know, with these streams, with these videos, with this content. And then we get like thoughts or whatever this humor is. And then she just gets on and she, you know, she rides on other people's like dick stream, like uh, Jim made the point. So like people like her are the cancer in YouTube that we need to remove. Did she do anything in particular to you last night? Like what started that fight? No, she she doesn't like have to do anything to me. I think like her being around my friend, my my basically my brother now, it is bad for him. Wait, and hey, I don't hey, want hang on. So you're just know. upset that a girl's around baked? I'm mm -hmm. upset that she's damaging his image. How? Yeah, what does she do? Um, let me explain something to you, Andy. It might help understand the situation. And it's a question. Samaria, are you engaged in a romantic or sexual interaction with Baked Alaska? No, I'm seeing somebody else. Okay. So then huh. why are you... Like, what if... Let's just give an example here to you. What if Baked was trying to hang out with Aaron in hopes that she would break up with her black boyfriend and then have it in straight away. But now you're cock blocking him. No, I'm not cock blocking him. I asked him, do you have any kind of sentimental interest in this girl? If you do, you should. And he said, no, I have no interest in anything. With but her. He's but, like, but what if he's just a friend of hers? No, if he wants to go out with, I'm, I'm, can like we go back to the fact that I'm the manager now? You can't okay. manage who he has at his house if she's a girl. No, yeah, she can come over all the time. I just think that not on stream because we don't need much community on the internet. Mm, don't worry. Oh, I mean, don't worry. But, but Aaron, hang on. Did Aaron do anything on stream yesterday that was embarrassing? 
She was just really dumb. Like her, and her like retarded energy. It was just like I think ruining the whole event. Like she didn't even know anything about the anti-war protest. She was just there so people can see her make stupid faces and pay five dollars. Oh, you mean I was there? So okay. So you think I went to the protest to be a fame whore and leech off of what exactly? Off of fake going to the protest? That's exactly what you did. Okay. So I'm the one that's leaking, not the people going just to antagonize the opposite and go hail yourself as a hero because you're against the evil concern. This is actually, to me, this is funny. I, I'm intrigued by this. I don't understand. I think Baked is fully separate from you. I'm not going to judge Baked for what you're saying because that would be me being you. I don't judge you. I have nothing against you. You have a severe issue with rejection and you want, you literally said you want Slut shaming to exist? Yes. Want, no, no, but you said that <laughs> slut shaming must exist. Now, I represent the ultimate slut to you, apparently. I literally sat on yes, my just to piss you off because I needed to express myself somehow because I was like, well, you know but what? You, you can't express yourself with words. You have to sit no, on people's laps. No, exactly. I am a literal. So this is why we need thought shaming. Feminist. It's a new form of feminism. Like, why, what is why shame the sluts, Samaria? Yeah. Because they're ruining society. They give a false home to men, and then men retreat in porn, which she's in, for, she's in favor of, actually. If you can see the stream, she is fully supportive of the porn industry. That's right, Aaron. And, My girl. Which is just disgusting and repulsive. Woo! So, yeah. Girl, yeah. People like her that create the porn industry. Oh, that my God. Generative to men. Oh, my God. You're degenerative to men. Being a cunt is degenerative to men. I don't think so. My my boyfriends who I don't cheat on or I don't go oh, and sit in other people's boy, laps I can never say that. What does that mean, dude? Like, what are you saying? You said you want Sharia law to exist. White Sharia law. I'm pretty it's sure a it's a fucking meme, you stupid no. thought. Oh, no, 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 miss. I'm intellectual. Don't resort to memes as your defense. Come on. That's kind of silly. Be consistent. No, it's right? not. There's like a whole, like, podcast about it it's oh my goodness. If you would listen to yes, a podcast and stop sucking dick then maybe you would know i okay you and your hatred for sucking dick. i mean are you a lesbian like what no dude that? no i'm not a lesbian Why I, are you so I like angry? i'm just annoyed at thoughts like you like after this what i'm gonna have to go shower in nick oh, yeah, repellent for being in your presence like I, i've taken two showers and i can still like feel the thoughtery in the room Oh my god, I must be permeating inside you. It's scary. Am I infecting your like your womb? You like, are. You're infecting society. You're infecting the society that I don't want my children to grow up in. Oh, really? So what kind of... Okay, so I think I'd be a better mother than you, to be honest. Because I actually love people, and I love people being free to exist. You think you'd them. be a better mother than me? Yes, like, absolutely. 100%. Wow. That's, 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 100%. That's great. That's, I'm, I'm glad you have dreams and aspirations I'm that not a dream. go outside of sitting on people's laps. But you're uh -huh. absolutely wrong. I have a child. Like I said, I'm a single mom from a previous relationship and that you decided, everybody decided to talk about yesterday. And there's nothing she, wrong with that, though. That's so okay. you don't know. You don't know. You don't know if you'd be a better mother. Because I actually am a mom. I actually did have a kid. So shut up and never say that again. Because you'll, you don't, until you're a mom, you can just shut the fuck up. Okay? That doesn't make sense. That's like saying until you're, like, until you're. You're like, you're like the, the stupid shit libs that compare loving their cats and dogs to children. No, I'm like, not. You're, you're, actually, yes, I you are. You're wrong. I think having a child is the most sacred thing a human can do, and it's a responsibility we undermine. And it's disgusting when people bring a child into this world that they don't have the emotional competence to deal with. So you're hallucinating about me. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. What I, have to go. I have, I have, things, I have books hey, to read. Hey, Samara, 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 I just say one thing. What's up? I, 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 I honestly, like, like if Baked is fine with Aaron being there and has no problem and you're his manager, you should respect his wishes and don't try to control him like you're some sort of, a sort of mother figure. I don't think that's, I don't get it. that's good. You actually, you starting that beef with Aaron yesterday made it more embarrassing for Baked when you could have just chilled out. And I mean, if Aaron went crazy and did some fucked up dumb shit. I would see you, but like it seems like you're just just trying to control baked and and who he has to hang out with and who he has on stream. It's his it's his show. You're supposed to give gu guidance, not start beef with people he wants in his house. He invited her over to his house. Yeah, okay. he literally invited me on. Like, why are you trying to speak for him as if you're his, you know, controller and slave master manager? manager no he can absolutely yeah, have really whoever he wants over his house because it's i'm not 
But I, I would advise him against hanging out with the two. Why? You're so strange. Baked is not you. There's I'm, I'm, strange. I'm sorry that you've never encountered an, a woman who actually reads books. Oh, stop oh it. My God. Have you read Luck? Have you read Luck? What? Have you read Luck? John Luck? No. Have you read Luck? Yeah, no. John, uh, no, I read oh, other God. types of books. Do I've read more Schopenhauer and Kant. Huh? Do you have previous experience in uh, YouTube production and memeing on live streams? I yeah. have no experience in YouTube production. I have only experience in political campaigns. Mm. Right, fair enough. So, what did I do? Yeah, what did I do to ruin Baked and you? Or what? I don't understand. What okay, I have to go. I have things right, to right, do. Bye, Samara. Off. We'll get Baked back on. Our friend okay. failure just jumped on. Let me just read a couple of super chats. No, you can go ahead, Samara. It's fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Augusto Hi. Jose Ramon Pinochet, 50 bucks. Thank you very much, buddy. It appears Bait has cocked 56% of his channel and total control to this dominant creature. Uh, baked plus la creature equals El Goblino de Atrosad, Abandon Hope, and Accept the Cat Fighting Thought Sports. This was the final black pill for me. And a Colossal Lord of Verlins, 21 bucks. This is who Bait calls a great person. If she says shut up one more time, Oh, is uh, she is for censorship too? Bates' channel is marked for failure, and he's causing it to himself. Bates, what was that? Yeah, what was that? What was huh? what was what? Were you listening to to that exchange? Uh, I I heard her side. I c I couldn't hear everything there. Um. And by the way, if you're yeah, enjoying I mean, the stream, I, hit like. It helps support the channel. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We have 6,300 people in the stream. And Failure has also jumped in. He's sort of in shock right now, messaging me. Hey, what the fuck is going yeah, on? what's up? Baked, your new manager, is yeah. a mainstream conservative street political activist. Okay. Is that a problem? That, that's your manager for your YouTube production? Or she's managing your political campaign. Um, putting together like uh, I'm going to be going to more political events in real life, so scheduling those. Uh, we have an event already May first. We're going to be doing, which is going to be really exciting. Uh, probably uh, I don't want to say all the details, but flying out of state, going and supporting. Um, I'm very passionate about the anti-war uh, stance um, and, and against the Syrian war, even though I am a Trump supporter. I've consistently been against the Middle Eastern wars because I think they're bullshit and the military industrial complex. Um, so she is really connected in those areas and she's going to be able to help me. We're trying to get probably two events that I can do um, in real life and go out to the events, talk to people, get have conversations, you know, and all that stuff. And so I, I, I would agree that I need to do my own thing. I need to be myself. And so th that's what I've really innovated and that's what I'm good at. I don't want to be a blood sports clone. I don't want to be a Kumite clone. I don't want to be, you know, anything, an ice Poseidon clone or anything like that. I want to do what I'm best at. And I believe that's going to political rallies and, and doing the IRL streams and then hanging out with people after that. That's what I've done for a long time. Fair, and you, know, and but you want to do, you want to do the activism stuff. You're good at it. Right. Cool. Fair enough. Why, yeah. why is it when you invited Aaron into your house yesterday, Samara right now, what they were just talking about, Samara was being, was cucking you basically by saying, I don't want him hanging out with this girl for no I didn't, reason, I didn't, I, for I, no I, reason at all. Your manager is telling you to not hang out with bitches who you might want to bang. No offense, Aaron. I didn't mean to call you a bitch, but you know what I mean. Well, I, I I enjoyed I enjoyed having you're Aaron over. Aaron, we had, we, Aaron. we had some good conversations. Aaron, you're muted. Aaron, uh, Aaron unmute but yourself. All... Oh no. Yeah, no. I enjoy oh. I enjoyed having Aaron over, and we had some good conversations. I mean, the main cock block here is not Samaria. The main cock block is Jim. Jim what? came in no, and started, dude, no, 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 we just started bitching about bro. Aaron. Ah! I'm just telling dude. you what I just heard. He's the biggest cock block you'll ever find. Dude, that's insane. How could you say that, honestly? That's not you. There's no way that's you. Is it? I mean, tell me. How could you let her do that and actually, you are, I, unless I'm crazy, which is possible, I met a different person that would never, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I'm okay if I'm mean? wrong. Well, can, I, can you please clarify what you're okay. saying here? The way I guess you might not have heard our exchange. I, I mean, couldn't. I couldn't hear the bat. I only heard one side. Sorry. Or side or we have we have headphones here. Sorry. So just just give me the Reader's Digest version of what. Okay. So 
you're okay with her basically saying, I am someone who should not be at your house on any of your streams and that I'm somehow a horrible influence for your reputation, et cetera, that I'm just horrible. Um, well, her- ultimately I make my own decisions. I mean, people can give me advice, but I make my own decisions. I, I do enjoy having you over and we, we've had some good times. I think, um, you know, sometimes it, it can get out of hand last night, you know, obviously got a little out of hand. Um, I mean that, I, I don't know, you know, it was a combination of a lot of things, but, um, but I, like I said, I still, I still had fun. Um, and I think you had fun. I don't really have a problem with still having you over. It's not going to be like every stream, but I don't have a problem with that. I mean, given your new manager's behavior, it seems that people like, uh, like Karen will be rejected. She, she literally calls her a tat and a tumor for society. Mm -hmm. She calls for the removal of society. Well, I mean, she's, she's saying the same things that Jim is saying here. Um, I mean, this whole, this whole thing, Jim has been posting videos of you nonstop and exposing you. It's like. But are it's, you serious? Are you, it's a different the, vibe. The guy that's calling you a crack whore, you're, you're like it, siding with right now. It doesn't feel the same. The way she, I you, treat that. You're, you're, you're like, your IQ is really low. Like, really, that's really low. Creative, baked. Honestly. No, it, it's really low that you can't see someone. One, one person's helping you. Another okay. person is you, calling you a fucking crack whore. Oh, Lord. Other, I, I mean, you're used to abusive stuff. I mean, you said you said it yourself. Mm-hmm. I am. I'm yeah. very used to it. That's the irony. So, number yes. one. So, so maybe you should act well to the people who treat you right instead of the people that uh, treat you like shit. Your manager and, and, just uh, called her a thought and a cunt and a horrible person for having no reason, but she reminds her of people like other people. Mm-hmm. Well, she's talking specifically about Aaron sitting on my lap no, and then not, oh, I, okay i don't know i didn't hear it i didn't hear on, it. i didn't hear it oh lord i mean i really want to speak on this because i don't think that this makes sense you are totally different than the way you were before so i don't know you as well as she does i guess i've accepted that I'm not here attacking you. Ironically, if I were a vicious snake, I would be soulless and be here. You, you, you know, you were talking a lot of shit today and you've been soaking up the fame. Oh my goodness. You've been soaking you know, up the fame like the little leech you are. You've been soaking up all the fame, okay. going on all the shows. Really? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You don't want to know what it looks like if I do that. Trust me. You don't want to know. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want to. I don't want to know. I don't no, want to know. Don't, don't even. Honestly, don't that's, even. that's kind of despicable. <laughs> I'm glad I know that this is who you are. Thank you, Jesus, or whoever's out there. I know now. I respect who you are, you, but do you, not fuck with me, dude. You know that what? Cuckoo. What are you doing? Like, how? What? How is this normal? What are you saying to me? Do you hear yourself? You're gonna look back. I promise, and say that was fucked up. On God, what, what, what was fucked up? God. What was fucked up? The way you're speaking to me. You think I'm leeching? I have done nothing but say, "Thank." Oh. Good. He is not. I don't want people to say bait cup to last. Oh I, it makes God. me sad to see that. Yeah, like, yeah, every single, yeah, every yeah, single, yeah, every single yeah, person has brought you in yeah, here yeah, and yeah. Call, called say. you names. Yo, I just you got sent me. something. Wait, wait. I just got sent something. Oof. This is from a while ago. Someone just said, Yo, this is not from me. Don't tell anyone. But there's an article here saying, Before getting kicked off Twitter, at red real red elephant writer samara her last name talked about kikes needing the biggest oven and there's an actual article article here of samara really <laughs> yo i'll 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 <clears throat> that always okay I'm yeah, gonna, baked, uh, baked, are you gonna ban your new manager for being too toxic to your influencer <laughs> yeah. brand? Hang on, i'm gonna send you the i'll send you the fucking thing right now all right uh, yes send me oh uh, yeah there's literally says ta- she was talking about kikes needing a bigger oven and she was banned look, okay, and fired look, off her writing look, job look, let's rewind for a second i brought aaron onto my stream 
I've not had a problem having Aaron on my stream and everyone continually has been criticizing me for having Aaron on my stream and saying I'm ruining my brand. And then the second that I say, okay, fine, if that's not what like you guys want, then everyone's like, whoa, you know, like, like Aaron, me and you have dealt with this, like I know. The, the bipolar, the bipolar nature of everyone looking in on our lives and like wanting us to do things. It's just really weird. It's just really right. strange. So, hey, I, bait, so bottom bait. line, I, I, I'm bait, sorry, bait, bait. Aaron. No, let me finish. I'm, I'm sorry, Aaron. I, I'm fine with hanging out with you and, and, and being on stream. It, it doesn't bother me. Okay. And okay. I, I want, I want you, I want you guys to get along. Like, awesome. you, hug it up. Hug you, it she, up. She, she, she stood up for me uh, when a lot of people said shit about her. Okay, so fuck thank that. You. Who cares? Okay. Care. Or hug it out and I'll read this. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Um, uh, before getting kicked off Twitter, Samaria Ramez yes, talked about uh, yes. Kikes needing the biggest oven. It was a meeting, mm -hmm. that's, um, that's probably not a good... I, I don't know. That sounds like she's saying she wants to kill Kikes, man. I mean, that's problematic, isn't it? Tumblr? Shouldn't we get rid of her? Jim, that that sounds pretty toxic, man. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna yeah. have to protect your brand. You want to be a sounds, uh, sounds really really toxic. Aaron, Aaron. Okay, I need a new manager. Aaron, are you? Uh, oh my god. Are you up for the task? I have the link here. I have the link for the actual oh. article on Canary Mission. Samara. What was that? What, was this a, was this promoted. a meme or was this? No, this is... Here's the problem. I mean, she seems to be a little bit like you in the end, Samaria. So she might be the right manager for you. She uses memes. I'm sure she, I'm sure it was a joke, this kike stuff that she yeah. said. Yeah. And she mentioned it earlier. She uses memes in a kind of unthoughtful manner. Very right. dangerous. But, but, but the thing is, you have to say, like, I'm fine with her saying whatever the fuck she wants. But then you can't turn around on your audience. Because here, here's some tweets she wrote, okay? Uh, if you ever wonder who's behind the white privilege bullshit, here's one a vivid example. And then she puts Alindra uh, Sarsour, but with the three parentheses, meaning Jew. Um, <laughs> and then oh, said, you're going to give her shit for using the parentheses? No, maybe, I don't care. Really? I'm fine with that. But when you... I don't, turn I, on, I've never given people... I use the parentheses all the time. I'm like, I'm just showing you I never that give she people, does I never give people, shit as I've, well. I've told, I've told you what I gave... My audience shit for was the specific violent threats. I myself have tweeted. Okay, okay, all let's sorts read this. Let's read shit. this. That's the problem when you let kikes into the movement. All they want to do is shill. Fucking hilarious. Um, but you that did this. I mean, that that doesn't seem like a joke. I mean, I I I think I don't know what Samaria did in the past. I know she did some some things that she probably doesn't approve of now and there was a time where me and her weren't cool and she apologized to me and i accepted that and uh we moved on but i don't believe she wants she uh violence about, towards anyone she, she tweeted ah! about kikes being in an, in an oven like with well no andy, andy, andy and now the thoughts andy, are the cancer of society you're, you're giving him a great pr boost here because the chat fucking loves her now Oh, there you go. All right. Oh, the chat there loves you her go. now. I helped Thank you, you out. Andy. I helped you out, Thank babe. You, there Andy. we go. Look at how that backfired. All right. All right, Samara, swing on by. Let's talk about the kikes, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what up, why, why, why don't you just get a guy manager? These bitches are going to fuck you over, man. <laughs> The last guy manager I had uh, got me a broken iPad and then took it back. Was he gay? Uh, no. He wasn't Ooh. gay. Um, people got mad, though, that he was uh, half Jewish. Um, I don't have a problem with that, but apparently my fans really didn't like that. Apparently Samara has a problem. I, no, I, no. It hey, was look, my fans. If you want... A Samara as your manager, that's cool. But the next time a manager tells you that you shouldn't have a girl over at your house, tell her to shut her fucking mouth yeah. and watch her, her, her tone. Just yeah, watch that. your tone. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what you actually need? You need an assistant. You need an attaché. Yeah. You don't I mean, need a manager. Right, right, right. I'll call her my assistant. I think that's a, a better word for it. Wait, I just need so I, I have a lot of shit going on. I need someone to help me stay focused. I'm very ADD and like my head's all over the place. Um, 
and I appreciate this intervention, guys. This uh, yeah, hey, hey, this hey, means a lot. Yeah, hey, we have some we have some more people who want to join the intervention. Yeah, I'm gonna call this debate. <laughs> you wait, 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 wait. Who, who, who the thing is? I saw a who? meltdown yesterday, and I was upset for you, and I wanted to get you in here, and just Thanks, sort of man. clear the air. I know it's Thank a bit you. tense. But everyone yeah. was hating on you and shitting on you yeah. for maybe some good reasons of you overreacting. And when you realize it, we can start building you back up to something good instead of being a, a fucking meme or a lol cow. Thank you, man. I pre I appreciate that, Andy. That speaks highly of your integrity. If I, I had really, a manager. Really if I had a chick in my house who sat on my lap, yeah. and my manager was like, "I don't want her there," I would spit on my manager and fire them right in front, right there, you. Go. See, she's <laughs> she, she, she and she moved the camera down. She knows what's good. That's right. That's right, Aaron. I do. Yeah. We well, have, okay. We have, we have, we have um, a bait. We have someone. A wait, no, no. Bait. No, you got to tell me who. It's it's Brittany Venti. Okay, come on. There we go. We have Brittany Venti. I love More Brittany. Time. More time. I love Brittany. What's yeah. up? And, and this is also for JF. She'll be here in... in... Oh, yeah. There JF, she JF is. Loves, Brittany Venti. What's the, going the on? Quadrant. What's up, Brittany? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hey. Yeah. I just got to do the entry mic tests and everything. Yep. So uh, I wanted to join to say at the beginning... I wasn't feeling Team Aaron because, you know, I was a skeptic, all right? She'd be a good politician because she pulled me over to her side. <laughs> because in the beginning, I, I, I usually make fun of people like Aaron, the LOL, I'm so random. I'm not like those other girls type of thing. But then it turned, it's like an anime. It turned out that Aaron was best girl because she was right about your manager the whole time about her wanting your dick. <laughs> So your manager comes on and just proves her point. Oh, and no. it's like, this is the anime where the worst girl wins. It's oh, not fair. No. You don't even see it, Biggs. She yeah. literally cock blocked you and stepped out of bounds. Like, you need to put her in line. She's talking about Aaron being a thought, but she's stepping out of line. I have I have had Aaron on my streams, and I've been having fun with it. And like I said, all, pe all people have doing has been attacking me, being like, why do you have Aaron over? Why is she doing this? Why is she doing this? Big, why are you wearing this? Why are you wearing this? Like, people, I mean, I know I know, it might sound defensive, but I'm just saying, people have been, like, super, I know I'm putting my whole life IRL on the internet. Yes, I get it. But people have been, like, nitpicking every single fucking thing. You can ask Aaron, like, they're like, why are you guys doing coke? Why are you guys doing this? What? Dude, we don't do coke. We don't, I don't drink. Aaron doesn't drink. Like Aaron's not on drugs. I'm not on drugs. They're the only thing I'll around. do is they're fucking around. They're just, the only thing I'll do is weed. I know they're messing with me, and so sometimes it's, it just it get gets to you. But no, I fucking like Aaron. Okay, Aaron's going to be on my stream, Samaria. That, 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 you called him like you though. Why that's, did that's you call him like you? Mistake. I don't leave. <laughs> Wait, failure. What did you say? You you fucking let the internet know that they got to you. Fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll. And Cloud Corp, thank you, a hundred dollars. He says, "Thank you for freedom of speech. Massive donation. Thank you so much." Remember to hit like hey. if you're enjoying. Anyway, uh, you, you said there was no drug consumption, but there was. There's behavior that clearly indicates that you guys are on something. I mean, like, no, no. At some point, there's chat people in the chat saying "fuck you back," and Erin is like, "I don't care," and she dances like this. That yeah, she's just an eccentric type of person. I mean, Brittany Venti has. You know, acts pretty crazy sometimes too. Uh, I, I, no, not, man, I, I'm, I'm with JF on this. We're not idiots. I, yeah. You no, guys are at least drinking. I, I, right? Okay, well, listen. No, we're not drinking, guys. Okay, there's four here's, locals, the, though, right? here's the weird thing. You can't just make up conspiracy theories we're, about my life. You, like, you had a guy in your apartment that got arrested for meth possession. So it's not wait, a far fetched. Wait, what do you mean? I I've never heard that he got arrested for meth possession. How do you know, Jim? <laughs> because it was fucking strained for six hours. Are you, are you doing more doxing? Hold, you know what, Bake? If you want to be a defensive little girl and cry about no, toxicity asking, why, and then bitch you, about the bad things you, that are happening, you're going to be a target not, for everybody on the internet not, to laugh at. That's, that's not, reality. That's not public Bake. information. I'm saying, why are you bringing up something uh, that's public Tonka. information? Tonka. In the beginning, hey, yeah, we, in the beginning of the stream, you were saying, oh, this poor guy. Oh, oh my God, Bake, is a police report private information? or is I, it? I don't know. Well, if it's public, then it's public, okay? 
Aaron Beck denies the consumption of drugs, but maybe he doesn't know. Aaron, do you deny that you were on some drugs uh, at some moment in the streams of the last few days? Oh, the streams of the last few days. No, I was not on drugs. Ironically, I know I probably seem like I am on a million drugs, but the last few days I've not been on drugs. I've had a history of prescription drug abuse. I'm very open about this. Uh, I don't hide it. It is literally my life. I don't know what else to say other than it was hell and I don't wish it upon anybody. But now I'm very ironically sober, which is scarier that I'm just like this. But I'm not ashamed of it anymore because it's me and I don't really try to be different. I mean, I can seem really silly and crazy, but the irony is my genuine appreciation for what you were bringing to the table fake is the exact reason that i just like somebody like your manager arriving and stifling that it's like if you're having fun with something just go with it it's life or we could die tomorrow nothing is certain yet you i think you do actually enjoy my company god i don't know but I'm really thankful for Brittany Venti coming on here and saying this because I fully, I don't know anything about you other than you're very pretty and I'm sure people judge you left and right. Um, so it's actually really, it's nice to actually hear that from somebody else because- Can I ask you, uh, what, what did you mean by it was ironic? What, which part? The When you, when you said that is ironic. What is she meant, I think you meant that it was ironic that you're still behaving like a drugged, cracked Oh yes, exactly. <laughs> when you're yeah. not on crack. Yeah, oh. exactly. It's ironic that I'm so, I'm basically very hyper and childish and loud and I act crazy sometimes, mm. but I've kind of embraced that. And when I was on prescription medications, they kind of numbed me and made me a zombie. I'm the opposite when I'm fully myself. So last night, I think that the only person drinking was Chad. Bates was not drinking. Chad um, and, and Gay Hannity. Yes, and Gay Hannity. But yeah, she, not, Miss not, Sharia was not drinking, I don't think. Or was she? I don't think so. No. Um, and, <laughs> but I don't, it's not like I'm against alcohol or for It's just, it is what it is. I don't know. Also, I, 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 also I, I, I have a Tonka has sw swung by. What's up, Tonka? How you doing, man? Hey, uh, hey, can I borrow you for a minute? Just, just come over here to the side. Come step in my office for a second. Just me and you. Hey, Nobody else is around. Good, good. I love okay. you talking. What's oh, up? Okay, babe. It's just, it's just, just come from me. It's just us. It's just us. <laughs> you have got to minimize the amount of attention-seeking hoes and thought micromanaging fucking managers in your life. <laughs> you have got to kick these hookers to the curb. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, okay. So he, here's here's where the paradigm shift comes in. I, Tonka, I hear you. And th this is why I'm... My mind is so fucked right now. I have no. Tonka and Jim saying, stop hanging out with these thoughts. I have my man... Just these thoughts. That. <laughs> and, then I, and, then I, and then I have Worski, JF, kind of like Aaron. Brittany Venti likes Aaron. Like, I like Aaron. Like... Holy shit! Like, I don't know. I feel I feel like everyone just tells me what to do. Like, I I, I sort of just want to make my own decisions yeah, at this point. Yeah, talk good. And so, if, if so, talk good. And, and that, that. That, that's why I was getting defensive because people are like, "Big, do this. Big, do that. Big, talk to this girl. Big, stop talking to this thought." La la la. And at, so at a certain point, I got pissed because I was like, "Yo, this is my own life. Just mm. like shut the fuck up." Like like that's why I've been so defensive is like, I just want to do my own thing and I can't please everybody. And I realized that I can't you, please everybody. But do you understand it, that? Didn't it seem like life was going pretty fucking swimmingly until the fucking, the, you know, the, the, the recent influx of hoes. Don't, don't you think it was a bit easier before? So um, you were trying to cop a look at her ass earlier. I didn't have to cop oh! a look at anything. She was standing there showing it. Oh yeah. Wait, you Wait, you were so like turn over. I want to see your ass so you can be a seven. No, wow. Tonka, I you I are, could get a seven. Had an ass. Exactly. So, had an ass. So, I, I'm, I'm going to say this on record. I'm Team Aaron, and all all these guys that have criticized her have have brought her on their shows for content, and then orbited Whoa, around her. And shit. Who gives a I fuck? You baked. Why can't we invite her on? 
you can. You can, but okay. but so what's your you point? Be consistent. You can't say she's a fucking thought. La la la. Can. And then I seem like one, and then they realize I. It's it doesn't. There you go. There you I don't go. care. I get it. Trust me. I'm not. It's she not, can thought about, posts and still be likable, though. You can be a thought and still <laughs> yeah, be liked. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't mind it. I get it. I totally get it. Um, I mean, people have tried to give me the same criticisms about Venti. They said, "Big, stop being friends with Venti. She's degenerate." Blah blah blah. And I it's, don't. What does that mean? Up. I don't care. Venti's fucking hilarious, and she's a nice person. She's been a good friend to me, and Aaron's done the same. So that's my stance on that, Tonka. Um, maybe she she's good friend. Maybe maybe so. But I was just reflect. You you were grown folk. You can do what you want. I ain't, ain't you that. Oh wait, I, I I see JF and failure going uh, in the chat at each other here. Uh, you guys want to air this out? <laughs> this is a parallel story. It has nothing to do. So okay, okay. talking about the main subject. Okay, of we'll, the show. we'll talk about the main subject. Um, I wanted to ask um. <clears throat> Jim, I want to talk about Jim. Uh, you know, he's very easy to accuse people of stuff. Um, but uh, I, saw, I saw you. Um, I'm just asking you, Jim. Uh, do you think it's moral for you to, knowing this guy, Chad, my friend, who has his job in jeopardy, when you knew that, you tweeted out today, you retweeted a link, the actual Amazon link of yep. a book written by his dad that I, even me knowing the guy, I had no idea about his dad. Um, to me, I find that to be immoral, and I find that um, basically trying to put this guy in trouble, which, which at the same time you're trying to say you have sympathy for him. So, um, so how do you respond that? to that? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll respond to that. I, I'd start off by saying I'm not the fucking retard that went on a live stream and uh, made statements that were pro pedophilia and then told people where I worked. That was him. I wasn't the idiot that freaked out when people started tweeting my boss. I wasn't the guy that had a fucking uh, mugshot and a police record for meth. I wasn't the guy that was talked about on multiple streams for having all of these issues. Uh, if I'm going to laugh at a trash fire, are you asking me? Are you seriously sitting here saying, Jim, you're not going to laugh at a fucking trash fire? Do you know who I am and what I do? No, I, do, I am. Do you think, I because, if somebody, that. I, do you think saying... because somebody you know that I, I would act any differently? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, do you think it's moral? I'm not to... here for morality. I'm here for okay. entertainment. I know, yeah, okay, so you you would probably agree it's not moral to put out in That's Amazon. That's not at all what I, not his... at all what I said. I said okay, so morality think... I'm here for entertainment. It doesn't matter what you're here for. Do you think that's a, a yeah a, it does? That's do why I think here. that's Get a moral it. move to put out a book about uh, this is I'm re this oh, is okay. Let me ask autism. you. Let me ask you. Book about it, autism. You want to speak about and, morality and, baked? Is it moral to advocate for pedophilia? Is it moral to absolutely do not? Absolutely not. And I don't believe he was doing that. Oh, you don't? Then why was he freaking out when his boss got contacted? If he, he didn't do anything he, that was a problem? He, okay, he told this story, he said, if a, and many people have told this story before, he said, if a woman teacher had sex with a younger guy, then he said he thought that would be okay. I he personally, was comparing it to a story about a 12-year-old that got molested, and then he and, flipped the situation and, and said, what if it was this way instead? And I personally said, that's disgusting, and I don't think so. Um... So well, is, I, it, I, is it moral for you to platform him, Bake? Do you want to talk about morality? You've got a guy saying these things. You don't think it's moral. Why was he I, on your I don't, I, dude, Why I is he on your stream? Why do you got I that guy I didn't know that, stream? but I obviously he didn't said know it right that beforehand. Front of you. you could have thrown him and out of I, your apartment. I, I you went on for two hours with him. I condemned it. I condemned what, it. You, you went on for two hours giving we him We all him. condemned it. What are you doing, Bake? You can ask that Aaron. You sound can ask everyone more. there. Sounds like you wanted to no, make money no, off the no, controversy. I, no, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I condemned yeah. it. And I think no, so. I think so. I think you like that Jim, money. I think you Jim, like the money coming in. Jim. All those super chats. That's so I love funny. the shekels. I love them. I know you I love do. them. That's, Keep that's them why coming. you behave the way you do. Yeah, Keep I them know. coming. Baked, why did you delete the stream? I didn't delete the stream. I made it private. I personally don't care if it's up. I'm not ashamed of anything. But my friend Chad asked me for a personal favor. He's your afraid. friend. Your friend. You don't know who's arrested for meth and is a Jim. pedophile advocacy. Okay, good. Nice friends. Oh. Good friends. Yo. The same friend that begged you to end the stream and you wouldn't because you wanted money. But you tell Jim. Tonka he's a bully. Nice. Jim, shut the fuck up, man. Nice. Oh, you got really consistent you're, uh, morality you're, you're, there. Consistent you're, guidelines. You're, you're, putting so, you're putting so many conspiracy theories out that aren't. Tonka, did he ask you if he was your friend when you were making fun of him or not? 
Well, it was when someone else, uh, I can't remember who it was. I want to say Zoom was going at him. He, he asked me if I was his friend. It, it, that wasn't my stream, by the uh, way. I, but... I know, but Tonka, he did ask you that. Okay, so here you're yeah, sitting. Yeah, he did ask that. Uh, you're you're here, sitting here now telling me that Chad's your friend. So when he's crying and saying, my life is over, please end the stream. This isn't a joke. You're like, I'm going to keep going on. And you went on for two fucking hours. No, two hours. no, dude, dude. No, we, we nice friend. You're a great friend. Buddy. Oh, you you're don't know. Friend. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Apparently me, I do. Cause you're screaming know. all day. No, the only people that were here were me and Aaron and, and you don't, you don't know what went on, Jim. You, you live at home in your basement and you don't show oh, your Oh, I'm a basement dweller. May, yeah. may I bring something up that... that no, base? no, Andy. I want to continue on with this because he wants to well, try to banter. Well, I want to add no, something no, no, that Andy, he said Andy, about Andy, you. Andy. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm finishing answering no, JF's no, question. No, I'm, let me finish. No, no, JF, asked me, no, JF asked me and I got cut off, okay? So JF asked me, why did I delete the stream? I did not delete the stream. People are saying that. People are also saying other rumors... No, I didn't answer. No, you did. You I said got you privated it. No, Chad. I got cut off. I made it private because I was begged by Chad. He said, "I don't want to be fired. I, I, he, he's scared. I don't think he should be scared, but he's for some reason scared that this could affect his job because people were harassing him and going after him and like tweeting his boss and all this stuff. So, out of respect for him, I put it on private." Okay, so that's after, why. After you got the money, after the stream was over. Nice friend. Good job. Okay, well, dude, I want to bring up. He's such a stand-up guy. Dude, you're a good guy. You, good guy. You, you and your fans are the ones going after my friend, you fucking your idiot. Your friend is the you're one that posting, said the statement and told that people you're were You're posting his dad's book about autism, you dipshit. Hey, dude, well, if you want to be a public retard? figure and start making comments about dude. how it's cool with pedophilia, and here's where I work, not, I guess you never happen. said pedophilia is cool. You, that's a lie, dude. Oh, you know oh well, okay, we'll see what his, you know, we'll see what his response so, is. After that's a lie, dude. So mm -hmm. why couldn't that guy just have um the guy that said his right life was ruined? Why couldn't that guy just have uh, walked away? Because I understand what it's like to be in that position. Yeah. To be for people that don't want to be streamed as streamer, but streaming is your job. So I think it would have been better for the guy to just walk away and get out of the picture. It would have did the same effect that he wanted, just without hurting Big's. Exactly. And that's what I said. I said... I, I stream for a living. That's what I do. Okay. You can hate on it or whatever. That's my job. That's what I do. And I, I told him at any point, I said, dude, if you don't want to be on stream, you can walk away. We went to an event and then he came to my house afterwards and I was streaming first. And then I turned, I stopped the first stream actually. And then I started another stream and he still stayed at my house. So although I respect the guy, it's like at any, I was not forcing him to be there. He, I said he could leave at any time. He didn't have to say anything about his work. He didn't have to say anything about anything. And 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 anyone who comes on my stream, like they know the risks that come with the stream and, and people can be vicious, people can be malicious. And I specifically said, I said, people out there, please stop messing with him. But of course, you know, that's bait, not gonna bait, work. Bait. I May did my I best. Cut it for a, a one second. Uh, yeah. Now that you know that he was being, being pro a pedophile, advocating for pedophilia now that that you are hearing this like i get what you're saying people bring it up and then that's making him feel uncomfortable besides that point because it's already done now what do you say about chad i don't believe he's pro pedophilia i believe he was making kind of a joke he said if a if a hot teacher at a school got together with a guy in high school that guy would be the coolest guy in school I personally don't agree with that at all, but I don't believe Chad is pro pedophilia. I believe he was making sort of a joke and it came off really bad. He he is he has some social things with him where he doesn't get all the social Well, yeah, we know. We read the book. Aaron, Aaron, can you can you back me up on that? Um so on which part? Well, I mean, do you believe do you, I don't believe he's I, he's obviously not Pro pedophilia, in my opinion, and I believe he was joking about that. What What do you think? I think that he was simply okay. The whole thing, he was trying to be impressive or kind of like right or say something nuts that was I don't even know. It was just like I was think he was trying. He was trying to like shock yeah. people, shock yeah, humor. kind of yeah. weird and just I don't know. I was I was watching and just saying okay, but um, I don't think he actually is for pedophilia. However, I think he's very 
misguided and kind of I don't know, there's something I think he's troubled and he's caught between a bunch of weird ideas that he doesn't really understand. I don't really know the guy at all. I mean, I literally don't know him, but I feel that he is very he was just joking around. He was being facetious, right? Yeah, yeah he was um, he was joking. Okay, uh, may I just bring up just three quick super chats? Gabriel Lopez, yes. 50 R, thank you so much. A tradacious, thoughtacious, bognacious. Thank you very much, buddy. Red the Vengeance, uh, ten dollars. Why are you confusing a mentally handicapped woman and Clausen, Lord of Verlands, fourteen dollars? Uh baked, are you gonna attack Jim for not showing his face again? No, I, I, I'm not. And, and I, I think what Jim does is very noble. I, I don't have a, any problem with anonymity, and I actually respect anonymity. Um, my, my point was with, with Jim putting out other stuff about other people and sort of ridiculing them and also ridiculing me for doing some stuff in real life, mm. I, used, I used the point back. I jabbed back and said, okay, well, I mean, you're not out when, in real when life. When did I ever ridicule your stupid Syrian march? Well, show me a tweet. Show me a comment in the live stream. You pulled that out of your ass. That's what my stream was yesterday. It was the Syrian march. Yeah, you're and, saying I was making fun of that. So where did I make fun of it, Baked? Where did that happen? Um, your whole stream is about it. My my whole stream is about it. What's your your whole your whole your whole Twitter feed? Okay, good. Show me a tweet. Okay, let's see. Um, let me look through here. You're gonna I be see. looking a while baked. So so, may, did did you not did you not start? You're the until, one telling me I did. So I oh, hope you I, I don't I, I don't know. I, I was streaming for ten yeah, hours. Right. He, he was know. obviously tweeting about the very very yeah, public right. meltdown. Okay. That's that's when that started. Okay, there there was no there, there was no meltdown though. Oh, c dude, there was a little bit of a meltdown. What are you talking about? There, okay, there, there's a little bit. There's there was a, a point bit. in your stream yesterday after after Jim. But it, it, like, 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 there, there was, was also there was a point. It was also fun. Was, it was also fun. I want to finish. There's a point in the eye of the storm, baked. <laughs> there's a point where you were you were you went on like a 20 minute. Like you're saving the world with like this epic music in the background. It's like, like violins. Like, da, 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 da. And you're like, and we will. Wait, go wait, wait, there. wait. Hold up. Wait. Breaking news. Oh fuck. Chad wants to come on and explain himself. Chad. Oh. oh fuck. Bring it on. Whoa, Fantastic. whoa, whoa. Bring him on. Oh, okay. Boy, what Jim? a show. JF, what you thinking? You all right? Okay. <laughs> There's a guy named Chad. No, this is the guy that Jim's. Okay. He's the pet, the pedophile advocate. He's the most unchad Chad you've ever Chad. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, this guy. Bring hey, this uh, guy. We're gonna reach seven thousand viewers. Okay. Everyone yes, tweet go. about it. Everyone We're gonna like. have everyone Chad. Hit like. Hit like. Hey, everyone. We're hit gonna like. know who's the father of the baby. Yeah. May I bring up one thing real fast before Chad jumps in, Klaus? Hey, I'll send you his email in the chat, by the way, JF. The Klaus and Lord of Verlance just threw twenty one dollars. To say, uh, you did attack Jim again, baked. He just called him a basement dweller who won't show his face. You lying piece of shit. Okay, that that was, I think the the. You just, oh, no, that that's no. Okay. Andy, you did say Andy, that. stop, Andy, Andy, stop being so so hard on him. He's consistent in his okay, lying I'm bullshit. Sorry. So no, that's I, what we should expect from baked. I take it back. I take it back. Baked, I love you. No. you are having a meltdown though, man. This is. Like someone, I think I it was Cole McKinley said like this because I've had meltdowns live in the past <laughs> few months. They say yeah. Andy kind of trips over but rebalances himself. Baked <laughs> just fell down a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 the point is, the point is, I'm fine and I and I had fun with it and I can laugh at myself and. <laughs> I've been through much worse, so it, it's really, really not. <laughs> yeah, there's a funny no. one. Russell it, it, it's, it's making some great content. This is funny. Russell, Russell T. Shackleford threw $5. I love you, Jim. I love you, Tonka. I love you, Andy. I love you, JF. I love you, Aaron. What Jim does is noble. Jesus, can you fit another dick in your mouth, Baked? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of, I do have a lot of dicks in my mouth right now. <laughs> Huge dicks. Huge. Love them. Oh, this is, this no, but, is no, but funny. No, uh, uh, on some real shit, Jim knows I love him. Jim knows I admire his work. I always talk well, Jim. And there's, there's no, uh, there's no bad blood. He's a sweetie boy, right? 
He's a sweetie. He's a I, sweetie. I, I don't know what kind of Reddit hug boxy faggots live in, but uh, <laughs> I don't get it. That, that sellout turn about <laughs> shit on your audience. That yeah, no, I'm, I, I think I I'm, did not. I did I not. I'm gonna walk my separate ways. I wish you the best of luck, but Damn. yeah, no, no thanks. I did not turn on my audience. Yeah, you did. How did I turn on my audience? Oh, yeah. you, you've already, you've already told you us. turned on Aaron earlier and then turned back <laughs> and rejoined her team within 30 fucking seconds when you saw the article about Samara. You, you have guys, had some you, serious issues going on here. You guys are messing with my head constantly, tell, pulling me left your and right. Your random thoughts are messing with your <laughs> head, Baked. Everyone's messing with my head, okay? So, uh, yes, I... Okay. Andy, you've had meltdowns, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Daily. I'm de- I'm, Okay, I'm dealing. Yeah, I, it happens a lot. I'm I'm similar to you in that way. Okay. The, here's the dealing thing: is once it. everyone goes, "Hey, psst, Andy, you kind of having a meltdown." I sort of like leave the internet for a day or two and come back like, <laughs> "Hey, guys." <laughs> well, I was trying to relax today, but you you wanted to Fuck have me you, on for. You, there's content. no relaxing. So I, I, I don't mind coming on. Of course. And, Andy, of course. Andy, uh, can I can I ask you something? Because uh, I've got maybe about another twenty minutes here. Uh, sure. How soon can we get the autistic meth head on? Uh, I think okay. I think you have to email him, right? Um, Send him the link. I have emailed. I heard him they were much faster. Emailed though. him. All right. All right. Yes. So we'll wait. I'll, I'll be back in a second. I need some water. I want some water for this. I'm I'm pumped. This, this is a uh, this... Jim. Jim, how do how do we fix our friendship here, Jim? <laughs> we didn't have a friendship, baked. <laughs> we oh, I, come I, on. I watched. Oh. I watched. Speaking Jim, of that, now, I actually now, have a question. I am the last person you should be looking to for internet friendship. I haven't heard from Brittany in a while. Brittany, uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, speaking sure. of that, I actually have a question for Jim. Um, so when you told mm-hmm. Baked Alaska that he had thrown people away when it was, he just disposed of people when it was convenient to him, who are those people that you were referring to? I'd be talking about people like the ones he was unmodding in his chat who he didn't like what they said, so he got rid of them. The people he was banning in his chat because he didn't like them talking about Jews or bringing up other shit he thought was problematic. People he called toxic. People he said that were making fun of him for saying 97 IQ. What about the no, people that, I oh, never yeah, banned no. anyone for saying 97 IQ. The, the, That's the, the people that the no, people that, that were, Jim, that is a fucking lie. I don't, shit, know, let I, me I don't know why you have this like vendetta out against me to try to ruin my career, Bates, but it's been, not going to work. Jim. If you think me laughing at you for two days has been a vendetta, you are fucking sorely mistaken. Okay, well, I just be. I want you to speak correctly on the record. Dude. I am speaking I, correctly. No, I did not ban anyone for saying I have a 97 IQ. That's a meme that I embrace and think is funny. Oh, okay. I did. I okay, did dude. ban. I banned people for saying kill niggers and kill Jews because I because as Brit Brittany knows that shit will get you banned uh, uh-huh. and that shit will. I, yeah, yeah. I want to grow I, I, my community, okay? Yeah, there's, see, there we go. There's the marketing right. terms again. Right. I want to grow my community, my right. audience. You, I need to do so what's Jim, good for you the want, brand. You want that? You want people spamming kill niggers in your chat? You approve baked, of that? Baked. I have let, a, yes or no? Yes or no, Jim? Say it. Baked. Say it let me answer the question. Here. Yes or no? Yes or no? Would, baked, you, would you want baked, that I'll answer chat, your question, Jim? but I'm not going to do it. Come on. Come on, big boy. Not yes or no? You, you want that on your chat? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. You want that on Megan. your chat? Yes or no? It's a simple I'm, question. I'm just going to talk over you since oh, you're not going to shut no, up. Oh, you That's can't fine. even answer. Baked, I have a channel with 218,000 subs. I do you're live streams all the time. Oh, go I've Brad. never banned. Bang it. Brad. Let me finish talking, you yes fucking or no. annoying Would you want people talk. to say that in your chat? Baked, have I ever banned anybody for saying it? Is that your? Is that good enough would for an you, answer? Would you? Yeah, I have no problem. People can say whatever the fuck. They okay. Want. Okay. So that's okay. Yeah, yeah cuz I'm not a bitch. I don't ban, I don't block. I'm not a pussy that hides like you baked. Okay. Well, that's fine. They can say whatever but they I, want. I, they can call me a faggot. Right? They can scream nigger until they're blue in the face. I've never blocked or banned anybody in my chats on my streams that do way bigger than yours, okay. buddy. Yes. So and I don't I, know who your manager is who's telling you that's problematic yes, for your yes. brand cuz they're fucking retarded. Okay, well you also aren't like your face isn't out in oh, the world. Oh, well, you put your face out there. You could have been an avatar. You chose to put your face out there. I did. Don't regret I did. the decision you made. I did. I, I don't regret it. I'm just saying it, it comes with more. There's more consequences and there's more that comes to it when you do have your face out there. I'm not discrediting anything you're doing by not having your face out there. I'm just saying by putting your face out there, you are at more risk. Well, you know, that's what you chose to do for money, babe. Yes. Live with the consequences. No, and I accept the consequences. Okay, then don't cry about it. I'm fine, dude. I'm having a good time, man. I, I don't know, man. You're talking about how dangerous Antifa are and your faces out there. I don't know if that's a um, good thing. 
I, I, I mean, Antifa attacks me, yeah. Yeah, they, because you chose to me. go out there and put your face out. That comes with the territory. Right. You want to make it money. It comes with the this? territory. That's right. a risk you take. It's I know, and I'm willing job. to do it. I'm willing to fight for this country against these fucking communists. That's that's great. That's great. And, but you, don't, you, don't, and you don't really care about that. I mean, you, you will never take a position. You you basically edge on this, like, sort of centrism uh, that, that is Wait, like, you know, being the cool guy in the room. Tours. If, 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 if fucking people are so deluded, you, can, you never fine. take a stance. If people you know? are so people, deluded, everyone knows that. that you never take a stance. You always let him talk. Let him respond. Let him respond. Big. Andy, moderate. Yeah, let him respond. Sorry, sorry. Fucking Christ, I'm getting annoyed with this faggot. <laughs> Bait. Okay, <laughs> I've never taken a position. I've been on multiple fucking podcasts where I've made my position clear. If you haven't listened to him, that's your fucking fault, buddy. Maybe go listen to him. I've been on fucking. <laughs> I've been on so many goddamn podcasts where I've talked about my positions on politics and I'm on the country. But if people think that YouTubers are going to save them, then yeah, America needs to burn to the ground. If you've reached the point where you think some vapid fucking cunt from California on YouTube is going to save the day, you deserve to be destroyed. That's my fucking point. If you're that weak, yeah, get bombed. I don't think that they'll save the day, but they do have a lot of influence when it comes to um, entertainment. As you see, the internet entertainment leaks out into the mainstream. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Brittany, what, what, I mean, you can sort of speak on like, you know, it's not that you want to ban people from your chat. That doesn't mean you hate your fan base or anything like that, but you've gone through where they've targeted you and given you strikes and all that. You can understand why I'm doing that. And see, like, in my opinion, Jim is being way too harsh on me for like trying to keep my community in check and have it be like a good environment. Well, the thing with that is on YouTube, I've been much more lax with my chat because as I've seen uh, so far, YouTube hasn't really penalized anyone for their chat because I don't really think that streamers should be penalized for what other people say in their chat anyway. But um, on Twitch, my hands were definitely tied behind my back and I had to tell my mods to ban people that would say anything hate speech, even the word nigger, anything like that. I had, Even though I didn't want to ban it and I'm not a fan of banning that, they had to unfortunately ban it but on youtube i don't think it's the same case so yeah I'm we're talking we're talk. talking youtube i mean twitch is off at its own fucking crazy land of the shit they're doing to people i know everybody's ducking and covering because they're getting fucked by things they say on other websites mm. so i i know it's a gestapo land over there oh yeah i'm working on a list of things that you can't do on twitch as a video it's pretty insane um i actually have a, another question so the reason i asked um who you're referring to is i was wondering if you were also referring to yourself when you said um because they had started fight you guys started fighting with, with each other if you're referring to yourself when you said that he was um that baked was fucking over people and throwing them away when it was convenient would you include yourself in that jim no because i was on his stream i'd say like a week prior to that uh talking to him about show ideas because he wanted uh, ideas on what would be good fucking matchups and i told him shit like uh fuentes and alsep uh, just people that had business relationships where there was bad blood, something that would be an interesting fucking thing, maybe a white nationalist and a black nationalist, so something like Shaka Amos and Mike Enoch. Uh, shit along those lines. So the reason I thought that was because it seemed like, for me, I have never seen you get emotional or angry before. Like, even with Destiny, you actually ended up making him get angry and rage quitting, I'm pretty sure. But... You seemed a little bit like, like I'm not doing the oh my god you so mad thing. Genuinely asking like um why you no, got no, so yeah. invested in that one thing, but with everything else it's not. And then you know it's with the oh we're not friends thing. It seems I don't know weird to me that yeah no I, I don't like people that will uh you know say one thing and then when it's convenient to ditch it say another like oh I'm fine with you guys gas the Jews 1488 you know. Uh, we need to say the 14 words. That's all cool, bro. But, oh, you're getting a little too racist in the chat now. Time to get rid of you. I'm right. sick of watching. I don't, I don't say that. I don't but say that. Is, but really? with other, but yeah, the thing really. is, with oh. other people, though, with other – everyone else that's been like a lol cow, you just laugh at them and you never really get mad. And with Bake in particular, you actually did get a little yeah. bit emotional. Yeah, so, you so did I, get mad. I, I, I did. You're right. Yeah, I, yeah. I did get angry because I thought You hung it, up. I found it to be pure faggotry. I'm listening to him and these L.A. fucking faggots – go on about their monkey show like oh my you, god you guys you are digging lose. into our life if you get but, mad you still lose though jim oh, big take a look at your metrics if you want to see I know. <laughs> but i'm sure you've had to deal with more ridiculous stuff than baked like based on the work i've seen yeah no i've dealt with uh, a lot of ridiculous shit yeah 
and you didn't get emotionally invested into it enough to get angry. So yeah, I did get angry, uh, Brittany, because I, I think what he's doing is pure faggotry, and I'm sick of seeing people. Okay, so what what what, what am I doing? Do what's faggotry? What's faggotry where, that I'm where doing? They, where they become sellouts? I'm, I'm sick. What, 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 what's faggotry? I, I'm sick. I'm sick of this red pill shit that these fuckers promote, okay. and then they okay. turn around and ditch it when it's convenient. I, what, I think what, that's what, what is faggotry? He keeps talking yeah. when he talks, and it's driving him nuts. Baked, I will ask you a simple question, which explains what the faggotry you're being accused of is. Would you say, in your mind, deeply, do you believe that you have let a part of your audience believe that you were someone that you were not? I absolutely do not believe that. Have my beliefs evolved and changed over time? Do I have nuance with my beliefs? Yes, absolutely. When I started in this movement, people know I used to work at BuzzFeed back before. Um, then I came out for Trump. I was a libertarian. Then I came out for Trump and I was ostracized from that community. And then I got very red pilled on the JQ and all that stuff. And I talked about that very openly. And then now I have moved into a position where I understand, okay, I know a lot about that stuff, but some of that stuff, um, it's not very, it's not a good strategy to just be screaming about Jews all day. So I'm going to just take work a with better... them instead. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to work with them. I, instead. I, I don't, yeah. I don't have any, I don't have any problem working with. You just said you got red pilled on the JQ about you know Jews controlling finance and yeah, media. that doesn't that doesn't mean all yeah. Jews are bad. No, you, oh yeah, no, and then you moved to all, fucking LA. All Jews are bad. You moved do you to think L all are bad, uh, Jim? Uh, did I say you I was red pilled on the JQ? You said that, right, Faggot? Do, do, do you think? Do, no, do, 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 do you remember what I just me, said? You're you, giving do, me do, shit. Do you remember what you just you're said? You're giving me shit for working with the Jew, Jim. I'm not the guy going around saying I'm red pilled on the JQ. I am red pilled on the JQ. Oh, but you work with Jews in Hollywood, right, Faggot? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, my manager is part Jewish. So it's convenient when it's money, right? But, oh, I'll tell those fucking uh, white nationalists in the audience, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hey, alt-writers, there's a JQ, we should talk about it. I'm red-pilled on it, but here's my Jewish manager. It's not, it's Get not. the my, it's, fuck it's out not, of here, you it's not my cunt. Okay, Jim, okay. So, so you, you're you don't such a want... Pretender. You're such a fucking farce. You're just smoking mirrors, asshole. That's why no, it's so, so transparent. So you, you don't think, you don't think I should work with anyone who's Jewish? You if you're gonna go around that. telling people you understand the JQ, I, I don't. I it. don't go around and do that, bro. You just told us you said that. You no, just. No, I, I was talking that. about what I learned. I'm talking about my knowledge, not what I'm going out and saying. Okay. There's oh. still a difference between your narrative today and your narrative on the stream, which I believe was yesterday. Yesterday, you said I felt forced to become someone, and I want to be more myself. Am I right that you said that? Now today, yes. you're framing it as a strategic change, and you learning and evolving. Evolving, but for a moment, you were someone else than you wanted to be. Yeah. So who is that then? Who is like what's the person that you were that you don't want to be anymore? There was some elements in my streams lately where I was sort of focusing on I I I, I was getting too wrapped up in like the I don't know like Hollywood scene like caring about the superficial stuff. Um, I got wrapped up in that a little bit for like a week and I like I had a Playboy model over and I had some other streamers over and well I am I can be friends with anyone. Um I it just it didn't really fit me and and like what I enjoy to do. You know, I don't really like go out to clubs or parties very much. I don't drink. So, so you so don't want to do that really... Hollywood superficial shit? Well, I well, I tried it. I tried it. And then it just, it just felt like really cringy and really awkward for me. And, and so it wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't something I wanted to do. All right. Uh. Does that make sense? Can I, can I throw something, at, something else at you back? Just, just yeah, what's up? Let, let me, let me get through this. Y your whole thing seems to be that you want to do something serious. You want to do these IRL streams. You want to, you know, try to make an impact. You want to be an activist and all this stuff. That's part of it. That's part of it. Not, you're, not you're, all of it. Well, no, I, I get that. But if you, you're wanting to do all these things, you want to make an impact. That, that's what I'm hearing through what you're saying. You, you're having problems standing up for a lot of things. And you've got to figure out a way. You, you got you to gotta be something. You got to be a solid something. You, you can't be this liquid amorphous thing that goes whimsically from this place to this place and no oh, i'm cool here i'm cool here i'm cool you can't do all that and it, best example what you did like a fucking hour ago where you were all for samar and aaron's a piece of shit 
and then you see the Samara thing, not so good optics. You flipped on a fucking dime. You did. There was no defense. There was there was no let me stand up for my. There was nothing. You immediately flipped, and now you're on a completely different side. There was there was nothing there, and people see that. And well, there, well, also, I, I, also I, I, added to that, just to add to that, you were like really pissed off at Jim, and you were like, "Fuck you, Jim, basement dweller, blah blah blah." And then, like a second later, you're like, "No, bye. Yeah. I love you though. I love you though." Yeah, and uh, Andy, you've also said "fuck you" to me during this stream, and then you know, yeah, we're good. but but do, I didn't. Do you not understand banter? No, I, I understand banter. You're the one who's getting I don't think emotional that was about it. I, I said for you to shut the fuck up because you wouldn't shut the fuck up and you were talking over everyone. That's why I said fuck you. <laughs> and I said fuck you when you're being a lying asshole. If I am an asshole to you and you, you say fuck you, that's fine. I at no point saying, like you said, your basement dweller, you don't show your face, but never mind. Oh, Aaron, you're low IQ, you're this, you're that, but never mind, you're cool. Like, I didn't throw you under the bus. I just said, fuck you when I was just pissed off for a second. That's different than insulting someone in a way where it shows that you don't like them, but then switching I, sides. I throw, I throw out some insults and then I, I can easily take them back. That, that's okay. You can fine. see though how that might be seen as flip floppy though, right? Yeah, I understand. Because, some pe Cause like other people, like I have to agree with Andy. I don't, feel like that banter when you call someone like if you say hey you're such a dumbass it's like about the tone and context and stuff like that and the way you did it you know you were heated you were angry and you were like you know your your low iq Aaron, and etc yeah. so i feel like that's what would cross the line for banter. your banter your banter is more like yeah like what you're like all tone oh you're a fucking idiot Oh, are, are you serious? That's so dumb. And then be like, you're low IQ. You're this. You're that. Like it's about tone. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's why people may see it as a little bit flip floppy. Well, if someone's going to come at me, banter. I'm, I'm going to come at start I'm gonna, If someone's going to come at me, I'm going to come at them back. And, and then sometimes. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm not saying sometimes I. And then I feel bad. And then I'm like, okay, sorry. Fair enough. When stuff like last night happens, you. You need for people to come at you, babe. <laughs> why? Because it, it grounds <laughs> you. It, it shows babe, you. If I have to tell you why last night was not a good thing, then you're in more trouble than I thought. <laughs> like I, had a good, I had a good time. No, you, but, but you have to be aware. Uh, Self-aware. Hey, look. 95% of people watching this hit dislike. A lot of people who I respect. I told them to. A lot no, of people. A lot to. of people who I respect are going. Yeah. What the fuck baked? Okay, so, so what is what, what 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 are you saying? What the fuck baked about Andy? What what is your about specific? last night? About last night. I already. No, I already made my, specifically what? I made my point. What you have the, point? you having your fucking meltdown last night. What what? Give me specific action. Turning on your audience. Turning on Medicare. I did not turn. Yes, I did not turn on my did. audience. And then, what do you mean tur turning on Medicare? Medicare has been coming you, after me. Are you the kidding word me? Toxicity in a fucking dude, chat. Medicare has been coming after me for the last week. He comes dude. after you me every fucking it. day. Medicare's you always shitting on me. Had had in the chat, like an hour before Jim ever came into the stream. If my friend, I, mean, I, I was, I was also on a stream with Tonka last night, and he had two, two other people in there telling me to kill myself. To have a news to hang myself. That he, wasn't even my street. I wasn't. Just I, don't, I don't know what that was. I just thought I was sent a link and you were in there. Yeah, I was in there. It, did, did I okay. say any of that stuff? Okay, look. Can everyone calm down? Okay. I'm calm. Can everyone calm I'm, down? Every, calm. Everything's cool. Okay. All I told you last night, all that I told you when I talked to you last night, maybe consider privating the stream for your buddy. Yeah, I, and I did, and I and I did. No, I and that's cool. I okay, was, things had hit the fan. Maybe, maybe just reevaluate in the morning. I yeah. said that to you I, a I couple it, times. That's all I said. And I and I listened to you. Thank you, Tonka. I appreciate that. And I made it private. I did listen to your advice. Um, okay, so I just want to clear the air here, guys. Th thank you, everyone, for giving me the honest truth. I appreciate it. Um, and I I am really honestly sorry about. The banning of people, that is hypocritical. Um, and like shit got way out of hand. Mm. All the doxing and trying to ruin people's lives that people are doing, that's not cool. Fair enough too. Like that's it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, like it's, 
It's all, it's all, not cool. all I'm saying is have the self awareness when you're the, yes. when, when people when everyone including pals on the internet, I won't say friends, but you know, people that you're okay with on the internet are like when all of them at the exact same time are going, What the fuck baked? If all yeah. my friends or people I talk to on the internet all at the same time were like, Andy. Like, I would listen. I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to be... Like, there's 10 people calling me out right now who I respect. We're not doing this because we hate you. We're doing this because we're like, yo, listen to us. You are fucking up. And then you're now obviously being self-aware. And just hang on to that. Just hang on to that. Next time the house starts to burn down, don't don't grab the gas can. Go for the fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. For I sure. Baked, where do you... Like, where do you go on from here? What's your What's your plan? I uh, I can't reveal all my secrets, man. The no. Trump style. <laughs> I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing, which is making great content, making great IRL streams. I'm gonna continue to do that. Is it still performance art? It. I mean, so much of what I do is perform performance art, of course. Uh I feel like I, I, uh, I, I mean why like why do you why do you guys like care so much about like every little thing I'm doing like what no, I I don't care about every little thing you're doing well, it's like, I what's your plan what's you know, what are you doing Faith, if, you're, that, that's Faith, if your manager is any good she would be telling you to shill your shit out right now what is she yeah, doing well, I, I don't know she was well, on Candy Crush I thought she was supposed Plus, to be busy I, I, and I'm she's going, busy playing I'm Candy going, Crush on her phone be streaming right after this I'm gonna be. I stream every day. I have I do different things. I experiment. I you know that that's part of my evolution as a streamer. Right. Sometimes I've done IRL, sometimes I've done debates. Right now I'm doing more IRL. I do have some debates planned. Um, big, but big. I like to I have to ask you a question because you asked a question and I didn't get mm. a chance to answer it. And I and okay, you're saying why do you care what I'm doing? Look, mm -hmm. if you do a little fuck up here and there, I'm not going to say anything. I don't care. Like, you know, people have done dumb shit where you're sort of like, sort of like ah, my buddy did this, whatever. Mm -hmm. What happened last night and what people were talking about all day last night and this morning was mm -hmm. more than just, ah, big kind of fucked up. It's sort of like, holy fucking shit. We need to sh shake him like, wake the fuck up, man. Like, it's I the twelfth of your subscriber base. Left. I, uh, okay, well, I think that I think that was an overreaction, and I think people uh, fuel fueled the fire. No one fueled the fire. You okay. fueled the fire, and we were trying to stop you. We we are trying to help you, and just, dude, it's it's different if a couple of people are trolling you. They compare to a twelfth of your subscribers fucking leave in one day, and ten people who was it was who, it entertaining though. Well. Was it entertaining making though? Fun of it. Yeah, Dang, making fun are you of gonna it go set yourself on fire in the middle of the fucking yes. road and sell tickets? Yes, I am. Yeah, yes, bashing am. you would be entertaining. Yes. Yes. But watching you go through that is like, yeah, it's funny, but I'm, it's I'm not fine. a positive funny. It's like a this is a tarnish on your on who you are. I know you're not like that. Uh, Andy, have uh, has the meth head? Uh, responded yet because it, it's getting near 20 minutes here and I got a job. He said he can't. Um, he can't. He can't go on anymore. Yeah. So, that may so we'll be have to assume he's a pedophile then. Uh, okay. Well, another time then. Uh, it's been fun. It's been memorable. Wait, before you go, <laughs> wait. Yeah. Wait. All right. So I feel like my question earlier, not that you meant to not answer it, but I felt like. It wasn't answered in the sense of um, why do you get mad at, at what Bake does and then not what um, you said because of the faggotry and et cetera. But why not the insane stuff like, you know, you've dealt with pedophiles before. Well, so how come you don't get mad at Ross. that? Uh, and the reason yeah, I'm asking ask, that. Oh, I'm reason, answering your question, uh, Brittany. It, right. Ask Taka. I mean, you can listen to he a live stream of me for on Ross like screaming at Ross it. for an hour and a half. But in the same angry way? angrier much angrier much much right. angrier uh i think the thing here uh, he's saying faggotry I, I think the thing that bothers him is looking at another man being extremely disloyal Look, looking at another guy who who built his well, built yeah, his brand so on one it's... thing and then flipped the script all of a sudden one fucking day and is kind of pointing it at other people like they're the ones who are doing something weird mm -hmm. yeah so if it's if it's loyalty i don't know because with jim saying um that he's not 
friends with anyone, I feel like it's easier to say that rather than to be someone's friend because then it becomes a liability. But I feel like whether you want to admit it or not, you know, you have made some friends because... <laughs> no, you, you're just people on the internet to me. I mean, I've been pretty consistent with that for years. I mean, have I have I not? I mean, I've told Andy this. I've told Tonka this. Though, I told, right? We're BFFs. Uh, I told hey, we hung out that one night. What are you talking about, Medicare? We bought Chinese and stuff and we chilled. Watching uh, and, you know, we, we can show up on a stream together and banter or yell. I mean, that. That's yeah, but fun. you have a mutual affection. That's a friendship. <laughs> no, I don't. And they, no. Yeah, that's that's different. That's like, so it's not. It, so it's just too gay, too homo, too homo no, for it, friendship. It, that it, and not it, put labels on it. It's 2018. Am I right? No labels. I'm, I'm sorry. I, just don't, I don't have that female mindset of, of wanting to be friends with people that I talk to online. It's just weird to me. I, I don't do it. I like to fuck around. You may not call it that, but it's like a it's like a girl fucking a guy and then being like, "Yeah, I don't want to be called your girlfriend." I think it's it's similar to that, but that's all I have to say. Well, it, I just it, want to it, it, okay, okay. Well, well, if they, if they, yep, okay, that that's fine. Yeah, no, I'm not friends with any of you. So, yeah. Is that clear? Is everybody? Clear You're such a son daddy. You're I, such I, a fucking son daddy. Is everybody clear on that? Is there any confusion? But, what what, what about what about me, Jim? No. No. Oh. I, I enjoy I enjoy popping on the streams. You guys got an entertaining show. That's what I like. Hey, what, I like what about listening. Aaron? Are you friends with Aaron? At least I don't fucking know the girl. No. <laughs> did did I, you, I, I don't know your any. opinion of Aaron change at all today? No. No, not at all. Not at all. All right, but uh, yeah, if you get the uh, the meth head on, you, you send me an invite, oh. Andy. I'll come on for that one. Oh, I will. I'll because I'm I'm too. looking forward to that one. I'm looking forward to that one. All right, take it easy, guys. All right, peace, easy. dude. Good job. All right, there we go. Do you guys hear me? Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, Kyle, yes. you there? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Here. I'm gonna boost up this. So, uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm guess, I hear that Tonka put a different name, a name like Steve, on the account. No, I, 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 I made up the name Steve as, uh, as uh. a joke, as in like. I don't know what the fuck his name is, Steve or some shit now. Uh, I don't know what the name is at, at all. Uh, Tim never told me what the name is, but apparently yeah, they I are different. Yeah, legal name. It's, uh, it's Michael Pilkington. Uh, that is his legal name. He goes by Robbie because he doesn't want to use his father's name. Apparently you can go by your middle name uh, on certain contracts, and that's what he's been doing. Um, but, you know, color me impressed. First, SBCC uh, calls up his mom's car lot, and they pretty much say that he's working at the mom's used car lot. And then, you know, he tells everybody that he's, uh, he's he owns all these mansions and shit, and then he posts some pictures to trannies showing that he lives in his grandma's house. Which tranny is what? Yeah, he had a conversation with uh, with Johnny to whatever the hell it is, Johnny to Savage, about five months ago, where he talked about how his his grandfather, oh. that was actually his uncle. Andy, can um, you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure my mic is still fucked up. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know there if you ever go. saw that, Andy, but he said that his uh, that his his uncle uh, was his father. And he posted all these pictures and said that his his uh, father was in the yeah in yeah the yeah the yeah, yeah 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 I yeah, saw we that actually shit. we found that guy's Facebook turns out it's his uncle and those pictures were taken at his grandmother's house but he said that was his house Oops. and now that we see that he's working at his mom's car lot that would that would pretty much prove that he does live in Alabama he doesn't live in Florida he lives at his grandma's house and he works at the car lot he's not a rich millionaire he's a fucking bullshit well also didn't SVC call if, if if you don't know people fvcc right two c's yes. yeah he uh he does um uh like prank calls and prank called tonka's mom which we played on the show the last uh Haworski show uh yeah that and that i think fvc asked is robbie gonna be showing up at the car, a car lot and she goes well like whenever he does basically meaning like even his mom hates his work ethic Cause he's a fucking he's a he's miserable man. Like, what do you think I should do, Zoom? Did you hear about the um, new, uh, I new think, contract? I think you should sign it. I think he has gone out of his way to waste your fucking time. You have been training your ass off for the mm -hmm. past three months, and all this motherfucker has done is sit on live stream eight hours a day. And the only training I've seen him do is play fucking WWE 2K19 with fucking Akujin and fat ass Nick Diorio. I, I heard apparently <laughs> apparently uh, the rumor uh, around the mill the other day was that he has been training at universities 
Oh, universities? What yeah. about American Top Team? We called them on your fucking show. No, 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 no but but, but apparently he's been getting free training from people at universities. He's been heading to universities every single day training. Wait, he's actually getting trained by academics? a <laughs> 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 nice little fucking mo, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It all comes fr full circle. What's up, Jim? How you doing, man? Uh, Andy, yeah, this is really amazing for me. I mean, it, he's done nothing but try to throw a wrench in the monkey works since the, the beginning of this. Didn't send in promo pics like he was asked. Didn't sign on camera like he was asked. Got his blood work in late. Had a different name on the signature or on the contract than on his blood work. Now he's contacting the promoter saying you're reading a contract on air. You don't have a contract in your hand. You weren't reading anything on air. And yeah, I was reading the Nevada law. Can, yeah, no. he's trying anything he can do to get away from this. All that tough talk, all the internet fight me in real life bullshit. And it's coming down to the wire where you're four or five days out. And he, he desperately wants to get out of it. And he wants to get out of it in a way that makes you look bad. And it's really fucking pathetic. I don't know, uh, you know about these new stipulations and clauses, but I'm kind of in agreement with everybody else. I mean, at this point, you've put your ass through all this training, you've gone through all this shit with this guy, just sign the new contract. Go there and kick his ass. Yeah, I think I, yeah, no, I am. I, I, I'm i going to get uh, a Tim Lloyd on, too. I, I actually just texted him before my phone just died. Send the contract, I'll sign it. I'll sign it right now. I don't give a fuck anymore. But he's like, and I also it live on the air, too. Yeah, yeah. Can I also throw this out too? Mm. Tonka for the last month has run his mouth about Andy, or even during that uh, interview that you guys did mm. with uh, that radio show, whatever it was. Andy doesn't respect the fight game. I respect the fight oh, game. Yeah. I have all this respect <laughs> for the fucking fight game. Well, Andy's the one that got his fucking blood work in on time. Andy's the one that did the contract signing. Andy's the one that fucking sent in promo pictures. If you respect the fight game so much, Tonka, why are you trying to fuck Valor fighting over so hard? Why are you trying to make Tim? look like a bitch by screwing with his time money, fucking with the audience and fucking with your opponent. Step up, Donga. Step up uh, to the fucking ring. You know, ride your little metal up, bump. Jim. He can't <laughs> fucking walk. How is he going to stand up? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Andy, maybe you could get Tim to add in a tag team stipulation so Donga can ride on the back of failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, fucking th this, th like, I was... You know, at four o'clock when he didn't have his blood work in, even though I was pissed off, like, fuck all this, but I was like relieved in a way that I said, oh my God, I don't have to deal with this fucking, this hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. And at 4.48 when I see, hey, he has it in. And then I go, okay, are we good? Well, let's see, uh, hang on one second, the commissioner. Oh, there's a new contract. Oh, he won't sign it on camera. I'm like, holy, f it's just, it just, uh, this non- fucking stop just f mental anguish he is literally a tumor that i can't wait to get removed it's not gonna work though andy because i don't know if you saw the one show that uh, ralph had where me and him talked if tonka does not show up ralph and i are going to do a joint road trip <laughs> where we are going to drive down to alabama and we are going to dual stream on my channel and ralph's channel and we are going to show up at Tonka's mom's car lot. I'm in. At his mom's house. I'm in. And his Meemaw's house. And I'm going to sit down. I'm going to have some sweet tea with a southern <laughs> belle named Sarah. And we're going to talk about the Bradley family and about Tonka and where this myth that he's a fucking <laughs> Indian came from. And we're going we're to set, set this straight. And I don't Triple care stream. If he shows up. I'm, I'm there. Gonna fucking, I'm going to wear a suit and everything. So is Ralph. And if he tries anything, I'm going to knock him into next week. We'll have our Sunday best on. By the way, Andy, the chat is just going nuts. You, you need to turn up the volume. I did boost you guys. I, I did. I did boost. Hang on, hang on. I'll do it more. Sorry. Go ahead. Talk for a second. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> this. Uh, it must be what? Where the? Oh, there's so much. Yeah, yo, like, like honestly, at, at this point, hang on, wait, let me go like this, like, like that, boom, yeah. Fine, I'm an old chat. Can you hear it? Uh, well, I have everything fucking boosted max. I have like everything like blasting right now. What the fuck? That's that's fine. They can they can adjust. Yeah, we might just have to deal with it. Yeah. Stick stick your ear next to the speaker. Hang on, hang on. I'll 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 fix this for the. 
put him. <laughs> in my pixel art that I've been doing my game and uh, I've been getting good actually in in the game I'm making we actually do have a little tribute to Tonka so, uh, so, he's so Cal thought of it so Tonka you're in a game <laughs> okay Between me and Joya, where she talks about how he beats women and how he's a he's got a he's erectile dysfunction and all this shit, and it, it fits it because because apparently out, Cog way. said that he uh, that his dick was broken too. Uh, Cog had like a special conversation with Vamp, and apparently Tonka has erectile dysfunction. No. So. Yeah. No, wait, 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 Andy, <laughs> did, you, did you turn the volume down on the stream? No, it sounds good now, I think. He finally got... At first, it was actually lower, but now I think he figured wait, it out. I was, oh, like, okay. this I was going to repeat that, the erectile dysfunction bit, because I want them <laughs> yeah. to hear that. I don't want them to miss okay. it. So, <laughs> I so when, I, when I talked to Joya, she said, that, uh, she said that Tonka had problems getting hard. And that he had erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and then when I talked to Cog, he said that half the reason why Vamp fucked Joaquim and cheated on Tonka was because Tonka can't get a heart on him. The last <laughs> time she went down there, they tried to have sex and Tonka couldn't get hard. So not only can Tonka not stand on his own two legs, but his dick can't stand at attention either. You're telling me Chief Ganga's totem pole doesn't stand <laughs> full mass? Is that what I'm hearing? No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. I... I'm I'm just like I, I won't lie like the, obviously the first few weeks of the whole training and the fight thing I was pretty anxious and nervous you know kind of like we done this before and now I'm like fucking come at me I am willing to get my ass kicked at this point I don't give a fuck if he's two hundred pounds I don't care if he beats the weight he passes the weight I'm like I don't care. Just fucking fight. Yeah, what is up with that story? He told everybody that he was trained. I remember this. It was like five months ago. And he said he trained and that he'd been fighting in a secret circuit. I'm assuming the real Kumite, like fucking Frank DeRoe. And he said that he was he was training. He was in shape. He was at the top of his game. And him and Failure kept talking about his fight game and all these fights that he'd been in. And then and then the minute this comes up with you, he's like, oh, well, I'm actually 196 pounds. I'm 30 pounds overweight. And, uh, I've been eating a lot of Chinese food and drinking beer and popping Xanax all day and smoking weed. And now I got to lose 30 pounds to be in fight with you, to be able to fight Andy. And it's like, uh, that's Wait, a completely different story. He said that? Yeah, he said he had to lose 30 pounds, that he was 196 pounds when you guys were going to fight. And when he started training, he had to lose yeah. all this weight to fight you. Apparently, he was on celery soup or something for two weeks. Yeah, celery weeks. soup, and he was in yeah. the fucking, he I was swear. sweating it out in the sweat and the yeah, fucking sweat sauna. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I'm so what removed from Tonka. Like, I remember the, it was Ralph. You brought him up about me being missing on a milk carton or something. And yeah, like, we oh. talked about that that day, and they had on the Kumite the thumbnail. They had like Andy Worski missing on a on a milk carton. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and then like I remember when you said that, I was like, oh yeah, Tonka. I forgot about this guy. <laughs> I've been so focused on training, like like his show is Kumite. Is it doing well? I'm assuming it's it's pulling in numbers. No. Oh yeah, no. it's killing it. Yeah, it's yeah. killing it. Yeah. Fair enough. Total Holy renaissance shit. there. You know, Andy, too, what I really liked was with that radio interview uh, and the article they put up. Because Tonka told everybody, I'm, I fought an MMA. I did three MMA matches. Yeah. I, I did professional shit. And they're like, this is his MMA debut. They completely blew him out of the fucking water on that. And he didn't <laughs> fix it. He didn't, like, like fix. He didn't go, actually, you fucked up. It's not that. Because if I was in MMA before, I'd be like, hey, guys, when you change that on the website, that's not my MMA uh, debut. You might have to change that. And they'd be like, all right, no. He just nope. leaves it because he's, he's never fought in MMA. Do you know how annoying it's been to explain to people in my real life? They go, this guy did wrestling before. And I'm like, okay, where do I start? He's done acting before. Where do I start? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, well, wrestling is still kind of fighting. I'm like, I'm like, fucking put it on YouTube right now. Let me show, like, I'm actually going to show one of those fights right now. <laughs> I, like, explaining this to people has been so infuriating. I'm like, no, he stinks. He's a, he's a meth head. And they're like, and I'm like, he's in a wheelchair. He's a meth head. And they're like, you're going to find a meth head in a wheelchair? 
I'm okay with fighting a meth head in a wheelchair. I, I prefer it at this point. At least it's something. Holy fuck. I bet the Kumite, they're going to be pretty disappointed when Tonka shows up and he's not an actual cartoon character. <laughs> I just I love the story I, I I love the storyline of this. You've got an overweight, crippled, limp dicked Indian getting trained by a fucking university academics to fight you for internet shit, and he's not even gonna show up. It all makes sense now. I, I think... look, look, look at his stance right there. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like that, eh? I, I I think that his um that I was told that to like that was like like his seventeenth Hail Mary. Like, hey, you know, someone spread around the rumor that I've been training every single day with uh, at universities. You know what I said to the person who told me that? I went, good, a challenge. <laughs> and I went back to fucking doing my thing. Like, I'm okay with getting my ass kicked. I don't give a fuck. I just want to fight him now. I don't care. And now, like, after all this stuff, now he's going to get... Talk. If you do show up, man, this beating is gonna be worse than before, man. I swear to fucking god. Oh man, look at these moves. Oh, I'm so fucking worried. How, oh, how is the uh, how is the promoter not pissed off? Like he, that's he, the thing that gets me. Like if I set this uh, thing up, I know Tara is pissed off shit, because but... he threw her under the bus. Oh wait, he did. Yeah, he okay, said I... that she peer pressured him into the fight that he oh, never yeah. wanted. It. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, he ran, she was ran over, about backed it. it up, put it in reverse, and did it again. By the way, Andy, have you heard back from the promoter yet? Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, he didn't email me yet. Dude, look at him. He just he can't even take a slap in the chest. He's just so defeated. Well, he look looks like he's wrestling out of uh, Auschwitz. Like <laughs> 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 See, I would say oh he's God. an enhancement talent, but he doesn't even do them justice. <laughs> And look at the ring. That's got to be like that, those are like the four foot height. Like I think they're like five five. And look at it. He's barely over the fucking uh, top of the rope. You know, it's so Chief funny. Zycon of up. the Olympic <laughs> tribe. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, by the way, watching the uh, I, I saw it on my last show. We watched the AI use um, a promotion like his video, his edited video, like listening to that now in hindsight with after everything that's happened. It's just fucking funny. The confidence pussy. Your pussy, pussy, boom, 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 boom. Oh, please don't hurt me, please, oh, please don't hurt me, like, like, and now we're here, and me going, oh, please fight me, you fuck, <laughs> I just want to taste your blood if you're not HIV positive, I don't know at this point, <laughs> holy fuck, he is fucking I'm not even mad. I'm just like, holy shit. I you think that Crowd is the one that introduced him to all these academic wrestlers that can help him? <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I have some real good friends. Uh, my, my friends, they introduced me to some very important people, and, and my name's Joseph Lancaster. I'm going to help you become yeah. a true wrestler, Tom. He also oh, helped is, is it with a... erectile dysfunction. Yeah, is it, a support, is it a support group for people with dick injury? Like, it's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> holy, yo, and... Like, isn't that fucking funny that, like, we're doing this stream for a little bit, and then the first thing I receive from Tim is, hey, are you reading the contract? Like, no, no, why, why would I fucking pull the plug after all of this? After, you don't understand, this training, for, like, the first three weeks were horrific. Now, now it's fun and I like it, but the, the training still, it's like, Hey, I, I wish I could be like streaming or making a video or working on my video game. No, I got to spend three hours at the fucking gym and then come back, have a protein shake, have a creatine thing, and then fucking relax for a bit and blah, 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 every fucking day. And then and the days I take off, I feel like shit. I feel like an asshole. I feel like, fuck. Like I fucking By the way, uh, Andy, uh, there's, uh, there's been a leaked photograph of Tonka. Uh -oh. uh, I, put it, I put it over in the sod bar. <laughs> Uh, this this is apparently uh, just from a few moments ago there at the uh, reservation. Okay, let's. Put it up here. Look at the oxycodone. Let's make sure it's centered proper there. <laughs> 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 Oh, shit, I gotta finish this. 
<laughs> I'm gonna That's fucking I'm gonna head a Walmart and have this fucking blown up into an actual poster size. <laughs> oh Tonka, you the, like this this is the most embarrassing like so you know when me and him were first angry at each other and fighting and all that stuff and it was all spurgy. I've I've transcended that into like more like a it's like whenever he says something it, it, instead of me being angry, this is what I hear. Do 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 bong <laughs> like like a like a fucking sitcom. Like Andy said this. Oh he need like it's just like sitcom music. He's a, he's not he doesn't anger me anymore. And and so Cal would be like, yo, hey man, you hear I hear this clip. I'm like, nah, don't even care. Don't want to hear it. Just don't not interested. Oh, wait, wait, Andy, if, if Tonka is telling the promoter you're reading the contract on air and he's making bullshit up, but he's probably watching right now. Do you want to give him a direct message? Oh yeah. Tonka p -p -p please, please show up at the fucking fight. <laughs> I bought fucking plane tickets and me and Ralph got a house. You idiots. <laughs> like we got I gotta fucking go on a plane. In three days, I gotta take all the fucking all my debit cards and Visa cards and wash them in the fucking sink before I. Talk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a coke joke, by the way. Um, yeah, I, I fucking, I'm excited though. You know what, man? Out of all this, like, you know, meeting you, Ralph, and fucking Dick Masterson, we're gonna run to a fucking venue. I get, I'm still allowed in the middle of the octagon with a who's who's playing fucking. Commercials. No, that was the sound of a crashing wheelchair. I think. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you hear a really angry Indian screaming? Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally crashed Tonka's wheelchair. I was trying to <laughs> trying to put him up. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work, you goofs. I'm uh oh, I'm, I'm doing the soundboards because Gator's not here. <laughs> I want to ask y'all. I want to ask y'all. Uh, what did y'all think? Because it's a it was uh, more in my favor, but the reaction of you know failure going oh, with that pedal shit and all that like bashing me, and then I pulled the twelve hundred uh, from underneath him. <laughs> oh, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> did Did you see the the stream that I did? I actually found that fucking chick. Uh, Sarah, they lied about all of that, Andy. Fucking Davis and, and Anal Vape knew her for months. Do you remember that chick, uh, Delightful Honey or Delicate Honey, that fucking geek banned from the chat because she wouldn't stop fucking spamming and obsessing about I, you? I don't. I, I don't. That was okay. her. I've, I've that was a few her. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, all right. That, that was who she really was. She was this chick that was obsessed with you. And apparently after you blocked her, she started hanging out with anal vape, and they hatched this whole gay plan to make you look like a pedophile. I have all of her shit. I did a whole review stream about it on Stream Me, I where I found her. I matched all the videos up. You can hear her voice. It matches the same voice as Sarah. And then you look, and I actually found her personal Twitter and everything. And guess who's following her? Davis and fucking Anal Vape. So for somebody who said that they barely knew the girl and she oh. disappeared, why do they have her personal accounts followed? How how horrible. Actually, Zoom, Medicare, and Ralph, you were all there on that day. The day that all this stuff came out, the day I was actually a day after or two days after, and I went on your stream, Ralph, and I had all that circumstantial evidence, and it looked like I had fucking a, you know, tin foil hat. But Ralph, you let me at least speak my piece, which I appreciate and defend myself. But like that was, I'll say that four days until I did the stream with the leaked audio, because Rari said like fucking fucking like a uh, thank God that Rari did that, man. I, 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 I'll always respect him for that, but that four days of my life was the worst four days ever. Like literally, I wanted to just die. I wanted to die. Like that feeling of, you know, we believe you, Andy, but there's always that like, eh. that's why I was like fucking like a madman. Just and now here we are, where you, Zoom, you're the one who confronted me. You're the one who was who was pressing me. You were being yeah, fair, right? I, I, I was giving you the same amount of skepticism as you and Ralph gave me. I wasn't saying it was a hundred percent. I said I want if I I'd be willing to admit I was wrong if I was wrong, and then I actually sat down 
with them and and they started telling me the other side of the story and then the girl wanted to back out she had ralph like like literally we were on air and she's like oh i don't want to do it anymore then i'm hearing that davis is convincing her off the air to not do it and i'm like why is davis telling her not to do it he was the one pushing this the hardest and then the more i looked at it and then and then she's gone then she her account's deleted she's gone off of twitter everything that we were contacting her on she's mysteriously gone and i had no problem you know admitting that i was wrong with ralph and i can admit it now i was wrong about it uh you know we talked about it privately me you and geek and uh, i apologized mm-hmm. to you and we uh we went over everything and then i actually went out and i found the fucking girl that did it and i did a whole stream about who she really was that it like, was all a gay op all because all because i was like uh <clears throat> i was like whoops all because I was like, yeah, um, I, yeah, I don't want anal bit on my show anymore for now. I want to, because he was doing weird shit, <clears throat> and then oh, because of the thing about him getting caught hitting on a sixteen-year-old. Oh, black that's girl. what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, because I didn't defend He's, him. On he that. said he was gonna he was gonna wreck her with his uh, superior Hispanic white cock. Yeah, and then use the she exact was like same thing. Yeah, and yeah, the exact fucking same weird. Thing on me. Yo, I, yo, honestly, man, it's like. At this point, with with like, I'm so glad the way everything has has turned out. And then you have fucking what, what is it? Fucking Kraut. And it's like you guys are doing another fucking another Discord. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is you know, wrong? I, uh, I'm getting messages, Andy, from uh, from some sources. Mm. They're saying that Tonka, as of uh, a few weeks ago, uh, legally changed his name to Robbie on purpose in an attempt to prevent uh to you know fuck ah! with you and have the contract oh God, uh re- I, redone. I, I fucked up my my AI video capture device. Fuck, where'd you go? Oh, I fucked everything up. Uh there you go. Yeah, oh my god. So you... there's they're saying that he legally changed his name to Robbie because it was Michael and they're saying that he did it on purpose and this is a trusted source. Uh you know, I can so, say who it is in the side chat. So he, yeah, please say it. So Tonka's Hail Mary was to legally change his name so it would fuck up the contract. <laughs> it's unbelievable. See, see the side chat? Uh, okay, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, who, 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 wait, sorry, I, I missed, um, the name. Let me see. No way! <laughs> Tonka! Oh my, he changed his name to fuck up the contract. Hands in his blood 48 minutes late. Won't sign it live. You know what? Yeah, he he's You're trying right. to do everything he can to fuck up the fight. Uh, he wants to delay it without saying I don't want to show up. He's he's trying every fucking trick in the book. It's pathetic. Oh my god. Hang on. Let's see. Tim, where's fucking Tim Loy? What the fuck, man? He's probably dealing with a screaming Indian right now. <laughs> yeah. <That's what> he's <laughs> doing. Hang on. Yo, fuck you... it, this fucking guy. Failure, failure. Tell him I didn't do that. Tell him it's a lie. I got... mean, my guy might do failure here. He'll tell you. Hang on. I Tim, ha... I'm sorry. <laughs> I have my uh, I have my charger upstairs. Let me just grab it real quick, so then I can phone him, and then I'll ask him what the deal is because he said 15 minutes. 40 minutes ago, so it is, this is probably Tonka. I, I, I guarantee you it's a screaming Indian. Yes, I can I can fucking feel it in my bones. Yo, let me uh, grab, yeah, let me g- g- grab um, uh, my charger. I'll be back in a sec, alright? Yeah, let me put on the uh, the fucking hilar- hil- hilarious oh, sorry, the exquisite fighting that we have from Tonka here. Hang on, how do I do I really think Tonka should show up. I mean, Andy, you might be able to cure him by beating the fuck flu right out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I do you think like there's no way he'll he'll fucking ever live this down, by the way. Oh, no, I won't let him. If he doesn't fucking show up, I like I said earlier, we'll go down there. We'll go to his fucking hometown. I have no problem knocking on the door, talking to his Nima. I don't care. Mm-hmm. What's he going to do? Yeah, we found his trailer because um his brother or his uh, stepbrother is a pedophile, convicted pedophile. So he's on the convicted pedophile Oh, which list. one? Because I, I know that... Uh, the one with glasses Chant and long him. hair? Yeah. Uh, Chant, Andy, Chant they're, they're, saying he's, uh, they're saying he's in your chat right now. Oh, uh, it's Bradley. Nah, that's a fake one. 
Oh, I see. I was getting all hopeful. Yeah, You'd have I a know. really angry, oxy buried fucking Donga on here. Oh, he uh, doesn't have the balls to do that. <laughs> yo, yo, I. Well, he's definitely one thousand percent watching. I mean, oh, you that's think he's watching? Got... <laughs> well, yeah, he has to be. Oh, and he's reading the contract. Oh. oh my god! How did like? How do you? He's reading the contract. Oh, oh! Did you hear Medicare? Did you hear this? Oh, this one? I know everyone else here heard this one, but did you hear? How on Friday, he he tried to quite a few years of wrestling. Wait, uh, wait, sorry. Over, uh, Alabama and Georgia. Yeah, I know. sorry. Different this parts is of the southeast here. And Stop it! He's been a heck of a talent for many years. What? Oh See goodness. what happened? See, he's throwing you off your game. You went what was it? Two months of training, and you started celebrating early with some beer, and already you've forgotten how to operate your fucking no. scrape. No OBS. Oh, I had to I had to install the normal OBS. OBS uh, stream stream live OBS is not working. So it's it's all fucked up. But what I was saying was, fuck. What were they saying, Chris? Exactly. That's the alcohol. <laughs> trying to get you out of the mindset of training. No, no. It was um, fuck. Hang on. Someone in chat remembers what I was saying. I was saying. Uh, hang on. Da, 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 da. Okay, boomer, boomtar, low IQ, something in boomer. I think it was about him showing. He better show up. Beef pong, something about Friday. Yeah, you were talking yeah. about how he had said something on Friday. Oh yes, thank you. There, that that worked. Thank. Uh, he tried to say that I was going to cause a bomb threat. Oh yeah, I saw people in the side chat saying that I was going to do it for you and that we're working in cahoots. I want to see him get his fucking head bunched in. Why the fuck would I do that? I told Tim that I'm like, fucking Zoom has been messaging me cheering me on excited excited to see this um this match why the fuck would he throw throw it all away for for what for people running out of a building for fucking two hours like what the fuck everybody wants to see that i i you know <laughs> we're watching it on pay-per-view right like everybody wants to watch this fucking fight happen there's only one side not turning in their fucking paperwork and their blood work and doing the promo shots that's Donga's side. He's the only one with the reason to try to weasel out of this. We should you know what's funny about this, stuff. Andy? Is yeah, the, sure. the last time we were all on air, you know, Jim, you, me, Ralph, it was me, and you guys were all on the other side, and Jim was just standing there counting his super berries, enjoying the fucking gas fire that was uh, what IBS Bless was. Ah, yeah. shit, that and, was uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was like, this dude is a fucking bullshitter. He's a liar, and he's a piece of shit. And you guys were just like, well, he's our friend. You know, it's okay. And now, eight months later, everybody sees I was right. And he only, was a fucking piece of shit. Only eight months? It feels like 17 yeah. and a half years, dude. That's fine. <laughs> like, internet years? Like, like, internet like it's, I know eight? it's crazy for you, but just imagine how it is for me. I was the one that had the tinfoil hat on going, this dude's a fucking liar, <laughs> piece, lying piece and of shit. I had and everybody on. was like, everybody was like, no, he's... he's He's a fighter. He's look at all this yeah. stuff. He couldn't be lying no, no, about it. The, the, so the best was SoCal. One day he phoned me. He goes, Hey, Andy, you know how I hated you for a long time? You were right about Tonka. Like, this is like a few months ago. Like, slowly everyone going, do, 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 like, going over the fucking line. Like, nope. Fuck this guy. And, uh, yo, okay, before I get off track, I need to grab that charger and phone Tim. Tim Loy. Hey, uh, hey, take a look at the side chat. That's Tonka's cool. saying you won't sign Andy, and then Vamp is saying spam sa sign the clause, Andy. I will. I will. Oh my god, this is like a repeat. I'm having flashbacks from. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying earlier. They they 100 are trying to get you not to sign it, Let's so sign. then they can take that back to the Kumatards and say, "Oh, Andy won't sign the contract." Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna bring that charger ASAP because I need to call Monsieur Tim Lloyd. Uh, well, stop talking about it and go grab it. Yeah, go call it. I like to leave <laughs> things in suspense, Jim. All right, BRB. I'm waiting for him to run back and be like, well, one more thing before I go grab the hang fucking on, hang on, hang on, before I go. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I heard you say that. My headphones are loud. My headphones are loud. Okay, one oh, second. Shit. <laughs> wow. Can be nothing can be easy with this. I, I gotta pull the room, guys. So what do you think? Do you think this is gonna happen or not? It feels like Dong is really trying to weasel out of it. So what he's, do you think? He's doing everything he can to get out of it, but I think it will happen. At this point, do you really? 
I, I, I don't think, think he's coming. If, he, if, if all this contract stuff goes through, I, I think it does. And I think, oh, I don't know. But I think Andy wins regardless. That's I mean, I was the one saying for coming. months that he was going to show up. But the stuff that I've seen since Friday and then today. Well, like I told you the other uh, day, Ralph, I, I called all the major hotels in Knoxville, and he doesn't have any bookings. There's no bookings under any of the names. Then that again, we know the market. weight could be an issue. Like, if he missed weight. Well, he I could you have an Airbnb. getting a room. <laughs> like, he's too bad to fit in the fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Airbnb? You honestly think that these people have credit cards? I mean, fucking Vamp lives with her well, mom. No, no, Uncle lives with his maybe. grandma. Like, come on. Uh, do you take super berries? I got a whole basket of them. Failure. That's some moxy ones left. In the parking lot. Use your stomach as a moon bounce. Get the kids jumping on you for 10 bucks. <laughs> you got to pay up bills. I, I really oh. didn't think, I, I didn't think he could afford to pussy out, but I, I'm starting to, I'm having my doubts now. Like it, waiting this long and then doing it at the last minute, I, I think the reality of the situation is hitting him and he's freaking the fuck out. I mean, I really, really want it to happen, and I've been saying that he would do it forever, but at this point, I I don't know. I think it's very much in doubt. Yeah, and I see the screenshot. This is Tonka in his Discord saying, going to be hard when he won't sign, and then, yeah, there's Vamp saying, uh, guys, seriously, spam, sign the clause, Andy. I, well, I knew it wasn't going to happen when he said, when him and Failure said that he was training an American top team, because I have friends that, that uh, you know, train and uh, like I have two friends that do uh, workouts in the UK with people that, uh, that do UFC professionally, and they know people at top team. And when I asked my friend, I was like, hey, can you ask one of your people that you train uh, how top team works and if they train amateurs? And he was like, no, they don't train amateurs at all. They have amateur Same. classes, but they don't let pros and amateurs train together. And then when we called them on the air, I had the dude, uh, I think his name was Caleb. He was like the head dude that does all the accounting and all the stuff and all the management and booking for the classes. And I talked to him for about an hour and it was me and Andy and Geek and we were alone and I let them listen to me talk to the dude. And the dude was like, no, we, we never do eight hour classes. We do four hours barely and you'll get those four hours maybe in a week, not a day. He's like, we're so packed and we have so many classes yeah. that are so booked that we can't do eight hour training sessions. He's like, the pros don't even do eight hours. They do four hours a day. And that's max. Some, some reporters, some journalists that are in MMA that I know, and they, they call bullshit on the whole thing too. Well, he they also said he was, he was swimming, that he was, uh, he was throwing sandbags. The guy's like, we don't have a swimming pool here. So I don't know where the hell he's swimming. And he's like, and that would never be in the training regiment. And we don't have sandbags here either. So I don't know what this dude's talking about. He sounds like he's full of shit. And I fucking cracked up when the guy said it. The only reason I say that there's a possibility is because well, I want to hear what Tim has to say because he knows more on it. And I, I, I've heard Tim before and I, I trust his, you know, what he says because he, he says he's never seen something like this before. Then it does cause reason for like what what's your end game here? You know, like you're not going to get out of this unscathed. There's no way. Well, I, 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 do they have penalty clauses? I would hope so. Like, you can't get this. We've, never seen, and... we've never seen the contract. Only they have. Yeah, but it'd, I, be I, up I, to, it'd be up to Tim Lloyd to disclose whether or not there's penalties. Yeah, right. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Tim goes into some detail, at least vague, if he can't give specifics. But I, I don't want to see Dongo walk away from this. Like uh, that, you know, he can waste everybody's time. <laughs> walk away. Wheel <laughs> away. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm, I'm a little bit. He, he also said something I really forgot, weird on I, stream. I, he said that he I made weight. I forgot we were streaming. Oh, you did? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, I, a phone should be charged in just a second. It's been, it's been plugged in for a minute. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, but yeah, he said he made weight. You were saying? Yeah, didn't you think that was a bit weird? He said he made weight. Normally, they try to stay either a few pounds above or a few pounds below their their goal weight, and then they go sit in the sauna or they you know try to pack on some pounds to gain an extra two pounds right before the fight so that they make that goal weight. Mm. I've never heard of somebody making weight two weeks before. Because then you could you could fuck up and you could have a huge shift and you could gain ten pounds. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, you don't I'm do having that. trouble. I'm having trouble passing the one sixty and then staying there because it's like, like from all the cardio and and all that stuff. It's like I'll be like one sixty one. I'm like, yeah, I did it, and it's like one fifty eight the next day. I'm like, all right, let's eat some more, you know, stuff and and work yeah, out harder. Yeah, I have a friend that did that. He was uh. 
he was like 140 and he started bulking up and this dude is fucking eating 6,000 calories a day. And he always posts on Snapchat. He, he's got pretty much stuck. Mm. He was stuck at 160 to 166 for about five and a half months before the gains pushed him over. And now he's up to 170 now. Yeah. I'm, Sometimes you just, you plateau and you just got to push through yeah, it. Yeah. I think I, I plateaued cause I'm like literally, yeah, I've had about 5,000 calories a day and this is like, all healthy shit. There's no fucking fast food. Uh, there's none. Of, it's, just, it's like fucking, you know, chicken, quinoa, rice, potatoes, protein shake, protein shake, protein shake. My fucking, my, ba- my roommate said this, I uh, said it best uh, yesterday um, or the other day that our house smells like a fucking sewage treatment plant. It's fucking horrific. <laughs> uh, like, um, it's it's been tough. And then the creatine, then you have to drink tons of fucking water, and then you're sweating it out. It's it's. So you're on pre workout. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's nice to see somebody on real pre workout, not that pre workout that failure says that he's on, where he takes it and then he says he sits there and shakes while he sits on stream for two and a half hours. I've never seen somebody take pre workout and then sit on stream for two and a half hours like it's not gonna make them want to rip a fucking phone book in half. Oh, dude, what I get yeah. yeah uh, 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 the creatine I, I'm taking, like, after you're just like, all right. It, it's like drinking a Red Bull. That's what it feels like, but without the heart palpitations. Oh, uh, hey, Andy. Um, up on Kiwi, uh, they're posting screen caps that look doctored, saying that you were telling people uh, he's saying that he won't show up. Even if he does, Zoom already said he's going to call on that bomb threat. And that's what Tonka uh, said. Well, um, yeah. everybody on Kiwi Farms are pedophiles, so don't want to know what they say. <laughs> that's exactly what I fucking I, I told Tim. It's they're trying absolutely anything. And then I was like, when did he send you this? And he sent it, what, like last week or something? And it was funny because I hadn't been on Discord for, I think, four or five days. So Cal can actually attest to this. Remember when I went MIA for like a few days? Yeah, I kept telling you what was all was happening. Because, yeah, because I was trying to say that's why they want a new, that's why he wanted a new contract because of the, because of the screenshot. Because, because I had he a, made them. I had a family, I, I had a family death. I was off Discord, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah this is fucking am- amazing. What? Well, the same, the same guy posting that is posting, I guess, messages Tonka sending out to people from the promoter. Yeah, it's 100 percent some Tonka scrub. Uh, and what did it say? Uh, it said, "I'm going to see if they will let me change the contract." The owner also now wants you both to sign an additional agreement that covers us in case of sabotage. Uh, and then there's a second one that says, "But Andy insists on a video of you signing." I don't work for Andy. I can hand you a video, but that guy's absolute shit. And then he says uh, he thinks you were sending someone else to fight in your place. What? Yeah, well, I did say that. I did say that. No, no, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, he's he's dropping all of this, trying to make it look like, yeah, just sign the fucking contract. And I am. Up. He's looking for any way to weasel out of this. If you sign yeah. it, he has no fucking excuse. I, I want to see him get his ass beat so bad. Okay, so the so Tim. He goes, I can come on tomorrow briefly, but tonight isn't going to work. This shit has me running late to dinner tonight with my wife and kids waiting on me while my phone blows up. So now he's affecting this guy's time with his wife and children. Get it together, Tonka. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, holy fuck. You've had three months to get this shit in, and you fucking know it. You're, you're wasting this fucking people's time. You're wasting the promoter's time. You're wasting your fans' time. Now you're doing a disservice to your own fucking fans who have bought uh, tickets, who have saved up money, who have not paid their trailer dues and utilities mm-hmm. to fucking be able to afford a digital ticket or even to fly out there. And Those fu- hookups aren't free. Yeah, that shit ain't free. Now you're fucking your own fans over. Who have invested no, money no, and time? Um, remember, he actually told his fans, "Do not buy tickets. If you're go- if you're going to buy pay per view, use Andy's code. <clears throat> Don't fly out. Don't." He he said that from the the beginning. He said he made sure that his fans. That was like the first like, okay, why wouldn't you want your fans to be there to support you? Like, what the hell are you talking about? It's horrible at mind games. But yeah, there are people that bought himself. tickets. There, there are kumatards that said they there bought are. tickets and they're going to be there in Knoxville. Yeah. He, oh, now, is he on. just going to send you the contract? The, the promoter, what did he say about that? Yeah. If I, if I just texted him, uh, can uh, Tonk is sending out your text with him. LOL. Can you send the contract? He's saying I won't sign. I am signing 
100%. Like, there's nothing... I have never struggled so hard. This... The, Neither has Tim. This... Uh, yeah, yo, the, yo, the, yo, this like situation is more of a battle than the actual fight itself to be honest like i would rather just train and train for a fight than deal with this shit ever again holy fuck and then if i didn't sign if i didn't do anything pussy 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 I, if any of his fucking if the kumatards believe that i'm either a a pussy b going to back out or any of i want to talk to aiu Atheism is unstoppable because he was the biggest, biggest fucking cunt out of everyone. Ugh, oh, it's this that you sent, by the way. Apparently, Tonka is saying that uh, that he doesn't work for you and that he's going to give the video to his fans of him signing it, but he's not going to do any videos and show you. How? That he's. How is, the, how, how is this how is this ma magic of sending it to everyone except for me? That's okay. He's gonna meet you <laughs> in a few days. So yeah, that's yeah, on. man. Oh my god, you the, you're not invited in the teepee. What can I say to you? <laughs> <laughs> like no. it's not gonna get out. Uh, I wanted oxies. <laughs> There's another Discord. I mean, people are leaking from his Discord lob, and uh, he said he never wanted. He's talking about you. He never wanted this fight. This was just some, some bullshit bravado move, that. piece of shit. That's what he's saying on Discord, apparently. Oh, he's backpedaling. How can a man play, in a wheelchair? Play, play, it, Angela, play, it. <laughs> play the audio. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll play the audio. You guys won't be able to hear it, unfortunately, but I'll play it for the audience. Okay, let's let's hear this. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight you, but Andy, you want to speak? All right, let me boost up my Discord. You can all hear this. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight you, but Andy Wars will fight you. That but Andy Wars did up. not. Oh my god, why Geek is this? giving you my time. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight Geek, but Andy Worski will fight me first. If Andy Worski doesn't fight me, then I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, Geek yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fight Geek. Yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll, fight. I, I'll, I'll, I'll fight Andy Worski first. If, uh, if I don't fight Andy Worski, then Geek gets none of my time. Let's hear the next one. Well, I think. And he's declining, but at the same time, he's saying he'll kill you. Yeah, so, but for people who are watching who don't know what happened, when he first uh, offered to fight me, I was so pissed about the pedophile shit that I'm like, if I go in there, I'm going to kill you. It's not going to be a fight. I'm going to murder you. Like, I went, like, I was saying that. So, that's that was my first initial reaction. And then a few days later, when it calmed down, then I, I accepted. Oh, Andy declines, but he would kill me. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, really. See, his his confidence in these are hilarious. Really, really. Oh man. Oh Andy, Ugh. you're a fucking, you're a pussy, bitch. Uh, here we go. Next one. Fight geek if Andy fights. Are they, are they stealing the uh, fight fighting gimmick? Someone, I'm getting word they're stealing the fighting gimmick. Uh, I'll be glad uh, to fight Geek if Andy will one. fight me first. Um, who? That might be the same one. Okay, cool. And then last one was the hype break not being monetized lie. Break channel. Could, yeah. It didn't get monetized. He has to now pay. Figure out a way to pay. Ian Miles Chong. He don't know how to do it. So he starts up a stream. Failure wouldn't do the stream with him. So he gets pissed off and he wants to do it the same time failure stream. So now he's going to try to take away. He's like, ugh. If fucking like talking and failing. I... I am so oh, happy. I Andy, am. pull this up. You can see where they doctored the message about the bomb threat in the first place. You can see the pixels no. on the, the part of your avatar. Yeah, pull this up. Gator has it on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's easy to do. <laughs> You're an expert on Photoshop. You've analyzed the pixels. You, you can see. But no, but look no, at it. it. it Anybody it, can easy. see it. Like, you just got to zoom in. Oh, my God. He can't. Paint bin, Andy. It's a paint bin job. Yeah, he can't. He can't. He says he can't. <laughs> he can't send in. I can't resend till he sends me documents about a legal name change. So oh, is this happening or not? Why did you change your name? You made it. Oh, so dude, this is the most obvious. 
Photoshop job. I, horrible. Whoever's listening who did this, this is horrible. Oh, Andy, uh, your chat wants to see the picture. They want to analyze the pixels. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone wants to analyze them. Okay. Uh, let me uh, <clears throat> pop this. Oh, look at that. Look, look at this complete detail. Okay, so let me open it. I, I got it. Yeah, yeah, I have to. I have to plus. What is it? Window capture? Is that what it is? Uh, and what's this fucking. What is it? Gator? Okay, here we go. It's not showing! Fuck! How do I how do I capture my a window? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, it's not working, it's just black. I think I think yeah, you know, I oh, think you, I know Tonka Oh wait, black. wait, wait, wait. If wait. you have hardware, if you have accelerated whatever turned on Chrome, it won't show up. Andy, did he send you some oh. oxy berries? Is that is that what's <laughs> going on here? I wish, dude. I'm more of an this is such guy. a bad job that I can zoom in on my phone and see where that square is. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me go to. I have to open up uh, a different browser. People are saying. Okay. Will the other browser work? Why does th that's so stupid? Okay, window capture. Where the fuck? Uh, Ralph, can you just send him the image, like uh, uh, a link to the image, so he, so he yeah. can show it like he did the Tonka it's figure? It's not doing it. But how did I do before, though? What the fuck? I mean, it's on my Twitter, if you, and Gator's Twitter. After yeah, I'm Twitter, sending it to you in Discord, Andy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I figured something out. You have hardware acceleration on, I think, on Chrome. But I don't there know. There we but go. Something there okay. we go. There oh. we go. Okay. I need some fucking detective music for this. Okay, so so what are we looking for right here? Just oh, well, expand the image. Yeah, click on the image so they can see. Oh god, I can already see the pixels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even try. That is miserable. Just copy and paste the gray around it, and then you you fucking keep circling. Like, what are you? Holy shit! You don't have to circle a gator. What are you doing? That is, <laughs> that is, you don't need that. That actually, uh, the, that makes it worse. That makes it harder to see actually with his. With his well, the one on the left is not circled. He's just showing. I mean, you don't even, yeah, you're right. You really don't have to circle it because it just, I mean, you can see right away. Wow. That is fucking miserable. Well, at least now we know who trained Kraut in the arts of this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, oh my God. What? Wow, oh my god! Oh my god, Tim just sent me all his texts. Okay, I can't resend uh, till he sends me the documents about his legal name. Yeah, let me put my camera back on. Oh, okay. so he did legally change his name. So, so, so watch this. Uh, Andy wants a video of you. How does he want it? Email this to me. After that, I'll remake the contract, but Andy insists on you having a video of you signing. Just throw it over. I don't work for Andy, blah, blah, blah. He thinks you are sending else to fight him in your place. He is just lying and wants to make demands. Me make demands. Oh, you should say that isn't this basic procedure for a fight that, you know, you have a photo or a video or something, not a cartoon character. Yeah, this has become just embarrassing. Okay, hang like, on. why does this need to be addressed? Like, why is this even a thing? Like, I've never seen this. Because imagine what he really looks like. All right, look at this, though. Look, hang on. Or, hang on, it's worse. It, it, it gets worse. Andy already announced the fight is off. What? No, I didn't! Did Tim what sent me this? Is this poor guy living on? Tim sent me this? Andy already announced the fight is off and a bunch of contract stuff before I'm even home. If you want to just scrap it because of Andy, he's using what? it. Wow. To... What a snake. What a fucking snake. I knew he was trying to weasel out of it. And then, Anything uh, he can to uh, grasp sign, onto. Sign, sign that thing right now. Well, he, he, he has to wait till Tonka sends in his legal name. So I don't even have a fucking contra. A contract. Eh, sorry. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, he said. So Tim says to him. He says that he thinks that you're using the old bait and switch. 
Um, uh, sorry, one sec, because now it's on a different picture here. Do -do -do. Okay, on the name stuff, you apparently told it. And Tonka says you apparently told them my name changed, and that was the whole reason I changed it to keep them from getting it. And Tim says, um, so now he's blaming Tim for the uh, for, like for the yeah, you blame Tim. That's smart. My name is Andy Perez, you fucking from Mississauga, Ontario. You yeah, pussy but Andy, ass bitch. Tim didn't tell you any name. He just said that there was a discrepancy between two of the names, and so they were sorting it out. He never gave you a name of either. I, 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 I have no name. To, like change it to something like we wouldn't figure out. Yeah. Like, what do you think he changed the name to? Well. Bobby. Well, well, if you want it, well, if you want it to be like really discreet, you should make himself. I I should name himself like talented live streamer, and then no one would fucking figure that shit out. <clears throat> uh, Tim says I'm staying out of the drama, man. But this is a first for someone signing a completely different name on a bout agreement and not telling me that they changed their name. And then Tonka says. No, he doesn't. He wants to call my mother on air and harass people. I didn't do that, you faggot! Sorry. Um, then, uh, what's his face? Uh, Tim says, I didn't say what the name was at all. There you go, Medigroup. Um, just said it's not what it's been signed. And then Tonka says, it's probably a first. I can believe that, but it's also the first time I've had... Um, the first time I've been called on my shit. Let me yeah. finish that text for you. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there was... I thought there was more. Hang on. I, I might have... Okay, I... Wait. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I missed a little bit here where he goes, I don't work for Andy. He thinks you're sending out someone else to fight him. And then he, he, says, he says this. Andy can blow me, but I get the rest. He knows who I am and has has har harassed every living member of my family. He's been telling people I have I have AIDS for a week. <laughs> I can agree that this is above the typical Call of Duty. I said you had AIDS once as a joke. You called me a fucking pedophile. You contacted Sinead with fakes to get her to break up with me. You fucking went after me completely you messaged chris warski who stole five thousand dollars from me because he's a fucking motherfucker and hope he's dead um you contacted him to get information from behind the scenes about me you are the one harassing me i didn't contact your fucking mama we, can we i'm sorry we made fun of your fucking but pedophile that was funny <laughs> that was funny uh but we did uh, i'm sorry did we unfortunately Make fun of your pedophile stepbrother? Oh, boo-hoo. Aren't you the one who goes after pedophiles all the time? You fucking faggot. Motherfucker, get the fuck out of here. Tim, thank you for sending me this. What, you think? Like, like Tim's a fucking straight-up dude. If Tim, Tim is allowed to send Tonka anything that I text him. Tim? And technically... And he does work for Tim, and Tim is the one that runs Valor, who whose rules are to have the picture. So no, he, he was saying he doesn't work for me like that. I know. I think that's but, what, yeah. But, Tim, but he works for Tim in this case, which his rules are to have, you know, it wasn't just you saying about the photo or the, the video. That's what they do. That's the part of theirs. When you sign it, you post a picture of yourself. With the contract. I've been going above, above, above and beyond. I've literally done everything. I have you, literally you done. Did, yeah, you did everything they asked. Yeah, just yeah, sign it, it at this point, it. man. It's, it's not on you. You've done everything that has been asked of you. You've been upfront about it. Uh, I know that, you know, you're saying one thing, Tonka's saying the other. But no one it, believes it really, me. It, it, yeah, it doesn't look that way. It, like, you had your fucking blood work in on time. The guy who's Mr. Fighting is my universe didn't. Uh, you know, yeah. he didn't tell the fight promoter of name change when that could probably cause fucking issues. And if he's so into MMA and wrestling, he would know that, right? Well, it's a legal thing for the promoter. That's why he mm. has to, you know, do, go the extra mile. Even beyond fighting, though, name. right? Even beyond fighting, like if you're an actor, if you signed a release form to be like in like a reality show, if you're in a talent show, if you're in a band, 
and you sign a contract to perform any sort of fucking entertainment being on TV or anything like for that matter, any type of career. If you change your name, the contracts that you have signed, you have to notify the people, especially if the contracts are still valid. And this fight has been like when he said on that fucking on the um uh, on who are you calling? Oh, I was calling Tonka's uh, mom's car lot. <laughs> They're probably closed now, yeah? Yeah, they just closed. I was going to call her to tell her son to grow a pair of balls and sign the fucking contract. She's got bigger ones than he does. Yeah, it's... um, I... I, And look, I'm, I'm willing for the people who bought tickets uh, for Ralph, who's joining me, Dick Masterson, mm. and Coach Red Pill, for all of you to to just tough it out for the next fucking four days and do any, any bend. I've already bent over backwards to, to the point where I like doing it again. I, I'm, this has been a Cirque du Soleil of fucking setting up a fucking fight where I don't even give a fuck about fighting. Now I do though. Now I do. There's nothing more than I want to see is my fucking left knuckle. Cause I'm left-handed covered in blood. But that is like a dream of mine, just seeing blood all over my fucking knuckle. Like, yeah, I, just sign whatever they send and ma- put it all on him. Don't don't give him any outs on this. Uh, yeah, he, he's looking for anything he can grasp. Thank you. He, yeah. Oh, they called my mom. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, they're harassing me. Oh, oh. He's I looking for anything. Point, yeah, he's gonna fill away. That's what I. At this point, I think that's what he's trying to get away from. Well, he, has, could he, be wrong. Oh, well, he has AIDS, so he's probably gonna fail away because he's too light. He can't, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a fucking oh my god. That's, that, that's fine. Let him this. let him weigh him with his wheelchair. He'll make weight. <laughs> There's always right, the parking lot. Yeah, Andy, Andy, stick. To, I gotta I gotta jump to go have dinner. But yeah, stick yeah, stick man. with it, man. You know, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm already I'm already locked into watching this fucking pay per view. So I guess I'll watch other people beat each other up if uh, Chief Donga doesn't show the fuck up. But. <laughs> He's trying to he's trying to weasel out of it. Don't let him weasel out of it. Make Wait. it so he has to be a bitch and pull out. I would ask you one question this is for everyone on the panel here. So I get a few minutes in the octagon if he doesn't show up with a microphone. What should I do? Oh. What should I? Do? <laughs> I, I I was thinking maybe like take like. Oh no no! You know what's that video, uh, Ralph? That you uh, that you've been playing on the uh, kill stream, the Woke Game of Dobby one. Yeah, the Good Bob Olders. Oh, dude! Yeah. I used to start on my war pass with that song. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, uh, just turn just turn that one just... out with an Indian headdress on your head. <laughs> talk, talk massive shit for the what five minutes that you had the microphone. I like the Good Bob Olders idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, were already, we, we were already talking about renting a an Indian headdress to no. come out to the ring. No, and no, no. You. I should just go out there because there's worse. I should just dox him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> His I address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Well, All thanks, right. Manager, right, man. It. Yeah, peace yeah, out, buddy. Take, take, take it easy, man. I'm looking forward to the Better fight. Look. Don't let him weasel out. I Nails will not. Wall on it. Thanks for right, coming on, buddy. Holy crap. What the, this has been like. This yeah, entire this is adventure. This has been a, a, like an adventure, you know that. Right? On here, hang on. People. Yo, yo, yo! Sorry, fucking. I'm pretty sure I'm getting DDoS. By the way. <laughs> wow, what a shock! Huh? I, I, I can I can sympathize with that. I I know what that's like. <laughs> I I I'm pretty sure I'm getting DDoS. It's like, you, like, hang on. I think we're back on. Yeah, we're back on. Yeah, so you, like you know, your internet is getting DDoS when it turns off for just ten seconds and then turns back on and it just. I, I, I don't know the I don't know the technical shit behind it. I'm not a computer guy. You, you pack it flooded or whatever the fuck they do to you. Um, I just I, you know I'm lucky that I live in an area that's got like fucking ten different service providers. Yeah. Um. So I I've got multiple ones now. So I'm I'm fucking sitting pretty. But no, I I know the feeling. Uh, I got mm-hmm. nailed and couldn't stream for like a half an hour, forty minutes. I was like, okay, I've got to, I've got to, uh, <laughs> I've got to fix that somehow. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, uh, this one reset, and then I'm going to get a, a couple more backups just in case, because, th- like, it's so fucking hilarious that I showed up, I did absolutely everything, I was as honest as possible, and still. They're going after me like it's my fault. I'm not the one who fucking challenged this motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? I didn't. I I 
was trying my fucking best to like, you know, just go, okay, sure, sure. Because how this started after the whole geek... Uh, we're offline again. You want me to fucking stream it for you, Andy? Uh, you know what? That might actually not, not be a bad idea. And yeah, you know what? I thought a bad idea. All right, here. Just don't say that is coming from me, all right? Just uh, I won't. I, no way. I won't. No, uh, you, you're, you're online. It says you're live right now, Andy. Is it? Uh, it it's on yeah, and it, off. It's back online? Okay. Damn it. All, all right. right. All right. It's well, on. If anything happens, then right. we'll do uh, we'll, Do, do you we'll want do... me to do a simulcast, put it on my fucking channel? I'll turn off the fucking super chats and shit so people... No, no. For now, for, uh, for now, just leave it the way it is. Uh, right. If it fucks up, I I can get... Uh, like, I have some some ways to back this up with other OBSs right. from other areas. Uh, yeah. Poor, poor little Andy out there in the world with his naked IP just waiting to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to be switching my IP completely different, like, ASAP. Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah, so what I want to uh, say, uh, uh, say like, the, the, uh, the intro, the entrance, that was the Indian headdress, the wheelchair, coming out in the Sweetie Squad sweater, Having uh, fucking Ralph dressed up as Caesar uh, with Dick Masterson pushing me to the Kumite intro music. That is li That was literally... That's how you fucking beat up a cripple right there. <laughs> no, I, I, I liked it. Yeah, I liked your entrance. Um, I liked that you showed up. Yeah, I mean, Tonka, like I said, ran his mouth, challenged fucking everybody to fights, did the uh, internet tough guy shit for years and years and years. And you put him into a position where he couldn't get out of it. He was fucked. I mean, he was stuck in that position, and it boiled down to the last, you know, couple of days, and he looks like a fucking bitch to everybody now. Yeah. Uber drivers are talking about him. That <laughs> yeah. guy is pushing out. You know, so it's really weird. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Like, you know, first few weeks, I was nervous, right? Um, and then I got more confident in my, you know, my skill because I was training and having a lot of fun. And then it really hit me at the weigh-in where all the fighters after we were let, alive or whatever, after we were done uh, streaming, all the fighters were coming up to me and they're like, yo, man, that sucks. Your, a, a dude didn't show up. I'm sorry about that. Like they're all coming. And then it, like this sadness hit me of like, fuck. Like, I want to be, like, I want to fight. I want to be part of this. And you have these people who are facing off versus each other, talking and having, like, having, like, a drink at this place. Like, like oh, man, we're going to fight soon. This is crazy. Like, you know, having a good time. There's, you know, shaking hands and shit. Meanwhile, we have fucking bitch made Tonka, who's just, his, his goal is just to destroy, like, like, if he beat me, it would ruin my entire career and ruin me as a human being. But he doesn't get that. It's about manning up and just fucking fighting. That's all it fucking is. It's nothing more than that's what MMA is, you know? I'm sure, y'all beef and fight, but these people were shaking hands after the fight, you know? Well, you know, I, I, I oh, well, let me start off with this. Have you seen the new Dongalore that uh, Cog had pop up on his stream? No, no, what's that? Um, I have a short clip. It's like a minute at most. Sure. Uh, somebody who was a former classmate of his uh, wrote, uh, I guess, emailed or sent through Discord uh, information about uh, about our little Native American and oh. what he was like. It's a, it's a video clip of Cog reading out the information if you want to sure, take yeah. a listen to it and share it with. Uh, there's a nice little nickname apparently he had in school that I was unfamiliar <laughs> with <laughs> oh, <laughs> that no. you, might, you might enjoy. Okay, you put it in the chat here. I'll 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 pop that up. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. oh boy, let me, oh boy. Let me, let me put this in. It's just uh, it's on my Twitter timeline, so it's not like. Oh, uh, okay. Here, I'll just refer, here. Let me just. Go oh, over. there you go. I, I threw it in the side chat. All right, all right, work it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, so uh, you you guys won't be able to hear it, so I'll tell you you dudes when I'm gonna hit play. So right. here we go. All right. Okay, and I'm going to play it in three, two, one. Back in high school, Robbie was what you would know today as the nice guy type. He had really, really long hair, always greasy. He wore a lot of WWF slash E t-shirts, and that I would have to say was his biggest hobby. He obviously got picked on a lot and ended up joining the wrestling team and actually did okay. I was friends with him. I guess he was part of all the rest of the loser. Uh, here comes the cringy part, okay. 
He would run up and wrap his arms around me and pull me into a slight headlock and ask how I was doing. He'd ask me to come over to his house, which I'd refuse, even when I had a boyfriend senior year. He threatened to fight my boyfriend and tell me how much better he would be. This is a pretty exact quote. I'll make you love me when I become a pro wrestler. <laughs> so the biggest cringy moment Rob ever had in his high school, he sent a picture to one uh, of our mutual friends. His room in the background looked like the stereotypical nasty d dirty neckbeard room, soda bottles and trash everywhere, <laughs> dirty carpet, absolutely disgusting. He earned the nickname Slobby Robbie, a super <laughs> nickname. I'd really love to bring that nickname back. Holy Slobby shit. Oh, oh, Slobby Robbie? Mm -hmm. Dirty boy. Dirty oh. Slobby Robbie, yeah. Oh, Robbie no. and Venti. Oh. <laughs> Slobby Robbie is a terrible nickname. <laughs> Holy shit. Is, I just, I like how Robbie, he, run, Robbie. I, I like how, you know, this image of him running up when he still had functional legs, running up to girls in the hallway and putting them in headlocks and then saying, you're going to fucking love me when I'm famous. Uh, <laughs> I just picture the special ed kid running up to everyone and giving them a hug and not knowing face. <laughs> yeah, he's in everyone's bubble. <laughs> you're like, yo, sloppy Robbie, man, you're going to have to chill. Yeah. Like, Holy fuck. He, uh, what did you think about him, uh, both of you, what did you um, all three of you, what did you all think about him deleting his, uh, his videos? I saw it coming. I, I don't know, I think this might, like, there's some weird shit going on. Shit Rat and Holiday have privated stuff and started deleting shit. Kraut is kind of gone to ground. And, uh, you know, Tonka's privated and deleted a lot of shit, it looks like. No, Kraut is yeah, talking to Tonka right now. No, no, yeah, but I'm, I'm talking on social media. He can still oh. get on to the Lancaster yeah. account, but he, he's not doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I, I don't know, you know, I know that uh, Zoom is doing a stream tonight and he's promising some big shit. I, I'm wondering if the rumors I've been hearing people talk about on streams and social media about him actually really getting sued is coming to fruition and that's why he's deleting shit. Oh, don't worry. I have, I have like the last 12, so if they need them. Of what? The last 12 what? Uh, Kumite's. Oh, oh, yeah, well, I... The, that's what I predicted while we were driving back to uh, Nashville, because I'm a fucking idiot, uh, was I was like, yo, maybe he's trying to delete all the evidence of him going, yeah, I'm going to fight, yeah, I'm going to fight, yeah, I'm going to fight, which contradicts him signing a fake name. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I think, that's where I think this, why he deleted all that shit. I, I don't know. So, I mean, I, I, I'll obviously tune in when Zoom does his thing to see, I, I guess, what um, is going to get dropped. But um, Well, Zoom wants to go after him because uh, he collected a lot of money for training uh, for the fight and for food for the did? fight. Yeah. When? Uh, Where? How? Was, I don't know. I wasn't listening to the Kumite much like other people weren't. <laughs> when the uh, guy failure. Like the promoter has done this for years and years and years and says, I've never seen anything like this before. You've really accomplished something. Well, I know LaRose is not happy. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, she, she she's, she, yeah, she's fucking embarrassed. Like, she was almost begging Bake Alaska uh, to fight you as, like, a way to make amends, I guess, to Tim Loy and others uh, for the shit show that Tonka caused by not fucking showing up and doing all this underhanded shit with his uh, blood work and name and mm -hmm. stuff. See, I'd, I'd, I'd fight Baked, and look... If I lose or he loses, I'll still shake his hand and have a beer regardless. Let's have some fun. Like, that, that's the whole point of an MMA match is entertainment. There was one guy there. Uh, he was, I think, a few before me. He, he had the green mohawk. He was 11. I'm sorry, 0 and 11. And then he was 0 and 12 at the end. And we had a talk after. He's like, dude, I don't fucking care. It's like, I have fun. They pay me. I don't give a fuck. He's like, and I'm hanging out with these guys. I'm... He's like, I'm not the best fighter, obviously, but what, you know, whatever. And then he start, he's on camera with drummer 828 calling fucking Tonka a bitch. And this is a guy who's like 0 and 12. I wish you'd got the black dude with the fucked up eye who knocked that, <laughs> oh, yeah, who knocked yeah. that fucking Jamaican on his ass in like three seconds. That was funny as shit. Yeah. Who was the, uh, did you get to meet the, um, it was the, uh, the kickboxing guys that went up, uh, Mavir or whatever his name yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, I said what's up to that, the guy. Yeah, that that was... dude is like a fucking tank. Like he... I watched that whole match, and he just he never showed any signs of being hurt, and he, he was really good. I mean, he was vicious in his fucking punches and kicks and shit. Yeah. But at the very last round, they panned out with the camera, and you, I, I had no idea this happened to him because he didn't look like he was walking weird or anything, but 
his whole left thigh was just pure purple and black from the kicks he took, but he walked through it like a fucking tank, like it didn't affect him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't, that match oh, was the most exciting. Yeah, there we go. That match was the most exciting, and I was fucking. We were like me and Ralph, like any big hit, we were like standing up for like, oh, sh-. like it's so. It was so fun to fucking watch, man. That was like a blast. Andy, well, what up, Andy? Oh, R- read my screen. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> this just came in. <laughs> okay, so we got. I mean, Ralph is probably a hippo in disguise. So, and then goddamn it, Kraut. So this is Kraut saying this. Uh, uh-huh. I need to lie down. I fell down some stairs, hit my head about 20 minutes ago, and I'm really dizzy. <laughs> Might talk to you guys later. What the fuck? <laughs> so Kraut just fell? What the fuck? Yeah, that's a 4, 11 p.m. So about like about 40. So uh, oh, send, send your thoughts and prayers, guys. Everyone, thoughts your prayers. thoughts and prayers to Kraut. Uh, he was, Kraut was the entire, I love that audio clip of being like, this is how, so I think it was, Ralph was like, you know, they were saying, like, Kraut was saying that uh, you losing is going to be, like, the final nail in the coffin for your sh- show and kill stream. So we hear the audio, and it's Kraut being like, the final nail in the coffin will be when Tonka walks out there, and they can see he walks. I'm like, that is, it's not even about beating me. It's about proving he can walk at this point. <laughs> That's like the win. The like win. He said is... you would have had a better match against someone in an actual wheelchair. Yo, I swear to God. And you know what's funny? I was telling the uh, uh, the fighters this and the people in the back. Uh, I was telling them, I'm like, it's funny because when people thought he was in a wheelchair, people who didn't know like the lore. They were like, you're going to fight someone in a wheelchair? And everyone's all upset. But Tonka is such a fucking dick that by this time, everyone's like, yeah, you're going to fight someone in a fucking wheelchair. He removed the stigma for fighting people in wheelchairs. That's how so shitty Tonka is. Like, <laughs> you know, eye him up, size him up and go, I, I think I can take him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he actually made it worse for people in wheelchairs. Now we're going to see people in wheelchairs are going to be like, that motherfucker's probably a shit talker. <laughs> I loved how we were uh, at eating breakfast with Nick, by the way. Within a minute, we're in the car about to leave, and then there's the picture of the actual place we were just at with an Indian outside in a wheelchair <laughs> just looking out at us. <laughs> I'm like, yo, these guys are quick. The memes did not stop. Me and Ralph and Dick and Coach and uh, Gator, we were like gut-busting laughing every like like my i have like now I, I had a more of an ab workout just on the trip laughing than on my actual training that's how much we just fucking laughed and now this whole thing with the refunds and the possible uh, a possibility of him him being sued the fake fake blood work or thick name on the blood work the fake name the changing names, but then he put a fake notary. Like the amount of fraud that's been. Right. You know what really bothered me with the fucking uh, the blood work and the name and everything? What's that? He had told me his name was fucking Hector, and while you know his, everybody was putting his real name out there. Yeah. So that that really fucking bothered me, man. Yeah. So he was telling you his name was Hector. It was obviously Michael or Robert, whatever the fuck. Robbie. Yeah. And, but, but didn't, and then, okay, here's what bothered me, by the way, was when I only knew your first name, he's mm-hmm. like, and then he's messaging you uh, or other people, and he's the only one who knows his full name. So when it's yeah. leaked, I will all know that it's, it's, it's Andy leaking it. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, <laughs> Jim, have you heard about Nectar? Have I heard about what? Nectar. <laughs> Oh, yeah, are Nectar. we talking about like Godwin's in here? What do, what do you mean uh, by Nectar? <laughs> no, oh, uh, well, I, I saved Tonka's life one time because he had a uh, <laughs> a twin that he absorbed in the womb and it was choking him out because it started growing on his neck again. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a stream uh, where the uh, ex, uh, well, associate or whatever of Tonka's came on for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> so, was he telling a different story? Like, I know that Tonka got his ass kicked by his tag team partner after he fucked his girlfriend and then bought him a beer. But that dude brought up a story, or that st- a story was brought up during that stream where apparently Tonka brought a chick to a, a match he was in, and while he was in the match, she was fucking around with some dude in the audience. So he got cucked twice? 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. But, uh, <laughs> at this point, at this point I, like, there's so many well, people. Was she, was, she, was she sucking his dick in the audience? Like, what the <laughs> fuck was the story on that? How does that keep happening to one guy? How does he keep losing to all these other men repeatedly? Hmm. That was so the... wait, you you heard what his other nickname is? Oh, Flabby Rob Idle Threats. What? Slobby Slobby Rob. Idle Threats? Oh, my God. That is fucking golden like i i honestly like it went from like uh, uh you know like the fans who were coming still were a bit disappointed to like everyone at the bar like this was better than an actual fight <laughs> like it, it he bonded he bonded like this situation actually bonded <laughs> wait i'm the sorry community. somebody in your somebody in your chat like is actually it's a three count if you count joakim as well so i mean oh Oh, the Tonka tribe is not doing too well. No, yeah. no. <laughs> the white oh. man stealing his women. <laughs> oh, I, I told someone on the plane on the way back, right? So me and this person beside me, we were just talking, and she's like, "So I, so she asked what I was there for, and I told her, and she searched it, and she's like, "Oh, that's so cool." And then she's like, "Why are you wearing a, where <laughs> an Indian headdress?" I'm like, "Well, have you ever heard of the Trail of Tears?" She's like, "Oh boy," and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, he lives in a trailer apparently, so we made it trailer of tears. She's just dot people were laughing who had no idea with this situation. No one cared. And it was funny how they were like, okay, no racism, right? Like in the back, they're like, you know, racism. So I'm like, yeah, of course. We'll come out in an Indian headdress. <laughs> and the fucking announcer, like, here's Andy Worski. <laughs> He's just chuckling. <laughs> Apparently, you could hear them talk when the ho uh, the mic was hot when I was coming or before it came out, and they were bashing Tonka. Was that true? Uh, yeah, no. There, there was a hot mic during the intermission. Um, the, mm. like the chick. Yeah, yeah, I haven't recorded it. The chick came on and um, she was talking to the guy the in the cage or whatever. She's like, yeah. Um, she's like, I talked to him and stuff. They know not to say anything outrageous or racist or anything like that to keep it family friendly. That's that's all she was saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then she said. Uh, on her stream, the one where she's talking about like the five thousand dollar rape bounty, I don't know if you saw that, uh, where someone called her or, or messaged her, you're gonna get raped, uh, and there's a bounty for five thousand dollars if you say that Andy won and Tonka lost, and then she goes, "Yo, fuck it, bring all the people you, you can if you want to do that, and bring a gallon of chloroform." I'm like, "Oof, my girl," and she goes, "Yeah, I checked out his Twitter." It seemed a little bit racist, and that was just because the pinned tweet of the Charlottesville, fucking me, <laughs> me and Dick and everyone inside. Uh, but then she's like, "But I met him. He was awesome. He was really cool and didn't seem racist." Uh, so I now that I, that I have both of you in here, uh, failure and Andy, I wanted to ask a question about your little disagreement. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, because I remember the sequence of events, kind of. Um, I remember a failure. You were with Tonka saw on Akumite or some stream that he was doing. Uh, and Tonka kept saying, Andy didn't pay failure. Andy didn't give him the money. And I wasn't Andy... on that stream, actually. I was I was at fucking home. I was training. I, I, I'm like fucking Tonka. I was not fucking interacting with him at that time. I, I could have sworn you were. But I, Tonka kept running and saying, Andy never paid him. Andy never gave him the money. Uh, and then Andy said, uh, essentially, well, if I didn't give you, you know, if I didn't give the money, then I guess I can't charge him back. And took the money back. Right? So. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Yeah, that's what happened. He goes, he goes, I'm like, you have five minutes to say that I paid failure or else I will refund the money. Right? You remember that, he, right? Yeah, I actually yeah. gave him the midnight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that, the midnight, yeah. Yeah, because Tonka kept saying Andy never paid him. And then Andy, you were basically like. Well, if I didn't pay him, I guess I can't fucking refund it, or refund it, can I? Yeah, and I tweeted at Andy. Yeah, Andy, Andy did in fact pay me. Uh, Tonka's wrong. You paid and me so, though. Oh, Tonka... uh, uh, you tweeted me at like eleven fifty eight, and I'm like, but it's well, I Tonka. Didn't, I didn't see that shit until. Yeah, fucking I know, death, I know, know I know. So he let yeah. you, like he he fucking let. I was pissed off about the pedophile shit, the mm -hmm. the the constant attacks on me, the this that, and then. Uh, like, and maybe make it clear to people that I did pay you more than how much we made that month. Is that correct? Yeah, we, we, uh, made usually somewhere between what, uh, 100, 200 bucks a day. And we were on air for like two weeks. And some days, remember that one day uh, we made six dollars each. King. Remember that one yeah, day the... we made six dollars each. Oh, that one was each. fucking terrible. That was, here's the thing. 
Let's say we were fucking. It like, was less than a hundred bucks in. a day. So, you know, some days we made it, forty or fifty yeah. bucks split between three people. By the it, way, so. if we weren't raking in, if we at least had a fucking fantastic show where we had fun, but those fucking some of those shows were miserable. Some of them were fun, but then as soon as we would be like, "Oh, that was a fun show," he'd be like, um, "That was fucking gay," and would leave. No, yeah, would, would no, fucking... he actually left. Oh, can I can I ask you failure then? Okay, because it, 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 if that's the way the situation went, and you weren't you know agreeing with Tonka, but Tonka was saying that. Why did yeah. you stay stand by this faggot for so long? If he's costing you fucking yeah. money and dragging yeah, your name, I was pissed shit. off at Andy. I was pissed off at Andy uh, for doing that and shit, and so I went yeah, but on there. Tonka's Tonk yeah. the one that set that up, though, isn't he? I mean, he's the one that ran his fucking know. mouth and say it, that Andy never paid you. I know I should have been mad at Tonka, especially since he claims he makes six figures. He should have fucking covered the fucking money I lost. He claimed that asking. multiple times. Yeah, he said he made yeah. six figures on the show. How much did he but pay you? How much did he pay me from that? He didn't pay me anything. He owes me money from the super chats that came in that day because he said all the super no, chats. No, not that, that day. Were... I mean, just in the entirety oh. of the Kumite. If he made over a hundred thousand uh, dollars, what did you here. get? Failure, uh, failure, 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 failure. I, I heard you d deny one thing, but you told me and Geek Thulu at one point mm -hmm. that he owed you ten k. You did tell I us. I really that. don't remember that, but he probably does. Here, uh, don't show it on screen because it's I won't for show Zoom it later. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, Zoom, watch fucking Zoom's channel later because uh, he's fucking digging through a lot of shit. Uh, well, yeah, sure. then I, I don't want to steal it from Zoom because I know he's got a stream and I know he wants to reveal a bunch of shit. So if it's going to cut, you know, like cut in on the, his stuff he's going to talk about, I'll drop well, it. Yeah, just, just judge on your own. You could look at the screen real quick. This is the total from 2018. Oh, you you oh, do the math. Oh, 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 and by the way, I just got confirmation from Zoom uh, mm -hmm. that he found a lot more stuff on yeah. uh, an old Tonka boy just recently. <laughs> he, he goes, Tonka is so fucked. Okay, so we, okay, we, we are seeing here payments found for, may I say the name? 2018. Uh, yeah, from Vamp Candy. Okay, or for Vamp Candy. Oh, from, from, yeah. sorry, sorry, from. Well, yeah. no, I, I did pay her sometimes because sometimes she would come Wait, on my Wait, is this it? Yeah, that's it. That's the total for 2018. That's what all the he, fuck? That's, that's, that's all he paid you. Dude. Mm -hmm. Dude. Don't say it. I'll, I'll I, 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 I'm not going to say it, but, but dude, he gave you probably 5% of what he made. Five. I'm not even, even kidding. Even, even Zidane gets more and he doesn't get paid. <laughs> Yo, that Ugh. wait, did uh -huh. did he pay you at one point ten dollars? Uh, I think uh, that was like a test, like a a test uh wait, so donation uh, or October, whatever. October, March, dude, he he gave he gave you probably. Don't, I'm yeah, not gonna don't, say. Don't I'm not say saying number. Totals. I'm not saying yeah. totals. I'm not saying totals. I'm saying he gave you look. From the January, for example, look, I we were doing very similar numbers. Um, Motherfucker, somebody said five percent and he overpaid. <laughs> God. Yeah, yo, yo, but but on January, that 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 was the month after I promoted you all of December, and my show was doing fucking retarded after the uh, the crowd stuff. He mm -hmm. must have made. I'm gonna say I won't say how much he paid you there. I know how much he made. He because Vamp spilled it to me because how he much? How much? Vamp Seventy grand. That's what she told me. Seventy grand in 2018. He made, and uh, he ain't paying Vamp because she only gets from the fucking Streamlabs. That's why she called me for two hours and complained. And then I gave her advice, like you need to go and do your own Twitch or own your own channel because when he leaves, he's gonna leave you high and dry. I'd and you know what? You, you know what? You know what she did? You know what she did? What? Fifteen minutes later, I got an alert from fucking Google saying you are no longer the owner of fucking uh, uh, Grapple Vision. Wow, dude! So I she would went to sue. him. And, Does is there audio of you of him saying that he pays you? He oh, said, he's all oh, he's always said most of the money goes to failure. So, so that's all sue the motherfucker. No, no, no. Yeah, I no, I do remember that. I don't have the Kumite saved because who would ever do that? But, yeah, seriously. Um, I I do remember him saying, "Oh, I make six figures," and uh, "Oh, I, I I run, I have." I have multiple successful businesses. I, I'm not internet people. Failure gets all the money. I give all the failure. Tell them, tell them failure. All the money goes to failure. And a you, lot of people ask and me you were mad I at fucking... me. And you were mad at me when I over, I overpaid you, man. Definitely. Yeah. And by the way, we'll discuss it. Like on, 
on a future on a future paycheck, I will give you the money that. Holy shit! I took no, back Andy, for sure. for, yes, failure. You are a fucking idiot. If that's yeah. real, if that's the amount he paid you, and you stuck yeah. by this I, piece of shit, you're an idiot. I paid, a, like in the moron. beginning, a big a big part of it, like was in the beginning, it was he he kept saying the whole thing of oh well, you know the Google system and everything is is it's like you know fucking two three months whatever blah blah. No, because then it takes this, thirty days. Yeah. Uh, and he, he also was getting sued at the time. So, you know, it, it was a thing where, I, wait, what is I, he getting wait, sued what? for? Wait, hey, hey, back that up champ. What is he getting oh, sued for? Oh, he got sued by Joya, uh, for, uh, I'm gonna figure out, put it in the, in the wait a minute, though. Joya, the ex-girlfriend he brought on to prove what a badass he was, was suing yeah. his ass at the time. Well, he, he told me not to, uh, not to talk to her, by the way. Is that why she why. came on? Did he settle with her? Is that how he got her on the fucking stream? I bet look, look, at the, oh, look at the side chat, Jim. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, that is just oh, precious. Oh, no. Tonka. Yo, this gets... But this lore is amazing. So the people saying <laughs> that I was in it for the fucking money, what fucking money? <laughs> Yo, you were getting I, I, I just wanted to fucking have a fun show, man. Like, I would probably have been fucking better off going with you, Andy. Andy, you had fucking so you many fucking... You would have been better problems. off going with anybody or going Alone. on your own. Alone. I saw you doing your own streams. You did fairly okay. Well, that's, how, that's how I did fucking fine, like, as far as, you know, getting my fucking bills paid and shit is because I did the fucking oh, failure right. in the morning thing and all that. But the fucking dude claiming that he had fucking Mercedes and Benzes was fucking jipping me. Yeah, and I was, I was, uh, see, when you went alone, even though we had our beef, like, the first time when you were back and you, you spilled everything and you, like, you know, apologized to me and stuff. And I was the one who donated to you. I was blocked on your channel, so I have to use a different account that said Andy Worski as well, but it's different. But <laughs> wait, 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 wait. was Joy the one that fucked his friend? Yes. So the chick that fucked his friend... Sued his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he got sued by the girl that fucked another dude. That's precious. But it, but it was funny because there was no dead air when you were alone. Remember, yeah. me and Failure used to well, like... He sucked the energy out of me. The problem was I was doing fucking Failure in the morning. I was fucking fine. But the longer I did the show with him and the more fucking boring, the guy that fucking drained energy from me. Listen to me right now. I'm fucking passionate. I fucking actually cared about this shit at one point. And then it became a thing where, like, being told to shut up about, oh, fucking movies are dumb and this fucking topic is dumb and this person we can't have on because I have fucking beef. That got fucking exhausting. That's fucking gay. I had fucking fun doing streams with you, Andy. I think... And by the way, you know, I, I think there was one time, even Medicare, you were you made a video about something, and me and I, I think I brought it up, and then a, 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 a Tonk is like, no one cares, Andy, and I'm like, dude, you better talk about this. Everyone in the chat is going, let's hear your opinion on it. And he goes, no one cares. No, no, no one oh. cares. No one. And then I'm just like. And it was on my channel at that point, remember? And he was like, Andy and Failure own the Kumite. Now I'm like, then why the fuck is he stopping me from this and that? And yeah. then to a point where he's like, no phone calls, Andy, no phone calls. That's why I was like, fuck Kumite. That was fucking lame. The, like, look at what Ralph was doing. Like, fucking phone calls was where it was at. Talk to the fucking people. But he was afraid of the fucking anime he's fucking calling in. Or Zoom calling in. Or fuck. By the way, Go Ben from Golf City says, so that's why failure fell asleep all the time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if I had to fucking well, listen to I, another... I'm going to say this out in the open. Because I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's been a weird situation. I don't know why you would have stuck with Tonka Soft for so long. Maybe it's a gay op. Maybe you're on the level. He's a likable guy sometimes, that's why. I, I'll say this, if you really want to prove yourself to the people, you should do a stream on your own, if you want to make a little bit of cash doing it, and dump everything, every DM message, every Discord message from the last fucking year, and let the people see what Tonka saw is like behind the scenes. Yep, I think so too. And 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 failure, now that you're you're free from his grasp, that morning, like, like mm -hmm. uh, um, on Jim, uh, you also talked about it on your video that morning me you geek and tonka and i was like i don't know about jf i feel like what did tonka say Please. yeah he said if that's what you want to do fucking do it but 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 and then, he, but then nice. how did he follow it up though he's like if mm -hmm. i were you i would tell him to fucking suck my dick like he went on for mm -hmm. what like five minutes and he I, and then i was like 
like he pumped me up to do it. And then what was it? I had a DM, Andy, I'm going to be on Ralph's later. Uh, don't, don't worry. It's just for show. It's just for show. And then oh, I hear Ralph him... last night uh, opened up and said that uh, fucking Tonka messaged him and was like, don't miss out on fucking Andy show tonight. Something's going to fucking happen. Blah, yeah, blah. exactly. Yeah. He, he By set way, me up. Can, can you clear up one thing? I was always telling you go fucking do a, a, like a side project if you're not happy on on the fucking channel like you know do like a purple dragon thing or do some you, streams yeah, on the did, side but keep doing the fucking JF thing. I was never the fucking biggest fan of fucking JF but I wasn't saying fucking this shit dude. 100 I'm came, not telling 100%. you failure. Look at look at the chat. People are clamoring for it. If if you really if that's all that dude paid you, all right. you'll make 10 yeah. times that amount doing it. He paid you a pit a I'll, pitten I'll promote for it. your oil. The cogs it. probably made more money from me fucking talking these days than me. I'm trying to avoid the fucking looking like I'm looking for a cash it's, grab. It's dude. in for a penny, in for a pound. If you're gonna, if you whore it out, buddy, he treated you like a bitch for a year. If that's what we're going with, I'd fucking dump everything. He he has enough money saved that he will be able to at least pay back what he's gonna be sued for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but think about this: when I when I saw, even though we were pissed at each other, when I saw you back. I'm the one who promoted your stream right after yeah. my stream to make you have, and you made, and I'm like, look, look, no dead air. He's passionate. He seems happy. He seems free. He's, and he's making money and it's not a cash grab. You're talking about mm -hmm. something that people are interested in because he jerked air. even Malcolm from the North who hates my guts just disavowed him. You know, like everyone oh, yeah. fucking, yeah, man, it's, it's yeah. just, this is interesting. And you know what? I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it all spurgy or, or like you saw me in the fucking ring. I didn't go, fuck you, faggot piece. You know, I just, I just went, I, I, I just said it as serious as possible. I mean, it was still entertaining, you know, uh, cause he, he is what fucking Medicare just said, an internet tough guy, the definition of an internet tough guy. So failure, like, yeah, I mean, your loyalty comes cheap. Like, I, 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 I don't know what it's like behind the scenes, but I don't, I don't feel like Andy treated you unfairly. And if this is how Tonka treated you and that's what he was paying you, why would you, yeah. like, why didn't you go to Andy's side on this? I begged you, failure. I begged you. Yes, you did. You did. I, I just was in a fucking funk where, you know, I was doing this show with this guy and, like, I was telling you, like, yeah, I'm going to probably go on my own real soon, blah, blah, blah. And me, it was always me and a... Geek. Me and Geek yeah. were, like, and remember that one day you were so upset about, like, just how he was treating you? Me, you, and Geek talked for, I think, for a half an hour about your fridge habits. And we were laughing so hard that I was falling on the floor. Oh, my, and I'm like, funny. I'm like, and I'm like, this is the show. This is the show. Yeah. And then like two, two days later, you're like, geeks trying to steal my, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, well, let's, let's just be honest. I'm, I was, I was a fucking faggot. I was an idiot. I, I fucking had the fucking Stockholm syndrome that everybody jokes about. And that like people yeah. like fucking vape still have it, Like I have the 95 pounds I've lost. Isn't the only weight that I have list, lifted from me. The fucking <laughs> And the fucking crippled engine are also fucking off my shoulders. Well, I, I can think of no better uh, revenge to a guy that. Um, you, All right, you, you want the, you, 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 Hold on, do you want a bombshell? Do you yeah, want a drop bombshell? It, drop it, drop All it. Right. it on. Tell him, failure. Right. If you want to audit somebody, have the fucking IRS audit him since he fucking has his grandmother's fucking ancestor name in the fucking AdSense. Oh! Oh, fuck you! Oh, Taka, Taka, Taka. Oh my god! Bombs over Donga! <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> Somebody make that. <laughs> oh. Hey, someone has to do the we got the other meme, but we got him. <laughs> like, seriously, like, just the music starts and then yeah. failure saying that and then, but oh wow. Well, like, yeah, I, I known that for a while. And it's like, you know, a shitty friend that you know is fucking, you know, doing shady stuff and you don't say anything. Yeah. It, it, it's it's fucking fuck oh. him at this point. Oh my! So if it's, failure, stop telling him failure. Stop. Telling yeah, yeah, yeah. That 2018. Tell him failure. 2019. Stop telling him failure. Uh, you know that is that is the most fucking. If his grandma is there, so so okay. How did how does she, how does that help with taxes? She's older, I guess, and then gets less. Cause she's also, a he doesn't get bumped, bumped into a, a different uh, tax, tax uh, bracket. bracket. Also, oh, it might so be less, split. less. Uh, you know, let's think about this too. If he's getting any bennies from fucking the government, the last thing he needs is to make more money. 
so if he has a side if he has a side business attaching that with the the, uh, the kumite pretty much puts it on the new tax bracket splitting it up with his grandma and now makes his side business low enough that it doesn't hit that bracket that is fucked up that is that is irs hey fucking whoop. <laughs> And then I, I I think yeah you need to do a stream and just drop it all and I and, and I, I would monetize the shit out of it because uh, he can't mm -hmm. complain he was supposed to be paying you uh, I say you get paid all the super berries he wanted and just dump fucking everything yeah well you know I'm on that crowd hit list so something tells me you know <laughs> the problem Sandy is having right now I might have myself no so, no no yeah. wait 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 hang on someone mm -hmm. said that I already paid you back I did not already pay you mm -hmm. back. No, you're you're gonna pay me back. That's zoom, 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 Zoom tweeted out uh, failure confirmed. Andy paid him back yesterday on Cog's show. I I said when my next paycheck, my yeah. my next YouTube pay, because I honestly I just did I did not get get paid from Valor. Uh, mm -hmm. my flight, the stay, the food, and this the tri a trip, and then the you know flying to Nashville. Uh, and then you know losing out on money. Uh, someone just tweeted me, like they said that you paid him back. I'm going to pay you back when mm -hmm. the YouTube check, and I, I, I'm going to pay you back because um, you manned up, and I'm glad you're out of this spell. And you do, I, I told people this. I was telling people this. The saddest part about this entire thing, I don't care about fucking Tonka and this and that. It's, it's, I lost what I considered one of my best friends, and mm -hmm. like, like you were there from. You know, when I was a man bun, motherfucking Andy, you know? Yeah. And uh, it, it I, I did, you know, first theorize that, like, you know, maybe Tonka, because the paranoia is so strong now with Tonka that I was like, is failure trying to still... Oh, you were paranoid as fuck, and I was telling you, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think he's trying to go after you, man. And fucking turns out, well, you saw what happened with uh, the whole screenshot shit. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Uh, can I ask you a question that I won't I won't say the name on it, but why is he sending payments to you through an intermediary? Oh, because oh, you don't know about the Superberries card. He he would send a vamp. He's trying to hide. A paper, he's trying to hide a paper trail, isn't he? Wait, That's why. Wait, it, wait. I just got also that Tonka receives disability and food stamps as well. I don't know if that is a fact. Uh I'm that is from a friend of his. Yeah. So he. Uh, Puts it through his grandma so he can continue receiving disability, which is hilarious, first of all, and food stamps. Yeah. And this person knew that a year ago. I didn't know about that, but uh, if that's a fact, then oof. Oh boy. Well, hey, hey, Donkey, you got your wish. Failure finally told him. I hope you're happy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is okay. So we have okay, we have a few things that we could look at. Okay, we have a fake name, uh, a fake, uh, you know, name change document, uh, a notary stamp. We have blood work with a different name on it. We have um, him pretty much sabotaging the fight, knowing that he was not going to fight with all these things above we have him putting his grandma's name on the adsense him receiving disability Holy shit, Andy, that's why he didn't fucking sign the proper name now i know why 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 if he had showed up in that ring under his youtube name and he was identifiable oh. by his real name they could disability. have connected him yep to the disability oh. and shown that it was fraud <laughs> holy fucking shit oh my god that's so true that's maybe he is jacked. Maybe he is strong, but maybe he was like, "Wait, I'm gonna be fucking, fucking audited by the IRS." Was this was him? Was this him not being a pussy about fighting, but being a pussy about jail time, which he then went ahead and did three more illegal things: fucking fake name, notary stamp, and fucking sabotage. This is fucked up. This is this is like literally you cannot write this shit. Like, like it's just everything come that that happened. Th this domino effect from the minute I promoted Kumite the first time, from the minute that Medicare jumped on it the first time and then it blew up. From it, you can't everything went. <coughs> me and JF splitting up. Him being part of that. Him fucking. Him saying don't talk to Zoom or anal vape. Then working with anal vape and then using that that 
quote unquote evidence to ruin my fucking life. He tried to ruin my life using pedophile allegations because he knew that if he had to fight, there was the possibility of him being arrested by fucking, I mean, for fraud, for tax evasion. And if we think about it now, if we look back in hindsight now, me accepting this fight and everything he tried to make it you know you'll make it fall apart is based on fear of what you just dropped failure that is fucked up wow holy mm. goddamn shit well that's that's it's a theory we don't know anything yeah, maybe, alleged, maybe, zoom, uh, uh, maybe zoom will drop some bombshells tonight and we'll find out more yo oh my <laughs> oh my oh my yo this is like yeah. How do you fucking trip over your own dick like this? Seriously. And then it exposes that he was a cuck a couple of times and bought a beer for the guy. And now Slobby Robbie, the lawsuit with joint, like it's a fucking, and then not paying you. failure. You yeah. got raped in the money situation there. The amount of money he, mm -hmm. he never like uh, a, a few people asked me and I was Dick Masterson and all those guys were asking me, Hey, so did Tonka pay you when you were on, on Kumite? I never asked for a cent and I promoted K the Kumite after every war ski live. I never mm -hmm. asked for one. The uh, only people I know that got paid was, uh, AP got paid twice, $500 from a uh, vamp and $500 that I, uh, paid him. That's, oh, that's and, all he and he also paid uh, Ian Miles Chung when me and Ian, uh, Ian started working on Hype Break. Uh, Ian's mm -hmm. like, oh, he didn't, uh, like, I, I think he forgot. He was being very fair. Ian Miles Chung was being very fair with, with Tonka. I was saying, I think he forgot to pay me. So I went, so I went, I went, how much does he owe you? He said this much. I'm like, oh, just message him. And to be fair, Tonka paid him back. And then uh, uh, fucking... Uh, the, another lie was I wasn't paying uh, Ian for hype break work, but the reason I was doing Warpath uh, uh, and I, I was using that money to pay Ian as well as Geek and then bought him the PS4 and now I'm working with SoCal and AG Luck and I'm working my ass off on the, on the video game and our new website that will be out soon. Oh, wait, wait can, I, can I ask a question, Failure? Can I say uh, who the person that sent you the payments was or no? Yeah, think, yeah, we already did. said it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, and I explained it. Uh, basically, he would give her these prepaid. Oh, oh, no, no, uh, that's what I'm saying. If if he really okay, let's say the theory is actually true, and he's committing tax fraud to say on benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, she's now on the chain too because she's an accessory. Oh. So, do you think Vamp is gonna roll on him when the fucking cops knock on her door? Fucking roll on him. <laughs> Brilliant. Possibly, possibly. I, I don't know. I think she's still fucking brainwashed. Even though she spent two hours telling me how fucking of a terrible boy, well, not boyfriend, their ex, but he just uses her whenever, you know, it's convenient for him. Oh, I hope you have some of that. Not, Play it on not, your not, screen. Not. Play it on your screen. <laughs> uh, by the way, not with his dick, probably, from what Cog said. I don't know. Do you I never mean, had a heartfelt conversation about his erectile dysfunction with him? <laughs> no, no I, d I did not. He, he liked to slap. He, he he liked to claim that he was slapping his uh, dick against the mic a lot of times for some reason. I always found that odd. Yeah. And <laughs> was the mic by his fucking pelvis? How's he got the wheelchair to do that? So th th there was the, so there was okay. So you saw him on camera when he I guess flexed for you. And he was jacked. Yeah, he he got up and uh, he he started doing these kicks and flying knee kicks. But... <laughs> what hey, the he... shit are you two doing, man? What the fuck is? He... Well, he wanted to he wanted to prove that he was in a uh, fucking shape or whatever. And he came on cam one time and started doing these flying knee kicks and almost knocked himself out on the top of the fucking doorway. Because because his yeah his trailer like like the door isn't high enough. No, we know. Uh, but do you think he would be if he did fight me? Who do you think would have won? Um, they'd be I, like a fair be, be, fight be, or... look before i saw you i didn't think you were actually getting into shape i, I thought you were still on the you know the coke ski diet <laughs> <laughs> and the uh the beef ravioli 
The fucking Chef yeah. Boyardee rabbit. And, and all the fucking Stellas. Every time I would like fucking take a peek at your stream, I would see you drinking a Stella and it would be like, when the fuck is this motherfucker training? Holy shit. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I was definitely training and I, I did stop drinking. I, I, I did drink, I think, th three times throughout my training for a birthday, New Year's, and some other random event. And I did, ha I, I did sneak a few energy drinks from time to time, but it was mainly... Oh, I... Hey Andy, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I, I got a dip. Um, it, it's been fun, boys. Uh, I look forward to more information coming out. Failure, when you do do your uh, tell them failure stream and reveal everything, I'll put a link out for you because I want to see everything get dropped. Uh, uh, DM for... me, I'll, I'll send you some stuff if you're interested in taking okay. a peek. Yeah, and uh, don't forget, guys, check out Zoom stream. Apparently, there's some shit dropping on that. Andy, fantastic job. Thank uh, you. Way to make this guy look like a fucking retard. Uh, your channel obviously isn't dead. Uh, you've got 5,000 people watching you right now. Yeah. You've had streams where you've had between two to 4,000 watching you. So uh, I think you've returned to form. Good job. Everybody likes the Andy Redemption arc. Uh, Donga, you brought this all on yourself, you stupid fucking moron. I told you, sit on your ass and read the super chats and you'd be fine. Couldn't fucking listen to me. You had to do gay you, ops. You even, gave us, you even gave us a second second chance by giving us a shout out during the mundane match shit. And he fucked that one up too. Yep, yeah, you know, hey, uh, Donga is a fucking moron, and uh, way to shoot yourself in the foot. Rachel. By the way, Monday and Matt, take the fight. Take the fight. You'll get a fucking redemption arc easily if you fucking take a fight with Tonka so. And, well, and... Yeah, he'd win by default. Tonka would never show up. But I gotta go. Take right, it easy, guys. Peace. Yeah, peace, man.